All right, okay, am I on? Are we working? Okay, welcome everybody to Charity Land 2023. This one is a little different, although every Charity Land is a bit different. I am your host, Kevin Perger, and I'm joined by a fantastic crew. If we can bring up my crew, can we see you? I got Rob, Jack, and from Give Kids the World, we have Darren. So uh, I have a lot to do an introduction, but if you don't know what this is, essentially we are going to be cooking food for the next seven to eight hours, and I will be wearing this mask. Um, not because I'm sick, but because I don't show my face. For those of you here, I imagine you know this. Um, but uh, I have a lot of things to get through, but essentially the first thing I want to say is just thank you so much for watching. If you are here, I highly recommend you donate to Give Kids the World Village. They're a wonderful organization. It is an entire resort um, experience for children that are suffering life-threatening illnesses, uh, a lot of times, different WISH organizations around the country will ask a child with a terminal illness uh, what they would like to do. They, they grant them wishes. The most popular one is Make-A-Wish. And Give Kids the World uh, works with these organizations to facilitate these wishes because a big wish is for, uh, from many children is to come to Orlando and experience Universal Studios, Walt Disney World, all the attractions down here. It's a very common wish. I don't know. It's probably one of the most common, I would imagine. And Give Kids the World facilitates those wishes and grants them, essentially. They, they, uh, they take the kids to the parks. They give kids an amazing resort. Uh, if you've ever been to a Charity Land stream, you know all about them. But I really just wanted to talk about that um, first and foremost because that's what we're here to do today. Although I have a lot of other things that we will be doing, the point is we're raising money for Give Kids the World. Um, I'll talk a lot more about them as we go. And Darren's here. And Darren can also talk about them if we, if we get Darren up on the mic. Um, so... That's my uh, introduction. Welcome to Charity Land. Next up, uh, as I'm reading from a list, clearly, um, I would like to uh, introduce my crew one by one. Um, we have Rob from Rob Plays, currently in witness protection. He hasn't made a video for three years. Yeah, I'm running from big theme park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They found out how many mosquitoes yeah. that, uh, or how they got rid of them, and, and now he's been on the and run I, ever yep, since. Yep. Uh, also with him in witness protection is, is Jack from Park Ride History, who has not posted a video in two years. <laughs> hey, well, maybe that'll change soon. Who I, knows? Well, who knows? Who knows? And it's Darren, kind of who I don't think has ever posted a video, yeah, is from Give Kids of the World. Although, I'm sure actually you have posted videos. Just a couple. Just a <laughs> few. Um, so, so this is our crew today. Uh, you might notice that we're missing one person, and that is our good friend Dan of Distry Dan, of Disney Dan, and uh, Dan's a main part of our crew, and we love him so dearly, and he cannot be here with us today. His father recently passed. Uh, his father uh, passed away this week, and uh, we made the decision pretty early on when we knew that that was a possibility, that he wouldn't fly down here to do this with us. Um, and that was a difficult decision, but obviously Dan needs to be with his family, and, uh, but we miss him so dearly, and we really wish he was here, and we're going to try to bring his energy although it'll be hard because uh, nothing, can, nothing can top Dan's yeah. uh, amount of energy. Um, so just send your well wishes to Dan. Uh, he really wanted to be here, and he's, uh, he's definitely going through it, um, and we're really sorry for his loss, and we're happy that he can be with family, but we're also going to miss him selfishly. So uh, we'll, we'll talk more about Dan, I'm sure, throughout the stream, but that's why Dan's not here. Um, he really wanted to be. Uh, now let's get on to the cooking. Um, if you're still with us, uh, you're probably here for the cooking as well as the raising money. And there's a few things, uh, before I talk about cooking, I need to talk about special guests. So usually with Charity Land, we'll do these big special guest blocks, and I would ask all my friends for my once a year favor. <laughs> this year, I didn't do that. Um, I instead texted my friends and said, if you want to join, just give me a heads up, and then you can call me, and then you can come on the stream. So we, we, we set that up. So this is really a true testament to how much these people like me, is, uh, is whether they will uh, come on the stream. But we'll have some special guests popping in and out. The reason we didn't do the big guest stream is because of the next bullet point, which is I'm going to be cooking. And I cannot be cutting away for 30 minutes at a time to do guest interviews because I'm actually going to be baking, frying, yeah. cooking, rising. And we're um, going to be eating, and so you cannot be burning or messing up yeah. these, this food. So. Right. It's very important to us. We yeah. do have a technical difficulty slide, just in case. <laughs> um, throw it across we're the just, <laughs> But the, uh, and, and also, this is, the last, this is the only time in this stream I'm ever going to be talking like this. It's going to get real casual after this. Um, so let's talk about the cooking. The cooking we're doing for fun, we're going to cook some old theme park recipes. And the few things I want to say about the cooking before we get into them is that uh, we are not going to be giving this food away. 
because for many reasons. Some people ask, are we going to give the food to Give Kids the World? No, not at all, at all. They wouldn't take it even if we asked. Give Kids the World <laughs> has a kitchen with professionals that are way better than me. And for sanitary reasons, there's no organization would be taking this food, but especially not Give Kids the World. Um, because they, they, you know, they deal with a lot of children that, that their health is of the utmost priority during their stay. So this is n in no way even going to get near the village. So as you watch me, I'm going to try to keep everything sanitary. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to dry off my hands. But if you're ever like, oh my gosh, you know, that's really unsanitary. It's only Jack that's going to be eating the food. So I it, can eat anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only Jack's going to be eating? No, I'm joking. Okay. You, <laughs> I'm just saying if, if, it's, if there's something wrong, you don't have to eat it. The only person obligated to eat it is Jack. So it might come out looking terrible, but Jack's contractually obligated to eat it. So we're not giving it away. That said, I have not cooked these recipes before, and I'm really worried about them because they're old recipes, most of them, and we're going to talk about the menu in a sec. But before we do that, um, I, I, a lot of, you know, today I'm, I'm about to go on a little bit of a spiel. It's going to be really quick so we can get to cooking because I'm already running out of time. But... Um, we, are going, we, we went out and bought a lot of groceries to make a lot of different recipes. Yeah. And that is a privilege, and we are so lucky to be able to do stuff like that. Um, and we might waste some food, although I hope that everybody is sent home with a week's worth of leftovers and that every bite gets eaten. But there's a chance that I am on stream going to mess something up in a way that looks like wasting food. And again, that is, that is a privilege, and especially this time of year when a lot of families are struggling for a lot of different reasons. Uh, a lot of families are uh, malnourished. They're not, they do not have the food that they need. So when I was going to do this, because I really do love cooking and I really do want to do a cook-off and I want to do the cook-a-thon and the vintage recipes, the thing that I said is, however much we spent on groceries, I am going to triple it and donate that to Second Harvest Food Bank of Orlando, of Central Florida, excuse me. And so we did that. We ended up spending $220 on our groceries today. A lot of the spices are mine. Um, but we, the, of the groceries we bought, we spent $220. And so... If we can go over to our top-down view here with my cookbooks, um, uh, we, I just want to show this so you know I'm not lying or just doing it for clout, I guess. But uh, we, we did a, I did a donation of 660 and then, and then did the transaction fees on top of that. So, uh, so yeah, it came out to 679, but some of those are transaction fees. So with all that in mind, I just wanted, that, wanted to, uh, to get that out of the way. Um, we are going to be raising money for Give Kids the World. Both of these organizations are wonderful. If you're planning on giving, I hope you give to Give Kids the World because that is what we're doing for this stream. Second Harvest is also a wonderful organization. I just wanted to do that because it is a privilege, and should I waste any food, I just want to have also given uh, back uh, something because it's such a privilege to be able to try to make a bunch of recipes from the 70s and mess them up live on air. So uh, I hope all that uh, that made sense and that was a good way of putting that. Anything uh, that made sense? I understood. Okay, that's great. <laughs> good. That means a lot. <laughs> okay, great. Um, okay. Lastly, before we get started, um, before we look at the menu, stick around. Uh, goals. There are a few goals. We're not doing, like, again, this year is about cooking. It's all about the cooking. Uh, but this year we're not doing raffles and we're not doing auctions, which is different for us. We're, we're not, it's not like we're never going to do it again. It's just this year is about the cooking and we want it to be about the stream. With all that in mind, we do have a few goals for people that donate. So, and, and a few perks. The first off is a global thermometer of, that we're going to showcase later, slash I forgot to print, um, of the different goals. Some of them you will see on the menu. So if we reach $5,000, I'm going to change aprons which means I have to start with one apron, so I better go put one of those on. But uh, I, have an eight, I have like five aprons, so like 5,000, I think 15,000, and 20,000 20, or something like that. Once we hit those goals, I switch aprons. Um, at 10,000, we unlock the honey coconut loaf that used to be, it's in one of those cookbooks over there. Um, it's, it's from the Polynesian. At um, 40,000, we unlock the handwich, which is the cone of the future. The it's famous. Well, it's yeah. the famous... <laughs> the world yeah. famous hand. The world famous sandwich, and then at and and this is that was at sorry that's twenty five thousand. At forty thousand, we unlock Kevin's Christmas creme. I've seen your comments. <laughs> Kevin's Christmas creme. It's not Kevin's Christmas cream. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying that they want to know what Kevin's Christmas cream is. It's creme, like creme brulee, because it's a it's a creme brulee. It is not Kevin's Christmas cream. So I just want to get that. On, I wanted to, you to hear that on the stream. <laughs> from from your mouth. Yeah. I never get a point in videos. What? That's what I would do every time I make a joke in a video. Okay. 
And then for individual donations, so that's the global thermometer. I'll unveil that later, but that's basically what it is. Lastly, before I get to cooking, at $10, if you send in $10 in your donation note, you can ask me a question or any of us a question and we'll answer it. That's at $10. If you send $10 to charityland.gives, and if that link is down for some reason, go to defunctland.com slash charityland, both very easy and memorable. And, uh, and you'll be able to uh, ask us a question if you donate $10. $100, we're going to put a sticky note here. So we have this great little setup here. We're going to be putting all sorts of different stuff. And, uh, and yeah, so we're going to put sticky notes here so you can write a note to put on a sticky note. Keep it short, probably less than 100, 280 characters, something like that. So I can just put it right there, and then it'll stay there until enough people donate to where it gets covered up. Um, anything else before I get cooking? Before we look at the menu. Before, yeah, the menu. The menu is yeah. what else? Is every, uh, does Corvin have anything? Is uh, Our tech crew is here. They're great. They're going to be keeping track of the chat, making sure that both the uh, YouTube and Twitch streams are up and okay. Everybody can hear me. Everybody. Yeah, everything's going smooth. Uh, people uh, are excited about the prospect of a hand witch. Okay, that's great. You know? That's awesome. It's a possibility. And, uh, and that's it. Um, oh, the other thing. If you do not have the money to donate, please keep watching. And that helps. And also, please share on social media, on Twitter, uh, send a letter, uh, whatever you need to do to make more people watch this so we can get more donations from people that do have disposable income. Um, that would be great. So it does not matter if you cannot donate, but we do hope you'll help by watching or sharing. Let's look at the menu. All right. Now, do you know the menu by heart, Kevin? I do, because um, okay. <laughs> I cannot see. We well, can it. see the menu. You can't see the menu. Well, yeah, we're the ones eating, obviously. So, are we starting with apps? Um, we are starting with apps. We're going to start with the walnut bread. All right. Oh, man, man, there's a delay. Um, okay, so let's start with the walnut bread. I need the recipe. Oh, the recipes are here in the books that I have. I was going to say, I was like, "Where's the recipes?" Okay, there it is. Can we see this? Yep. Okay, walnut bread. Two packages active dry yeast. Oh, man, they're clearing me out of my dry yeast. So, uh, so at this point, ask, tell me what the chat's doing, and, and I'm just going to walk around. Oh, also, uh, fourth cam. Fourth cam. I think we lost fourth cam. Maybe it just went down. <laughs> it just went, oh, it just went yeah, down? we had our inaugural technical difficulty. Okay, there we go. That's fine. And fourth cam's so high up. I know. Um, we'll figure it out. Okay, let's do it. Good thing everything's right here that I need. Yeah. So this says Walnut Bread Magic Kingdom. Do we know, is this something from... Already I'm being unsanitary. I forgot to clean this. Is, is this something from like old school Magic Kingdom, 1970s? Am I? There we go. It's all... <laughs> yes, uh, this is, this was in... Are you going to be asking me trivia? <laughs> yes, exactly. Trivia How many slices of Walnut Bread did Walt Disney have? Where's my personal rag? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might be chef. in the pantry. I think it's in the pantry. You put, the you put my rag in the pantry? I had to clear the counter, man. Nobody <laughs> puts rag in the pantry. <laughs> All right. Like, where? Uh, I guess my question for I you. I guess, I guess. What? I, I suppose that I did not anticipate the part where my head just see, keeps going two packages of active dry yeast. That's all that's up here right now. That's all you're thinking about. Like every I can't throw anything your way. Every time you say something, I hear active dry yeast. <laughs> yeah, you can't Two packages. Do you, active. do you have the active dry yeast? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Well, you can you can ask me questions. I can multitask. Well, I think what I was just fascinated with and wanted to bring up for the stream is like this isn't just an idea that you had. You cook a lot and you love cooking. Hold on. Last thing. Okay. <laughs> We are currently in a castle-themed vacation <laughs> rental house. Oh, one little thing. I don't know if you've noticed. If it, and this, we, we did pay for this, and we did pay to be here uh, to use this space in this kitchen and, and, and kind of house us for this stream. But Loma Homes, who is the uh, owner of the house, that they do the vacation rentals, they gave us a discount because they knew we were doing a charity stream, which is very kind of them. So thank you, Loma Homes, for giving us this discount. Um, it's not sponsored, and they, we still paid for it, but they, they were nice enough to, to, they said, if you're doing a charity stream, we'll give you a discount, and that's, that was really nice of them. You need an apron. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, well, I don't want to reveal the apron, so. There's so many options. 
These are just the worst aprons you've ever seen. Hell, well, hold on. One of those aprons came from my house, so I take some okay. offense at that. I have a good, because this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put on the only self-referential apron okay. that references the fact that it's an apron. Yeah. But just to get everyone used to the idea of, you know, you're wearing an apron. Yeah, that wasn't my apron, so. Nobody is monitoring the chat. That's not true. That, no, no. Three of us are, technically. Yeah. Is the microphone okay? You're good. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, wait. My apron. Yeah. So I only got aprons that were on overstock <laughs> and could get here in two days. Keep calm. My apron is on. Now, does that mean you have... I'm not too familiar with overstock. Does that mean you have 50 of those at home waiting for you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah, I had to buy them in, in bulk 50. Okay, let's cook. Okay, so this recipe says, that's cheese bread. Okay, two packages, mix yeast with warm water and set until dissolved. I can do that. I can do that. You can ask me questions while I'm doing this. Okay. Well, okay, what I was talking about before the, the apron um, is... You cook a lot just outside of the channel stuff that you've done with like the hand witch um, to the point where we've hung out at your house and you've cooked like steaks for us and like homemade yeah. like dip for french fries. Where did this affinity for cooking come from? Um, I think it's just, it's like one of the senses that I never get to experiment with in my other work. And also it's something that I can be good at and I just navigated towards it. The, uh, I, I just, I don't know if I am good at it, but it's something that I could be good at. And so my mind just kind of wanted to be good at it. And so I'm trying to learn how to be good I at it. I years ago, just like, what was your favorite Pixar movie? And you were just like, oh, Ratatouille, easily. And I thought that was just because it was just a good film. It's like no, that's actually not because it's about cooking. Oh. That's just he just really loves rodents. I just love those rats. Those rats are well, great. Do think he's don't do this, right kids. Oh, <laughs> so he's not doing any of the cooking. No, 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 no. Okay. Disney Oops. sent over their little animatronic <laughs> Remy. Yeah, it's tying the from the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How's the chat doing? Ask me a question from the chat so they know we're actually going to pay attention to them. Um, Brandon wants to know uh, where you got your pants. These pa I have no idea. Pants. I have no idea. Do we have any uh, donations yet? People donating money, hopefully? Oh, yeah, we broke 5K. Oh, what? Yes, what? we're at 54. <laughs> hey, Jack, $5, quick question. What are you doing right now? That's a great question. I don't know. Where is the Super Chats? Like, where would I even check that? Oh, no. uh, like the donations? Yeah. If I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm just kind of monitoring the chat right okay, now. Okay, well, that's great. We broke 5,000. Thanks, Woo! everybody. So I'm currently uh, getting the water for the yeast, and uh, I got it too hot. Notice how... I, I really wanted to preface the entire stream by I'm going to be as sanitary as I can, and I'm currently just testing. Yeah, I just testing. I looked up from the board and just see you sticking your hands in the water, and it just really Well, the thing is that yeast, you'll kill the yeast if the water's scalding, but right. it won't activate if it's not warm. So it has to be just right. It has to be just right. And so you use and the I've never used this microwave thermometer. The thi yeah. Well, I think, oh, I forgot a real thermometer. <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. That's whatever. You just, it's, yeah. It's home cooking. You just eyeball it. You Jack, know? ask me a question from the chat. Um, how are you doing today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you find one that's a bit more, has a bit more substance? No offense. Uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Um, Where's my big bowl? My big bowl that I mix things in. There? Not there? There it is. We're getting the stand mixer going. Hit him with the KitchenAid. Now, how did you find a lot of these uh, recipes? Was it just going through what you knew? So I have a bunch of vintage cookbooks because I just constantly buy vintage theme park stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I had a bunch of these cookbooks. I thought it would be fun to cook vintage recipes. The one we're currently cooking is walnut bread, which you can see on the screen and on the menu. Um, and this right here, this recipe 
was like Magic Kingdom's famous bread when it opened in 1971. This is the bread that people like could not get enough of. You know how like Cheesecake Factory's bread is famous? Uh -huh. yeah. Or how like today, what's a good Disney World bread that's famous? Uh, bread pudding. No, that's not bread. I, uh, bread service, enough. Uh, yeah, bread, well, that's non. I mean, it's, it's short. <laughs> I'm talking crazy. about Listen, a- I don't know if there's a lot of like really okay. famous bread at Disney right now. I feel uh, like you gotta, you gotta I'm take sure you the get. chat will let us know what a popular <laughs> Disney World bread is. Well, I'm screaming Tonga Toast and well, I have a question. That's he not like, bread. Yeah, see, I was going to say, his standards I mean, are every, very Okay, strict. if that's bread, then so is like a hamburger. I mean, it's all bread. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got some questions here from the chat. Okay. Um, first one's very important. Do you like trains? Uh, no. He does not like trains, confirmed. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. To expand on that, do you dislike trains? No, of course not. Oh, okay. So that would be so wild. Would say, you're impartial But I know, I know the litmus for liking trains and I don't think I qualify. You're this not a trained person. Does it, can someone look up how much was in a packet of yeast in 1971? Because it's calling for two packets of yeast. And he's thinking that's a lot? That's, I mean, that is, that's, that's more than I would do. Maybe I'll just divide it all in two. Oh, it makes six loaves. Yeah, let's divide this in two. Oh, no, I already did the water. We're making six loaves. <laughs> Okay. Six unsanitary loaves. <laughs> How did I do this? For the kids. For the kids. Again, this is not going to the kids. We are each going to eat two loaves of bread as an appetizer. This, I need scissors so badly. Oh yeah, that was, well, you got a knife. Okay, let's pray this. You get ready for six loaves of bread. It's Kevin's bread service. Well, he knows I've just got a gigantic stomach. That's how I got to this size. <laughs> Loading up on bread. Just nothing. Just carbon. No, don't do that. I was about to use the knife as a, as a mixing spoon. I have mixing spoons. Do you have a favorite meal that you cook at home? Um, I don't know. I have, this is so much yeast. I mean, even for six loaves. Dude, what's your favorite Disneyland ride? Six loaves, yeast, Dis what? Disney what? Oh, he didn't even hear you. <laughs> no, I heard you. What's my favorite Disneyland There's ride? Processing. One fourth cup times. Is it? What's thirty divided by four? Thirty divided by five, four, six, seven, and seven, a half. seven and a half. Okay. That's Darren. You're gonna have to go Disneyland get more bread flour. Too. Well, we know his favorite. Is I mean, this train. is this is like an. This is an industrial. <laughs> cut the technical difficulty. This is an industrial amount of walnut bread. Why is the recipe calling for six loaves? Because it's for a theme park. No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is this is the most requested recipes of Walt Disney World. Mix yeast with warm water, set until dissolved. Is there any sugar in this? When does the sugar go in? In a mixing bowl, combine flour, salt, sugar, and walnuts. I'm going to add some sugar. There's no way this yeast is going to proof without some sugar. Maybe they're tiny loaves. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of sugar in there. What's your favorite Disneyland ride? Um, I guess I'm probably. Hey Jack, you got anything from the Discord or anything? Oh, how do you mean, like? Like, does nobody, does anybody want to communicate with me? Um, Say anything? I'm trying to see. Torb's asking if there, we have any place to read comments or should we make a channel or server? I'm, I'm inclined. Oh, that's more of a behind the scenes. I was more talking <laughs> about <laughs> if they had anything. But maybe. yes, that's a good idea. I look, there's something about this that, that frames my cheeks as so rosy. Yeah, I but look, that fits the holiday, you know I what guess. I mean? I mean, I look like such a, such like a, a, like a Christmas character. I don't. <laughs> you know, all the famous Christmas characters that wear face masks and their also, chef hats. if anybody's wondering, the reason I'm wearing a black shirt is because, one, I have six of them and I will be constantly changing in, during <laughs> breaks because I'm already sweating. And, uh, and, and two, um, what was the other reason? Oh, because I'm going to sweat through them. That was the, oh, both were the same reason. Okay. That's the patented uh, chef. Black okay, shirt. so the so right now I'm going to break because I'm waiting for this to proof. Okay. What is something I can answer? Let me read the chat. Uh, 
Donate at charityland.gives. That is a good reminder to do every so often. Yeah. Here, Rob. Yes. Can you read some chat? And can I, and Jack, let's let's talk about uh, Twitch real quick. All right. And, uh, and yeah, take us down. All right. Let's pull up the chat here and see what we got going on. Someone says Kevin looks like Bane. We're at six thousand six thousand two hundred fifty one dollars. Wow, we're doing really good yeah. to start off. So thank you, everybody. What's the worst ride you have personally ever been on? Well, Kevin's not here to answer this one. Do you do you have a worst ride you've ever been on? Oh, um, I don't know. Worst. That's tough. Yeah. Like major ride. Like, uh, like a state fair. Like any yeah, well, those are really, <laughs> those are just like empty trailers yeah, that like with yeah. a little track inside. Those are um, sad more than they are terrible. I, I love it, but also uh, deeply, deeply uh, disturbed by it. But the Haunted Mansion at Knobles. Oh, uh, interesting. I've never. Very uh, unusual. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Do you have a least favorite? I don't know. I mean. That's a tough question. Yeah, and I, I feel like. It's easy with rides because if there's something you don't like, you just don't ride it, yeah. and then it's out of mind. You know, I have so many favorites. Um, I don't know. I don't know what like. Uh, Tell me about Kevin. Why does he wear a mask? That's my one. Now you are. Tell me about Kevin. Why does he wear a mask? Um, the reason I wear a mask is because I usually don't do live streams, and I don't feel like showing my face. I don't think it's necessary yet for any reason. So, uh, so I'm just kind of being me, and yeah. but I, but I need to be active to do these charity live streams. I think it helps. So whenever I do go live, whether it's on, I also did a project for Awesome where I wore a mask. It's not that I like masks; it's that I just my documentaries don't really need me to be present in them. Yeah, we don't need a so. face behind it. Now, from a cooking perspective. What are we waiting for on the yeast? Like what We're is waiting it for to prove. We're waiting for me to prove that the yeast is alive. And okay. it's uh, it just needs to bubble up, which it should be doing pretty soon, you would think, slash hope. Kevin, do you have any favorite theme park games someone in the chat's asking? Like do I have any? Like Coaster Tycoon or anything like that? Um, I'm Thrillville. Thrillville off the rails. <laughs> okay, so we got, I need five cups of bread flour. And I need to mix that in a bowl with... Okay, so five cups of bread. In mixing bowl, combine flour, salt, sugar, and walnuts. Oh, walnuts. Yeah, it's walnut bread. Five. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting five cups. Bread flour, salt, sugar. Okay, four teaspoons of sugar. Where are my measuring cups? <laughs> this is going I feel to... like it's, it's cool. We get to see everything actually come together because we had to go buy all of this stuff yesterday. Oh, yeah. And I did not see the menu at that point. So I just thought we're getting this total random collection of stuff and like what is Molasses it gonna become? And yeah. Bread crumb and yeah. 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 But now it's coming together. I mean you guys are in for a treat. This cooking with, with Kevin is a full attraction. I mean like when you see him get going, it's gonna be intense. Yeah. I just wish you guys could like taste the final result because it's I'm losing everything. <laughs> But let's wait until he cooks the stuff first before we come to that conclusion. Has anybody uh, donated more than ten dollars yet to ask me an official question? Let's see. Has, has uh, anybody done that? Oh, I'm trying to see. I, I don't know. I'm yeah. I'm just looking around for that. And everyone was donating on the Corvin. Website, if Corvin is there. listening right now, if you can please. Put in the Discord any of those that we get. If yeah. somebody can monitor that, yeah. Please. If you can make a challenge in the Discord, I'll be able to just read off all the uh, donations and messages and stuff like that. All right, I need five cups of bread flour from this really tiny. Oops. One. Two. So he goes the unofficial like. I mean, he use, he's using the measuring Three. cup, but uh oh, there's a you got a little spill over there. Four, five. Okay, we got a fifteen dollar donation from Alexis Lorinsky. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these names, guys. All right, Defunct Land Food, Disney, and Give Kids the World. What's not to love? Thank you all for putting this charity stream together. Thanks for the question. 
what's not to love? <laughs> Let me, <laughs> no, thank you so much. That's very kind. We had 105 donated anonymously. Happy holidays to defunct landed friends. You guys are doing incredible work. Thanks. Oh, thank Thanks. you. Tally Katz donated 105. Kevin, you're my favorite documentarian. Can't wait to see what's next. Oh, that's so nice. nice. I appreciate that. Megan Forrest with 525. Enjoy the tasty treats. Oh, that's nice. Everyone's so nice. Yeah. I thought people were going to be like, finally, I can <laughs> donate money and force him to read. Man, they want to let you cook. I right, Jeff, Jeff asked for 2697. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Walnut bread. Oh. Walnut I, bread well, currently. first off, first <laughs> off, that's really good because you're going to like a surprise later based off of that. I can vouch you're going to like the surprise later. I have, <laughs> and, the, and the answer to the funnier response was Rob's uh, walnut bread. It wants a tablespoon of salt. That's a lot of salt for it's bread. Six loaves of bread, Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I halved the recipe on the spreadsheet, and I just panicked when we went on stream. Oh, okay. And so it's three loaves of bread. No, it's six. I, <laughs> so I, wait, I was, meant. Are you saying that the recipe was for th three? I, I, I bought for three, and then I panicked, and then I made six. Gotcha. Sounds like I'm going back out to the store. Yeah, we're gonna have to restock here. How We're does that wait? Hold on. If, the world for how much bread I'm making. If we bought, I'm just for kidding. Three we we bought all the ingredients ourselves. Are we getting three half? We getting three half loaves of bread? Is that okay? How I'm combining flour, salt, sugar, and walnuts. Gosh darn it! Half a cup. That's a lot of walnut. Someone donated twenty six twenty five and anonymously they said, "Have any of you gotten to try the handwich cones like from Cars Land and the California Adventure area?" I've never tried an official handwich. I have the one. I've gotten the ones from Cars Land, and they're good. Um, one of them was like a mac and cheese cone, mm. and the other one I think was like more of a pizza cone. Yeah, uh, yeah, they were fantastic. They want it's... me to finally chop these walnuts. Yeah, I think we had them. We had them down here at Epcot for one of the festivals for a little bit, but yeah, I never got a chance for those. Is is the foley good? Can you hear everything I'm doing? Can you hear this? I think so. Can you hear that? Yeah, I th maybe. <laughs> Corey Anderson with 1050 says, hey, Kevin, love your content. Glad to see you're leveraging your popularity to spread some good this time of year. Keep up the amazing work. Happy holidays, Corey A. Thanks so much. We That's got, so nice. Everyone's being so nice. We're, we're stoked. We got Roan Fryer with, I believe that may be a pound or a euro. Sorry, guys, I'm cripplingly American. With 21 of something, you're going to blow past five times, and then another one of those, before putting on an apron. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Oh, wait, 5000 We're at $6,612. That's we, great news. We passed 5000 That means I have to change aprons. Also, <laughs> the yeast proofed, and it was a lot of yeast, <laughs> so it, this thing might overflow. So it's like, it's sentient, possibly. Well, hold on. First off, did everybody like to say apron? I, yeah. Are we rating it? What's, <laughs> what? our, what's our, hold on. I'll <laughs> say, listen, man. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Keep calm, my apron. Do you remember this meme? This was yes, everywhere. Yes, that's yeah. yes, I do remember. It's, it's <laughs> yes. very 2011. Exactly, <laughs> which is why I was like, okay, if we're rating these, I'm gonna give that one a five out of ten. It's not bad. It's okay. I think they're better. This one is of higher quality. It's and and this is thing. this is in response to that comment I got. Oh yeah. Which is. As he mics I'm sure it's phone. already revealed to the audience what <laughs> hey, it says, one. but I will read it anyways. Hot stuff coming through, and I don't mean the food. <laughs> and what I found funny about this one is how redundant it is, and how like you could have extrapolated that I was talking about, right? Yeah. About you know myself or whatever it's supposed to be. They it was a, it's an apron that wanted to hedge its bets and make sure you understood exactly what the joke was in case you didn't put it together. Hot yourself. stuff coming through. And I don't mean the food, I mean me, and hot as in I mean I'm attractive, <laughs> not that I'm literally hot. Right. And just it just so keeps you know. going all the way down the apron. But you're in a kitchen, so you could also be physically hot as well. I mean, do you guys like chunky walnut bread or finely chopped walnut bread? Uh, I feel like if you're having walnut bread, you, you want to be able to tell that there's walnut in it. Yeah. Like man. Yeah, if it's too, if you like turn it into a powder, what's the point at that? It's just bread Here's. with a walnut, you know, taste. How do you make sure the walnuts don't go everywhere when you do this? I don't know, but like in the in the frame, it looks really cool. It looks like you know exactly like what you're doing. 
He's got it under control. Yeah. Kaylin donates 1050. Happy to help this time of year, Kevin. I've been a fan of Defunct Land since the very beginning, and your videos have always helped me feel better on bad days. Happy holidays. Oh, wow. Thank you. We had 100 donate anonymously with a question. If you could revive one defunct attraction, but would have to put it in now a Now we're park, talking. What would you want to do? It's got to be in a different oh, I park. I like that. Yeah, that's a good But it's got to be what? In a different park. Than where it was originally. Horizons Hollywood Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> um, Poseidon's Fury, Worlds of Fun, Kansas City. <laughs> Alien Encounter at the New DreamWorks Park. Yeah. <laughs> what if you just take all the popular defunct rides and put them in Kansas City so that people just have to really go out there to get All right, them? everybody. Today we learned many things. And one of them is that I do not know how much a half cup of walnuts is. Is that more? This is a half cup of walnuts. This is extra walnuts. Perfect. Okay, what's next? Okay, so let's go to the recipe. So it says, on low speed using bread hook, got it, mix to blend liquid and dry ingredients. Add milk, oil, egg, and yeast. Okay. In, okay, so this is, this is phrased like, in mixing bowl, combine flour, salt, sugar, and walnuts. And then it says, add milk, oil, eggs, and yeast. But I don't think that's right. I don't, I don't believe that's true. No, he's questioning authority real fast. Because I don't think I should add it to this bowl. I feel like I should add it to a different one. Follow your heart. Yeah. That's what you do in the kitchen. Even with excess, I mean, we are, we're ready to chow down. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a different bowl. I'm gonna, okay, so how much milk does it want? One cup liquid non-fat dry milk. Well, I don't have that, so I hope that whole milk yeah, works. Yeah, remember when it was like whole milk, and he was like, yeah. We got that. How much did I say? One cup liquid. What is? What? Is it, <laughs> Jeez, what? One cup liquid non-fat dry milk. Yeah. Why did they need to say liquid? Because maybe like milk in the 70s, yeah, powdered, dry. yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. that's cool. Well, it was good yesterday when we were in the store and we had to like Google an ingredient. Like, does this still exist? Is this real? The I question is, is this milk too cold? I'm just going to go ahead and warm it up real quick. I don't want it to kill the yeast. I don't want to mess up on the screen. Freeze, freeze the yeast. My yeah. e-clout is hanging in the balance of me making this, this walnut bread. <laughs> William Tram with 10 I'm going to lose my e-clout. I wish you guys the best with your cooking and fundraising. I also want to say I loved your symphonic history of Epcot. Its ambition can be denied. Its ambition cannot be denied. And your effort was not ignored. Oh, that's very Thanks, nice. William. Thank you. 2625 from Anonymous. Let's bring let's bring more smiles to kids. Smiley face. Nice. Emma I Wright. agree. Emma Two Wright. tablespoons vegetable oil. And we're right with 2625. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Tara Proper with 2625. Happy holidays. Thanks for everything you guys do. P.S. If I had to rate the haunted mansions from around the world, or if you had to rate the haunted mansions from around the world, what would you give them? Phantom Manor, number one. I've never been to Mystic Manor, uh, so I assume that's probably, I can't rate that, but Haunted Mansion, Florida is better than Haunted Mansion, California. Sue me. Really? Yeah. It just makes more sense, and it doesn't feel like you're in a warehouse like the one in Disneyland does. Yeah. Now, I don't remember the What Disneyland am I doing? Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. The first turn when you're in the station, like heading into the mansion, like it's just blank walls all around. Yeah, we're just missing the whole And beginning. you walk through the hallway with all the paintings, right? Yeah. That you ride through in Florida. It we, feels boxy. I get what as you're as I walk through the valley of the shadows of paintings. Yep. <laughs> it's like the Q, like like the uh, like the theater version, you know, they just revamped it. Okay. One. Two. Sydney Saliano with uh, 2625. We love you, Kevin. Jessica, That's so nice. Jessica Carina with $1,000, 1050 one of these times, I, I, I don't mean to single out that last comment. I'm going to, wait, did you say $1,000? Yeah, yeah $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Before we go on to that wonderful thing, one of these times when somebody, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because it's very, it would be just like, I just, my, my brain was like, whenever someone said, uh, we love you, Kevin, thanks for doing this, I'm like, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess wow. they did because they donated. Yeah. So I guess they did prove it. Yeah. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? But, okay, uh, but I want to get to that. I want to take a second. I want to get these eggs in before we talk about the $1,000 donation. Is that super nice? We also had a $1,000 donation earlier from someone that I need Corvin to pull up the name of. Starts with a J, I believe. And that was super nice. They said they could not make the stream, but they wanted to donate, which was so nice. And also, if you're watching this after the stream's already been up, you know, you can still donate. This, uh, 
We are always doing fundraisers for Give Kids the World. Okay, pressure's okay. on. Here we go. We're all watching the egg crack. That's it. Any shell? No, do you want me to Perfect. do it one-handed? Nice. All right, now you're just bragging. I believe. I think I got a shell on there. <laughs> you could have lied about that. And nobody would know. It's not the camera doesn't. Well, I guess we would have known now, huh? We got Jessica Carnio. With no, that wasn't. No, that was just some extra yeast. I did it clean. Thank you for doing this again. Unfortunately, I'm not able to watch the event live. Have fun. Oh, that was that one. And I hope we can help a few families. That's so nice. The uh, that's really nice. And um, thank you so much for donating. Thank, I mean, regardless of the donation amount, I do really want to point out how awesome that huge donation is. But regardless, uh, any amount's great. But that is a super generous donation, and we very much appreciate it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I know Give Kids the World does as well. Darren, can you uh, say that, please? Yes, Give Kids the World greatly appreciates. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> thank you, Darren. The official Hard endorsement. Of that. <laughs> okay. Twenty-six twenty-five. Donate anonymously. They just say this is amazing. Heart. All right. I didn't hear a word of that. Someone just said this, this is amazing. This is amazing. Heart. Heart emoji. Did they say heart and spell it out, or did they say heart emoji? I'm willing to bet if they were on an iPhone, they typed out heart, and then when it popped up in the little predictive text, they just hit it. So that'd be my prediction. 105, donated anonymously. Thanks, Kevin, for doing this. Oh, somebody you. said, sorry, I want to respond to that. With all these walnuts, would anyone even notice a shell? That's a good point. That's really, a really it's good mostly point. walnut. Okay. They so, say they're a Give Kids the World alumni and look for, or alumnus, and look forward to your stream every year. Your videos bring me so much joy. Thanks. That's so nice. We're officially uh, at $7,652 right you now. You are all so generous and so yeah. nice. Are they being entertained by this? Are they having a good time? I'm worried that I'm just like running around the kitchen. The chat's like crazy. liking it. I mean, yeah, they're in Someone here. Someone just typed oh. heart emoji in the chat. They typed it, so they mean it. Yeah, in text. Because if you're going to type it Okay, let's out. get the camera on me. It is on you. Okay, let's get the camera on me. It's still on you. Okay. <laughs> Don't miss this. So I'm going to start combining here to make the walnut bread. Just going to combine. Glad that Cherry Land's back this year. Brer Extra also with 26. Forever one of my favorite charities. Always glad to donate. Oh my gosh, there's flour on my face. <laughs> yeah. Just keep, well, no, you add more and now you're going to paint a little mouth on it. Yeah, the mass change, it'll be white eventually. That's just for any amount of money. Michael Monotog with eight bucks. Yo, exclamation point. That's it. Hold on, I want to be able to hear these. Oh, okay. And I'm going to have to spend the next 15 minutes kneading this. So please keep donating. Here it all okay. goes. So that should just kind of do what it's going to do. Get down there. So Anybody want any walnuts? We love walnuts. I, I suspect we're about to have a lot of walnuts. No, no. I mean, for the amount of bread I have, it's actually not that many walnuts. Oh. In fact, I think I'm going to add a few more just because it really wasn't that many. Uh-oh. Someone in the chat asked what we're making. We are making walnut bread. We are making walnut bread. I want to talk a little bit about this walnut bread um, before we do some more donation stuff. So I'm actually going to come over here because that's going to go. Can the chat, can, can the chat on Twitch... Is Twitch up? Are we going on Twitch? I think so. Yeah. Can the chat on Twitch, because I just want to single them out, uh, set a timer for 15 minutes and, uh, and let me know when you they're You guys got to help. All right, let's see. What do we got? Eight thousand seven hundred forty. We're, we're that whoa. jumped recently. Okay. <laughs> I'm they're trying to in. keep track of it. Yeah. No. What we're, am I doing over here? Uh, you're hanging out while that oh, goes oh, 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 for 15 oh, minutes. Next. Okay, can you hit camera three? We're on camera three. Oh, I think we're going to mix mics here, so I'm going to go over here. Okay. Um, I could take you down. I, I, I'm, can I go upstairs? Because I... Do you want to go upstairs? No, okay. <laughs> you can. If you, if you want to go upstairs, you can go upstairs. Is that loud? Is that annoying to people? Can they hear that? Is anybody annoyed I mean, by the mixer? I mean, we're in the kitchen. This is what happens I in guess. the kitchen. I guess, okay. okay. Just, just, as long as you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you Please fine. Sir. Let us know if we can hear uh, Kevin properly, guys. Thank you with the mixer. Okay, I'm going to get it closer to my mouth. How's that? Yeah, you sound good. Okay. We're here. I'm going to go in this corner. You read me some stuff. All right. Okay, can you hear me now? Kristen yeah. Stifle donated okay. five bucks. They say one dollar? Make it five. Looking, <laughs> looking forward to the rest of 20, Charity Land 2023. Was that? They, they, made, they, they donated five dollars? 
Let's see. Yes, they donated five. That's very nice. Because they couldn't believe the one. They're like, who would give one? we got to make it five. It is $10 to get your thing read. Oh, okay. But that is very nice. We appreciate that. Anyway. And also, if they're raising the bar from one. All right, we got Taylor King, 2625. Hi, everyone. My question is, where did Kevin get all his vintage cookbooks? One of my hobbies is bacon, so I'd like to collect some for myself. eBay. eBay. And then let me show you what I'm working with. eBay and one from me, I think. The only two are these two are the only vintage ones. We also have a vintage Knott's Berry Farm uh, blue boysenberry pie. Nope. Boysenberry bread recipe from a vintage Knott's cookbook that I found on Reddit. I do not have that cookbook, but I do have the recipe, and it's right. Don't know what's actually in here. One sec. <laughs> These are my taxes. Sorry. I was gonna say it's. I just pulled up YouTube. There you go. So this is our boysenberry bread recipe. Uh, can somebody ask the Twitch uh, how much time's left on my timer? I mean, it's only been a couple of minutes. Yeah. 1341 remaining. Are you on Twitch? Yep. Thank you. All right, give me something. All right, hold on. Let's Wait, I, I kind of want to check in on the walnut bread. Yeah. I mean, you're cooking the bread. You got to pay attention to it. Okay. Hold you know on. who didn't pay attention to what they were cooking and it really blew up in their face? John Progress. <laughs> He wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He had a turkey in the oven. He was focusing on showing off some like cool new technology. Yeah. And it was the too problem busy is, is I don't and know what the texture is supposed to be. For bread? Yeah. No, yeah. not for bread. For this bread. The, uh, like bread plus a little Just lumpy with walnuts. Because it. it's it's pretty good. And the question is, as I'm gonna get away from that. As the question <laughs> is, as I need, is the because because when you need things, yeah. in my experience. It can go two ways. Either it becomes drier because you're mixing in flour or because you're emulsifying, I don't know if that's the right word, but because like the oils are eventually like, getting, making their way into the, the matter that is the dry ingredients, it actually makes the, uh, the dough softer the more you need. Yeah. So I don't know if that's what's gonna happen here, but. That's scaring me a little bit. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> We got Andy Roffel with 1575. Hey, Charity Land team. Not sure if any of y'all are experts on character meet and greets at Walt Disney World, but I oh. noticed something recently in the parks, and I'm not sure if it's a thing or not, so I wanted to hear your thoughts. Generally, you see all seven dwarves appear together, but it was... <laughs> you see all... <laughs> just standing appear right together. the camera. <laughs> but I was at Magic Kingdom recently, and I saw Dopey and Snow White without the other dwarves, which I thought was interesting because Disney is so deliberate with things like that. Now... This is a this is an inside joke. He's not the, here to yeah. he's not here to tell us this. But if Dan was here, he Dan Dan if you just joined us is is currently in Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely cut him to this. <laughs> uh oh. Are we good? Are walnuts safe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Twitch chat, pause the timer. Good call. <laughs> I broke it. I broke my mixer. No. no, there's what? No, it's really broken. What? Mm. <laughs> Didn't plan for that one. Well, it looks like we're doing it the seventies way. Yeah, I was gonna see, well, I think uh, they had the recipe up. has a stand mixer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I... Get to need and... Well, for some good news... Noel maybe Hart it's just Hart. overheated, hopefully. Noel Hart with 105. Glad to see Charity Land is back and raising money for a great cause as always. And which was one of my favorite Defunct Land videos, so I'm very excited for more of Kevin's Kitchen. Happy holidays. Well, Kevin's Kitchen's getting more acoustic over there. It's about to get real analog <laughs> on the Kevin. He's running through every recipe in his head now and everything <laughs> he's going to have to manually do. I, I put <laughs> four different breads. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get kneaded and mixed in by hand like they did the old days. Oh, and by the way, this is my mixer. Right. Not, not, the, the, not the houses. Not the castles. They didn't have those. Zin Weeble, 2625. Hey, Kevin and friends. Happy holidays and happy holidays and new year. For a question, who inspires you among fellow documentarians and filmmakers? Ooh. That was for you, Kev. Who inspires me as far as documentarians go? Mm -hmm. And other filmmakers. Other filmmakers. Man, that's hard. 
Um, I wish I could give you like the correct like letterbox on the rot red carpet answer where it's like, <laughs> oh man, this guy knows his stuff. Um, oof. I'm of course blanking. Brett Morgan. I really like Brett Morgan's 30 for 30 that he did on weird thing to talk about right now on the on the OJ on OJ the day OJ drove the Bronco. Um, <laughs> it's a really great documentary. I've also seen his uh, Moon Age Daydream, which is the David Bowie stuff. Um, and so, uh, as far as documentarians go, I like Brett Morgan's stuff. Um, filmmakers. I like Brad Bird's movies. <laughs> okay. Uh, you yeah. know? Um, two things. One, everybody's appreciating your kneading style and the slapping you're doing. Yeah. Two, we have officially... Uh, broke ten thousand dollars. Are you $10, serious? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand seventy three dollars. Yeah. Damn it! That means I have to make the fourth bread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank you, everyone. Yes. Fifty two fifty from anonymous. What's your top three parks you? My mixer already? used to do that. Turn it as fast as it will go, then back down to where you need it. That's I mean, are you joking? Maybe, maybe it's just. I mean, I read a, I read a couple of other things in the chat saying like the the teeth and the gear sheared off or oh like the it's just the plastic dead? the plastic part I don't know it's the internet I don't I don't know if you can we'll just YouTube it here that'll be the segment <laughs> listen if we're good enough to make stuff for YouTube we're gonna have to learn from it. I mean we'll cross that bridge when we get to it he's got to need some dough yeah. There you go. There you go. I know, okay, first off, the method I was doing was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the method. All right, Rob, do you want to answer this one first? What are your top three parks and ones you want to visit? <laughs> um, uh, sure. Uh, my top three parks are Tokyo Disney Sea and Disneyland and I guess Epcot mm, now. <laughs> now definitely. My three would yeah, yeah. be uh, maybe Hollywood Studios would be my three. All right. Yeah. Sorry, I read somewhere that I should slap it against the counter. I know this <laughs> method. You can go like this and then fold it over like envelope style. Bread ASMR. What I was doing was fine, by the way. I, I guess from Also, if you're going to... Oh, I forgot to mention this. If you think I'm doing something wrong, tell me through a $10 donation. <laughs> <laughs> It's totally fine to it. criticize me, but it's not okay not to donate. <laughs> or say, hey, I shared the stream on Twitter. You're doing that wrong. Guys, I guess I'm going to... I was going to say, are I, you seeing Something the, big happened. Are you seeing the chat right now? My target tone. Everybody this, wants uh, you at target. Okay. I'll be like that. Who is the Using guy? Using whose money? I don't know if I can <laughs> afford a new mixer. Yeah, it's, a, it's a KitchenAid. It's Twitch a KitchenAid. These things are expensive. Yeah, they're not cheap. I thought I was working Somebody at Target. Somebody on Twitch said you can get a new one for 30 bucks at Walmart. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think so. Not a KitchenAid. Not a KitchenAid. Not this one. Hey, Kev, top three parks and three you want to visit. <laughs> Somebody just said, don't overmix it. Okay, that's enough. Twitch okay. The timer. So first off, just so everybody can see it, was that the Twitch timer? No, no, I told people to resume because they all paused. How long do I have? I mean, I think you're pretty good at this point. If it was in the mix, it would have been another five. You're a chef, Kevin. You gotta feel it. Does it feel ready? It feels oh, good. Oh, okay, good. ready? Ready? Look at that. Oh wait, no. Go, take me to this cam. Camera three. Ready? Yep. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. It's gotta bounce back, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to hit it that hard. There you go. It bounced back a little bit. It's fine. Okay, this going in a bowl. Yeah, the good point. We don't need a KitchenAid for the stream. We got 210 donated anonymously. So glad to support an amazing cause. Best of luck in the cooking efforts. We got you. <laughs> Dan is in the chat just suggesting fraud right now. <laughs> we can't do that, Dan. That is Turn dough onto a lightly floured board and cut into 60. Okay. Cover and let stand for only 15 minutes. That's not correct. What were? That's because every, you know every you home was so hot in 1979 when they wrote this cookbook. You gotta let it rise, right? Yeah, but like that's not gonna rise that fast. They didn't have central air back then. They're like, yeah, that'll make up the difference. Oh, okay. so you're saying 15 is too short? Yeah. Okay. Where's my? Adjusted for inflation, every recipe is five degrees cooler. Actually, people don't know. 
All right, YouTube chat. Somebody take a photo of this, and when I think it's doubled, I'm gonna show it to you, and you tell me if it's, I mean, it's not gonna double. Let's see if it rises. This is so sad. Why? My poor kitchen. I know. <laughs> Maybe it's repairable, just not tonight. Man, you are really like. It did serve you well. <laughs> you're <laughs> just like totally preparing it for not having it. Where is the the cling wrap? Mm. So it's back here. No, that's the parchment paper. Jack, do you know where you put the clean clean is wrap? Is it on the? Is it hanging off the stove? Oh, right it's now? behind my iPad. Oh. Perfect. Okay, you got anything more in the chat? Yeah, we got Sarah Kaiser with twenty six twenty five. Hey y'all, question for Kevin. In creating Journey to Epcot, which vignette was the most enjoyable to bring to life? Thanks oh. and good luck with sick loaves of bread. <laughs> We're on it. Um, good question. Most so Journey to Epcot Center. To do, I guess, to bring to life. Which vignette or which sequence? I'm gonna guess that they mean, I'll, t I'll say both. Yeah. So the vignettes are the ones where it's like a live action recreation and the sequences are the ones where it's like Shadow Puppets laser. I will say that the laser was the most satisfying sequence to bring to life just because it was the most like immediate, like you, it was a real laser, so you actually got to see the laser on the wall. We got Danae Marajar with- um, But as far as vignette, one sec. Sorry, no, sorry. I, uh, gotta create a little seal here. It's not, this isn't working very well. My cling wrap won't clean, okay. Okay, 15 minutes, Twitch chat, Twitch chat, start a 15 minute timer, please. Get on that Twitch chat. There's the hygiene. See, it's happening. This will be fine. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> you washing your hands. Yeah. We'll be fine eating your bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and as far as vignettes go, they were all very difficult because they're all like live action recreations. I think the most, the, the most fun was the easiest, which was the card walker's desk and just throwing the, 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 black, uh, the black hole script onto the table. Anyways, thank you for that question. That was very nice. Danae Barjar, 21 bucks. No questions, but I look forward to this stream every year. And thank you for doing these. Thank you for donating. We appreciate that. Yeah. We got another 2625 anonymously. I'm donating from the future. Don't make the hand wish. The integrity of the space-time <laughs> continuum depends on it. Well, they said it anonymously, so I mean, if you were a time traveler, that's how you'd do it. Well, it's probably because it's me. So you're welcome for that donation. Well, yeah, because if I saw a Kevin Perger pop up donate, I go, "What are you doing?" Dan just pointed out we didn't we didn't cover the rest of the dwarf question because we were like overcome with the oh, stand yeah. mixer. So, little known fact, but none of the dwarves can be seen on their own without each other in Snow White, with the exception of Dopey, who can be seen with Snow White. This is news to me. It's news to a lot of people. Nobody's ever heard of this before. <laughs> I think it. And now everybody knows. Yeah, not this time. Secrets out. <laughs> we all put the camera on me. I have to taste this. Okay. For a second, I thought he said, "Put the camera on me." That would have been real interesting. As he tastes. <laughs> Although he's he's got his back turned to the camera, so we could have left it up there. Put it back on me. How did it taste? That's yeah. not good. <laughs> what? Hey, well, there's no backing out of this. Yeah. You, you charge forward, man. We cook, or you cook, we eat. It has a weird aftertaste. That makes you... Like, your... like what? I don't know. Like the 70s. It does. <laughs> no, honestly, it, it tastes a little bit like I'm eating like a 70s action figure. A different I mean, era's <laughs> palate is on there. Oh my gosh. Ugh. We got Ryan Grove. Oh, I didn't like that very much. <laughs> well, you know, that might not be good. I mean, it's great. Loads. I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited for this finished product. <laughs> oh. All right. I have faith. It'll come back in the last last act. That bread when it rises. When it rises again. Kevin, Journey to Epcot. This is from Ryan Grove. Fifty-two bucks. A symphonic history was amazing. I look forward to watching it again and again for years to come. And thank you to everyone on this stream for donating your time and talent to help kids. Happy holidays. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Peyton Enix, 21 bucks. Have you ever considered doing content on Silver Dollar City Rides? I'm guessing that's for you, but I guess we're all qualified to answer that one, actually. Um, yeah, well, I really want to do Celebration City someday. What is Celebration City? Celebration City 
Okay, this is gonna be amazing to you two because you don't know about this, but Silver Dollar City and Celebration City were sister parks in Branson that existed at the same time. And it, it was like a, Silver Dollar City is like the Old West and then Celebration City, I think it's turn of the century. And it was like at night you would go to Celebration City because that park was open at night and Silver Dollar City was closed during the day. Oh. So it was like this, you know, bespoke experience where you would have to, you know, and then it closed. You had a transfer. Well, it's actually very similar to what happens nowadays when you're at Magic Kingdom and it closes at six and they say, hey, everyone just go down. Oh my God, gosh, I'm gonna have to cream this butter by hand. Okay, one sec, I gotta wash this real quick. Nice. Okay, I gotta get to making the boysenberry bread or else we're never gonna get to the fry off. Yeah. We got Matt Jackson with 1103. My favorite theme park food is the frozen hot chocolate at Holiday World in Splash and Safari. What are your guys' favorites? Ooh, holiday I have specific? To cream butter by hand. Yeah. I don't. I just went to Epcot and they were doing the Festival of the Holidays and they have a like toffee, like a chocolate cookie toffee yeah. thing. That I was, was pretty good. I was enjoying at Epcot also the uh, like the Thanksgiving kind of turkey thing in the America area. Oh yeah, yeah. At the booth, that's pretty nice. They're also doing like really good with. You get your money's worth now. I feel like yeah, more often than not, it's not like Definitely there were days there. where it's like, oh, it's uh, you know, come to Italy and you're gonna get three raviolis for seven dollars, and that's you a know. good deal. Though. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I feel like they've been improving. So the okay. festival of the holidays are usually, I feel like they're they've always been bigger portions than like food and wine. So. That's true because it doesn't have to run for you know five months. months. Yeah. <laughs> That is so much butter. Should I have half this recipe? If that's what your heart tells you. Well, we're be oh, this no. Oh, I need to. Okay, I have to. I have to. I have to because this is gonna make four loaves. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we have we have four people here, and so we're not all one loaf. This is like you know. I'm gonna hand each of you a loaf and say, okay, try your loaf. Thank you, thank you. I needed this. I think it's safe to say none of us felt physically well after all the mozzarella sticks those yeah. first few years. Bulk. And I could feel that, like, in, in your heart, you kind of wanted there to be some sort of replacement or just removal of that. And now it's going to be an obsessed, like, an obscene amount of bread loaves every year. And we're going to have to eat them all. And yeah. we're going to be wishing that it was mozzarella sticks by, like, next year. Yeah, the loaf was preordained when he made that beef wellington. It came out looking just like a loaf last time. We said loaf too many times on stream. Yeah. We got Aiden Isaacs, 2625. Hey, Kevin, I was wondering what inspired you to switch to full documentaries, if anything, I guess. What inspired you? Why did you switch over? Uh, well, it's not a complete switch over because I still am trying to make short film videos. It's whatever the narrative tells me to do. As, as abstract as that sounds, I really, it's really when I find a topic, I research it to its fullest extent, and then the runtime kind of reflects that. It's not something where I try to find an, a 90 minute story. Yeah. It is weird how that works out sometimes, where it's like you, you, you never really set out for a, a length, a duration, but you'll end up with kind of what you always get. It's weird. All right, we got 1050 donated anonymously. Garfield's Nightmare Lives in My Mind rent free. Thank you for the content and thank you for your annual Christmas stream. Thanks. Thanks. We got Alexander Rice with 1050. To start, happy holidays to all of you and thank you for doing this stream. I truly love the things you've created over the years and everything you make is fascinating and brings me joy when I have been stressed. A question. A question I do have is, what has been the most fulfilling project you have worked on so far? I guess that's for you, Kevin. Most fulfilling project so far? That's a very emotional question. I don't know if I can name one. Um, Fast Pass was probably the one where I felt the the response and the the response outpaced the effort. Mm. Like for and for a long time, I was like, man, I worked so hard on this. That's a two million view video. I deserve those two million because it took me like seven months. Yeah. And then after a while, like that video, people love it, which is so nice. But after a while, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I don't feel like I gave this much effort to it. So it's like on that hand, the response was just so much. And it's not just the view count. It's also that people like still tell me that they like it. Yeah. So it's not just that like it has a good thumbnail, which is so that's the one where I felt like the effort, like the view, the views outpaced the effort. Same with Disney Channel. And then other times I feel like it's like right on the money. And then there's a few gems that I think, you know, more people should watch, but I'm not complaining. I feel very blessed. 
Although I could, if I had one wish, you know what my one wish would be? A uh, working KitchenAid stand mixer? Well, a working stand mixer right now. <laughs> hey, oh, man. Maybe it Christmas is a, it magic. It would be a business write-off. Okay. <laughs> so cream butter in a large mixing bowl. Add sugar and vanilla and mix until light and fluffy. Okay, I need half a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of sugar. What's one and a half divided by two? That is three-fourths. Three-fourths. And then I am running way behind. <laughs> We're, oh, by the way, this stream's going to be on until 10 or yeah. later if you keep donating. We might have to go into overtime. We have quite a lot of donations nice. and questions and things of that nature. Brian Walton, new subscriber and loved the content. Really enjoyed the latest video and was wondering what the reception was to the experimental style for Journey to Epcot. Good enough to do again or something like that in the future? Is that even a question you could answer quite yet? Really? Uh, so I mean, fresh. I can show you how I feel at this very moment. I feel that the reception, people generally, the, the, the overwhelming thing I got back is they were happy that I tried. And some people loved it. Some people didn't dig it. But the general consensus seemed to be that they want me to keep experimenting. That doesn't mean I'm going to make a video without any narration again. Um, so it's a mixed, kind of a mixed bag. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's just too early to yeah. catch off the press. Well, it's would I make one like that if the story if the story wanted it? I just felt that story that that time in history wanted it to wanted to be told like that. I know that sounds very like uh, heady, but that's not what I'm trying to. I just want you know it felt like that's the best presentation. It really yeah, it fit for that. But I would never be like okay, I'm going to make an experimental documentary. I'm going to choose a you know Knott's Berry Farm and I'm going to make a, <laughs> a you know experimental thing about that. It's like if the story wants to be told that way, I'll tell it. Yeah. Sam Mitchell, 1050, one of my most niche or niche brags is being one of the first 10,000 subscribers of Defunct Land. Oh. Happy holidays, King. Oh, Good that's so out. nice. Original 10,000. That means the channel wasn't even called Defunct Land yet. It was called Kevin Perger. <laughs> Visit thepurge.com, everybody. So, so donated 50. How's my seconds. audio? Is it okay? Audio yeah, I mean, when, when you got your... your you know, your chin's down, it's a little hotter, but you're good. Okay. Can you hear me breathing? Yeah. I mean, oh this is gosh. this is part of the experience that yeah. we're taking people on now. Gordon Ramsay never had the guts to get that intimate while cooking with the audience, so you're already ahead of him. Yeah. So, so, 1575, dear Kevin, thank you so much for putting this charity stream on and entertaining us all while doing so much for a good cause. I love your content and look forward to every new video. As you have... As you have not gotten any mean comments yet, I would love to have the honor of being the first. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, they say simply, your stinky kind of guards. So. so if we appreciate that. That's nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. If there's going to be a first mean comment, you would hope it's in good faith like that. So we're, we appreciate it. Graham Burry, 2625. Can you shout out my roommate, Robert, in Seattle? Robert, shout outs. Shout out, Robert. Everyone, everyone shout give out, a shout Robert. out to Robert. I messed up. What'd you do? What happened? I got a few of the eggs and the, thing, the, the, the things in the egg. Whatever it's called. The thing on the outside of the egg. The shell? The, the shell. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is like uh, you know how they do those interview shows where they try to get people like in like compromising situations because they think it'll be more honest. Uh -huh. When in reality, it's just less focused. Uh -huh. It's like that. Like, you know how they do that? Like, they have like, the entire genre of show, it's like, I mean, it's, know, it's the hot run. sauce one. Right, right. It's hot ones, but they have one with like puppies. And it's like, let's see what happens when we, like, poison Paul Rudd. And we ask him <laughs> questions while holding the anecdote. And it's like, oh, man, he said a different favorite movie. This guy's great. Like, who cares? Okay, how am I going to get these out of here? Uh, actually, you threw it. It's good. Uh, you can use eggshell to get eggshell out. Uh, I know, but it never works for me. I've heard that rumor. I mean. I got one out. I can confirm. It, it works for me. Jack, you're the only one that has to eat this. Remember that. All right. Okay, I got him out. Jessica Burke with 5250. This is a special bunny from Patreon. Wow, that's they great. Say. They say, thanks for all you do for charity and the channel, of course. My question is, what's the best place to eat in the Magic Kingdom? I'm going soon for the day and need a uh -oh. place to, to find food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go. Um, the Magic Kingdom is a, is, a, is a wonderful park, and the Walt Disney Company is so nice to, to partner with Give Kids the World. <laughs> yes. If I could eat anywhere on property... If, if there was like a black hole that is the opposite of Magic Kingdom, that's where I would choose. Uh, Skipper Canteen is the one that I've, that I've only, is, is okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
it's decent. Well, you it's just don't have the walnut bread anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, that park is just the attraction isn't the food. Also, although they're still using recipes from the 70s, like yeah. I am right now. Yeah. And if you've ever wanted to. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted this to be a chill street. <laughs> okay. There's no problem if the mixture separates a little bit at that point. Man, this has real confidence in me to, <laughs> to do it hard enough for it to separate. Like, it's weird that it says that. Like, that's an official Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry bread where it's like, hey, don't worry if this is wrong. Doesn't that feel low, like, hey, nice has, and... Has my 15-minute yeah. timer on the bread gone off yet? Yeah. Twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has. Okay. We're also, like, um, if you need uh, motivation to donate, we're creeping up on $11,000. We just passed the Oh, we just passed 11,000. I don't think nice. the graphics this updated yet. This but is going really well. Okay, so I'm supposed to cut this into six separate pieces and let it double in size. We're just saying one more minute. Oh, well. Are you? S yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might just be cranking you, by the way. I don't know if we can trust them. They're in charge. They're in charge. All right. Okay, so now I need to add half a cup. Okay. I forgot this recipe calls for sour cream. Sour cream? For bread? For our chips. You're, you made a face that sounded different than what you said. You went, oh, sour cream. And yeah, like, like I don't... It's, it's, it, sour cream is, like, used in... So we view sour cream different than the past view sour cream. Very Because sour cream in the past, when people said sour cream, they said, who's making the cinnamon rolls? And today we say, you know, who's making tacos? Or right, you right. Yeah. It to that, Did you got uh, the Lay's? Uh, Where are they at? My Ruffles? But like, you know, they would, or yeah, or like something with potatoes or, you know, but they, they it was like a, uh, I'm pretty sure like there's a lot of sour cream cinnamon roll recipes. All right, bread timer is up. Okay, thank Officially. you. Officially. <laughs> okay. Uh, on top of the fridge. <laughs> is, everyone in, is everyone entertained? Are they having a good time? They're loving yeah. it. Okay. All the Twitch chat just keeps going beep, 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 timer. <laughs> That's fun. The yeah, Twitch chat has turned into a timer themselves. How many viewers do we have on Twitch? Uh, 125. Nice. That's my usual crew. You we got about two we large We don't discriminate. We like both yeah. YouTube and Twitch. I feel like in the YouTube chat, they're beginning to build a lore about the stand mixer. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What I can't gone? follow it. Yeah. There's a lot of people well, who... I'm glad you all have your memes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a stand mixer. <laughs> Some did suggest going to get a hand mixer. Oh, I have one of those, but that's pretty far away. Darren, I'm going to give you my personal home address. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need to make six of these. All right. <sighs> Two well, for each of us. If a little more walnuts get in them, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Dan's starting a uh, conspiracy that you staged the breaking of the stand mixer. He just wanted to do it himself. He's hands on. Hey, while oh, we're speaking about shoot. while we're speaking about knots, what's your guys' favorite knots shoot, ride? Shoot, shoot. Get back to I have never been. I know. I want to go really badly. Makes it hard. What's to that? Answer. What was that? What was that sound? What? Did you hear that? Hear what? Nope. Maybe it was that. I have no it idea what sound. you're talking about. I think he's losing it already. I think we're one recipe well, in. I we think did a 24 hour it. live stream just a minutes prior to this. We wrapped up, so he's already. Like, yeah, a that, was, that was probably a bad idea. Yeah, these marathons. Okay, now, okay, so now I'm feeling like this isn't a big loaf. That's what I was saying earlier. Maybe they're tiny loaves. It's a theme park, right? Like you get a little loaf like this, and it's for the table of four or People, something. They you know, were smaller back then. Have you seen the doorways? It's a con. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. We got what? what did you just say? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> a little bit of column B, column B. Little bit. <laughs> you said that like Colonel San Sanders like choking on something. Oh, I'm going to be all the column B. Justin McElroy with another $1,000 donation or just another one of those. I don't know. Second one. Justin McElroy? Justin McElroy. No, Justin McElroy. That, my brother, my brother, and me. And oh, okay. Is that... I mean, is that the is that accurate, the accurate pronunciation? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna. That's accurate pronunciation. I know he likes Disney because I listen to him a bit, Bam. Oh. Been listening to him a bit, Bam, since episode one. Been listening to him since uh, he was doing the Joystick podcast um, nice. like years ago. 
Yeah. Well, I apologize, Justin. Sorry, I'm like But thank you for the huge donation. Starstruck. They say Defunct Land was such a big inspiration and resource for a recent actual play podcast I ran. Well, there you go. Okay, well, that feels like... <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a different podcasting, Justin. <laughs> no, because he also... Man. No, no, I know. That's very nice. That's super nice. Yeah. I just... It was, I was... I heard that name and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Damn, was, wait a minute. They say, they say they owe it all to you and you're outstanding. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Well, that's so nice. I'm really glad that they, wa they watch the videos. That's so, that's so kind. Heck yeah. Kate Anderson uh, with 1575. Hi, gang. Super cool of y'all to do these streams. Twitch, I need you to... Take a picture. Somebody in the Twitch chat, take a picture of this and tell me when it's double in size. <laughs> please. Please, me. please, please take a photo, please. Please tell me when this doubles in size. Uh, ask me in an hour. We have no, all our timers are being used. Hey, Anderson with 1575. Hi, gang. Super cool of y'all to do these streams. I'm a huge fan. Your Disney Fast Pass video is undoubtedly one of the best videos on all of YouTube. How did you get Pack into it? Pack it up, YouTube. How did you get into making these documentaries, and what is your favorite part of the process? I love the way you pronounce documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how it was going to end. We've all done it once. Listen, it happens. Um, how did I get into making these? You know, for a long time, I don't know if I've ever told this story. For a long time, I thought I was going to go into narrative filmmaking, the traditional film industry, and that's why like, I started the Funk Land, and that's also why I started not using my face and basically, you know, doing it like this because I was like, oh, well, I'm eventually going to make, you know, actual stuff in the real television industry and I don't want my IMDb to be mixed or I don't want people to find these silly little YouTube videos. Yeah. And then eventually I was like, I really like making YouTube videos and I like making these and I like talking about theme parks and then eventually I just put more of my effort and time into them. And this is kind of what it's become. I've always made, I made documentaries before Defunctland though, so that also probably helped that. Um, did that answer that question? Yep. Yeah, favorite part of the... Well, actually, what's your favorite part of the process? Oof. Um, my favorite part of the process is, like, weaving the narrative and, like, taking in stimuli and taking in resources and then, like, creating the narrative. I really do not like to do videos or histories of, like, things that already have their narrative written unless I feel like I can add to it. Although I will. It's just... It's more fun to not do that. Um, okay, three cups of flour. That's... I need one and a half cups of flour. Yeah, typically my favorite part of the process, I'm sure you can agree, Rob, is when you hit upload. That's like, oh, that's the best part. No, no, because then I have to go in and I've got to set up all of the metadata and then you've got to, like, align all of the subtitles. And Okay, it just says flour. I'm going to assume it's all purpose because I'm also running out of wet bread flour. I mean, it's right in the name, all purpose. Yeah, we're ready to go. That's not yeah. what that It can be used for all purposes. Yeah. It doesn't mean you... Liquid it doesn't mean there are no other bread... <laughs> There is no purpose that it could not be used for. Did you know that all-purpose, I'm pretty sure all-purpose is like an American thing. In Europe, they have different, like, bread based off of protein content. And it's, it's, and so, like, all-purpose is something I think is like an American invention. Hmm. All right. We got Miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have... Okay. <laughs> what am okay. I saying? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, they're better than us. We get it. Miles Rende with 5250. Kevin, this is definitely entertaining. Keep it up. All Thank right. you. I appreciate that. Sheridan Gibson, 2625, in order of Kevin's e-clout, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji. Those are typed out, by the way, heart emoji. And I will <laughs> differentiate those two because they mean different things by now. Okay. That, that, well, that was super nice, and, and I appreciate it. I'm glad this is entertaining. I'm really worried that I'm, like, doing a bad job as an entertainer. Um, half oh. a cup sour cream, 16 tablespoons in a cup, half divided by four divided by two. That was so way that, too no, fast. 16 divided Hold by on. 2 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. Yes. 4 tablespoons of sour cream. Did we hit a I'm goal? not going to lie. I was talking yes. massive crap on this idea of putting sour cream. It smells so good. Nice. Um, since we passed 11,000, um, since we passed 10,000, are we getting a new apron? That was also such a nice donation from Justin. That was a huge donation. I mean, any, I mean everyone's... I, I don't want to differentiate by money, but that's a very kind uh, yeah. contribution. Everyone's contributions are kind. They're good, good boys. Definitely appreciate it. No, it's 10,000 got us the honey loaf bread. At 15,000, you get a new apron. Okay. They're trying to trick us. We got Aid Powell, 1050, with $10.50. Hi, Kevin and crew. Great to hear the actual real life voice of David McCullough from my favorite Ken Burns documentary. My question is. <laughs> 
My question That's is, funny. my question is, how would you fix the Disney's America Park to your liking? Would you add more oh horror? Would you add more harrowing stories of heartbreak, or do you think that Goofy being right next to a realistic slave exhibit is taking it a bit too far? Oof. Keep up the great work, and I can't wait to see your next documentary. Um, yeah, I don't know if there is any fixing. That's just a bad idea. I feel. Yeah, just scrap that whole thing. We got rocks. Okay, rocks. okay, real quick. Oh, I need to focus on me. This is big. Okay. <laughs> Hold the phones. Boysenberry Jam. It's not Knott's Berry Farm. Their shipping time was too long. Amazon delivered this very quickly. Um, I, I, does, I, need, uh, I need a taster. Jack, come on up here. The first of many things like, being tasted. I did this big like jar, like, oh, I'm going to get this jar. And it made the worst little sound. <laughs> I was expecting like, but it was like, boom. All right. All right. Can I just get a little off the uh, lid right here? No. Oh. Not officially, uh, not sanctioned. Where are the spoons? Yeah, they're right there in the bowl. Okay, you can, you can have a fork of it. Give me one fork. Can I hold the fork? You or? gotta get it on camera. Come on. All right. What do you think? I'm trying to place it. What's the closest berry? Do we know what constitutes a boysenberry? I think it's a mixture of berries. Yeah. I think it's like a crossbreed. Well, it is delicious. I mean, have you ever had cotton candy grapes? Yes. It's a little similar. I can see that. I imagine the scientist that make that looks just like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Which Willy Wonka? <laughs> That'll really definitely change. Gene Wilder. Shallow man. Shallow man. I mean, imagine you come into the lab and say, guys, you've got to taste this grape. It's just like cotton candy. Rob, get on over here. All right. <laughs> got to unwire myself from the board. That's fine. One teaspoon salt, half cup sour cream. How much? One cup of berry preserves. I feel like that's right. That feels like too much. You're going to try some boysenberry. It's boysenberry with the boys. <laughs> that's what you could have named this cream. Are you feeding me? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> boys and him. No. Just, just don't put your tongue out. Just open your mouth. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> more blackberry? No, I can give you blackberry. It's not blackberry. What, so I, what, I lost the prize? Nope, you didn't get anything. No, it's not a test. I just wanted you to taste it. <laughs> uh, it tastes good. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good because you I'm putting said, yeah. half a cup of this in the bread. Excellent. And part of me, part of me, because it calls for a full cup. And I, I mean, look at it's a lot of berries in this bread. Also, the recipe called for berry preserves. They didn't have that. This is jam, so it might be a little sweet. We had a pretty big donation from Ross Dexter, 525. Whoa! Bucks. Thank you for making some of the highest quality video essays on YouTube. Yes. I was temporarily paralyzed and stuck alone in the hospital at the start of COVID lockdown. And your videos helped me keep helped keep me sane as I slowly recovered. Journey to Epcot Center was great. Your passion and skill is evident. Can't wait to see what you do in 2024. Oh, well, that's so nice. Uh, I wish you a speedy recovery. It sounds like Heck you're yeah. already on the way well, up. Look, yeah, he said he was temporarily paralyzed. Okay, so that's, shout outs. that's, wow, that's awesome. Well, I'm so, so happy that you enjoyed the videos. That's, everyone's being so kind. We love I'm being guys. so erratic in the way I'm running around to make this. I've got to get these back in there. Oh, you're going to love this next one. Luke Miller, 26, 25. Love the videos, Kevin. I'm from Kansas City and always love the references to World of Fun. Keep it up. All right. Have you ridden the Orient or, no, not the Orient Express. The, <laughs> that was the name of a roller coaster. Uh, the Zambezi Zinger. Yes. That's my question back. Took me a second. Okay. So it wants half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which I think is a lot, but maybe they know what they're talking about. I mean, I've... Now, is that halved? It is. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. I have, I have a lot of things happening in my brain right Okay. Now. Oh, I'm going to like this one personally. We got 5250 from Anonymous. Great work with the stream. Can't wait to see the recipes. Question for Kevin. Thoughts on Maelstrom, the old ride at Epcot. What do you think? Oh, boy. Oh, that I've never. We need the straight. Never. I never wrote it, even though I went to Epcot while it was open. I never wrote it, and I've never seen a ride through. What? I'm keeping myself from it, bro. I don't. Why? I. I. It's. I do. You do this too, where we like. I know. Yeah. I don't know anything about the original like Journey into Imagination. I'm where like, because I'm I. It. I want to go down that rabbit hole in oh, in like 
in, in full. I don't want to do it like halfway. Yeah. This needs walnuts too. That's a great coincidence. Perfect. <laughs> they love the walnuts. Walnut <laughs> We're going to have so many loaves of bread with walnuts in it. Okay. I need to fill this up with three quarters of walnuts. And I already cut a bunch. Yeah. Oops. We got saffron Yettington. Again, Will apologies I go if I can't the get hospital. these right. With 26.25. So glad Charity Land is back. And I'm in the financial position this year to donate. Nice. Good for you. Appreciate all of you for giving your time and effort to such an amazing cause. Thanks. Thanks, Saffron. We appreciate that. Glad Thanks so much. And remember, let me give a quick shout out. Give Kids the World is an incredible organization. So you're all, I appreciate all the kind words about um, the channel. I really do. But I also want to make a uh, special note that your money is going to straight to an incredible organization. And uh, as you've noticed, if you've gone to the donation link, um, we do not handle the payments. It's all through Give Kids the World. They yep. get the money directly and they have an incredible record as far as getting that money straight to the cause, one of the best in the nation. And, uh, and so yeah, I just wanna make, uh, wanna just say that. And also, I mean, if you've ever been to Give Kids the World Village, it's an entire like theme park. Yeah, it's But it's a theme park that is specially made for these children who have these life-threatening illnesses, many of which have accessibility issues. And those accessibility issues are, are like addressed. They have rides, right, Aaron? You have like, yeah, yeah, you have rides that- Yeah, have accessible attractions. Yeah, you have four? Yeah, yeah oh, wow. four different rides. Uh, all of them are completely wheelchair accessible. Yeah, that's amazing. Nice. Yeah, my favorite, like, fun fact about the place, too, is they, you have an ice cream shop there that was designed um, together by Walt Disney Imagineering and Universal. And yeah. it's apparently the first and, I think, at this point, still only project that the two of them have worked together on, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. It, it is. Can, like, I, can I get a camera? Sorry. Oh. No, keep talking about it. Keep talking about it. I just want to You know, something that, that's really important about it being the ice cream shop that they work together on is we're in the place where happiness inspires hope, and ice cream is a, a mission-critical part of that happiness. You know, oh, everyone's yeah. happiest when they're having ice cream. Uh, and so what a, a great project for both of those organizations to collaborate on. Yeah, for sure. That was satisfying. And also, <laughs> and knowledgeable. Sorry, I was talking about that. <laughs> and what you said. Okay. Fold in walnuts. Fold. 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 We have 3570 donated anonymously. Thank you, everybody, for organizing this. Give Kids the World. It's very close to my heart. Kevin, will we be seeing a defunct land galactic star cruiser? Everybody asked for that, and I think so uh, one of my contemporaries might be working on one that will make people never ask me that again. So I, I have a suspicion that... That, that itch will be scratched that by I don't, somebody I, else. I don't know if she has announced it. I'm sure she, well, she's talked about it on Twitter. Jenny's doing a video on it. And I feel like once Jenny's video comes out, no one, because Jenny be actually got to go. And I really wanted to go just to like document it, but I could not justify the price tag. Rob went. I did. Rob? I, and he I came justified back. the price tag by splitting it five ways and all five of us scramming <laughs> into one cabin, which is was not a good way to spend a uh, Cream, a butter, and large bowl, okay. But it Fold was a cool walnuts, experience. Four batter into four loaf pans, but I only did two loaf pans which have been greased and lightly floured. Oh, they want me to flour the pans? Ugh. I hate when they want me to do that. I want to taste the grease, baby. Do it, well, I was gonna say do it your way, but this isn't Burger King. Nope. Nothing, nothing in here is getting. book stream. Yeah. No charbroil. No, I was, I was gonna like alter the recipes and I thought that would be <laughs> cheap. And I thought that would be cheating the audience. That's fair. At 1050, donated anonymously. Thanks for the great videos, especially the Disney theme song one. I'm happy to. Oh, help. that was the first shout out for Disney Channel. I appreciate that. Yeah. I've actually gotten more about Epcot than I thought I would. That's so nice. Okay, four loaf pants. Where did I put the mixture? Oh, there it is. <laughs> like a 3D. That would be like in a movie from like 2005, where you like watch it on DVD. Like, if you ever watch a movie from, like, 2005 on DVD, yeah. and you, like, see something weird happen, where somebody's, like... Right. And you're, like, what? what is... Why was that? And then you look it up, and it was... It was for the 3D, 3D version. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Spy Kids. Pirates <laughs> 4, when Blackbeard's yeah. sword Spy is right in your face. You're, like, that shot is weird. That's Spy Kids 3D with the claw? Yeah. <laughs> Put on your glasses. Paradox Optimist with 105 bucks. Thanks a lot. Wow. Just got paid today, so that means I can drop some cash here. Nice. Hope everyone's having a good time so far. We're feeling pretty good, right, guys? Yeah. I yeah. think we're doing good. Heck yeah. I feel that I've done something horribly wrong. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not what you want to hear from you, Chef. 
That was Remy in his hat telling him that. Yeah. I mean, the one, this smells amazing. Perfect. And, and get the camera off me so I can taste it. All right. I almost, <laughs> I almost wish we kept it on him because it just looks weird the way he turns away. <laughs> now, that is, that is astounding. Yeah. So great. Maybe it'll be great. So why do you think you did something wrong? It stopped being so 70s. Because I just didn't make them <laughs> enough. And I'm wondering, and it's like just batter. Will it rise? It's just it's focusing. No, it says batter. Oh, okay. All right. Bake at 350. I got to heat preheat the oven. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. This might be our first thing that comes out. Do you true preheat or like, I know people who they... They set it and then they just throw it in immediately, which no, that's always ridiculous. drives me crazy. You have to preheat. Yeah. You have to preheat. Okay, good. Strusel topping. Rules. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Are we to five o'clock yet? Uh, we're about uh, 25 minutes away. 435. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yeah. Mary Wishart with 105 bucks, almost 10k. Nice. I've been watching. I've been watching these streams since the beginning, and they're always a great time. Thank you for all you do, Kevin, Rob, and the crew. Also, hi, Corv. Thanks, Mary. Nice. Lou Dolly with 5250. Love your content. I look forward to every new video. Would you rather ride the original Journey into Imagination or Expedition Everest with the fully working Yeti, guys? Original Journey or Expedition Everest with the Yeti? I'm working? sorry, that's so unfair. Of course, Original Journey. <laughs> like, why would I ever? Who cares about the Yeti? The I mean, same <laughs> ride with just an extra. <laughs> it's just it's just an extra one effect yeah. versus an entire, you know, bespoke attraction. Second use of bespoke. I don't know why that's in my brain. I think it's because boysenberry. I think it That's exists. What, it exists like in my brain, in my filing system. Boysenberry and bespoke are very, very they're associated. Close. He's got boysenberry on the brain. I got, I got boysenberry what, on the brain. What about you on this? Both of you. Oh, that's a good question. I guess I mean I might again. I would admit it earlier. I don't I didn't know that much about the original journey. Um, so I, I'm kind of tempted to see the yeti because I mean, imagine that. Like imagine <laughs> that thing coming at you with that size. I didn't have to imagine it. I got to ride it. <laughs> and how was it? Is it worth it? Am I it the right was choice? Probably the only time on a roller coaster in my life that I like involuntarily screamed. <laughs> because yeah. I did not know that the Yeti was that large. And like when you get into that room, he's like on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. So it just looks like a small little almost like the Yeti at Disneyland Two or something. Of yeah. flour. And then the arm swipes at you and it right I mean I was you. you know, it was right when it opened, so I was younger, but yeah, no, it scared me. Well, hold on, Rob. I don't think we've we've recorded this, but we never actually released it. Can I talk about this? What? I mean, <laughs> I oh, I guess this wasn't your first trip to Animal Kingdom. Oh, are you talking about the book? So, Rob, <laughs> and, I, and I, I know you don't know this, but there's these things called the Birnbaum books, which are the official Disney guides. Right. And so there's the unofficial guide, which is the one you recognize, but then Birnbaum is another guide company, and it's the official guide. And they had a burn bomb for kids. And Rob... Four kids by kids. Four kids by kids where the kids gave you the review. And Rob was a burn bomb boy. I was a burn bomb boy. Yeah. <laughs> when it, I was in grade school at the time. And so part of it is we got to go to the Animal Kingdom before it officially opened. Although that's pre-Everest. So that's not when I And was it the called year. the Animal Kingdom back then? I think so. You said the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> um... It was cool. We got to stay at the boardwalk, and um, they treated us to a bunch of stuff. Every, every restaurant you went to, they'd get, like, one of everything for everybody to try. And then you had a little journal, and you had to write what you thought as, you know, an 11- or 12-year-old. And then they took it off, and they put it in a book. Nice. So I like to say I'm a published author now. <laughs> <laughs> From a young age, man, you were proud of you. He was ready to go. I think I wasn't. I think I was actually really bad at writing, they and I'm so surprised. Like, yeah. Why did we bring this kid? I What's don't that? understand. They could just tell the star power was coming through <laughs> early, and they're like, all right, snatch him up. Laura Worsfold with 1025. Kevin, could you tell us a joke? Well, there's only one joke that I know. Okay. Um, and it's the one that I made up. Well, I don't know honest. if this is any book somewhere, but if it is, they probably got it from me. Uh... What does rubber listen to on its iPod? What? What? Rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can tell when I made that joke because it has iPod in it. I've refused to change it. I've never done a new <laughs> update. 
It's a vintage joke. That's a vintage joke. I mean, that is an, that is an elderly joke. That vote, that joke could vote. Wait, uh, no. The, yeah, it could probably actually. We are officially over $13,000. We are at $13,083. You are all so generous. Nice, guys. Awesome. We're getting real close to the next apron. I know. <laughs> Enjoy your time with that. And I'm excited to see which apron it is because I've seen them all, but I don't know what's next. And so that's going to really speak to us about how he values these aprons, yeah. you know? But it's still exciting for us. Yeah. We had 1050 anonymously. Hey, thanks for the stream and your charity work. My question for all of you is what is your favorite and least favorite desserts? Ooh. One favorite, one least favorite, everybody. I'll say I'll say my favorite, my least favorite has got to be any type of like chocolate cake. Not exactly my style. Interesting. <laughs> not loving it. And I do appreciate some uh, some tiramisu. I gotta say that it might be my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna give a really pretentious, unique answer. <laughs> <laughs> is that my favorite dessert is a winter citrus tart using winter citrus fruits, um, just like you know, uh, specific types of citrus, and uh, and of the, and then it's like an almond base with like a tart. It's like an almond cream base. It's really good. All right. Well, what's your least favorite? Huh? My least favorite dessert? Yeah. I don't dislike anything, especially when it comes to dessert. Wow. Um, and I should have used a fork for this, but hey. <laughs> yeah, Jack's the only one eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I trust him, man. Um, I don't know. What is my least favorite dessert? What's yours? I said I don't like really any like chocolate, chocolate cake, anything oh, like well, that. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. That's, you're just trying to be unique. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. What am I going to do with all that? I don't like chocolate that much and a whole fluffy cake. And... I will say that sometimes cakes don't don't hit like they should. And I will, I'm, so I'm, this I'm, is the strudel topping. The st streusel. This is the streusel topping. <laughs> you can see that it's str I'm streuseling it right now. Alice in Wonderland with 2625. Thanks to y'all for helping a great cause. The Defunctland docs keep getting better and better. And I've got to shout out Val and the TTA Ivy Winter Discord crew. Happy holidays and have a GBBT. Have a gibbet. A great big beautiful tomorrow. <laughs> nice. That's classic. Yep. Okay, so I'm putting the streusel topping on top of one of the boysenberry loaves. I did not make enough streusel topping, but okay. We can compare them, one with, with the topping and one with that. No, I'm going to do both. Okay, bake in a preheated 350-degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, YouTube chat. <laughs> this one's on you. Don't lie to me. Set a timer for 45 minutes, please. Ryan Eldridge with 1050. Not at all a theme park question, but as a native Kansan, does Kevin prefer the Jayhawks or the Wildcat? Great stuff, thanks. Jayhawks or Wildcats, man? Jayhawks. I'm sorry. I mean, I was, uh, wow. no, I, no, yeah, Rock Chalk. No, sorry. I'm not, I'm not a, not a K-State Wildcat, unfortunately, for those that are. I hope that question, I hope you're, you're a Jayhawk. We got Luna C with 1575. Hi from Portugal. You're all awesome. Do you have any favorite defunct Disneyland Paris ride? Anything anything defunct at Disneyland Paris you guys like? Oh, they didn't close anything. They can barely. You know, <laughs> no. They uh, okay, right. you gotta take what they got. The original Phantom Manor is cooler than the current one, although I don't know if you could call it defunct. Yeah, not exactly. I honestly I can't name anything that's closed down over there, which either speaks to my ignorance or their uh all right, love I'll, of wait, the past. No, wait. Okay, YouTube, I need you to reset. I didn't put it in. <laughs> YouTube reset. <No. laughs> been sitting there. Yeah. Uh, it's at 3.30. I'm going to put it in. 3.35. Uh, go ahead and set a timer for 45 minutes right now. Okay, it's 5.30 about. All right. Ah. What'd you break? I didn't break anything. And first off, I didn't even break that. <laughs> it broke. It broke itself. I think it's done being, like, being bad. It's not. It's still yeah, broken. It turns out that's. I wonder not if how it locks. Works. Well, I know what you're getting for Christmas. Dan did point out that KitchenAid stand mixers are on sale right now, which makes sense considering the time of year. 
This is mixer breaking season. I'm gonna use this little one because I think it wants a little one. It just didn't have the heart to tell me. Okay. I'm half thinking I could have brought mine as a backup, but then if what you was that? Did you one, hear that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was the oven preheating. <laughs> Chris Martaw with 2625, Kevin and Defunct Land Crew, you are giving me so much joy with your projects over the years. Happy holidays and can't wait to see what's next. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Alex Beardson with 20 or 5250. Thank you all for the incredible Defunct Land videos and for partnering with a wonderful organization. No problem, we love doing it. We have a powerful rat donated 1050. <laughs> and they ask a very pertinent question Do you have a rat under that chef hat? I'll never tell. <laughs> Don't lie, this is a powerful rat you're talking to. Randy Tortilla, I'm loving these names. They're, they're getting experimental. It's an 20. experimental naming convention. It's borderline experimental. 2625, you're being hunted, quote unquote, the most dangerous game style, but you get to choose which theme park acts as the area. Which theme park are you choosing? Yeah, Battle Royale, guys. What you, which park are you going for? I love this question. That's this a is great incredible. question. Thank you, Randy Tortilla. I'm definitely going with the Magic Kingdom because you have the Utilidors. Yeah. So there's that a whole... That is so dumb. No. What? Why? Why? You get down there in the Utilidors, it's over. No, <laughs> I'm not... Listen, I'm not saying that it happens... So, right. <laughs> there's a whole other level now that you get to navigate to Do you avoid. remember that scene in Avatar where, like, it, it's like you think it's all over? And it's like... A, it, it goes across the battlefield at the end of the first Avatar and everybody's, like, dying and they're, they're falling and it's over that the Na'vi are going to lose. And then out from the forest comes all the animals. Mm -hmm. And they're like the rhinos and all that. That's me and Animal yeah, Kingdom it's... winning the dangerous <laughs> game. Yeah. I'm on top of one of the hippopotamuses. Yeah. Hippopotamuses. I think I skipped one of the syllables there. Well, each park has its own strengths and weaknesses. Like Magic Kingdom's smaller, so you're like, I don't want that one. But then you have the two levels. And then you got Epcot. Right. That's one dimensional, but you have all that space. Is this any bigger? Does the size of the park Is this, is this growing at all? How many people? Looks like it is. I would guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I hey, Twitch, is chat. this bigger? Hey, Derek, yeah, can you see if the Twitch says if this is bigger? <laughs> Twitch, personally, we're asking you. YouTube, please hold off. We'll give that a second. Yeah, the park, I mean, is, if you have the same number of participants in each park, then obviously a bigger Not park's going to help Has you. Has anybody <laughs> yeah, wanted... I think that's the one thing so everybody agrees on. Everyone's saying 25% bigger. Okay, good. Or a little. Okay. Um, <laughs> we... Okay, we need to start doing the thing that I said I would do, which is the sticky notes over 100. So, uh, oh yeah, okay. If you have a, uh, if if you, in the chat or on the Twitch, if you feel like, oh, I wanted a sticky note and I donated over 100, just tell us your donation name and we'll write it. If not, and you felt fine that we read it out loud, cool. But uh, we're gonna start doing sticky notes. So if you donate over 100 dollars and you want something written on sticky note, please from here on put sticky note colon and then write something very short and then like a name that you want us to write and we'll put it on camera. Yep. And also make it appropriate, but obviously. Okay, so this is good. Okay. Sonia says, wow, this is the first time I've ever heard anyone reference a plot point from the Avatar movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that's, that's, that's okay. $21 anonymously. Hey, Kevin, or Mr. Perger, if you prefer, in company. I've loved your vids for a while and actually bought, brought a FastPass video up in conversation with my dad, who is planning a sports complex with some small theme park elements and rides. He's keeping the paper FastPass idea in the holster in case rides end up getting too long. After I explained, it led to people spending money in other places whilst waiting for studies. I hope, I hope you and y'all's holidays are filled with cheer. All right, thanks. Well, good luck on the sports complex. I know. It's anonymous. We can't track what how that's gonna where that's going. Ashton Robinson with twenty twenty one dollars. I said I couldn't donate, but my dad offered to match my donation amount. We both just finished the Jim Henson miniseries and loved it. I Aww. cried at the end. LOL. I just wanted to say you inspire me a lot as an artist, and I find this so cool. Thank you for your hard work. Well, Smile. that's so nice. Everyone, you're you're being so kind. I appreciate that. I'm really glad you liked the videos. I guess that's why you're you're here. But also, that's also very nice. Mika Rosen with 2625. Thank you for the amazing films, Kevin. Enjoy the obscene amount of loaves. <laughs> the insane amount of loaves. It's obscene amount. We're gonna, it's going to be nuts. No, only one of them has nuts. Oh, they both have nuts, actually. This is, we're getting nuts with how nuts all this is. 
Is it a bad time to mention I have a walnut allergy? <laughs> Are you serious? No. <laughs> of course I like, think I'd wait until now point. to mention it. Because every one of these recipes is from like the 70s and they're obsessed with walnuts. Like, did they, did, did they find them recently? That's like all they yeah, had. That's a good question. You know how we're obsessed with truffles because, you know. It's new. Right. It's new. I mean, it's not new, but it's probably new to us. I don't know about truffles, how new they are, but it's a fad. Were walnuts a fad? I'm so over walnuts. Let's ask Siri how new are truffles. Okay. Next recipe. This is a ten, This is what you all get for getting the ten thousand dollars. We're making the honey coconut loaf, which is in the Tangora Terrace at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Funny fact. Fun fact is that this is actually a um, abandoned restaurant. Still to this day, like it's abandoned. I don't even think they use it for event space anymore. But there's like an abandoned building restaurant on Disney property at the Polynesian. And this is, they used to sell this honey coconut loaf, so we're gonna make it. Oh. Beat together, oh, I gotta beat stuff again. Did we have anybody that felt like they missed out on the sticky note, say? Oh, so, not that I've seen yet, okay, but if, we apologize in advance for Twitch that, guys. Either Twitch or on YouTube if you feel like you missed out on the sticky note. But D. Gleffer with 105 helping kids and helping Kevin get trapped in the Hamwich dimension again? Sign nice. me up. That's great. <laughs> yep, see, there you are. Can you see that on camera? Yep. Great. Who's there? Okay, so we are going to make one third cup of water. Two, how many loaves does this make? This, okay, see, this is, okay, so this was the walnut bread. Mm -hmm. Six loaves. Right. Honey coconut loaf, one loaf. So then they have to be tiny loaves. They don't have to be anything, and I don't like your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the kitchen right now, man. He's in charge. I'm not saying they have to be tiny loaves. I'm saying, logically, they must be tiny loaves. Yeah. Oh, okay, so now we're talking logically. So you think I'm not logical. <laughs> you think I'm being irrational. Where is the cup measure that I'm looking for? Oh, it's right here. This is my half cup. Did I not bring a third cup? Okay. Excuse the, yeah, there you go. We got two questions from Matthew Prower for Kevin. Any chance of covering, say, Pepper Ann next to Funk TV? Not exactly sure what that the Funk TV episode. I could use something shorter after that long winded Epcot experience. Oh, come on, man. Since you're covering the American Idol experience next, are you also going to mention the fact that the venue used to host a Doug Live show? Doug Live on the American Idol experience. I do mention that. All right, cool. We got Amber Hewitt with 1575. Question, what is a wiggle? And how do you handle such a ridiculous question? <laughs> Amber Hewitt, what's a wiggle? A wiggle is one of five of multicolored men who sing and dance interchangeably throughout the decades and have a ride. Interesting. I and mean, I knew that, but I was trying to think of another thing a wiggle could be besides just the motion. Yeah. Okay, third cup of water, two eggs, Oh! I almost dropped the bread. <laughs> then mean, we'd only have 10 loaves of bread coming our way. And that wouldn't be good. We're short. Tally Cats at 10.50. Not gonna lie, this stream was okay, but since the mixer broke and the rapid decline into madness has been my favorite part. Check out Mr. Mixer on how to fix it. <laughs> He's got great videos. Where does he YouTube? He's looking up stuff, just playing that on the stream. How do we fix this? Andy Nitty with 50, or 5250. Nice. Thanks for bringing Charity Land back. It's always my favorite this time of year. This is such a delicate egg. Well, I'm... <laughs> Don't blame the egg. It's the egg's fault. I'm a true uh, believer in... Folks, we are at right now $13,926. We're about $1,100 away from a new apron. Just as a heads up. Can we up. show them the menu real quick just to see what they get? Sure. Remember, we have to unlock the handwich. We still have to get to 25000 So yes. if you're sitting there wondering, well, when should I donate? It's if I don't get that handwich, we're not making the handwich. In order to make, I put the handwich behind a paywall because I know everybody would be making <laughs> jokes about it. Hey. And I said, well, if you're going to be funny, you better donate. Yes, for a good cause. In the meantime, you guys will Fourth be cup oil. Okay. Very satisfied with the apron changes. Those are going to be nice. Do you <laughs> smell that? What? Nothing yet. We're too far. Oh, my gosh. Now. It's delicious. It smells so good. 
And someone donated 100, so I go over there. 5250 <laughs> was donated anonymously. Hey, Kevin, only able to pop in for a short time, but I wanted to give some holiday cheer, and thank you for all the great content you give us. Epcot Symphonic was incredible. Can't wait to see what comes next. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and rip stand mixer. <laughs> Our hearts go out to it. Thank you, I appreciate that, and I appreciate the kind words about my stand mixer. It's a nice one, too. We will be saying a few words for the stand mixer if it doesn't get revived here. 1050, donate anonymously. Your long documentaries have been amazing. How much time, research, and work goes into them from Tammy? Roughly, if you had to average that, maybe. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I mean, Disney Channel, I would say, from you know conception to completion took five months, six months. Uh, Fast Pass from conception to completion took six months, and then... You know, Epcot was four years, conception to completion. So, nice. a, a while. <laughs> very, very. We got Michael Hess with 20, 26, 25. Hey, Kevin and friends. As a Canadian 90s kid, I love the defunct TV episode on Under the Umbrella Tree. Oh, oh. Under the Umbrella Tree shout out. Yeah. One of my family's fave shows. Are there any other niche, bizarre Canadian shows that have piqued your interest or just made you think, what the heck were they thinking? Oh, there's always weird. I mean, Canadian shows are very weird. I know that one of them, I think Nanoland is a Canadian show, and that is very popular right now. This is a lot of honey. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, it's called the honey coconut loaf, so I'll... Um, Nanoland is like the one... Have you seen there's like a meme now? Yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. That's from... A, I'm pretty sure that's a Canadian show. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's the same company that made Mr. Meaty that was on Nickelodeon. Oh, that show was wild, man. Mr. Meaty. That's my... If I had to make a request for a defunct TV, it's got to be Mr. Meaty. This better taste delicious because, I mean, look at how much honey this is. This looks like a commercial for honey. <laughs> not the app. We're not sponsored by this. No. Honey, the uh, the element. <laughs> it looked on camera like you had the cup turned and we're just pouring directly from the bottle into the bowl, just bypassing the measurement. Okay. And sugar. How much sugar? Two thirds cup sugar. I don't have a third cup, so I have to estimate. Michelle Elbert, 2625. Hello. Just yesterday, a friend at work created a Slack channel for recommending long form videos. I mentioned the Jim Henson series, and a fair chunk of us were gushed for like five minutes solid about the Disney Channel. They loved it. Jingle Docu Made Us Cry. Give Kids the World is an amazing organization. Happy holidays. Thanks, That's Michelle. That's so nice. Sam Eggleson, 1575. Hi, guys. Love your videos, Kevin, and really enjoying the stream. Here's a would you, here, here's a question, would you, ra or here's a would you rather question for you. Either all songs exist, but they are all performed by Pitbull, the famous artist. <laughs> okay. Or only one Pitbull song exists, but it's performed by every artist in their own cover interpretation. Three hearts. That's so I, I all like or Pitbull nothing enough. on Pitbull. I'll go all Pitbull. I'll go every song, but with Pitbull. <laughs> he is yeah. Mr. Worldwide. Well, he's also <laughs> Mr. 305. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't, they just don't give that title out. Doubt it. You earn it. Hey, can the YouTube chat tell me how much time's left on my timer? YouTube chat, we're counting on you. This is a lot of honey. I think you're at uh, 32 minutes. Do you hear that? That's Whoop. yeah. Whoop. Splish splash. I was you, but that doesn't sound like bread. Let's get this bread, guys. Well, it's not bread yet. So. No, but it doesn't even sound like. Well, maybe it was a looser bread back then. Who knows? You put too much honey in. Look, I mean, it looks like I made, like, a giant egg yolk. Well, we always have flour. Just dumping flour into the... Beat together water, eggs, mixed flour mixture. Mix flour with baking soda and gradually to... With, with mix flour. I'm not going to do that like that. Three cups of rye flour. I'm going to put one cup of rye flour, and then I'm going to do one thing, and I'm going to do it, because I don't have that many bowls. Where's my rye flour? Uh. Sam Guarno with 21 bucks. Kevin, your ability to weave heartwarming messages into your videos, even those like the Garfield Dark Ride video, takes your work to the next level. And I appreciate, I appreciate it more than I could ever truly express. Thank you so, so much for the sincerity you put into everything you do. Also, shout out to being left-handed, too. I think that's how it appears in the video, unless it's flipped. In which case, forget everything. Forget I said anything. <laughs> I am left-handed. He's left-handed! 
I'm left-handed. That's, even I didn't know that. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for the shout out for being left-handed. It's so, it's uh, it's so often overlooked. It's okay. You guys are smarter because of it. It's not fair. Sean Truly with 1050. Hey Kevin, I'm a longtime watcher of the documentaries. Sorry, I'm gonna keep saying it like that. I can't. <laughs> when you read it, you okay. Never... Stop. Before you respond, say it like you think it actually should be pronounced. Documentary. It's because he's reading as he. It's because oh, I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna end. Okay. Usually, so I'm like. Well, uh, I just want to make sure you could like documentary. do it once. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> they're really they're a watcher of the documentaries, and am glad or I am glad to see that you are still producing content on the channel. Do you have any ideas to make a sequel to your Guide to the Magic Kingdom book? I love that, and would love to see one for Hollywood Studios or Epcot. Are we going to get a guided tour of Hollywood Studios or Epcot in the Defunct Land style? Oh, yeah, I would like to do that. I don't know. That was like an old style. I, I, I would be interested. I've always wanted to. It's got to be revitalized. Those are just bigger undertakings, I think. Not Hollywood Studios, but the other one. Because the, well, actually both, because both those parks had such a turnover in attraction. Like, Magic Kingdom was achievable. Yeah. One and a half teaspoon baking soda. Hillary Lloyd with 2625. Love your videos. As an industrial engineer whose profession is often misunderstood and overlooked, the Fast Pass documentary gave me immense satisfaction to watch and subsequently show all my friends and family so they had a remote understanding of what I actually did. Thank you for all you do, and, you're, and keep it up, and you're truly a great documentarian. Oh, that's so that's so nice. I'm glad that you were able to explain to your family your profession. Yeah. That's nice when you can do that. I always wanted industrial engineers to enjoy that video, because I, when I was researching it, I didn't know what an industrial engineer was at the beginning, so I was like, man. <laughs> I've had a lot of people say that they became industrial engineers because of that video. I'm hoping that I cause like a problem in the end. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, yeah, like a, we have too many industrial engineers. Yeah. Everything's too efficient. 1575, okay. anonymously, Kevin, thank you so much for your content. It's helped me and others find a unique common ground and helped connect us. Happy to donate to this cause and excited to see what 2024 brings into Funk Land. We're getting there. 14430 so nice. We're almost to apron change. Get us to apron change. As we're marathoning for apron change, get on the apron change train, please, everybody. We're doing a if drive. If Mahomes is watching, I'm going to clean all this up. Don't worry. <laughs> Val Calver with a huge one, a thousand dollars. Whoa, whoa! They're, they're just dropping in to say hi. And and uh, oh, that's it. They're just, just dropping, dropping in, in to say, say hi, hi with a thousand dollars. That's one heck of a drop. That's so Val. nice. We Thank appreciate you so much. That. Make sure that if these, if you want your something on a sticky note, put that one on a sticky oh, note. I'm he's, definitely doing. He's that. doing that okay. right now. And not just because it's quick to write out. <laughs> Quick reminder, what are we cooking right now? We are cooking honey coconut loaf. And I need one and a half teaspoons cinnamon and one fourth teaspoon allspice. Hey, does anybody know how many cups of flour I put in this so far? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they've been watching. Where, what am I looking for? Cinnamon and allspice. Allspice. Okay, so what did I say? I said half of one fourth teaspoon allspice. Allspice is like all purpose flour. You could use it in anything. It's in the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in, in Europe, they, they actually they base the spice based off of its oh, protein. The protein. Yep. <laughs> okay, there was a fourth teaspoon allspice, and now I need one and a half teaspoon cinnamon. I, I honestly wonder when people are making recipes. How much of it is just them? I like, oh, I just have to do this because like with this, it's something. Like, oh, I tried two teaspoons cinnamon. And I was like, that's too much cinnamon. <laughs> you have to do one and a half teaspoons. Yeah, it's a trial and error of cooking. What did I say by the way? How many teaspoons of cinnamon? <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> Great question. I Jack. don't know. That's a lot of cinnamon. We got Matt Horvath with 7875. Hey, Kevin and friends. Hope things go smoother down the line in the stream. I'm guessing they're referring to our mixer mishap. Glad you're doing a new cool thing for Charity Land. Now keeping with the holidays, a question for Kevin and your hosts, or slash helpers and pals. Which of these shows covered in Defunct TV would you like to spend Christmas Eve with? Bear in the Big Blue House, Zaboomafoo, or Zaboomafoo, Wubbly World, <laughs> Ubi, Big Comfy Couch, or Fetch? Happy holidays, everyone. 
That's a good question. I don't know. I can read those out if we need to. We have Bear in the Big Blue House. I think, I, think I have to go with Bear, even though Noel is a Charity Land alum. Noel's been on Charity Land mm -hmm. but, and, and has puppeteered Bear on Charity Land. Um, but I, I feel as though I have to go with Bear still. I'm going to go with Ubi just because I'm not so sure how that's going to work. Is there a, just a man who's out of out of sight, just, just below, hanging out with me, too? I'm just talking to the hand. Ed Grin is really delicious. The eyes. I feel like I'd go with the comfy couch because it's the only one I remember from, like, my sister watching growing up. Yeah. I don't know the others, except for Bear. I know that one. So, yeah. And they're going to be, I mean... They're going to be getting us gifts, too, so we're going to have to keep back to that. Hey, YouTube, how much time's left? Or Twitch, how much time's left? 25 minutes. YouTube on the timer? You. Yeah. For the Twitch one? Oh, for the Twitch? Twitch? How, much, how much time is left on these boysenberry loaves? That was the 45-minute timer, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 25 minutes. Is that based off of your timer or YouTube? Both. Don't be keeping track. That's their job. <laughs> Sorry. It's up to Some of these people can't donate, and there's no shame in that, but they're keeping track of time. Yeah. Thank you for all the work you do. This is from Ryan C. Each and every charity lane. Besides the Yeti, are there any other defunct effects from current rides that you miss? Uh, the turrets in Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, that was a bummer. <laughs> Already. Yeah. Yeah, I missed the uh, falling ice effect from Indiana Jones. That one is sorely missed. And bring that one back. Haley Parker, 1050. Thank you for thank you for bringing attention and helping out such a great charity. No problem, Haley. We're into it. Sam Elwood, 2625. Hey, before you read anymore, I'm missing oh. the, the, the candied citron, 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 mm. candy citron. Hmm. Where's that stuff? I don't think it's in the pantry. I don't think any food ended up in there. Can someone go in the kitchen and find it, please? Okay. It's you, Jack. We're looking for citron. Looking for citron. You remember what it looked like? I was the one who found it at the grocery store yesterday. <laughs> And that was the hardest thing to find. Oh, great, so. But we did get Wait, it. Is, is it all the way up there? I don't think I put it all the way up there. Uh, it's a there. flat, round I know, but I, I remember it being flat and round. Did I ever put it, even put it away, or did we treat it as though it was equipment or something? Cindy, Cindy Citron, Citron, where are you? Okay. This is where everything gets derailed. We don't have citron. I need my candied citron. <laughs> I mean, if if you, is it bad? Is it in the car? It could have fallen out of a bag. That but is that would be so weird. That it fell out. I don't know. Dark. Who wants to go check the car? I didn't see anything when I walked. Candied in. citron. Oh no! Like I'm thinking, it could be in the car. Hey Rob, can oh. you come look for it? I'll go. Uh, I can check the car. Okay. okay. Where is the candied citron? Is it? Is it citron? I don't know. There was also a lot of other candied stuff there. I mean, if you had to have put it somewhere, where would you have what put it? We win if we find Is it in the fridge? No, maybe. Did Check I put the fridge, it in the guys. fridge? Oh, you know what? Maybe I did. That would have been weird, though, because I don't think it should be in the fridge. It's in the fridge. It's in the fridge. It's in the fridge. Do we okay. want more good news? We just hit fifteen thousand dollars. Hey, fifteen thousand dollars. That means I get to change aprons. All right. What is this? This doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, no. Ask the seventies. They know. You described it as you know stuff for uh, fruit cake and. Okay, yeah, I'm see. putting this in there, and then, then I'm going to change aprons. Fifteen thousand six hundred and forty-four dollars right nice. now. Darren, is that enough? What? Is it, do you feel comfortable with the amount that we're raising for Gifts of the World? You guys are doing amazing so far. Okay. I didn't know if it was too much or not <laughs> enough or just It right. sounded like you were asking, is that enough? Like, can we be done? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> is that enough? Are we good? <laughs> we're always happy for any and all support. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Sounds like a company line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although it's not a company, a nonprofit line. We got 26, 25 from Sam Elwood. All right, honey coconut loaf is fold in citron and coconut, spoon into a greased and, and floured. What is wrong with these people? Why do they want me to grease and flour? Sam Elwood says, I've been an OG defunct lander. My first video I saw yours was the pretzel dark rides. Oh, pretzel dark rides one. gets a shout out. Classic. 
It's been so rewarding to watch your channel grow and gain the recognition you deserve over the years. Thanks for sharing your passion with us, and I can't wait to see the stuff you make in the future. If you do read this, what's your favorite ride of the original opening years of Universal Orlando? Favorite Universal Orlando OG ride? Oof. I don't know if I went to Universal until like five years ago, so I can't speak from experience, but from my own knowledge and research, I would say Confrontation was such a weird ride. I feel like that's the one that I really like. More than Jaws, I feel like Jaws is such a basic answer, and maybe that's why it's turning me off to, to saying that, but Confrontation is wild. This is also a really weird type of batter that I don't know what I'm going to... First off, hey, Rob, can you get the camera off me? Because I'm going to turn and I'm going to taste this. <laughs> Has a taste. I like that we get the ASMR <laughs> of him eating. I don't know. That one's a mix. That's a, that's a toss up. I mean, it tastes like it tastes like all the ingredients I put in there. All right, it that's a good sign, right? No, you want it? I I don't know. It feels like if I focus on a different ingredient, then I just taste that ingredient. Son of a gun. Can we get the menu on the screen? So this is the honey coconut loaf. Yep. I still have to make Dollywood cinnamon bread before I can move on. <laughs> so much bread. We got a full agenda. We're into bread. 1050 donated anonymously. Kevin, as a Pittsburgh native, thank you for the Kennywood Garfield nightmare video. And this is in parentheses. I didn't do anything dirty on the ride. Thank you. We appreciate that. I would have thought for sure with the anonymous, that would have been it. Would you be open to doing an episode on a single park that's completely closed? Yeah, I'll, I've done Astro World, and yeah. I would do it again. He'll do it again. Don't tempt him. Oh, Rob, you're going to love this one. Sunny Eclipse 2625. Nice. Okay, hey, oh. who has the YouTube timer? Is it YouTube or is it time? YouTube is, YouTube? YouTube is on top of it. Okay, it is not Twitch. Time. Do we still have viewers on Twitch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> Twitch. 60 minutes? I did not anticipate stuff like this. 60 minutes, right here. All right. 60 minutes. 60 minutes, guys. Is that that time? How much time is left on the, the boysenberry bread? 20. That was the YouTube timer, I think. I'm sorry, uh, 18 minutes. Okay. <sighs> okay, I can do this, I can do this. <sighs> if you guys were tasked with making an attraction based on Sunny Eclipse, star of Cosmic Race, Starlight Cafe, and Magic Kingdom, what would it be? <laughs> I mean, uh, sunny Eclipse on tour. <laughs> yeah, that around be the galaxy. Yes. Oh, nice. nice. You know he has a. Oh, I don't know if Kevin wants to hear this because it's spoilers. But he has a cousin in Japan. Oh yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah. Is or he, no, sorry, he doesn't. Cosmic Ray does. Yeah, is that that little guy they have in there? Kind yeah, of. Yeah, the uh, little. Yeah. Well, right. so there's the other. There's the other guy in Star Tours over there. But there's a Cosmic Ray has a cousin, and he's got his own restaurant in Tomorrowland. Now, of course, I'm blanking on what his name is, but it's very similar. There's no Sunny Eclipse or cousin performing in there, but, you know. Twitch says eight more minutes on the walnut bread. Thank well, that's not the walnut bread. You mean the boysenberry bread? Or eight more minutes on the proofing? The eight more minutes on the, eight, eight more, sorry, eight more minutes on the rising of this yes, bread. Yes, yes. I, got, I don't think this bread's going to rise. I'm going to be straight up. I don't know what's wrong with it, right. but I don't think it's rising. I mean, is this any bigger? Twitch? Twitch. What Somebody percentage? Is this any bigger? Actually, I don't know. Kind of. My distance looks a little bigger. Yeah. Okay, well, we got three out of four breads in the oven. It's time to make Dollywood cinnamon bread. Unfortunately, I don't have this recipe, so I'm going to have to go here to do it. Which is saying definitely bigger. Good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is Dollywood's official recipe for their cinnamon bread. How much does this make, though? 16 loaves. Or no. Eight. Really? No. I don't know. I'm not over there. I'm not looking. It makes two loaves, and part of me says, I want, I want to eat the cinnamon bread, but a part of me says, we don't have enough bread flour. We have all-purpose flour. Use it for all purposes. Okay, my family and friends are ask, already asking me to make it again soon. 
who, oh, Meredith Jones of Dollywood.com. I was like, who is, I thought this was Dollywood. Like Dollywood was saying, my family and friends, like as, as, as a collective. Their official Twitter. Okay, this is proof, and we need to proof this. Half cup warm water, three-fourth teaspoon active dry yeast. How, is that, that, I'm pretty sure that's just a pack. Did I say active instant or dry, active dry yeast? I still don't have a scissor. What is in one of these packets? Is it, is it, is it, is it, what is in a packet of yeast? Chat, what is in a packet of yeast? How much? Is it one in the three-fourths? One in the sand? No, I mean, it might, but chat will know. Is, uh, don't do this, by the way, at home. <laughs> we got 105 donated anonymously. This stream has the nostalgia, charm, humor, and chaos of the Garfield Dark Ride video. My oh. favorite. <laughs> Keep up the good work. We got it. We're on top of it. We got 2625 from Literally Human Garbage. That is their name. Love the channel. Love Give Kids the World. Thank you for the charity stream. Do you think bringing back Alien Encounter would work if it was in the Muppets universe? Ooh, good question. Alien Encounter Muppets. Who would the alien be? Yeah, is it them or can it be a Muppetified alien? Virgin from yeah. What am I doing right now? Well, they own Fox now, so they could go back to the Xenomorph. Yeah. And do a Muppet Xenomorph. OG concept. Uh, Kevin, you need yeah. to apron change. We're oh, due. yes, yes, yes. But I, I need to, I'm going to do that after I start the proofing of the Dollywood cinnamon bread. Okay. It's okay. We, we trust you. We're good. Okay. I will say I do think that that would, it would help. It probably okay. make a softer touch. How much, how much water? Half cup warm water. Okay. Did, has the chat told me how much is in a normal packet of yeast? <laughs> All I saw was <laughs> one that says one pack is roughly three whole yeast. That's, <laughs> I don't think is a this is That's definitely not me. right. How many teaspoons is in a pack of yeast? I'd estimate there is approximately one packet's worth in a packet of yeast. Uh, I think there was a real answer in here. Hold on. Two point, two and a quarter tablespoon. That sounds reasonable. I don't know about that. A pack of yeast is like five grams. I don't know. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter, a lot of two and a quarters. Two and a quarter is two, yeah. That seems to okay, be the Okay, this is one teaspoon. I need three fourths, and you fill this three fourths of the way up. You can never have too much yeast in something. In the Handwich video, I think I accidentally said like tablespoons instead of teaspoons or grams instead of, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and, and it's like, it would have been like so much yeast that it would have like exploded teaspoons, your house. Teaspoons, Sorry, I think I said tablespoons, teaspoons. I was gonna say, I didn't think it was tablespoons. Sorry, sorry. Two and one fourth sounds correct. Oh, that's scalding, gosh darn it. Which apron am I going to do next? That's what I'm excited to see. That's up to you, man. We can't make that choice for you. Which one are you going to do next? I think I know which one I'm going to do next. <laughs> okay. So from here, $25,000 is the handwich. Yep. So keep that in mind. That's our next goal. Let's get to $25,000 by the end of the stream so we can make the handwich. 9000 This is going pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Other than the fact that I broke my stand mixer, like, first thing. No, your stand mixer broke. <laughs> oh, right. You had nothing to do. Don't blame yourself, man. Yeah. Trevor Summers, 1575. I think we had the same question earlier. What's your favorite Knott's Berry Farm ride, and would you ever make a video on a defunct ride from there? Yes, I would. Uh, I don't know what my favorite Knott's Berry Farm ride is. Did they change Accelerator to be different? I don't know. It's still Accelerator. But is it different? Did they change it? Not that I know of. Okay. We like, uh, we like the Berry Tales, I guess. Uh, that's a nice one. 1050 10, donate anonymously. Defunct Land team, thank you for your efforts over the years with everything you've done. The quality of your content is just unmatched anywhere else. Question for you all. Is there any theme park rides in the UK that you would love to ride but haven't had the chance to? Yes, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're right. I haven't been there. Have you other US been? Check I haven't been to the UK. I've only been to uh, France. Yeah. The stream is the nostalgia. Okay, I'm going to spread these out so people can... Yeah, we'll get some different colored ones there in a second. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about the UK theme park no, scene. I'm so embarrassed. Like, but that's, I don't know, that's a, also a great way to go into it is like completely blind. Yeah. Because then everything's a surprise. Okay, so our so. yeast is now proofing. Watch that. Uh, how much time is left on my boysenberry bread? I mean, I know the answer, but you want me to wait. Why are you YouTube. setting timers? I'm not setting timers. I'm just remembering the times. Do you need more jobs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm making note of the time. 
I will put you Ten minutes in this left, kitchen. they said. I, I will put you in charge of dishes if you, st- <laughs> if you start setting timers. You need something to do. What Rob. did they say? How much? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Twitch chat starting to beep again. Okay, okay. <laughs> And we trust that. They better not be defective. Do we think these rose at all? Yeah. I think they got a little bigger. I think they definitely rose at, like, somewhat. I think we should be able to tell. Oh, yeah, that, I think so. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, I think. Yeah. Okay. We're going to let that proof. i got to change aprons. i got to figure out which apron, apron I'm doing. Yeah. We got apron, apron swap. Okay. Shout out to the UK, though. I am, I, I am genuinely curious about what they Not have. Not that one. Here. That's my favorite one. I don't want to do that one yet. I know what one that is. Okay. No, this exactly. one is not one that I got from Amazon. This is one that Rob gifted me nice. for the stream. That's a loner. That's a Pizza Rizzo <laughs> yeah, that's one. That's definitely a loner. Shout out to Pizza Rizzo. <laughs> I need that back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gregory McKenzie with 2625. Would you ever consider covering some of the promotional events? Held Tricky by- Crayon said, if you poke it, there's gas bits. That is a level of bread science that I think I'm worried that people are anticipating <laughs> me knowing something like that. You're a chef, not a chemist. Is it what bubbles? Is I'm a documentarian. Wait, no, I'm a YouTuber. No, wait, I'm a chef. No, wait, I'm a... I'm just... You're a man of many hats, but right now, just a chef hat. Just the chef hat. Gregory McKenzie, 2625. Would you ever consider covering some of the promotional events held by Universal Studios and other parks in the future? I'm a big Monster Hunter nerd, and the Monster Hunter slash Universal Studios Japan events often catch my attention for their large monster statues and animatronics, weapons, armor, and props, and other materials from the game. Rob, why do I feel like you would know about that Monster Hunter? I mean, I know of the game. I've never played it myself. It's not my cup of tea, but I have friends who have put hundreds of hours into it. And it makes total sense. It's big in Japan, so yeah. it makes sense that they're doing stuff there. And animatronics sound cool. I do think that is cool. I mean, yeah, especially in this day and age of, like, everything. So you have all these different kind of, like, not franchisees, but different countries that have all this stuff. Why not do stuff that's more specific to them? Or you know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Like, that's cool. I mean, that's all the more reason to go I was supposed to mold these into loaf shapes. How, do you think this is... Is that a loaf shape? It's... It's moderately low. Close. Close enough. Some I mean, of them. Yeah. The one at the top looks real low shape. Okay, yeah. This has gas bits. There you go. That rose. I just feel that they're not loafed. So loaf them. Okay, yeah, uh, do you do you do you, which one of these do you each want? What do you mean? Like uh, you're gonna each eat one of these. And then there's gonna be room there's gonna be enough for, actually there's enough for each of you to have two so you need to pick which two you'd like if you can hover them over the cookbook for a second we can give you a, a, a reading okay <laughs> i love potatoes what Thank do you they, for skinning those why are you laughing <laughs> just because the do they not look do they not look loaf shit no they look perfectly loaf man this I looks like say, I, I mean... Do you, are you saying you're cooking all six, you just want us to take claim of which two we want? Yeah, so which two the do you, one, each of you want to eat on stream? I like the one on the far bottom left, uh, opposite <laughs> your hand. What is happening right now? <laughs> that one means a lot to me. Why don't we cook them and see how they turn out? <laughs> you, They're going to look kind of like this, but just more brown and bigger. I see, okay. I'm trying to... I don't know. I, uh, I like the okay. bottom row, uh, third from the left... The one that looks like a mouse, this yeah, one? computer mouse. This one? Yeah, okay. I, li- I like that one. Here, I'll help it look a little bit more like a computer mouse. Perfect. <laughs> okay, um, Darren, you get to do two in a row because we're doing this boomerang style uh, fantasy football draft. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, I'll keep it easy. I'll do the two on the top. Okay, great. Um, J- uh, now it's Rob. Rob, which one do you want? See, Rob, you have this one. These are Darren's. This is Jack's. Right, so I'm going to go uh, one over to the right from the computer mouse. I would have gone with that one, too. Is this the rectangle one? Yeah. This one. So those one two, I just want that corner of the tray is mine. Okay, so this is you. This is, okay, well, then there you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't have any room for this. Hmm. Well, um... The we're coming up on well, I seven minutes. Seven minutes until what? The boys and Barry. How do you know that? <laughs> it's up here. He's too powerful. You keep it ask, up here. Ask you to. <laughs> Sorry, I can't not keep track of time. We can't turn it off. Okay, off. we're gonna. Okay. The towel's wet. Get get back let's let's go to the technical difficulties stream. Technical difficulties. <laughs> 
Are you being serious? Yes, please. Okay. All right, we're back. We're back. Everything's fine. No one got hurt. <laughs> oh, I got scared. Core with 105 says, I just, I just burned myself a little bit. It was going to happen eventually. It's fine. I just wanted to make sure that I got the oven back to the correct way. He's built for it. Core with 105. Good luck without a mixer, Kevin. We got it, guys. We, got, we make our own bread. We got Eric P. Okay. Well, we don't have a... So Twitch, did, did their timer end? Yeah, Twitch is... Okay, well, Twitch has another timer. Twitch has my timer for the, the, not the walnut bread. Set a timer for one hour for the walnut bread. So, right, so the walnut bread has an hour left. 625. <laughs> walnut bread, one hour. Eric Peach with 1050. What's the last thing you ate at a theme park? Mine was green eggs and ham at Islands of Adventure. I think, what was my last one? My last one was kettle corn. Delicious kettle corn from Germany. Oh, yeah, we had that the other night. <laughs> that was my latest theme park. All right, let's see if this proofed yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that, what do we think? Here, let's put this for, up to the chat. Do we think that's proofing? I think it, it's kind of proofed. It doesn't have any sugar, though. Maybe I should add some sugar to really get it going. But I think that's proof that it, the, the, uh, the yeast is activated for sure, right? I would guess. OK, I well, I guess we'll find out. Twenty-six twenty-five donated anonymously. Dear Kevin, Disney Channel's theme, A History Mystery, is my favorite documentary. It's not just one of the best things ever put on YouTube. It's one of the best documentaries ever produced. I'll let you decide. Oh, wow. Of, I'll let you decide which <laughs> of the two is more competitive, YouTube videos or documentaries as a genre. Regardless, it's a film. I'm sorry. Regardless, it's a film <laughs> that deserves the highest praises. I've never seen a Disney Channel. I've never even been a Disney Channel fan, and I find this film deeply satisfying and irresistible. I watched wow, it multiple that's very times, nice. and I'm totally captivated and fascinated every time. You should be proud. Well, thanks, Anonymous. That's very nice. Thank you. Deckard Lowndes with 150 Canadian. Hey, y'all. I was a very small part of the Charity Land 2019. I was a Make-A-Wish kid who went to give kids the World Village in 2003. Now that I have a job that pays me well, I wanted to donate. Thanks, Deckard. Oh, that's so that's nice. Amazing. We'll get you up there on the uh, thing here in a second. We'll write that down. Thanks, Corv. <laughs> I just saw that as well, and thanks to that person that just donated. Oh, I am not, this is not looking good. What? I need two tablespoons of unsalted, unsalted brother, blah, 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 blah. two <laughs> tablespoons of unsalted better butter. Okay. Better butter, beater butter. Butter. I need butter, but it has to be melted and cooled, which is too much for me, honestly. Okay, go on. Uh, just a heads up, we are uh, under two minutes on the uh, boysenberry timer. That's not me, that's the chat talking. We're under two minutes on boysenberry? Yes. Okay, this will be... 45 minutes left for the honey bread. 45 minutes left for the honey bread? Yeah. The one that I just put in? That was what they just said. No, you said it, well... How much was the honey bread? I just, the honey bread was an hour. Right, you have a timer for 6.30. Oh, okay, I just told everybody that the one that I just put in, so that timer that I said uh, it was 60 minutes like a few minutes ago, that's 25 minutes. It's 25 <laughs> minutes, not yes. 60 minutes. I might have to eyeball that one. So remember, I came over here and I showed you all the loaves because we went and picked them. I said, told you set a timer for 60 minutes. That should have been 25 minutes. Okay, so 555. That's very different. I'm on the, it's very confusing because I'm on the same page. A lot of breads all at once. <laughs> we are into bread. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. <sighs> Jose Maria Luna with 1575. Hi, Charity Land team. Just wanted to say I'm single handedly running the four year consideration campaign for the best documentary Oscar for Journey into Epcot Center. 
Also, excited about Kevin's Christmas cre creme recipe. Sorry. Creme. <laughs> creme. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. And I, I hope we get to 40,000 so I can show you my Christmas creme. Does creme have a, a little, like, um, apostrophe above it? Like yes. A little okay, perfect. Beep, beep, show them the menu. Beep, 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 beep. beep. What's Time. the beep for? Your boysenberry. <laughs> okay. A boysenberry beep. Boys How do we beep. know that? Because the chat is going beep, 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 okay, okay, beep, okay. timer time. That's beep. their job. It's time for boysenberry. Bep, bep, beep. It's going crazy right now. Okay, okay. Here's a look at the Okay, nope, nope, nope. Yep, use your gloves. You got it. It's a real stuff okay. here. The Pixar fix corn dog. Look at that. Whoa. Is that cool? Brian Rizza with 5250. Thank you all for the great work you do. I love Christmas, and your stream is just the holiday infusion I needed. I love infusion. <laughs> My favorite by far was your Disney Channel theme episode. Such a wonderful and touching tribute to Mr. Lasarenko. Sorry if I missed That's correct. Too. Mr. Yeah. Okay, Alex Lasarenko. Cheers. Thanks, Brian. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Millicent Chow with 1050. <coughs> Season's greeting from a Hong Konger appreciator and appreciator of Hong Kong Disneyland bid. I remember the chaos of the rehearsal pre-opening as well. Question for the whole team. If you could visit one overseas Disney park, Tokyo, Paris, Hong Kong, Shanghai, and the Universal Parks, which would it be? Well, we already know Rob's answer. Okay. What is my answer? Well, actually, no. I was going <laughs> to say. I was going to say. For years, it was always Tokyo and Disneyland. Yeah, I was in there. It's, it's satisfying. It's great. Uh, I would actually, I want to go to uh, Disneyland Paris. Yeah. That's got to be. That's on my list. I'll mirror that list, but I have not been to Tokyo. Rob, I'm really anymore. sorry. I just got boys and berries all over your apron. That's all right. That's what aprons are for. Heck yeah, man. Finally, someone that gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is, is there a story behind that? Who doesn't? Huh? No. There's no story behind that. <laughs> Last time I borrowed an apron. Gotta keep that apron clean. <laughs> for when he tries to return the ones he just bought. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that money back. You gotta send all 50 back of each or else you know you don't get that refund. All right, guys, we have a huge um, ale alleged celebrity here. This could be an imposter, of course. Michael Eisner himself is in <laughs> here. And you can tell it's his donation because it's $11.22. Hi, guys, Michael Eisner here asking you all a simple question. What is your favorite Michael Eisner moment? If we're head on stream, please pause for five seconds. Personally, mine was Breck. <laughs> Thank Yours, you, Michael. Your favorite moment is Breck. Favorite Michael, I think my favorite moment is Michael Eisner uh, attempting to give an intro with the Muppets instead of the Grand Floridian, and he cannot pronounce Grand Floridian. He gets increasingly <laughs> angry as it happens. The Glan Floridian. Oh. It's like a several minute long. Yeah. Video. <laughs> we get another actor in here. Any other great Michael Eisner moments? Anytime he says hello. Yeah. Yep. Hello. The hello compilation. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he hello. Uh, my favorite is probably the story you told me where he was in the back of the limo with like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. And he, and, and he kept trying to get the performer or the friend of Mickey to break. Yeah. And. Uh, oh, are you in there? Are you a man or a woman? <laughs> is this a test from the CEO? I don't know what to do. We get 105 donated anonymously, and they say they'd love it if you drew us a Mickey on a post-it note. I oh, that's that. sweet. Yes, I can do that. We can make it happen. I'll I'm actually a very one. good illustrator, as well as being... I'll have a temporary Mickey until we can get our <laughs> chef to make one. And just like... Here, just give me, give, bring the Sharpie right to me. Okay, gotcha. Just don't let me think about it for more than a second, or I'll forget. Okay. Sanja is going to sleep because they were watching in Finland. Oh, nice. This is going to be a Kevin Perger Good night. authentic. And thank you for watching. OK. Well, I got to do it on stream. Oh, OK. Just prove that we didn't have a double in there doing it. Oh, man. Hold on. <laughs> and I was just going Mickey ears, man. You're going all out. I thought the, the eyes were the ears at first. I was yeah, like, oh. I was very confused. <laughs> See, I'm really good at this. Oh, tilt your head back a little bit. There we go. Nice. I'll apply it was that. supposed to be his tongue. It kind of looks like he has buck teeth. <laughs> That's no, the Times no Square, one. Mickey Mouse. 
<laughs> okay. For the dough. Meanwhile, whisk bread flour, remaining one tablespoon of granulated sugar and salt together. Oh, I didn't add salt. What salt did it call for? Half teaspoon of salt. I know what that feels like on my fingertips. It's about that much. There you go. Um, okay. Half teaspoon of salt and let sit until bubbly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, whisk. Add the yeast mixture and melted butter in the flour mixture. Knead with the dough until it is smooth and elastic. About eight minutes. Oh, here we go, everybody. Before I knead this for eight minutes. Thomas Moserwitz with uh, 1050. Thanks, Kevin, for all your well-produced theme park documentaries. Appreciate all that you do, and glad to give a great cause like Good Kids the World. Thanks, Tom. That's so nice. Thank you. Um, how much time's left on my two on that loaf that I said was actually 25 minutes? Did anybody figure that out? Did we recalculate that? Yes. The world's Yeah, chance. I'll have it in a second. This feels like it's not a lot of... We're not going to have enough bread, guys. <laughs> Wait, did I, was I having this recipe each time? Half cup? No, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. I didn't have that. I didn't have that. 15 left on walnut. I don't know. You son of a gun. Get out of there. Get out of there. We got Val Cabral with another $1,000. Thanks, shout Val. out. Val. We appreciate it. Corb. Val is, a, Val is a charity land veteran. Shout out to Val. He says, Corb called my bluff and banned that guy. So here's another grand dough with a winky face and a heart. Okay, I don't thanks, know what. <laughs> thanks for doing I this don't think guys. I want to know what that's in reference to, but <laughs> I appreciate the donation. We love it, Val. We got Amy Danskowitz with 1050. Kevin and crew, I've been unemployed for about the past four months, but just got a job offer today. Nice. Hey! Congratulations. We love it. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks for your videos. My whole family loves them. With love from Amy, one of your Facebook mods. Heart, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, congrats think. on the new job. Hope it's a good fit. We got Jack Earl with 105. Sticky note, trans rights. We're on it, guys. We'll write it down. What'd you say? Jack Earl donate 105 just for a sticky note that says trans rights. Shout out. Okay, so there you it. go. Get that sticky note. Okay. Can somebody set a timer for five minutes and make me do this for five minutes? A trustworthy timer. Anyone but Rob. <laughs> On it. Gotta stop adding flour to this, but it's so sticky. Chandra Bordro to the 105. Thank you, Charity Link, for creating such a wonderful community and supporting a great cause. Nice. Thanks for the do donation. Oh, gosh. 3150 donated anonymously. Love the channel and good luck. We'll take it. 1575 from another Anonimo. Um, as a comp sci teacher, I gave a lecture based on your shape land simulation. Donating now is the least I can do. Merry Christmas. Nice. A true educational resource. I have a question for you, Kevin, about that. About what? How do you feel whenever you hear stories about people using your videos in like a academic setting? Uh, I feel mixed. <laughs> I feel good. I mean, I like that they use... Well, if it's like for an essay, it's just difficult because, I mean... I feel good. It's just, I, it's a bit of imposter syndrome or it's just a bit of like, oh, that's not the intended purpose. But it's also not that I, it's not, not the intended purpose. I just don't create things with like an academic institution yeah. in mind. But at the same time, I, you know, double check all my sources. I make sure to say, cite my quotes and all that stuff and say when, you know, cite any major books that I use. And then especially whenever I find something that I think is just like reported or maybe it's a rumor to make note of that in the script. So I do all the correct things, I hope, and I, you know, will always strive to get better and better at that. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's great. It's just very, it's just weird because the purpose of the documentaries are 
to tell a true historical story, but the, you know, the purposes are you know, more emotion-based than academic-based. Yeah. But it's nice to know that they have that setting as well, and it, it encourages, me, encourages me to continue to uh, do all the right things. Not that I would have ever not done those things, like cite sources. Which I know I've heard is a hot topic on YouTube right now. <laughs> You're kidding. Huh? You're kidding, man. <laughs> we got Ashley Young with 26. I a great video on it. Yeah, it's very nice. 26, 25. Hey, gang, just dropping in with some holiday, some happy holidays love. What is a must-have holiday food or treat for you? Guys, must-have holiday treats. Uh, Italian cookies. I don't know what the correct term is for it, but it's when you melt like one of those almond barks on top of Chex Mix and M&Ms. Oh, I mean, yeah. the, the, the term that... Yeah, I can't think of that either. I mean, I know what the term is. Do you know what the term I'm talking about? I don't know the term. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't if I'm know worried it's something that only my family calls it. <laughs> well, it's, it's like Christmas drug name. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I got you. You guys can fill in the blanks. I guess, I guess, you know, just hot chocolate would have to be mine. I was, I've been putting very tiny, tiny marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Not no big marshmallows, just little ones. So hot chocolate, good. Chocolate cake, bad. I know, it's a complete contradiction. <laughs> <laughs> when my chocolate when is in liquid, liquid non-spongy okay. form. So chocolate milk? I'm oh, right. my gosh. Hey, how much longer do I have to do this for? 18 seconds. minutes. Oh. <laughs> Choose whichever one you'd like to do. Eleven oh three donate anonymously. I have a random video from yours in my recommendations, and now I'm so happy to be here watching you cook all this defuncted food. Also, your Disney Channel video made me feel so nostalgic. Thanks for all the great long form videos. Nice. Okay. Oh well, thank you so much for that. I appreciate defuncted. You got to use. I'm that. sorry. By the way, I'm sorry if like I'm listening and like processing, but I, sometimes my responses are very short. But I, I really appreciate all the kind words. Listen, he's just taking the cooking seriously because I'm like, running out of bowls. I don't have any bowls. Oh, here's need a, bowl. a dishwasher. I hear a timer going. Timer out. is up. All right. That's this bowl's way too big for this. <laughs> Do you think this bowl's too big for this? <laughs> um, it's, it's, I mean, it I can't would even work. See it in the camera. Yeah. Is this, it's we supposed to, to double in size. Do you think? It, <laughs> we have to wait until it fills the whole bowl. Maggie Bray donated 1050. Thank you all for your amazing work and the giving spirit. Any chance you'll ever cover Opryland? Opryland, Kevin. Anything about that? Oh yeah, I really want to do Opryland. Nice. I need a bowl. Okay. Do well, I don't know. Any dirty ones that you need cleaned? What? Do you need to have any dirty ones that you need cleaned? Don't ask me questions like that. The What's kids in that are red one? Huh? What's in that the red, red one? one? I said the kids are watching right yeah, now. I get <laughs> Nothing. There you go. Okay. I don't even know how that one got up there. <laughs> it was do there. I need any? Do I have anything dirty that I need cleaned? <laughs> this is a charity stream. I know, Just the I know who you can. I, I've got a guy. You, I'll, you know, you give him a call. He'll take You're care of any sick. problem you got. <laughs> okay. You ready to try some of this boysenberry bread? Also, Heck how much? Yeah. yeah. Also, how much longer? Until we took the boys and Barry out. Well, and how much longer on the other breads? Oh, uh, so you got a time. Do you want me to answer that? Yes. You got one <laughs> timer left for 12 minutes. Uh, I actually don't oh know my what gosh. the timer is. Seven minutes left on Walnut. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. Nope, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Stop oh, using yeah. towels. <laughs> Well, do you need another technical yes, difficulty? Please. Yes, please. All right, we're back. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're back. Any burn-related uh, technical difficulties will be quickly remedied. We should have gotten some uh, some stuff for burns. I was not on the shopping list. The 
the rule for the night. No more towel. Okay, no more towels when I go into the oven. Okay, also set a timer for oh, set a timer for an hour and a half. Hour and a half. To the chat. Yes. To let that rise. Okay. We've never counted on Here we go. Everybody come on over. First one at a time, one at a time. Okay, I guess I'll run over first. All right, come on. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Wait, wait, I want to taste it first. Okay. Turn Actually, no, you taste it first. All right. This is our first taste. This is our first taste. Hey, <laughs> guys, can't... first taste of the stream. Hold on, hold on. G give, them a, give them a top down of this beautiful... Look uh, at that. The beautiful Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry loaf. Thank you to Reddit for posting this. Somebody on Reddit, somebody find that user that I forgot to Jeez. write down. Posted a screenshot. Let's see. Okay, now ready? That, that looks beautiful, I yeah. will say. I know. Come on. Okay, here we go. So happy that I'm being fed again? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> is it good? That is delicious, man. Thanks. I made it. I love <laughs> Rob, come on over. Rob, get in on this, man. That's awesome. Also, do, so do it just like that next time. Don't get up until the other one sits down. Okay. You want to do it? You want to taste your own? Okay, there you go. There's your little crumb. Darren, come on over. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. And, like, you can, you were good on the walnut size. You know what I mean? It's not too fine. Okay, Darren? I like it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. It's really good. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. I made it. All right. <laughs> Let me taste it. Get the camera off me. Wait. Oops. There we go. Is it off? Yeah. You're good. The breaking of the bread. He's going to turn around and go like, this is terrible. <laughs> it's my worst bread yet. You all have terrible taste. No. No. <laughs> no. I don't tell myself. That's really good. <laughs> all right. The Christmas magic came through. All right, let me get a serving plate for you guys to snack on. We'll be snacking. Just bring all the loaf. Oh wait, that was the other. That was the other one. We're waiting on the, loaf. the walnut bread is the one that's six. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> food for the next few days. We got Jessica Brewbreaker Hills donated at twenty fifty two. I'm so happy to support your live stream as you support the projects as you support Project for Awesome. I always enjoy your videos, you're a true artist. There you go, Kevin. It's a good time to use the Lazy Susan. Yeah. Oh. We'll use that to rotate it out. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we gotta make more. <laughs> it's gonna rip out like six wires. <laughs> <laughs> the stream's gonna go down. <laughs> there we yes, go. there it is. Oh. Thanks, Loma Homes, Beautiful. for giving us a discount on this yep. place. Okay, get bread. the camera off me. I want to taste it. Again, okay. I, I'm really hungry, actually. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> the camera's off everybody right now. We're on the loaf in the, the menu. Loaf's getting center stage. He's just emotionally processing it all. And no Alamos with 1050. You know in cooking shows how they have everything in those little bowls so the host doesn't have to stop halfway and ask the audience if they remember any cups of flour they use? Well, listen, okay, we do, we're doing things a little bit more um, jazz style, okay? So we don't need to be so measured with all this. We're doing it the way you do it in a real kitchen yeah. at home, you know? Yelling at your children for <laughs> yeah. eyeballing it, just going out for it. I'm not putting everything in a tiny little bowl because then I have to wash all those tiny little bowls. So not okay. happening. No. Okay, okay. What do you think? Is it delicious? Jack, Darren, it's time to do dishes. All right. I, uh, do you want to get on that? Because I'll be reading chats. Yes, sir. All right. No, I'm reading chats. You're doing dishes. I need to sit down. <laughs> oh, okay. Or I'm gonna. I have. I have another. What time is it? Dish break. Uh, you have. I have. I have another four and a half hours of cooking. You have, s and you have seven minutes left on a timer. Quick dishes. That's fine. Okay, if you can just do the dishes and then put them on a, the cleanest towel over there, and then, yeah, just wipe them off, and then just yeah, that would be great. You're I the best. The Thank you so much. This is all for charity. I'm not asking you to do my own dishes. Should I go over there with dishes or get back? Okay. What should I do? 
Okay. Corey Corey Soydum posted. Love the videos. Love the videos. Keep up the great work. I'm pretty close to Cedar Point, and I used to go several times a year. I enjoyed our video on disaster transport. It was one of my favorite rides when I was younger, despite all my friends calling it lame. Has anyone from the group been to Cedar Point, and what ride was your favorite? I've not been to Cedar Point. I really want to go. Getting some dish action. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Uh, I have not been to Cedar Point either. I would like to go to. I want to go to, what was it, Holiday World? Holiday Land? Holiday Park? Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Holiday World? Yes. That's not Cedar Point. I know, but I want to go to that one. Okay, well, that wasn't the question. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How do you read these? Is Corbin deleting them as I read yeah, them? Yeah, after, after they get read, they get deleted. Oh, okay, good. Colleen O'Rourke donated 5250. Thank you. Hey, Kevin. Adore the show. Fun fact, I'm a teacher in California, and this week a couple of my coworkers are taking students to conference in Kansas City next semester. They were talking about the faculty room about doing worlds of fun while they're there, and though I've never stepped foot in Missouri because of you, I was able to whip around in my chair and be like, I know that place. Well, I'm so glad. Uh, that's so nice. Andy RFL donated $105 and said, Happy birthday, Corb. Nice. Happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday. Corb, on our tech crew. Um, Corbin, uh, Andy is part of our Patreon. Um, and I, so that means we got some Patreon rep here. Um, which is great. Hadrian, Hadrian Ryan donated 1050, said, Great stream. Sorry about your mixer. Thank you. 2625 was donated anonymously. Thank you your, for your defunct land documentaries and your. Oh, we need to put sticky note happy birthday, Corb. Oh, I can write that. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to. I wrote it upside down. Wait, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. It works either way. I mean, I gotta get another bite of that thing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we got oh. I mean, I'll How much more time do I have? I'll just get to you. So you got four minutes on. on bits and I can get a time. How do you know that? Because it's up here. <laughs> Why are you looking down? Huh? Is it just monitoring the chat? All right, so sorry. Anonymous said, love the documentaries and give kids the world. Your videos are among my most rewatched content. I don't know if you were ever curious, but in regards to the big comfy couch, one of the couches, I don't know how many there were, it may have been, is currently residing in a church owned by my uncle and his girlfriend, where it sits on the stage decorated for each holiday. Wow, watching people square dance. Yes, they converted the church into a square dance location. There are even cast photos under it, and also the title is a lie. The big comfy couch sure is big. But it isn't comfy. That's very cute in many ways. I like that. 105 was donated anonymously. Defunct Land has been one of my favorite things for years. I started with the Nick Hotel one. Loved the entirety of season two, leading up to the piece about taking risks. And having thoroughly loved the recent long form documentaries. I'm glad to pitch in, especially the Disney Channel theme one. I'm glad to pitch in to help such a worthy cause. Well, thank you so much. Give Kids the World appreciates it as well. Not a zoo. Don't, oh. <laughs> I <laughs> took a second, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Donated 2625. Next live stream, Kevin running the Give Kids the World Gingerbread 5K. My body, I, I run a mile. I run a mile and a half, probably four times a week. And you would think that I would eventually be like, okay, I need to run some more. My body never learns how to run more. Th I think I, try, I tried training for a 5K once. It's just I'm not made for it. I can run two miles, and then my body's just like, no. So I don't know what's wrong with me. I honestly wonder, though, because I had nosebleeds as a kid. Oops. And I, and I, think, and I think I got something plugged up, and I'm wondering if I have breathing issues. And that's what's causing the running issues, because you're not getting enough air. So yeah. Not my doctor. OK. Does that answer your Is that a question? No. Well, they were suggesting, what, a 5K as a kid. Oh, my bread, my bread. Beep, beep, beep. Actually, you have, like, two minutes. Which one? Which one? Uh, it was the one that was 25 minutes instead of. No, 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 okay. Which one? Is, which one's done? Which one's done? Is walnut the, how bread. Long, how much walnut longer bread on the, is ready. Huh? Walnut bread is ready. How much longer on the honey coconut loaf? How much longer on the honey coconut loaf? Oh, I'm waiting for chat. Oh. 
No way. I don't believe you. <laughs> Where's Twitch chat? Yeah, I think it was on his. Yeah. Here, I'll take over dishes. You, you have to go figure out how much longer is on my honey coconut loaf. Rob, I have Twitch chat open on my computer. You're, you're, it's, it's off. Sleep. Thank you. Wow, you guys did awesome work. Thanks like so much. 20 minutes on the coconut. Oh, was he right? Sorry, Darren. <laughs> Darren, it's not that I didn't believe you. It's that I didn't want to believe you because I want to taste that bread. <laughs> I want to get that bread. I want to taste that bread. I can't believe While we're so tasting far. bread, can you help get us some bread for Give Kids the World? Please. There you go. We're at uh, currently $17,790. $25,000 is Handwich. Handwich is coming up. What do we Goals. think? What do we think so far? That looks great. Look at how big they are. I think, I think, first off, it's very hot. Second off, do you think we should go a little bit longer? Why is this covered in water? I mean, do the do you have the toothpicks to do toothpick test? Oh no, there's no, there's not. It was, it wasn't batter, so it's no. it, it wouldn't even. Be. What do we think, chat? Chat, we done? It's got a nice golden. I'm gonna put it in until chat tells me whether it's done or not. Mm. I'm waiting. Chat says it looks good. Maybe the mixer didn't die in vain. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Somebody said, show us the walnut bread. I need signs of life. It's it so looks gross. so beautiful on camera. I don't know if it lives up to it. It's thinking hard. It looks good to a lot of people. Did you want the cast iron to get a little wrench real quick? Somebody said to stick a toothpick in them to see if they're done. That's what I said. We're already, we just got started. Rob. What? Stop commenting on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be running. What else am I supposed to be doing <laughs> when I'm not setting up timers on my phone? I will give you more jobs. Okay, it's done. Tap the bottom just like in a bake-off. Ooh, the bottom looks delicious. I just wonder if we can't get some more. I don't know. I think they're good. If that's what the recipe said, that's what the recipe said. Okay, so we have another thing out of the oven, and these are going to be cool. What does it say? Where does it say to cool them? I got to move my beautiful. I mean, I could eat that whole thing, honestly. That's that's really good. I would make that. If anybody wants to make boysenberry bread, it's good. I can vouch for that. Cut into six equal pieces until golden brown. Serve hot. All right, Rob, you got to dig in. Oh wait, does everybody remember which one is theirs? Yeah, I'm sure. Slightly yeah. a different shape, but it counts. Yeah, I know this is Rob's. The one that looks like a computer mouse. It did. Oh, that's hot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let it cool. Well, it says to serve hot. Okay. I don't know how literally they mean that. Hey, can can you turn the camera off me? I want to get some of this bread. Okay. No worries. Who's who's? Oh, well, that's the other bread. I was gonna say, who's are you eating? That's really good. Have you guys had any more? Yeah, I have. I've given us some of those. My piece I is mean, almost gone. Well, unlike Rob, we were working. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was just was commenting fine. on YouTube and Post making timers free. and eating bread. Okay, well, I can, sadly, we don't have to, I was going to say, well, you didn't clean off the stand mixer hook, but I guess oh, we don't too. have to, and it doesn't matter. We passed 18,000. We're almost to Handwich, 7,000 more to Handwich. Thanks for donating, it. everybody. Now, a quick reminder, a couple things. Number one, um... This is all for Give Kids the World. Yep. They're an incredible organization. Darren, you do a lot of great stuff at Give Kids the World. <laughs> Darren? Yeah. You tell me to eat. He's eating bread. <laughs> it's so about Give You cut to me while eating. You're um. literally working right now. <laughs> and you're, Darren, before you finish that bite, what is one thing that you love about Give Kids the World? Sorry. I, uh, oh, I guess he has to think about it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> The donations have slowed to a halt as we wait to see. What is, I'm joking. Um, before I worked for Give Kids the World, I worked for Disney for like seven, eight years. And outside of everything I do, Wish Kids and Wish Families are some of the coolest people on the planet. Uh, and having the ability to work with them on a day in and day out basis and, um, and really help make a difference in, 
in their lives it is such an amazing experience that I didn't think my career trajectory would ever have me on. Um, and it, like, if you ever get the, the chance to interact with somebody, if you're ever at Disney and you see somebody with the Gift Kids the World or Make a Wish button, um, have a conversation with them because they are, are the, the coolest, down to earth, uh, just incredible people. Um, and I am so incredibly lucky that I get to work with them every day. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's so great. I mean, it was that was, a, that was a stellar recovery <laughs> from being to being a mouthful, mouthful of, of boysenberry. Mouthful of For context, there is still bread in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and you may reserve. You can eat it. You can eat it now. Oh, thank you. 1260 donated anonymously. Just want Kevin to know. Now, that Darren, another thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a super chat in my mouth. Please don't. <laughs> 1260 anonymously. Just want to let Kevin know that I, of course, love the YouTube videos, but this live stream is genuinely great and it's very fun. So don't worry. You're a great streamer, doing great things. Thanks for this. That's Thank my you. first time being called a great streamer. Nice. Get me one of those chairs. You're going pro. <laughs> Big gamer chair, racing chair. Uh, okay, let's let's take a pause on that. Jack, come on over. Coming on over. All right. All right. There's the the bread. Oh, get closer. The steam coming off of it. Woo. I don't want to fog up the camera. Get the black background so that way you can see the steam. All right. Here we go, buddy. It's a little right. hot. You're going to have to blow on it, even though it's in my yeah. hand. Okay. What was in this one again? Is this walnut? This again? is this is just the this is the famous Magic Kingdom walnut bread. Now, I don't know. I can't I don't know if I can describe this, but it tastes exactly like something that would come out of the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Precisely <laughs> like and hey, do with Ouch. that info what you will. Give that a taste and see if you agree with that. I'll give it to other people first. <laughs> okay, anyways, wait, hold on, hold on. Come here. Oh, okay. This is this might it's pretty hot, but here you go. Those are yours. Thank you so much. <laughs> May I have some bread, sir? I'm gonna, I'll just take a little bit. Okay, Rob, come on over. Okay. Guys, I'm rich. I've got so much bread. This is Rob's computer mouse loaf. <laughs> That's the uh, Dell or Lenovo wired mouse loaf. Okay. All right. There you go. Those are hot. There you go. <laughs> All right. Darren? The bread drive. Get your breads. Come on down. Get a sticker. I a sweater with pockets, so I can get some pocket bread. Stop by our booth. You will have some bread. bread. All right. Here you go. We're bread rich. Yeah. What do you think? Our cup over runneth oh, over with my bread. My plate doth runneth over. Well, there's plenty of walnuts bread. in there. What do you, what do you? Right, though, you get what the pretzel. Taste like? It's got, because it's got the harder, bread. you know, yep. but it, not. Nailed it. All right, bread. thanks. There you go. You there are yours. This, awesome. They're hot. Be careful. Yes, they're okay, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, hurry back before they burn you. Wait, I need one of those. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I need a crumb. I haven't Here, tasted it. Yeah. Okay. Can you get the camera off me so I can see? Well, we got a very threatening donation from a, a returner. We got Michael Eisner back with 1050. <laughs> Keep my name out of your mouth, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> Gland Floridian. How's that, Brett? Is it treat? Yeah. I agree with all of your sentiments. <laughs> it does just taste like bread. And I cannot taste the walnut. And also, it tastes like bread. It's and I agree, it would have been served at the Magic Kingdom. And I, I do think, though, that someone in, like, if you were a family going to Magic Kingdom in the 1970s, and you were at Royal Stefan's, if you were at King Stefan's Royal Banquet Hall, in the castle, this yeah. is before Cinderella's Royal Table, and you're sitting there, and they bring this bread out to you, it is the thing that you would remember, not only because the rest of the meal was probably far worse in comparison <laughs> to the point where you walk out of that meal and say, Man, well, the bread was really good, <laughs> but also it's just like one of those things that it's so, this bread is like a little bit different than the loaves of bread people were buying in the 70s. Yeah. Because it's baked. Well, yeah, be, you would be like surprised, like this would be a great theme park offer where you're like, we don't got bread like this back home. Yeah. This, is, this is different. Yeah. I can see that. Well, it's like, oh, they put walnuts in their bread. Because that would break the budget back home. You can't do that. This I mean, if they 70s. brought these out, I mean, it, I mean, we are in like a castle right now. 
We're definitely in the castle right now. It's it's funny, the kitchen is the least castle-y of them, ironically enough, just because, you know, it would have just been like a, a campfire with a, a, with a pot above it, a metal pot. But yeah, we are in a full castle. I hope people don't forget that. Roger Jobel with 2625, Defunct Land has been a source of not only entertainment, but valuable education on historical matters that otherwise would have evaded my interest. Very true. I am more happy to support a I am more than happy to support his cause that defunct, a defunct team host. Somebody, Steve hold Pizzolo. on. Okay. Sorry, what was the end of that? They're somebody just, somebody said, one sec, I just gotta say something. I, you know I'm joking, people know I'm joking, right? Somebody <laughs> said that my general attitude was, was <laughs> negative. <laughs> these, are, these are like my best friends. Yeah, we love them. We're just, hey. we're joking around. So, I, I hope that I'm not coming off. I'm going full. This is, yeah, this is the dinner, man. Um, yes, chef, thank yeah, you. Okay, I, I these are, yeah, sorry. Okay. Anyway, yeah, sorry, read the rest you, of that one. We got some delicious bread. Roger Joe, yeah. They're, just, they're more Magic than... Magic Kingdom, that's what it was. <laughs> Magic Kingdom brought up some bad. <laughs> we can't. We're remembering 70s Magic Kingdom. But they're more than happy to support a cause that the defunct team hosts Give Kids the World. Nice. That's very nice. 35 donated anonymously. I hope your wrists are coping with the loss of your stand mixer. Though I gotta say, I'm looking respectfully at your arms, Kevin. <laughs> Loving all that Defunct Land team <laughs> has done so far. And looking forward to seeing y'all continue to develop and further your work and also develop your muscle mass. I'm sure they'd mean that as well. Thank you, Anonymous. We got Sam Kaffelnick with 5250. Oh, it's that time of year again. I was just thinking that I needed to get back to watching cooking shows. Happy holidays, all. Yeah, this is the best way to do it. All right. That's great. So that's so many nice. There's not been a question yet. I no. do like that uh, Kevin made us each pick out which loaves would be our loaves, and they all ended up as a pile on a plate. <laughs> we'll lay that back out. It's just all communal bread at this point. Yeah. It's like in Castle Times, man, that's how it would have been. It's not like, oh, it's my bread. I have a separate receipt for that. Our bread. Yeah, yeah. just uh, when when the baker rations. he brings the it out. Bread. We go. That's some delicious bread. Now, how are we doing on timing, and what's next? You've you've noticed I've been taking a break. Yeah. The, I'm trying uh, to stop that. Sorry. <laughs> Get back to it. I got the wind knocked out of me with that comment. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I being mean? I was I was just having fun. It's about five minutes left on the honey. Okay. I mean, that's literally how you have to get in character as a chef. I don't know what people are expecting. Has there ever been a chef that was just so jovial and nice about that? Um, I, right. want to go Bobby full, Flay. I want him to go full Gordon Can Lord. I get the yeah. menu up? Screaming. What'd you say? Can I get the menu up? Menu, menu is up. coming up. There it is. We got... We're on to... Are we on to mains? Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do mom's chili later because I think I can do it. I think I got to do the corn dog next. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't see the problem. Look, what you're putting All right, let's through. do it. Yeah, what's A reaction that fills us with excitement. What's no. the issue? <laughs> but I am pumped about the corn dog. I'll admit that. It's right up my alley. Oh, we got a question here. 2625 donated anonymously. Will you ever make a video about Luna Park Sydney and its quote-unquote welcoming face? Do we know about the welcoming face? I don't even know about Luna Park Sydney. I know. So I'm saying anytime I get anything that I've never seen that before, interest immediately peaks. Yeah. If he won't do it, I will. I'm very curious. Wait, what? What park? Luna Park Sydney. I've heard of that park. I think that that was where the famous ghost train accident was. Well, they have a we need to talk about something dark right now. They have a welcoming face. And okay. So it's now time to get ready to do the fry. All right. Kevin, Twitch chat's hyping you up. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, Twitch, Twitch doesn't think I'm being too mean. Our OG timers. <laughs> Victoria yeah. Herman with 1050. Hi, Kevin and friends. Very excited to catch right. some charity land this year. The Puzzle Place video is so important to me because no one ever knows about that show, and I'd actually almost convinced myself it didn't actually exist. And then Defunct Land swooped in and validated my childhood memories with well-researched documentary reassurance. So thanks for that. Good luck with the ungodly amounts of bread, and a very happy birthday to Corv. I mean, that does happen. There's times when you, you just can't even, especially for you, you can't prove it. you got to have someone come in and go, oh, that was real. 
Rob's going for more. Bread. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold the bread. It's still pretty warm. Yeah. Well, that's why I wasn't in any All right. rush. I'm like, you know what? Our bread's gonna be good. There's so much bread. All yes. right. Well, I gotta get the other bread in frame. Next up is the Pixar Fest corn dog. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay. I would never disrespect these donations by chewing while reading them. That's okay. Fair. That's a good point. So what I'm doing is, so the Pixar Fest corn dog was served at Pixar Fest at California Adventure. The problem is there's no recipe for it because it was like a very specialty item, but I'm gonna use a corn dog Disneyland recipe and then I'm just gonna make it. I, I hope it works. Um, homemade Disneyland copycat, homemade, well there's only one like on that one. <laughs> I don't like when like, no offense, to li like, I don't like when non-recipe sites like Mice Chat, which I'm, I have no, I'm sure they're very nice people in Mice Chat. Yeah. Um, but it's just like they, they, they put a recipe up because it's, it's, they're so good at SEO that it goes to the top of this yeah. thing, so, and, but there's no reviews. So I'm like, so I'm, uh, this. is this real? Is this real? I find it fascinating because I feel like I wouldn't trust any reviews, so I don't, I wouldn't even. Well, definitely not with corn dogs because. Well, even so Well, many you just have to read the reviews. Like So many recipe reviews are like, oh, well, I substituted the butter for jelly and I replaced the chicken with, uh, you know, tuna and it tasted terrible. And you're like, oh, really? Wow. See, see, this is this is so. the kind of thing you want to see. 4.6 stars, mm -hmm. and all the comments are like, this didn't make enough batter. That's yeah. a good, Useful. that's great, because what you're telling me is that you wanted more, or that you have like a lot of kids, and now they're hungry. <laughs> I know a guy, you could call him, you pay him, he will leave as many comments as you want on your recipe, and they will all have the same theme. All right, to add so some legitimacy. Yeah. I'm now making corn dogs. The Pixar Fest corn dog was a little bit different than normal corn dogs. So we're gonna do one quart vegetable oil, done. One cup cornmeal, okay. A quick one for 1050 from LEH, sending some money to hopefully get you in your hand, which Godspeed, Kevin. We're working towards it, we're chipping away. We're getting there. I mean, I have to eat the hand, which I mean, I'm gonna be the one really losing if we don't get this, so you guys got me. Okay. Nope, that's cornstarch. That's not cornmeal. That's cornstarch. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Cornmeal and cornstarch are not the same thing. They're not even close. Except for I think they're both made of corn. Most things are made of corn. So it is made of corn these days. My car runs on corn. <laughs> <laughs> corn has dominated the world, man. How did it happen? Half cup. We got, we got an anonymous donation. They say that now that Loch Ness Monster at Bush Gardens is being rebuilt, is there any interest in doing a video, a video on the original? The Big Bad Wolf video is so nostalgic for me. Thank you so much for documenting my favorite uh, childhood memory. Beeping. For so what? Beeping in chat in uh, Twitch. In the, oven. the honey? Oh, this is really wet. Don't use a towel. I'm okay. not going to use a Good. towel. Good. He's got it. Kind of... Where'd it go? The bread's gone. It's just an empty oven now. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, it's all falling through. Uh-oh. I put four in it. Now there's just one. Okay. <laughs> back again. We're back. Anytime that oven opens, we're in peril. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Everything's fine. That's the Carousel of Progress oven. <laughs> we're all fine. Everybody's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Preheating. Rob's got a high score of 950. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a joke. It's not a reflection of Loma <laughs> Homes ovens. They're good. Yeah, we trust that. Well, that, that's the thing is I want to respect Loma Homes oven. I don't want to mess it up. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's awesome. They should write a song about that. Wait a minute. 
they loved that idea, and they did it. That was terrible. I just messed up bad. What'd you do? I, I just poured cornmeal over myself, right next to my favorite boysenberry bread that I make every year. Awesome. <laughs> I mean that I just made for the first time. I'm just I've never made that. All right, one cup cornmeal, one cup all-purpose flour. Are you guys uh, excited for some hot dogs? Yes, man. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry, they're not hot dogs. They're corn dogs, and also they don't have hot dogs inside of them. I was kind of hoping for more bread, to be honest two. with you. I felt like there wasn't enough bread. Well, we have two more s- bread. We have two more. Mine's getting shoved inside that, uh, <laughs> that bread there in a second. Double bread, man. Why are you saying things like that? What? I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the process for making a normal corn dog. So. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? We got Ryan Hecht with uh, 5250 putting the MC Parks, oh, putting the MC Parks uh, wishing well funds towards saying hi to Darren. Hi, Darren. Hey. Uh, MC <laughs> Parks wishing well. Hi. Two teaspoon. We got a Darren shout out. Heck yeah, he's here. We got Darren representing Give Kids the World. The rumors are true. Darren's on stream. <laughs> he's back again. All right, one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Where's my salt? Team Streamy with 100, they come in, they have a real question. We've got a remove, renovate, and reimagine, I love these, with Dumbo the Flying Elephant, Astro Orbiter, Magic Carpets of Aladdin. They love watching your stuff, Kevin, so happy Cherry Land is back this year. Also to answer that person's question about, I wanna answer that, but about Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, yeah, I would consider doing Loch Ness Monster, I know that's a classic. Is it Williamsburg, I think, was the right one? I think so. I think so. What was, the, uh, what, was the, what was that question? We got a remove, renovate, and reimagine with three spinner attractions. We got Dumbo, Astro Orbiter, and Magic Carpens of Aladdin. I mean, obviously it's Astro Orbiter because it's at least elevated. For, uh, for which? For which? For which one? What do you mean? We got to remove, renovate, and reimagine. Each one so of them is going to have... One, you oh, remove, renovate, reimagine. Yeah. yeah. This game is very similar to another game. Yeah. Frick, yeah. <laughs> well, in, in parentheses, they say in the style of Frick, Mary, Kill. So ah. That's, that's actually what that game's called. The WDI version. Yeah. So we have... I, I, this calls for buttermilk. Gosh, I darn. say remove Aladdin because it interrupts the flow of adventure. Most yes. definitely, yeah. Um, I don't even think I have vinegar Dumbo to make just got normal. sort of reimagined. Yeah, I think we... Yeah. I mean, this one might be too obvious, but I'll switch it up. I'll, I'll go, we, let's re-renovate Dumbo. Let's get all that stuff out of there. Let's get the original classic. Oh, Dumbo. wow. You want actively, to down- act- Yeah, yeah. Actively make it worse. Just for, okay. then, Magic Kingdom has too much capacity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need less. Yeah. And then Astro Orbiter will uh, we'll keep that vintage. For, oh, for see, I think sake. that needs to be reimagined. Well, <laughs> or at least renovated. When it lands, Yeah, that so too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or put something in other than an elevator that takes forever to, you know, get guests up and down. You guys are going to miss They're it. always talking about large eggs and small eggs. I've never once in my life paid attention to the size of an egg. I thought they were really, I mean, there's no way they could be. I figured they were uniform. No, they're, they're not. They're going to be in the same cart. I mean, they all no, they're not. They're sized differently. Oh, okay. So, like, they, fill, they, they take the large ones and they put them in the cartons that sell large eggs and the small ones. I mean, that's a very inclusive take for you to have. We don't I care. appreciate that. <laughs> we're egg positive. Okay. Mark Berg, 2625. Any interest in exploring the history of professional wrestling being filmed at the parks? A lot of companies have done it, and I know that a lot of wrestlers are fans of the parks. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which I didn't even know about until you told me about that. I mean, I knew Hulk Hogan ran around Disney World at one point. You know, honestly, I will, I'll answer this for real, and I've ne- I'll never usually say this about anything like this. But no, I'm not going to do that, because I know that like it's really difficult to talk about WWE on YouTube without getting a yeah, strike. They know. Because they, uh, apparently, they uh, they go after a... Uh... Me. Yeah, didn't you have a video oh. taken down? <laughs> yeah, I did a whole Thunder in Paradise video. I was really ha- proud of it, too. And they took it down. And this was after I, like, stopped doing YouTube, so I did not notice until... <laughs> I think I tried to send you the link, and there was nothing Yeah, you there. did. You're like, I guess it's down. Yeah. Man. This is a cover-up. Thunder in Paradise never happened. We remember. We remember. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, Mark. No wrestling. And quite frankly, I think most people, like if you know about wrestling enough to want that, then you, you know it. And any, any lay person coming in and kind of mucking up the history because they don't know it, I would just be wicked annoying. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna be okay. I think we're gonna make some corn dogs. Perfect. Do they want me to put butter on afterwards? There's no way, right? They want me to put. Okay, where are my popsicle sticks? Okay, I gotta get this, I gotta get this heating up. What temperature? Please give me a temperature. Careful with the oil. Oh, I know. Okay, good. I mean, Can somebody look up sure. uh, what temperature to fry hot dogs at? What temperature to fry hot dogs? Okay. What am I looking for? Oh, my temp thermometer and my... All right. This is a. Uh, it's gonna be fine, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. 140 degrees. How much? No. One for it says keep the hot dogs at 140. No, no, the we'll hot, dogs the hot dogs. dogs what, what about the oil? And usually like 350. Yeah. That's what I. What do you do like chicken? 325, 350. Yeah. So. Yeah, Autumn Overcare. Again, sorry guys, cripplingly American with these names. 1575. Hi, it's Autumn from the Patreon Discord. Do you guys remember a kid's show called Bloopies Buddies? If this isn't just a weird fever dream, would you do a defunct TV episode on it? Well, I don't, I've never heard of that. But I'm sure, it's, I'm sure you're not having a, a, having a dream. I'm sure it's real. Yeah. Okay, but first, uh, cool on rack and pan 10 minutes. I did that. Carefully remove from pan and cool on rack. Wrap cooled loaf in aluminum foil and store overnight before cutting. We're not doing that. We're eating this hot. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. You heard it streams coming overnight. Again. <laughs> 24 hours again. Slumber party. Well, they also they just rounded that one out with doing some of the uh, most relatable baking I've ever seen. Thank you for your videos and charity work. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, Autumn. Mason Grady, 2625. Just here to say thank you for everything you do. Thanks, Mason. Christopher Vasca with 1050. Is Steamed Alternative ever coming back? I rewatch <laughs> them all constantly. And oh, I, maybe. I don't know. I, I need to do one of those. I haven't done one for a while. Our last video was a cliffhanger. Was that the one? Was that um, all yes, Robert that was. Brothers? No, the last one we did was on, we watched like part one of the three part 25th anniversary special thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, we, this is, uh, this smell, I don't like the smell of this one. You don't like the smell? I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. Okay. My anti compliments to the chef. Wait a minute. Go in the mirror and give him a piece of your mind. I'll tell him that this is terrible. Hot pork Italian sausage. Okay, so this was made in California Adventure with some weird stuff. It was it was one part pepper jack cheese instead of so instead of a hot dog, it was pepper jack cheese in the middle and then a chicken sausage and then pork sausage on top and bottom. A Cajun chicken sausage and Italian pork sausage, all in the same one. What? And so, whoa, that's what you're gonna be eating. The turducken. So wait, is it, is it like the sausages are cut down the middle and it's half and half? Yes. Interesting. It's like a little scotch. Especially because I don't know if the, well, I guess we'll see. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, this is gonna be weird. I hope that everything's okay. I like that this is going to be fine. Like, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I, th I don't think... Of course we're going to be fine. We're, we're going to be fine either way. Okay. It, hey, everybody. Yeah. It's tasting time. Woo! Honey coconut loaf tasting time. All right. Jack's up first. All Jack, right. come on over. Ooh, this is warm. Here now, we remember, go. you're supposed to imagine what this would taste like if I put it in aluminum foil and cooled it overnight, except for I'm not going to do that. I can imagine that. I'm, I'm very imaginative. Ready? I'm back where you can hardly get that cooling effect. Was it hot? No. Okay. That's very good. What one was that again? Honey coconut. Honey coconut. Well, it's definitely both coming through. Honey coconut. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to think. Where was that? Do we know where that was like from? Do we remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Sorry. Tangora Terrace, Polynesia. Okay. Well, yeah. That Rob, you're up next. Come on over. perfectly. Thanks, I made it. <laughs> I don't know. Now, he's saying it's perfect. You said you don't like how it smells. It did smell good. Now you're 
How's this batter look? Rob is sitting there empty-handed. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Darren, you're up next. Come on over. But as Rob finishes, I mean, as Rob begins. So is this the one with yes, the Yes, it's the citron. It's the weird stuff. What do you think, Clark? This is like in era for you. You're eating like a, uh, a Christmas fruit cake type thing. You're Clark Griswold. <laughs> it's not bad. It smells good. I don't like the citron texture. Okay. But I didn't. the honey comes <laughs> through strong. I right. like that. That's fine. It's not my recipe. All right, Darren, come on over. Let me cry first. Because he doesn't like my... No, like, it's not bad. I like it. I also think it smells weird. All right, Darren. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's devastating news. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to recover. <laughs> I think Jack was lying now. Hi, man. <laughs> okay, get the cameras off me, please. I'm a coconut lover. Okay, you're good. Oh. <laughs> Camera. Yeah, Camera's going on. back on. <laughs> Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> and I think that you didn't get any of the citron. That might be the case because I only you got You didn't like taste a, like that strong fruit flavor? No, I only got the coconut. Oh my God. Yeah, that's not good. So fat. Don't okay, again well, I mean, me. it's, it's edible. It looks good. I'm going to switch this out and put this on here. Andy Wyman with 1955 says, Dear Kevin, as a new Disneyland train engineer, I understand your burn pain. I also, well, he's going to be... So sad when he hears that you're anti-train. I also want to let you know. <laughs> I'm not anti-train. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Charity stream was good, but man, he just really went hard against. I went trains. hard on the this... 40 minute train rant. Kind of threw me off at the beginning, but it's okay. I also want to let you know that I've watched Journey to Epcot Center probably 30 times now. Love everything you do. Can't oh, wait to wow. see what's next. Well, Shout that's out. so nice. That's what you hope, man. You hope people like it, is rewatch it. Yeah, that's, that's what great. It's all about. Cat Lopez with a big one. 105. Hi, Kevin. Thank you so much for bringing Charity Land back this year and for all the hard work you put into your videos. I never thought I could be so moved watching a video about Disney Channel's theme or Epcot Center, but that's why you do what you do. That's why what you do is so special. Happy holidays to you and your team. Thanks. Thanks so much. Cat I really Lopez. appreciate that. That's really nice. I appreciate that. Um, real quick, if you're just joining us, this is all for Give Kids the World Village. Mm -hmm. You haven't given them a shout out in a while. Also, thank you to Loma Homes for uh, giving us a discount on this place that we're currently in. Oh, yeah. And also, shout out to our tech crew who's working very hard behind the scenes and all those good things. Uh, $10 gets you a question. $100 gets you um, a sticky note. Just make sure that if you do want something on a sticky note, you have to put sticky note and also ask for it to be short. Yeah. If you already gave $100 and you feel like, oh, I wanted a sticky note and it didn't go, just tell us and in the chat or something and, and we'll hopefully get that and, and make it right. But... It has to be short for the sticky note. But as you can see over here, this is where our sticky notes are. That's where they live. We're doing them. All right. Okay, so while this is heating up, what else do I have to do? The Monte Cristo? That's not going to be, that's going to be difficult. Let's see, what do we have? Um, yeah, Monte Cristo Monte sandwich, Cristo. Disneyland. All right. Is that, um, that's blue body? Sorry, okay, everybody see your sticky notes? Oh. Sticky notes. Okay. So, Monte Cristo sandwich. Currant jelly sauce. Okay, fruit compote. Batter. Oh, man. Yellow food coloring. I saw this, and I thought, that sounds wrong. <laughs> what is oh, it? Oh, I need a toothpick. I have a toothpick. Color. He's got one toothpick. Is it yellow, like as an element of a different color? All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's up the energy. We're feeling sleepy. All right, we got Stephanie Mason. Yeah, because we had seven loaves of bread. <laughs> I'm so heavy. Oops. <laughs> Maybe we should have saved the bread for later. Why do we want to take a nap? <laughs> 
Liberty Mesa Juicy was 1575. Can't wait for the inevitable flagpole of Freedom Park video. Thank you for your consistent and incredible videos. P.S. I have the same Disney World recipe book, and the kitchen and dumplings are delicious. I'll mark that one down. Kitchen for, for a later date, of course. <coughs> oh, technical difficulties. <coughs> you okay there? <coughs> I'm fine. Hands up. <coughs> Bread. The bread has adverse effects occasionally. Okay. I can't wait for this Monte Cristo sandwich and corn dogs to like really wake us up. <laughs> the Disneyland special. <laughs> like, I mean, we, it's scientific that you get sleepy based on certain foods. Yeah. Right. We, I mean, it's, we have no choice. Okay. Two thirds cup water. Okay, one small egg. See, I don't care about egg size. One moderate to mid-range egg. Okay, perfect. You know, I think it, I'm just sad because you didn't like the honey coconut loaf. Why? Speak for these <laughs> Okay. You didn't like it. <laughs> I'm all of you. I know, but I wanted you to like it. <laughs> did you want honesty or did you want, like, hype? I mean, I, I, I feel like the next one, now, if you do like it, I'll know that you really liked it. I feel as though I haven't impressed Rob yet. That could just be, I'm a very analytical food reviewer, I guess. I don't know. I suppose. I just think that, I don't know. I like this I'm going to win you I over. I like the walnut that, All I'm saying is I'm going to win you over by the end of this. I know that nothing's knocked your socks off yet. An uphill battle. But we have more stuff coming. And also, I'm pretty sure I have a timer about to go off for this to see. Let's see if this, this did not rise at all. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see. Did I forget to put yeast in this? What's the... <laughs> yeast optional. No, because didn't... You showed it perfect. I know. Well, I mean, the bottom is... Maybe I just have more time on this than I thought I did. They said there's still 45 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, we beef him soon. Cow Road Eye with 2625. Love the channel very much. The Splash Mountain video is one of my favorites, and the fact that it is called that because of the Tom Hanks vehicle is now one of my favorite fun facts. Do you have any collaborations with other content creators you'd like to do in the future? Interesting. Any not collabs? that I can think of. Not that I don't... I don't know. Collaborations on YouTube, I feel like went the way of the dough. <laughs> Went the way of the dodo. What a what a way to say that. Huh? Yeah. The uh, but isn't the, doesn't that feel like that? Like there's just not that many collaborations anymore. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, well, we like when's the know. last time you've turned on a video and they said, <laughs> "Park ride history." What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, Kevin. We're, We're just gonna get like real. a script. <laughs> We're gonna... That's a classic. Eileen Hill with 1575 enjoying the stream. If I can ask a question. Do any of you have any funny slash embarrassing holiday and or theme park memories you'd like to share? Embarrassing or funny holiday theme park memories. Anybody? I'm just so cool. Uh, let me, <laughs> I have to dig. Because I'm sure, I'm sure there are, and I'm sure I've buried them real deep. Yeah. And so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of embarrassing memories. Yeah, I mean, I have so many embarrassing memories. Pretty much, but they're, like, they're, they all just would rather, they're not like, I know what people want when they ask that. Yeah. They want a memory where they could go, oh my gosh, that's so funny and embarrassing. But anything that I'm embarrassing would just be like, yeah, I answered the phone wrong. <laughs> right, and I right. still, still think about me. it every night. Yeah. Or I said I love you to someone that I don't know that well, just out of habit. Right. And I think about it you right call, now. You call your teacher mom and it's really <laughs> awkward. Yeah, you can't have that. I, I said, I, I did a dinner prayer when I was supposed to say the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Yeah, nobody got pants at Magic Kingdom or anything, so unfortunately we're... I think when I was a kid, this is this is a little bit like that. I was a, I was a kid, my mom had gotten, they were selling uh, off the light bulbs from the original Main Street Electrical Parade, oh. and she got that as a gift, and I didn't know that it was a social faux pas, because I guess I was too young, that the first thing I did was ask them how much that cost. And that's when I was, I learned. <laughs> the analytical <laughs> mind. parents taught me, you don't ask that sort of thing when you get a gift. And that has, that one's burned in to my brain. And yeah. now I know not to do that. So it's good that I guess it's stuck with me. It's Tell definitely you. a core memory. You would have learned that eventually. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it was there. Yeah. They were understanding. Maybe. I must have been like six or seven years old. I don't know. Wait, where was that? Huh? Where was that? This was Christmas one year with oh. the family. Theme park or Christmas memories. Yeah. 
It was a little bit of both, I guess. Yeah. Where, was that a theme park? No, the gift was a theme park. It was oh, a bulb okay. from Main Street Electrical. Gotcha. They want one eighth teaspoons of white pepper. It's way more than one eighth teaspoon. I'm getting peppery. Creative Catastrophe, 1575. Thank you for donating to a great cause. And thank you for the chat for letting me know that strand mixers were on sale. So some people are getting <laughs> yep. strand mixers. They're getting word. Hey, I need one. <laughs> Don't be upgrading one. just because you heard they're on sale. He's going to go. They're all going to be gone yeah. because we talked about how they're on sale. They all ran out. I honestly haven't processed the fact that I don't have a stand mixer anymore. You could probably get it repaired. We got Christmas right around the corner, man. We'll hook you up. It was a group effort. We'll make one. He ran and got one for his mom as a Christmas gift. Nice. So we're doing some good work here. Hopefully Kevin gets a new one, too. Harper Goldman, 1050. I should be saving for a trip to New York. But after that incredible symphonic history I've watched five times now, I'll donate to any charity you recommend, Kevin. What inspired you to make it symphony-based rather than the usual style you go for? Yeah, I'm curious about this, too. Why symphony-based as opposed to anything else? Well, Epcot is such a symphonic park itself. It's one of the only parks that had pretty much original score everywhere, if you think about the fact that pretty much every Disney park or any other amusement park is either using other people's music or they're using their own film's music, and this one was completely original. But also just the fact that I just felt that because the film is like an evolution where you see something get molded yeah. rather than a story where you really focus on a specific character. I thought it just fit better. That's, that's yeah. my answer. And also, it was a, a four-year mistake, and I, uh, it just took so long. <laughs> it's my favorite of all your videos. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. I, um, the day it came out, I started watching it on my phone, and probably like five or ten minutes in, I was like, no, 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 I need to like sit down and watch it. So I... I um, I like had my girlfriend stop what she was doing. We watched it on our TV, and then I immediately like sent it to all of my friends. So. Oh wow, that's very nice. I had, thank yeah, you so it much. It is like such a great, not even just like documentary, but it is such a great just like artistic expression of this common hobby that we all have. Oh well, thank you. I really appreciate that, Darren. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even know you watched my videos. <laughs> Multi. I I just found out that just now. I just thought you were just doing. Good work with Give Kids of the World. No, no, no. no. Which, one's the recipe? Which one's the recipe? Monte Cristo we're doing right now. Because we got a, let me see. This is all Monte. You have to put it on top of the Top of the World pancake. Yeah, we got a $210 donation anonymously from, and it simply says, Hamwich Bread Train, all capitals. Hamwich Bread Train, we're, we're rallying for it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I need the sticks. I need the sticks. I need the sticks. This man needs his sticks. Okay. If this doesn't work, it's going to be okay. We're not in an open flame. We're using an electric yep. mixer, and there's very little oil in this. Probably less than there should be. Where are the sticks? I bought sticks last night. I need sticks. Uh oh, man needs sticks. Man needs okay, sticks. Okay, here they are. Oh, he's got sticks. All right. Kelsey C with fifteen seventy five. Happy holidays. Can you please share the boysenberry bread recipe after the stream? I think we might have captured it on the stream when the replay goes up. Might be able to check it out. Yeah, I can also get book. it to you. I'm sure it exists online somewhere, but yes, boysenberry. It exists somewhere. We have record. Yes. Thank you, Kelsey. We appreciate that. Matthew Cartelli donated 2625. Here's to another successful charity land. Heck yeah. We got Devin A with 105, former CM here. Your documentaries played a huge role in inspiring me to do the DCP. Thank you for all you do. Nice. Yeah. nice. Thank you. We love stories like that. Nice stuff. Saffron Eatington, again, I think I remember that name from earlier, donated 1050. Second donation, yes. But I wanted to selfishly ask for a birthday shout out. Thanks again for the amazing work. You got this, Kevin and team. Shout out to Saffron. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating again. If you want some bread? Come get some bread. Oh, we yeah, we have plenty of bread, so and bread. also we're sleepy. I'm just going to put <laughs> one candle in it. There you go. Okay. Andrew Johnson. I'm feeling him. so much less confident about this than I was like before I really. Now, why is that? You got it, man. Because I just don't know how this is going to react. Oh, so you mean half and half like that? That skewer. You know, we're going full kebab right now. That is a weird way to do it. I'm not saying he's doing it wrong. I'm just saying the. What would you have done? Slice down the middle? Yeah, like, because then every well, bite is, is one no. type of sausage, the other type of yeah. sausage, and cheese. Okay, well that's now, not what it is. I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> denying that. I'm just I critiquing Disney's decision to go. You know what? They need 
two thirds of the way through or a third of the way through, they need to just get pure fried cheese for a little bit. Yeah. And then they're going to get more meat. Okay, everybody. I don't know what's about to happen. It's a kebab, yeah. Hey, Rob, can you get the technical difficulties ready? <laughs> it's ready. ready. Are you, well, you got to batter it first, right? I know. Okay. I, I know. All right, just make it sure. Just make it sure. Okay. Faded black. <laughs> Remember, put it in away from you. Yes. Now this Doesn't this just feel like a bad idea? Can't you just feel the bad idea? It's only because every time we've gotten to technical difficulties is when you've interacted with the oven or stove. <laughs> <laughs> That's so which chat's typing you up? They said that your confidence is inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. I know you're in my corner. They're going to start cooking soon. Okay. You got this. They do it at Disneyland every day. You can do it. Oh, it's not long enough. <laughs> okay. We're just going to have to do it like this. Pull yeah, just block. rotate it. For the others, i got to break the stick. Okay. This will be a tester. This will be a tester just to see what happens. That's how. That's a good way to do it. I'm not going to try to break the stick. I, I, I wasn't worried at all until he grabbed a knife and started furiously trying to <laughs> saw the oh, stick. Make... Then I got worried. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're all good. Now he's okay. Yeah. yeah. Listen, sometimes you get a little jolt of adrenaline in the kitchen. It's just the way it is. Andrew Johnson with 1050. This is when we had a sticky note earlier. They say trans rights again. We had that sticky noted, so shout outs, we're with it. 2625 from Anonymous. I think you might want to pre cook the pork sausage. I don't think it's going to cook all the way you want when you fry a corn dog. Thanks for all you do. Well, we're just we're just playing it by ear. We're going to. We're going to inspect. I was thinking the first about that. One. We're going to inspect the first one. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll try some alternatives. Yeah, strats, I guess that wouldn't be. cook in just a couple minutes, would it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, chicken cooks, but is is the uh, density the, thin, yeah, the yeah. of the sausage? I yeah, mean, because it's got to get through. But like steak cooks in oil. Yeah. But is it the point of steak to have it, you know, rare-ish? I mean, it's, you know, you know, hey, hey. We're the ones who are going to eat it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. If anybody's wondering why... Hot dogs are pre-cooked, sausages are not. It's a good point. That is a good point. Yep. Are they? Yeah. Well, you know what they say. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, food poisoning. That is my favorite uh, question. <laughs> we will know whether they're cooked eating. or not. <laughs> hey, man, we're good. Jonas Riley, 1575. Hello. I graduated college this week. To celebrate, I'm sending you money. Thanks for all you do. Shout Thanks so Jonas. much. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be the last one that I don't make, that I make under these circumstances. And then if they don't work, we're going to cook them. We're less than $800 away from 20000 25000 and we get... The hand. The, yes, I the was going to say, uh, someone in the chat asked if there's a grand finale meal, and I'd say the closest thing to it is the hand witch. Or which... Kevin's Christmas creme, which I don't know if I will be have enough time to cook. Also, remind me at 7 that we have a thing. Okay. Okay. We got Melissa Wilkinson with 5250. Thanks to Kevin and team for another charity land. You always do these the same weekend as my big family Christmas party, and I love yes. watching the live streams to relax and unwind afterwards. Nice, Melissa. We're hoping we're giving you all the... Maybe not this one. <laughs> the calm, yeah, relaxing ASMR heated kitchen vibes. We're going for that episode of the Christmas episode of the Bear vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I really do think they're going to cook. We'll see. I, I mean, I'm following... What, what does the chat think? Do they have faith? Not all ability. sausages are raw. There's plenty of pre-cooked sausage. I don't know if we got that kind, though. We definitely didn't. Um, Twitch chat's just talking about you holding knives. <laughs> <laughs> they can't believe it. What? Did I hold knives weird? 
No, that they uh, they want it as a twitch emote, like you holding a knife. You're just like wielding a knife. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying Jack can eat it either way. Yeah, I mean, I got no choice here, guys. I'm going all in. I think we need more knife pointing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this one under these circumstances. And it does fit now. And if for some reason, this just needs more milk, I think. Quick dono from uh, Gavin Robinson. 2625, they say thanks for all Everything's you. fine. Thanks, Gavin. Oh, they call him a corn dog because it has cornmeal. I just realized that. <laughs> Did you know that? No, I'm not going to pretend that I was above that, but I, it's crazy when things are like that obvious, and you're just like, I can't even admit that I'm just now discovering this. I'm going to be humiliated. And 30 minutes left on cinnamon bread. Okay. Everyone I tell is just going to pretend that they know and make it look like a fool. This is, there has to be a better way to, I think, I honestly think that this bread is just too thick. Thin that batter. I agree, I agree. That's what I was saying. Way ahead of you. Christine Schoenbeckler um, donated $21. Last year I was fortunate enough to be a guest on a Make-A-Wish trip to Give Kids the World. I was absolutely blown away by how much they do with every, how much they do to make every child feel special. Thank you, Kevin and team, for all you do to make this stream possible. If I can, yeah. ask, a, if I can ask a question, what, yes. is, what is your opinion on the new American Heartland theme park they're building in Oklahoma? I I've seen it. that, and I, I, don't, I don't know much about it. I looks like California Adventure. <laughs> okay, this it. is, I can't put this in until. I really think, I really do think it might cook. Let him cook. I'm going to wait, wait till that gets back up. We're all excited for new theme parks. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this one out and just call this one a wash because the, the stick didn't work anyways. Oh, that's not what you want to see. But let's just see where we're at. Well, can can, at I, can anybody give me a cutting board out of the... Yeah, you might want to move the rag from the... I know it's not a flame. It's fine. But the cutting board's there at the bottom. I need just a cutting board, please. And also, can you wash that knife that I had raw meat on? Thank you. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. How do we feel about this? Um, I would say, as a uh, corn dog appreciator, connoisseur, and enjoyer, that that may be one of the more eclectic corn dogs I've tried, but I'm more than excited <laughs> to give it a shot. That's a very kind word. Yeah. But I do mean it. I mean, any yeah. other time you get a corn dog, I know exactly what I'm in for, which is kind of half the appeal, but. I really do think it's in the oil long enough to where it will cook. I mean, that's, that's, my that's, cook. that's how it's supposed to work. So I mean, that's how most fried foods work. I don't know that they... I don't know, though. Who knows? Yep. We'll have to consult fried food experts. Sarah Jean okay, Collins with here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Here we go. Let's cut Is into this. Is that the one you touch meat with? Huh? I no, I just some. washed it. I mean, we're seeing that steam. We're to me, that steam. I wish I had a meat thermometer. Nice. Hold on. Ten fifty from Sarah Jean Collins. Hi, Darren from a uh, GR on MC Parks. Nice. We love Minecraft, so we're into it. This one? Yeah. You gonna eat that? No. I'm just looking at it. I know, it looks weird. This might actually be pre cooked, though. That one might be pre cooked? Yeah, that's the. Uh, well, I mean, the pepper jack cheese turned out great. The Andouille? You can definitely eat this. Somebody asked, what Pixar character does it remind you of? Is it pre cooked? <laughs> Check. Oh. That's a lot of words here. It's cooked, question mark? Looks edible. We'll leave this up to the chat whether or not it's cooked. You guys can tell, right? Twitch chat says yes. Oh, did I, I, reveal, my, did I reveal my face just now? My gut biome is in your hands. I don't know, probably. Shh, don't tell. I 
I don't know. Well, you can cut into that one, right? Okay, we're fine. I think we're going to put it back. What? Wait, you think it's not cooked? I don't know. You didn't cut into the other half of the sausage, did you? I think we're going to make this one for show. All right. For display. I wonder what the shelf life is on the display food. Assuming it's not made out of plastic. They give that a one day. What do, what do we all think of this, though? What do you mean? Like the concept? Big picture, small boy. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, what do we, not do we, what do we think of the concept? Just like, do we think, hold on, I gotta finish first. I think somebody had the right idea in that maybe the idea is to pre cook the sausage. Yeah, assemble, I Assemble and then fry. Because you're only frying for a couple of minutes. And yes, there's. I'm not some... frying just for a couple of minutes, it's in there for a while. Well, it's not, not gonna burn the batter? Huh? No. It's, that's a hearty batter. So to, to answer everyone in the chat, because uh, I picked out the sausage, the, the one of the types of sausage looks, I'm pretty sure that's pre-cooked. The other type of sausage is 100% not pre-cooked, um, for sure. Okay. Okay, well, I have my Monte Cristo batter, and that's next. All right. We got a question here from Anonymous1050. What is your favorite animatronic past or present in a theme park? Favorite animatronic? Well, round them. Come on, are you going to be obvious right now? Are you going to give your classic answer? Yes, I'm No. Um, uh, come back to me. Okay. I feel like I have a weird one. You got to sit on <laughs> That I always pull up, but I'm blanking. Oh, my gosh. Blanking. Kev, you got a favorite? Favorite, a favorite animatronic? animatronic? Yeah, just in general. I don't know. I also don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's not getting hotter. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's good to go. Yeah, you got that uh, oil on top heat there? Oh. Yeah, see, I think. Oh, the stove has been off this whole time. <laughs> I think everyone, I think, you know what? You know what I think? I think people are haters. <laughs> I, I think raw sausage is fine. I think fine. this is fine. And I think, well, I don't know why everyone's so... I still haven't, because I'm assuming that top bit there is cheese. That's right. It's something. Yeah, I mean, I guess you, you could say... What is close to your, the part that is close to your hand is that good. Give it a classic uh, sniff test and we'll see. And, you know, We're less fine. than $6,000 from a hand with. That's nice. right. Oh, you know what? Somebody said, is that what makes them Pixar-y? And I wonder if it is. Is it like supposed to be like the Luxo ball or something? Uh, what? Like no, that doesn't it? make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Pixar because um, yeah, Pixar is just it's recognizable. And uh, most corn dogs are not. Okay. Somebody, we can look this up. Can... Cheating. Can you cook sausage in oil? Cook oil. I'm still trying and, to think oh, on that animatronic question. <laughs> when, I, when I remove Sunny Eclipse from the lineup, it all is Yeah, sideways. I mean, I love it. Sunny Eclipse, just his little feet hanging off that chair. Yeah. It's great. He's Can there. you cook sausage in a deep fryer? I miss Sir from Alien Encounter. He was cool. That's probably, that's probably the coolest one to bring back. Mm. This malevolent robot. This is saying I deep fried some sausages yesterday and only took four minutes to cook. I think everyone's being a hater. <laughs> Korean style corn dogs are always split like that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's because of our cultural unawareness, and apparently we don't know. All right. Next up, let's make a uh, Monte Cristo. Um, I need the bread. The food color. Also, remind me at seven we have somebody coming on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about 10 and also, away. we got to figure out how to get that set up. It's just the, yeah, you can do that. 
Chris Bright with uh, 5250. I'm a big fan of the Epcot videos because of how they're less about what, what, what once was and more about what never got to be. Nice. Interesting. I'd love to see more videos of the defunct projects that failed or never got to be completed. All right. I would agree with that, too. I think it's going to be fine. I honestly, I honestly think everybody's making a hubba baloo over nothing. Cut to technical difficulties. Cut to projectile vomiting all over our, our King Arthur. I would just like to point out that I made it look golden brown. I don't care about the inside or whether it's cooked or not. <laughs> like I'm, any good That's chef. the important part. <laughs> I'm for the audience. Yeah. I, I just think it's ridiculous that nobody's crediting the fact that it, it's like a beautiful, golden, crispy... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think Cooking's we have... Cooking's like imaginary in a way. It's what you, it's what the guest sees. It's It doesn't matter how messy it is behind the scenes. Yeah. It's just what you see. If it was perfect, you actually wouldn't notice, <laughs> which is the worst part. I don't know. Are you uh, currently... You got, a, you got some dogs in there now? I got a dog in there right now. All right, cool. And I'll, I'll eat this one. I don't care. Hey, like, literally, it's cooked, I'll have it. I'll, I'll have it. I mean, on, I honestly don't know how you can make the argument for how this sausage won't be cooked. It will cook while it goes down, you know, the <laughs> intestinal tract to my stomach before any uh, E. coli situations could happen. So that'll the be recommendation good. for deep frying sausage is low heat. If I stand in the fireplace while it's you in know, the belly, stuff really like that just makes me so mad. <laughs> it feels like they don't want me, <laughs> you know. Like, I feel like they don't want me to make the side, to make it at all. <laughs> They're on every side, man. They're just looking out for us. I don't, I, I don't see it that way. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants agreement. That's all. Yeah. The heck, man. I just wish everybody could come together and say I'm right. You ever hear it yet, Shadow guys? Come on. <laughs> okay. You got five minutes till seven, by the way. Okay. Well, luckily, we got this coming up next. Danielle G with 1575. Already donated, but I also broke a mixer and burnt the heck out of my hand this week. So here's another one in solidarity. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, this one's going to be a little burnt for sure. Yeah. The Christmas but it, miracles, all these donations, reviving it. That's what we're hoping for. Ronaldo Miguel with $15, they simply say, you ever just park ride history and then uh, my logo as a Discord emote? Nice. Sometimes <laughs> I do that. Yes, I do. I do that quite a lot recently, actually. It's crazy. Nicholas, okay, there's ham. <laughs> Nicholas Case, 1050. Thanks for the entertainment. And Monte Cristo. I don't know. I don't, are, I, how are we on the... Oh, wait, the bread. We still got some time. Good chat. Are we on the bread? Let's get our Ooh. bread update of the week. Okay. Honestly, it's a little, it, you know. That is so, they, they definitely, I mean, okay, look, first of all, I know that at Disneyland they were using pre-cooked sausages. We There's know. no way. I yeah. assume they use pre-cooked everything. They're, just, they're making them in the park. At but the I think stand. that's because they don't have the patience that I do to actually make it the right way. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, this is like when you make you make a home beignet and it's just got that extra effort. And you're like, this is actually better in a, in a weird way. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm calling it time of death on this corn dog. And I gotta get the per, oh! Technical difficulties. <laughs> that's a real one. Did you get it? Yeah. Is it up? Oh, is that what you want me to put it on? No, I'm See fine. In a you're fine? He's good. He's good. I don't know why I thought that wouldn't hurt. It's the corn baller. It always gets you. Don't do it. It's still, yeah, it's still hot. All right. 17 minutes on the bread. Two minutes till seven. So much is going on. <laughs> Brooke Lioness with 5250 volunteered here while I was in college. Happy to help give kids the world. Nice. nice. Oh. I love it when people got some involvement with it. That's always pretty sick. Genevieve Morris, 1050. I've been loving the stream. It has a nice, cozy atmosphere for doing coloring pages. Uh, nice. A fellow coloring pages enjoyer. I'm looking Honestly, forward. Honestly, I think it's going to be fine. 
Who are you trying to convince? I know. You, <laughs> I believe you, man. <laughs> We're all team Kevin. Yeah. Rally. You know, I appreciate that. They say they are looking forward to the deal or no deal video that you're working on. There you go. We all are. Shout no out. no idea what to expect and can't wait to find out. Yeah, we're all in the same boat there. <laughs> we're pumped about it. John Stricker donated 26.25. I just discovered Defunct Land in October and had no idea this was a tradition. I'm so delighted by this event and its cause. If it hasn't been asked already today, what is everyone's favorite Disney theme park treat? Oh, we are even wider. We've had similar stuff, but everyone's general favorite theme park tweet. Thank you for all, or treat. Thank you for all your hard work and happy holidays to Kevin and friends. Okay. That's so nice. Thank you, everyone. I'm listening. Cut into fourths and put two thick for each quarter. Heat about six inches of oil to 340. Dip sandwiches and batter to cover all surfaces. Deep fry sandwiches until golden brown. I can do that. I just need like a spoon, I guess. Well, before you do that, it is seven o'clock. Oh, I just. You've made it. Yeah. So what are we doing at seven? Uh, hold on. Okay. I'm pushing this back to seven o two in my calendar. Yeah. It's up here. Okay. Analytical Rob. <laughs> Put that in the spreadsheet. Yeah. That'd be super functional. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna work. Kevin would make the most supportive, like, chef in, a ki like, a professional kitchen. Because, like, everything I've seen, which is obviously just Gordon Ramsay and the bear, <laughs> makes it seem like the most That's angry, stressful situation. And granted, there's definitely a chaos in there right now. But it's a very, he's very reassuring, which is great. He's encouraging. Yeah. 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 And in turn, he would encourage everybody working under him. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start with two. Starting with two. 701. Okay, okay. We got Daniel Taub with $262.50 all aboard the Hamwich train. Here you go. Yes, indeed. Give that link. Oh, yeah, that link. And Rob, can you come over um, and, and make sure it's all set? Sure. Don't touch it, it's oil. Don't touch it, it's oil. Don't hey, touch it, don't. it's oil. Those look really weird. Those I don't know if I want to eat these. Huh? It's good. Those look weird? Is the meeting on? You gotta get the meeting on. Don't want to touch her. You gotta like get, did oh did did you close the meeting? I didn't close it. Maybe just here, start a new meeting. Text it to Jack. And then Jack will text it to Yeah, I'm texting it to you just so I can get that link to send to our uh, guest here. These are weird. Okay. It's weird because there's yellow food coloring in them, so they look unnatural. I went ahead and texted that link. I'll set this phone somewhere. Did you text the new one? Yeah, yeah, the one that was the most recent one, I texted it to myself. Is that the one that Rob did? Oh, you sent it to me? Okay, hold on a second. Also, can you charge that, please? I need my phone charged. One Do second. we have a brick? I don't know if we have a brick around here. Okay, everybody gets one of these. Everybody. <laughs> okay, how's everybody doing on the yeah, chat? Did you text the new link? I did text the new link just right now. And I said, okay. this is the Hey, new everybody. Link. So we have a special guest coming in. Special guest. 
special at guest. At any second. We're pumped about this special guest. Okay. Set the phone over here. I'm gonna, by the bread. I can't eat this on stream. I really do think this corn dog is fine. <laughs> yeah, if you give it a second he to cool. That is straight up cooked. He will that not is be culpable. Jack, come here. This yep. part is cooked, come here. I'm coming. I've been waiting on this dog, man. Try this. Tell me this isn't cooked. Say a prayer for me. That's cooked. That tastes cooked. It tastes good? Yeah. Well, there you no, go. That sounds fine. That's fine to me. We made it. We did it. We made we the did Pixar. It. Ooh. You gotta believe me, guys. It was cooked. Dude, it's got a spice to it. What was yeah, it? it's Cajun Whoa. chicken. It's Cajun chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if the bottom's cooked. Here, you got to come back. There's two more parts to it. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, is that is cooked. cooked. <laughs> well, no, that's cooked. That's hot. That's so hot in the middle. That is cooked. Here, if it's not cooked, you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, don't eat the whole thing. I don't. I don't trust that. What do you think about that? Was that cooked? <laughs> Yeah, that's cooked. Yeah. Okay, see? Yeah, okay. It's making it's a mountain out of a mold. Going, and It'll we know, look at that. <laughs> okay, taste that. Mm. Come here. Taste that. Mm. Whoa. Wicked is beautiful. Okay, yeah. what do you think about all the flavors combined? Obviously, you're not able to eat them. Okay, that was good? Yeah. Okay, we're fine. Or, hey, yeah, will you go fine. check my phone? to see if that's the most delicious corn dog I've eaten all day that was fine yeah and it did actually taste quite nice how was it I hated it so much I puked out oh on the God. way back oh. it was terrible that's what I, I thought guy. oh man oh. Are we waiting on something? Uh, I'm assuming the guest. I, uh, yes. We play catch up. Yeah. Okay. We're closing in on 20K. So, first Thank off, you. I would just like to point out that. The corn dog, we made it. It was a success. I don't care what you say. It was cooked, and I'm gonna eat some of it right now. Turn around. I don't think that part looks cooked. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was a different one. That was a different one. I'm gonna go eat some of it right now. Look at that, you he's still see alive. His jaw unhinged like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why. It's weird. You threw it over your shoulder. You could have just thrown it in garbage hey, normally. Jack? Yeah. Are you communicating? With anybody? No, I, I left the phone over there just because oh, I sent that what? link. And that was that. Well, I don't think any new text came. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's like some... That's a spicy corn dog. It has this, like, raw flavor. Is that right? I mean, not like, I mean, raw in the best way, if you, if you can even decipher that, but I didn't get that. But problem. you know what I mean? I was mostly, I'm telling you, I was mostly tasting a cooked sausage and a cooked. Not yeah, no, I mean, it's like, just, like, like, no, like raw, but like. Rare. No, no. <laughs> rare. Like dough. raw, like, like, like at its essence. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, raw and a more. Um, so, not sausage tartare. Yeah. I'm getting too literal over here. Here's our Monte Cristo so far. They look absolutely atrocious. I don't know what happened here. I like the word you fried. You, you know what it is? It's the yellow food coloring. Because like this, these would look so good if they were actually golden brown. Yeah. But the yellow food coloring makes it look yellow. Like sick. Okay. I need powder. I have powdered sugar. And also, all of this stuff was cooked. I washed my hands in between. It's fine. Both of you have to eat it contractually. Um, but also, this is like deli turkey and deli ham. It's fine. Am I correct? Is this what Elvis had a bunch of? 
Like hmm? Elvis's, the, wasn't no. this like Elvis's favorite? Peanut butter and uh, banana sandwich. Oh. Yeah, that's, the, that's the joke. Oh, never mind. I feel like Elvis would have loved a corn dog, though. I don't think that's unreasonable. Kevin? I think we have someone on camera four. We have uh, something on the laptop, possibly. I can hear you. Can you hear me? What's up, Rocco? How yep. you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing so good right you now. You know. Yep. You know about Disneyland better than anyone I know. Wow, that's a bold. Cl okay, thank you. Wow, and coming out hot. Uh, I want you to know. With that knowledge, tell me. What do you think? Oh, oh what? Um, good. 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 Um, Accurate. You know what? As Walt, as Walt said, as long as there is imagination, D Disneyland won't be completed. Yeah, for, um, well, yeah, for sure. But like, does this look right? D mm. Like, would you, say, you know, would you say that's right? It's he knew. He said Disneyland was not a museum. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, well, but it's so. I think I don't know what that is. I don't know what I don't know what that this is. is. This is one of Disneyland's most famous treats. You can't guess what this is. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait! I could. Uh, the senses are taking over. Is, are, is that the Monte Cristo? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Woo! Wow! So did I nail it? Do you think? Do you? I mean, what would you it, say? Well. Authentic. It lo I mean, it looks a little bit like a, uh, a weapon used in the David Cronenberg film Videodrome. Sorry, I'm but... also operating a fryer. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But I still think, you know, you know, I think you got the, all the fry. You know, I'm seeing the fried kind of energy there. I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like you've had Monte Cristos at Disneyland, right? Oh, oh, uh, way too many. Like, like scientifically too many. Okay, well like then why did it take you so long to recognize one? Because, again, I, I, I'm kind of looking at, like, maybe it looked like a minute when you were showing it to me, it looked like a prop from the film Existence. Um, but now, you know, I'm not familiar it, it took with me these a minute. Films. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of, if you're a theme park nut, you might want to check them out. But, um, no, I, I didn't know what it was at first, but... You know, the more I start, I started to see you put that jam on the plate or whatever that was. Um, does this look, does it look better it, like this? Okay, see, yeah, that's what it was missing. The powdered sugar, the powdered sugar. Okay, you can't eat those things unless you're, you know, you're Jack, looking full you twenty over? Montana mode. Rocco, what? I need you. So sorry to bring you on during our fry fest. You know, we're in the middle of frying no. stuff, so you know, <laughs> that's the best. You you are the main attraction, but you know, you have no chance Thank of you. flammability to my knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. The, I need, uh, so this is my friend Jack. You'd recognize him from, from past streams, I'm sure. But uh, he's going to taste yeah. this. Yeah. I'm going to put some jelly on it. I was supposed to put some half okay. and half in the jelly. Now, I want you to tell me, is this like the reaction that you would have at Disneyland? Sure. Oh, man, hot. Well, yeah, it just came out of the fryer. I was hot, like hot. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's it's like 360 degrees. Yeah, that's going to be hot. Oh, you just got to give me that. I just walk to a trash can immediately just toss it in there. What? Is it that bad? No, it's good. I love that. It's actually good. It's got like a funnel cake plus a jelly donut type vibe. I mean, that is perfect. Okay. And I'm telling you, that has got to be cooked better and prepared. So, better. Rocco, you, you know more yeah. about Disneyland than anybody I've ever known. Okay. Thank you. Uh, wow. Thank you. you have been to Disneyland's sister park. California Adventure. I was just there. I was literally there this morning. Okay, great. This morning. So, yeah. with that in mind, do you recognize? Do you recognize this? Uh, okay. I'm thinking this is some, we're doing like a corn dog situation. Already, already warm. But do you notice anything about this one? I'm going to show it to the uh, camera here. Corn, um, okay, so like this is California. We, you got to think California. Here, I need you to finish this one. Oh, okay. I'm thinking like Pixar kind of thing. Yes. Right. Right. Yes, the Pixar Fest corn dog. Okay. 
I wasn't sure if you were doing like an angry dog, you know, because there is a level of oh, anger. Oh, no, right no, no, no. <laughs> well, this one might... Wait, I gotta ask about the Monte Cristo real quick. Okay, I see you're enjoying it there. Can I ask? Can I ask about the Monte Cristo? What was your name? This uh, is Jack. Or what was your What's name? Up? Jay. Jack. Enjoying that... a nice okay. Monte Cristo. Okay. Could you have three more of those? Could you eat that, or would it be too much? We have them right here. Jack, could you eat three more of those? He's wondering. Yeah. No, no, I definitely yeah. not. No. Okay. Not after the bread then, drive we had. Then, then Kevin, you made it perfectly because I every time I get the Monte Cristo there, I'll have one piece, and then they'll be like, "Oh, there's three more," and I'll be like, "There's no way I can eat those." So that's I, we're at the level we should be here. at. Um, I think you can't we're doing hear him. him. I no, not so much. I can a little. Bit okay, here. Problems. Can you put on these headphones, Rocco? I'm gonna kind of. I know this is bad etiquette. You know, you're 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 my guest. I'm gonna go eat these in the corner so where no one can see my face, and I'm gonna give you my okay. full review. And I'm going to let you, I've also been to Disneyland. I'm going to let you know what I think, but you're going to need to talk to Jack first. Okay. Jack, can you? Don't worry, we got it. Thank you. This is a seamless audio setup. Hey, can okay. you not get the audio cord in my jelly, please? There's no, it's just I'm just, Hey, what's up, <laughs> uh, Tanner, or what was your name? Uh, it's Jack is uh, my name. Jack. And history is my oh, name. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you had one piece. You don't think you could have three Oh, my more God, there's right? No, I definitely could not. See? So I think he made it at the right level because if he made it a little healthier, you probably could have more. But that's not how it should be. The that theme bad. park. Uh, wants... <laughs> oh, oh it's bad. A live review. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not good at all. I don't know what's. No. Yeah. No. Well, you could have said that before I ate all this. No, I mean it's fine. Hey, Darren. Yeah. Can you come over here, Rocco? I'm trying to get Rocco an uh, an actual representation we're doing this charity stream where we cook Rocco and yeah I'm trying to give you enough to decipher whether this is an authentic Disneyland uh, Monte Cristo well, I'm just gonna let you dig you into know. that yourself go ahead and dip it in the jelly well, now, now so we used a recipe yeah. from the 70s and it called for food color oh oh okay so to make it look more yellow what do you think you can't really like taste through the fry like it is like just okay yeah Ratio might be off. Thank you, Ratio Darren. Ratio might be off. <laughs> Very cool. They had to perfect it. You know, at the Blue Bayou, they had to perfect it over 60 years or whatever, you know. You know, I'm going to be honest. Did, didn't, it, didn't it open 60 years ago today? Wasn't it something like it that? It might have been. I mean, you know more about Disneyland than think, anyone that I know. I think today's the anniversary, or at least of Pirates. I don't know if, I don't know if Blue Bayou opened the exact same day. Other people might know that. But um, I think Pirates today, it's like 60-something. 60, 60 I think it is 60 years or something like that. 55. What? I can't do math. No, it couldn't have been 60 years because it's not 2027. 20, so maybe I got it's so like 55. I on my cord. Damn, Rocco, I'm, so I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. I, I started this stream. Yeah. And I made a – have you ever been to Knott's Berry Farm? I'm sure you have. I was just there too. I was just Well, you know I more about Knott's Berry there. Farm than anyone that I know. Thank you. Have you ever had their boysenberry bread? <laughs> boysenberry bread? Yeah. Has he ever? Boysenberry well, bread. I mean, I've had I've had their biscuits and then they have a boysenberry like spread with it. I, but I No, the boysenberry bread is bread that has boysenberry in it. The, and No, I I made it and it was know. so good. Oh, was it really? It was, you know, I'm not kidding. Like everyone liked it like a lot. And uh, no kidding, I'm sure it's great. And that's when that I texted great. you that you should come on the stream. And then ever since then, I think that uh, I made a lot of really bad food. <laughs> Damn, I'm so sorry. That's not. We just hit twenty five thousand dollars. Somebody just donated five thousand dollars. Whoa! What? Yeah, but if the food. Who cares? What? Somebody just donated twenty five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars worth two twenty five thousand. Who did it? Can we what get was their the guy? What was the name? Address? Anonymous. Anonymous? <laughs> no, no. No anonymous stuff, guys. <laughs> Either say the name or give it back. Because <laughs> we want to know. This could be, uh, I don't want any shady money you know, kind of stuff where it could have been from uh, the narrative. It could have know, been the from the various sources. It doesn't right. matter, though, because it's going to one of the best sources or the best contribute campaigns, charities, Give Kids the World. Oh, but no, that's amazing. Well, we're, we're going to have to catch up on all the donations. You know, Rocco, you're super, super busy and you're super kind to come on. And I wish I was in higher spirits, but I really thought you were going to 
recognize my Monte Cristo right away. And I feel like you not recognizing it immediately was kind of a, a signifier of the way it would taste. And I think honestly, yeah. the it tastes really bad. Well, it just, it, again, just the angle that you were showing it, it, you know, obviously I'm not there, but the angle you were you showing it. you want it closer, it like I can a, get it closer. It, it looked like Mola Rom put a heart into the fryer at Raisin Cane's sort of thing, you know, so <laughs> I didn't really know, but I'm sure if I was there and I was, you know, tasting all I guess that, I'm just feeling down. <laughs> that's okay, you know, but that's part of the kitchen experience, you know. Um, I really thought I was going to knock these out of the park, and I thought you would recognize it because you know more about Disneyland than anyone I've ever met. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know if that's for re- that's true but okay but thank you um but no i'm sure I'd, i would love to eat it it's just uh do you i mean visual. i can make you one know, for you the, the apple yeah sure yeah we got a p.o box <laughs> send it i don't want to send these though i want to try it again and get it right and mail them okay rocco no that's fine rocco what is your favorite disneyland food we're currently cooking food for charity something that i may may have told you about in in the text about, oh, about. favorite Disneyland food, uh, man. Uh, you know, I got to say, I don't know if this is cheating because it's not like a baked good or a whatever, but I got to say, they roll, they make that toffee on Main Street. They roll it in nuts and all that stuff. They make fresh toffee on Main Street. I'm going to have to say the Disneyland toffee, Main Street yeah, I don't toffee. know if I can make toffee. It's killing me. Um, do, what, okay. What do you like that I have the ingredients for? All right. Next up on the docket, I love, you got to get the classic, the iconic clam chowder in the sourdough bread bowl is like classic New Orleans How do you make that? Experience. You get sourdough bread. Okay, I don't have one. that though. I have white bread because I was gonna make Monte Cristo, but it went really bad. You could, I, I mean, you know, be, beggars can't be choosers. Just use the white bread and just make a bowl. Just get, uh, Rocco. I feel like a failure if I'm being honest. Just get like Wonder Bread loaf and like get like circular with it and dump. You got a clam, can of clam chowder. Say chocolate chip cookies. What? Say chocolate. Say chocolate chip. Charo? Chocolate chip. Cho- chocolate She's chip not cookies. on this. Say chocolate chip. Chocolate chip cookie. The classic chocolate chip cookie. Walt's favorite. Um, you like chocolate chip cookies? Walt's favorite, Walt's favorite cookie was the chocolate you chip You like cookie. chocolate chip cookies? With, he used to have them with chili in his apartment. <laughs> or whatever. You, you like chocolate chip cookies? I, lo- I love Well, I got great news for you. Let's see the menu, Rob. There's the menu. We got what? There you we go. got the menu. Oh yeah, we got chocolate chip cookies on the menu. Oh, the menu on the menu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know uh, what's funny about chocolate chip cookies? A little Disneyland fun fact: If you ever go to Main Street, it smells like chocolate chip cookies, and that is a uh, uh, chemtrail psyop. <laughs> um, they don't make them there, but they dump that scent in. And then everyone wants to see the movie Wish. <laughs> From above? Yeah. You rare, you rarely see vehicles fly over Disneyland. It's a no-fly zone. But every now and then you do. And that's not an emergency vehicle. That's them uh, chemtrailing the air to where uh, they dump that. You get the scent. And then um, everyone wants to see Luca when it's re-released next year in theaters. <laughs> Uh, so it's just a. <laughs> did, I read that in uh, Mouse Tales or Mouse Mouse Trap or what is it called the um, book? Well, that's 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 amazing, Rocco. Uh, I, I know I said I would keep you for. We've hit yeah we've hit time, but I, I, because I said I would keep you for about fifteen minutes. I know you're busy. I appreciate you coming along and uh, and, yeah. and joining me in my my cooking adventure. And I uh, I'll let you know how the rest of it goes, but. I, I hope that yep. if there's any indication that I'm not doing well, I hope I, I covered it up okay. And the unit. No, this looks like a huge mess, to be <laughs> honest. Like, this really is not okay. looking good. 
Well, uh, I mean, we're raising money for Give Kids the World, which is a great yeah. charity. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, that part's good. We just got to, like, give... Because the 25000 is good, but we need, like, everyone to do that. I think one is a little bit, you know, okay, one person. But let's do... Um, all right, everyone out there watching this, hello. This is Rocco. Um... If you if you got if you have not given money to charity, it's Christmas time. What are you doing? First of all, right. So I'm going I'm playing the guilt angle. Shame on you if you kept if you're keeping money to yourself and hoarding it, <laughs> or or buying or buying. Stupid, it's okay if they don't ass. have the money for charity. So I guess. <laughs> no 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 no. See, that's it's okay if they don't have up. the money if they if they share the stream. No. No if no excuses, <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. If they Get, share the stream, if they're watching, that's all we need. Open up your checkbook and get the money out and give it to the charities because the kids need it. You don't need it. You're all. You guys are all buying Bitcoin and stuff. Stop it. Just send it to uh, the charity and get that going, or else this has all been in vain. He made that fried nightmare in vain. First off, this so, isn't a nightmare. Uh, everyone... Second off, it's delicious. Jack told me, and he said it so everyone could hear him into multiple microphones. It's true. So okay, well I'm glad, but still, this is still it doesn't change the fact the stream's a nightmare, oh, and gosh. it is what it is. <laughs> but we work with that. Everyone give the charity, and anything, any wrongdoing or any of that shifty stuff will be canceled out by your good deeds. Yes, so the I good deeds and the out donations do or the sharing of the stream or the watching of the stream cancel out this monstrosity. Well, Rocco, Listen, I, uh, I appreciate I, you coming on. It it means a lot that you made time for me today. And Thank you. If for any reason you ever need someone to make you a Monte Cristo, you know, you know a guy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm right by Disneyland, so I'm good. Okay. Um, hey, I just want to say real quick, too. I, just give me like 30 more minutes. Sure. I made, um, listen, I went to the Galactic Star Cruiser. I got the scale model okay. of the um, Halcyon. Yeah. And this is all money that could have gone to charity. It's a huge waste. Um, and I've lived with that guilt the whole day, this, okay. the whole year. And I felt rotten since then. I felt like a, like a tub well, of you, crap. Well, that's just too, you're too hard on yourself. No, How, well, I that's mean, what I'm saying, though, is like, the guilt will eat you alive. I guy I wanted to see a uh, a blue tentacle woman sing. Yeah, and that could have all helped a, a hungry kid. So don't be the same. Don't live with that like I did. Do the right thing. If you're watching the stream, get <laughs> open up your PayPal. Get your Apple Pay in order, and you better donate or there's going to be severe consequences. <laughs> oh I, my gosh. Okay. Again. Again. We're just we're appreciating okay. that they're watching. All right. Well, that's just. That's I appreciate your you angle. laying, laying down the law. Angle. I need that sometimes. But if they're watching, that's all we ask. But if they can donate, we ask them to donate. Okay. Well, you can. You be. Not, you play that whole side. Yeah, and I mean, I got I'm gonna. My... I'm gonna have to make it work. Well, Rocco, I really appreciate you coming on. We'll talk to you okay. later. And uh, thank you very it means much. Means a lot that you made time for us today. Thank you. I pre I appreciate. Th thank you for making. And, and Rocco, you're the you're the you're the person that I know that knows the most about Disneyland. Thank you. I wish you knew a little more about Epcot, but that's. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, Rocco. Thanks so much for joining. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Thank you, Rocco, for coming on. <laughs> Big round of applause for Rocco. Everybody and in case anyone out. doesn't know. Mr. Bodie, just a heads up, you're like 10 minutes behind on the bread, the last bread. Yeah, oh, they were digging a lot. They were really worried. And in case anyone People was confused by that, that was a bit. People forgot <laughs> to check the Twitch chat dinging. Okay. Okay, well, this did this rise? Yeah. It is risen. What is that noise? Is that, the, is that the oven? The oven? Okay, could I get some help with the... Di oh, wait, first off, Rob, do you want to taste the Monte Cristo? I've been waiting. Get a sample. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go try it in the corner, kind of like sadly. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a jelly application to the uh, Monte Cristo. Mr. Plays, what do you think? <laughs> that bite was just all fried batter, so it was just like a jelly. Uh, what am I thinking of? Battered jelly. Yes, battered jelly. I need some actual sandwich in this. Who thought of this? <laughs> I, I didn't know there was meat until I got to about bite three, and I said, oh, that's, well, that's different. That's interesting. So someone donated five thousand dollars, and yeah, we hit the handwich. I'll read that one real quick while we're, while it's here. We, we'll, play, we'll play catch up with some other donations, but while we're still in that. Space. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty confident about the bread. Still messed that up, and I was not as confident about frying stuff, and I messed it up way worse than I thought I would. The other. Uh, I mean, it came out. I. I think it came out fine. Jelly is weird. <laughs> that uh, that fifty two fifty is it? Yeah, you know what? I don't like it. He hates it. I know that we were just doing this bit with Rocco, and I was yeah. joking the whole time. Everybody knows that. If you don't know that, that was a joke. Rocco Big and I are buddies. Joke. But off for serious now. Now that we're back to being real. That 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 it is weird that they wanted food coloring in that. Right? What were they thinking? What was the point of that? No, it doesn't need it. I, I don't know, if it was just a fried ham sandwich, that'd be a whole other thing. Yeah, is the bread of lower quality back then where they need to dye it like a salmon situation? But I don't want the powdered sugar and the jelly, and like now I'm just having like a dessert and a sandwich at the okay. same time. Okay, okay. I don't like that. We need to get back on track, and also, I am so sleepy. <laughs> this is bread. I wonder bread. why. Even making bread, it happens. Do you need to eliminate from Panera Bread? No. Um, you might need that emergency beverage we have in the fridge. Yeah. I do, we do have an emergency beverage. What I do need is I need my dishwashers. Ayo, can I please get some help dishwashing? Okay, yeah. You're before, wonderful. I love you so much. I, do that, I do want to give a quick shout out to the $5,200 donation. Did they say anything? While it's still fresh, yes. They said simply, this was an anonymous donation, and they said, please make your own dough for the handwork. A simple request. Are you serious? Fifty-two hundred. Are, are you? Wait, no. Is that a joke? I'm dead serious, man. Oh I my said, gosh! From anonymous. How do know who they are? How do they know that I was gonna cheap out on that? <laughs> are, we, are we done with all those? It's all oh. done. Just throw it away. We'll uh, we'll play catch up with the other donations in a second, guys. Discord actually went down, like the actual app itself, earlier. Yeah, but so we're down for but us. we're back now, so we'll be able to read all those donations if you guys did donate. So no you hear worries. that? We crashed Discord. That's how good the stream's We're doing right big. now. Okay, we got this. We got this. All right. Rob, can you read stuff? I don't have you the... Need, you need oh, something? My phone? I, I put my phone over there. Don't worry, guys. It's just in Discord, right? Yeah, it's in that charity land Discord. All right, I can find it. I've got it here. Okay. Just got to dig for it. I love drying dishes. No, maybe you don't have it. And now we have uh, get, uh, camera four here. Did, what did you did they do anything yet? I, uh, sorry, guys, guys. Didn't see it. And like any true Christmas uh, event, you know, cook, washing the dishes is almost just as much a part of the holiday. Is there a new? I don't think I have access to it. You need? What, do you need help? What? What can I get you? Give me stuff to read, and I'll okay. read. Yeah. What is? Where's your phone? I need your phone, please. Open, please. Open sesame. I'm not gonna. It won't. Also, it won't. Um, like die, Like close out on you. I have it set for that. Okay, sick. Thank you. Chats at the top. We okay. Read. Well, we're a little bit behind, which is totally fine because we were having fun. We had a segment. I cannot believe somebody donated that much for the hand, which, and I cannot believe I have to make the dough fresh. Because I have to. I can't it's not. A demand. I'm going to take a, a quick break. Quick break. The chef is retiring to his quarters temporarily, folks. Got to feed the rats. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we have a $10.50 donation from Ryan Love, who says, oh. Booga Booga. <laughs> <laughs> booga booga, love you, Kevin, and happy holidays. 
We'll convey these to him when he gets back. All the love, guys. No worries. Uh, we have a donation from Wavy Gravy, who says, Hi, Kevin, and also friends. Ever since my 11th grade history teacher showed us your Disney's America video, I've loved watching all of your videos. Thanks Whoa. for inspiring my love of theme park history, the Muppets, and roasting Michael Eisner. Charity Land specifically has become one of my favorite holiday traditions since 2019, and I'm so glad it's still going strong. Pretty Heck sure yeah. I was there for like 17 of the 25 hours in 2021. For a question, kind of random, but in honor of the Dollywood cinnamon bread, what are your guys' favorite Dolly Parton songs? Was my mic on when I was going, ah? It was, and then I turned it down. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was me going back there. And going like, ah, because my ears, because of the mask, hurt so bad. Only when you touch them, they affect I, I was afraid we were going to have a, a naked gun situation. Um, so everybody's favorite Dolly Parton song. Easy, Jolene. Shout out to Jolene. Jolene's great. She's nine to five, right? We, I think so. Yes. Don't, don't steal my man, uh, guys. No. no, just leave that for now. And also, it's extremely hot. Yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> Kevin? Yeah, what's up? Favorite Dolly Parton song? Uh, nine to five. Yeah, that was mine. Darren, do you have a favorite Dolly Parton song? Uh, Jolene. Okay, <laughs> so it's 9 to 5 and Jolene. Yeah. It's classic, man. Uh, 1155 was donated anonymously. Thank you for your amazing work. Your documentaries oh, are a constant song. source of inspiration for me. Also, thank you for your support of archives. I'm getting my master's in library... Library, library slash, slash archival sciences. So it means a lot whenever you shout them out. Best wishes. Shout out. Oh, to that's your so hero. nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. We love archival. Uh, Cass R donated fifty two fifty and says, "Found out recently, my corner. husband stayed here when he had leukemia as a child. Hope lots of other kids will have as much fun as he did." Thank you, Cass. Okay, did we determine whether this bread actually did its thing or not? I mean, there's no going back now. You're right. Toss it in the oven. What would Dolly want? Would Dolly want? I think Dolly would be Probably. angry that I messed up her bread. <laughs> Daniel Acosta it? donated $20. What was he cooking? The Monte Cristo. We had the Pixar um, corn. corn dog. I'm going to throw Put up the up menu, the menu Rob. real quick. We've done walnut bread. We've done cinnamon bread. We've done boysenberry bread. One of those breads is cooking. We have pineapple coconut bread. I uh, still have to make mom's chili. Still got to make chili. And <laughs> oh then, my uh, mom, then a hand no. witch, And then we got desserts coming up. Okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Make uh, sure when you place things that are dry, you place them down so all the water well, drips out. I of mean, them. I've got them all dried off. Okay. I, yeah, so you're good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just make a big wet bowl. Luana C. <laughs> I'm going to take a seat for one donated, second. I'm still here. You can hear me, right? Yes. 15, uh, 15 wow. euros, 75. It's almost midnight here, and I'm still wrapping a bunch of Christmas gifts, but thanks to you, I'm having a lovely time. Oh, I'm Thank glad. You. Heather <laughs> Faller uh, donated $21. You put in so much work into your videos, so it's only fair I help out with your fundraiser. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so tired. I'm so, I mean, I'm... I'm gonna get a second win, and I'm you gonna need knock. Some more bread is what you need, actually. I'm gonna knock this thing out, but I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I'm really tired. Yeah. And I don't know how I'm gonna do everything. I mean, with that the fact that we got five thousand two hundred dollars just so I had to make this sandwich from scratch is one of the most. I don't know if I have time. Well, we'll give it our all. We'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Um, just imagine being a line cook. Doing this for a whole shift. Yeah, you okay, you're right. <laughs> Other people have it harder than me. I'm ready. Yes, I was, was okay. <laughs> um, Thrice deceased donated 1050. Uh, been still, sorry, I still need some help over here, please. Oh, you got that. Yeah, let me know if Th you need me. Thrice deceased donated 1050. Been watching your videos for years. Are you aware of the official doll line themed around Disney? This attractions is the last we'll see the Monte Cristos from the early 2010s. I'm give you this after I'm done. They're called attractionistas. Have oh, you ever heard of this? I have not heard of that. Have you heard of this, Kevin? What was the first? Read that again so you can hear it. Well, I don't know if he's going to hear anything right All now. All that's in my head right now is a hand with recipe. 
echoing. Have I heard of what? Too the doll easy, line? Because you set up uh, a doll line based around attractions from the early 2010s called Attractionistas. Never. Is that real? That's what it says I here. I hope it's real. We're going to investigate. So I guess to answer your question, he is not aware of it. I don't think any of us were. And now we have to look it up. And, and given this, this crowd right here, I mean, this it's only a matter of time before someone makes a video about that. So don't worry. Um, I'm having some of this boysenberry bread to remind myself that I can actually do this. <laughs> the boysenberry boost. Yeah, it looks like attractionistas are real. What? Uh, Ricardo Pereira donated uh, 2415. I've never been to a single U.S. theme park, yet I've been fascinated with Thanks, your channel for, for years. I've never experienced that strange summer... Uh, I'll never experience that strange summer in the 80s, but the Halix documentary reminds, uh, remains one of my all-time favorite documentaries. Thank you for all of the amazing videos over the years. You're a creative force, and your art is truly inspiring. Ricardo from Portugal, but currently watching and laughing all the way in Africa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Going global. Thanks so much. That was really nice. Shout out, Ricardo. That's also all done. Wait, wait. Okay, so we did the hand which I sh not the hand which we did the Monte Cristo. I showed you that. And here's the Pixar Fest corn dog. We also did that one. Confirmed. We did it. <laughs> it was delectable. Uh, 2625 was donated anonymously. Please do not get stuck in the past Hamwich dimension again. We'll I think we in. have some safeguards in place. Yes, yeah, we're, we're, we're asking why we're in the uh, castle dimension right now. We locked into this so that way we couldn't <laughs> jump out. We're safe. Ronaldo Miguel donated 5250. This is for my buddy Corv, Joe, and Andrew. Keep up the great work, guys. Siva Co. Do we have a phone charger anywhere? No, I don't have my brick. Yes, shout out to the tech that. crew who is currently working very tirelessly um, and maybe and, and quite thanklessly because of my current busyness. But the tech crew is amazing, and they are currently moderating two chats and updating our donation totals, and they're the reason all of our things are being read right now. Keeping us alive. Everyone's so nice. And did I am. Did you plug that in the phone? I can do this. We can do this. <laughs> you just plugged the break in. <laughs> Ow. Uh, okay. Nick Hammond donated twenty-one dollars. Been watching Charity Land for assuming years, and I'm so glad I had a what? free night to tune assuming, assuming in that's this a different year. Nick <laughs> Thank uh, you to everyone for your hard work and amazing content. That's so nice. Was did you say Nick Cannon? Nick Hammond. Nick Hammond. I thought you said Spared Nick Cannon. No, he can't afford to be doing that. Too many kids. That's for, okay. Thank you, Nick Hammond. I, I kept. I heard you say Nick Cannon. I was like, <laughs> um, twenty six twenty five was donated anonymously. Happy holidays and try not to burn yourself too badly. <sighs> okay. How you doing over there? I am a little bit stressed, but we're gonna make it. Yeah. I thought. Here's the time. thing with the bread. The bread was taking long enough that I was afraid. Like, oh, we're. We're going to be finished with the bread and we're going to be halfway done with this thing and there's not going to be... But like, you know, frying food doesn't take nearly as long. So sure. we moved fast there. I think we'll be fine. And then the chili, you just prep it and you put it in the pot and then, you, you know, that's Well, just... the problem is that... It's, okay, so let's do the chili because we promised that and we can do the chili. Yeah. Okay, the chili's in vegetables. No, the chili's in another, it's a different book. It's in this book. Okay. What's the next apron change up? That's at 35,000, 30,000? You guys heard it. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Mom's chili, there it is. All right, and for heat olive oil and f add fresh vegetables. Okay. Make sure you hydrate. Uh, you're right, okay. Essential. Get the camera off me, please. We do have bottled water in the fridge. There's an extra bottle in the door if you need it. It's okay, I got my empty dunk Dunkin' Cup and I like the taste of the coffee that I had this morning. All right. All right. Is the camera off me? Yes. I'm gonna take a big old swig, but they can still hear me? Yep. That's fine. Slurp it, bro. Get that real... Uh... I would have turned down the mic, but now I can't. Yeah. They just have to hear it. Oh, that. okay. Yeah. We got it. We Put got it, it going on. Board. 24 hour ocean waves, <laughs> but that noise instead. 
Actually, I've been wearing this apron long enough. Let's do a new apron at 30,000. Okay. Let's get it going. Okay. I got this. I got this. I don't remember if this one was red. Sorry, I have to hype myself up. Otherwise, I think I'm going to collapse. You, I'm totally yeah. fine mentally and, and physically. I'm fine physically. It's just like I am just so tired. We'll give you a back slap. Uh, Jack, can you come? Can you start reading stuff over here? And while you're doing that, tell me like how much of each to put in this chili. Yeah. Because I know I have to put like carrots in there. All right. How much do we think a fourth cup of carrots is? Do you think that's two carrots? A fourth cup? Yeah. Might even be yeah one one and a half two. Twenty-six, twenty-five. Happy holidays. Try not to burn yourself. Might already read that one. Matthew Fournier with a very important question. I don't know if you can do it while dicing, uh, dicing the carrots. I've always wondered what's the etymology behind the last name Perjury. <laughs> this is big. One who lies. Well, that's, that's a Which is a name. great name to have if you want to have a representation as a, re a reputation as a as a nice uh, documentarian that does his research. Yeah, it works. 625 donated anonymously. I work at Disneyland, and I can't keep track of how often one of your videos gets brought up in casual conversation. Very true. Y'all should rank the Space Mountain rides best to worst. They say the correct answer is Paris, Disneyland Resort, Walt Disney World, by the way. Can't comment on Tokyo or Hong Kong. Haven't been there. I'm Hong Kong doesn't have one, does they? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. They might. They uh, just got the cool. Hong Shanghai Kong. doesn't. Oh, yeah, Maybe Hong Kong does. Shanghai. We're getting them mixed up. I would tend to agree with that, to be to be frank, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very much attached to our Space Mountain, just personally, just how janky it is. But yeah, objective, that's probably it. 1050 donated anonymously. Hi, as a big fan of amusement parks, this has been one of my favorite channels on YouTube. First found it through the Action Park video and have been watching ever since. Nice. And I can't wait until we hit the Hamwich goal. The Hamwich video has my favorite of your jokes, the, the 109841. Or 1984 one, not sure. Um, yes, anyway. it's, it's, it's a joke where I miss, yeah, it's, yes. Oh, yeah. Basically, you got it right. It. Anyway, I was wondering if you'll <laughs> ever do a video By the on way. the Crystal Beach Cyclone. Crystal Beach Cyclone, you know that one? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that. This well, is a All dirty. the more opportunity to learn about it, so possibly. Maybe. Oh, we got a big one. I'm going to go grab my sticky notes. Matt Robertson with 105. As a baker myself, I'm impressed with how long you guys have been on your feet cooking. Take my money, guys. Thanks, Nat. We'll take that one. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate that, Nat. Kimberly Grazulis. I don't think that's it. 2625. Keep up the great work, Kevin. We'll keep them going, man. This is a wind-up toy, and we got, we got control right now. Uh, Lindsay Feely, hopefully that's what that is, 25 bucks. I have my Hollywood Tower Hotel sign, but I wanted a raffle in 2020 proudly displayed. Always love this stream. Shout out to the Hollywood Tower Hotel, nice. Probably the best of the attractions to have that have a sign from, so very nice. And then finally, we have 1050, the end of our donations for right this second, was donated anonymously. Thank you, Kevin. Love y'all. God bless. Happy holidays. Thank you, Anonymous. We appreciate That's that. That's so too. nice. Everyone's been so kind. We and, love uh, you guys, man. This is awesome. I appreciate everybody being with us. And I, I know we're all, you know, we're all smart enough to discern what is, uh, like, when I'm joking and when I'm not. <laughs> and so the, the positivity and the, uh, the donations is very kind. And because yep. I am so often joking. And uh, that Rocco bit. <laughs> I know you two couldn't hear a lot of it. I got the idea. Jack, the fridge, the fridge, Jack. <laughs> Sorry. What's that? Whatever he was saying worked because he raised like $7,000 in the 15 years. <laughs> hey. Rocco coming in. He Hi. knows what to do. Okay, what do I have to do? How many vegetables? I got carrots, celery. Okay. I got uh, the red we, and need, we need one four one fourth of cups of green uh, yeah, bell I, pepper. Diced. I got green pepper. I got red pepper. I got carrots. I have celery. What else do I have? So we need onions diced. You have carrots. Okay. Uh, do we have onions? That's a good question. I don't think so. I think we got onions. Well, we do have uh, garlic. I know that'll be close enough. Well, it's going to be a weird chili without onions. One tablespoon of garlic crushed. Did I? Did mm -hmm. I get an onion? 
We must have just got confused and thought, hey, you know, it's uh, it's well, white. We, it's we have onions, I guess. I thought we guess we thought we had onions. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna move forward without an onion. Okay, Even though you onions. definitely need onions to do this, but I have <laughs> onion powder, which All right. at the end of the day probably won't taste it. But uh. I mean, this is mom's chili, and it's, uh, it's okay. not like mom has. What, a do, what else do I need? Sorry. Doesn't have a full working kitchen. All right, um, we need uh, one fourth cups of mushroom buttons sliced. Okay, that's this. I'm literally just gonna wash all these vegetables at once, and I hope that's fine for everybody. Is the the vegetable? Yeah, that's mushrooms are vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Mushrooms well, they're uh, they're fungus, right? We're slight. Yeah, I mean. But you don't even want to get into that debate, man. Until you find out mushrooms are like a berry or something. Well, just like make sure in the instructions that it doesn't tell me to handle the mushrooms differently. Okay, I'm not seeing anything like that. I'll, I'll skim that last part. Anybody seen anything concerning about our mushrooms? I think we're okay. I'll do onion powder, even though that's not going to taste as good. But then again, this recipe is from Disney MGM Studios, so... Okay, there, so jalapeno... Yes, jalapeno. How much jalapeno? Let's see. Um, one eighth cup jalapeno peppers. Okay. Okay, now what? Um, we got half a cup of corn canned. Okay, well before we get to the to the to that. Okay, uh, one cut up tomatoes canned. That's another canned thing. Yeah, we, we have all the all the canned stuff we'll be fine with. Okay. I just want to know. Okay, yeah. Well, what we'll, does the instruction we'll say? Skip it. Oh. Because we have vegetables, so mushrooms did it, garlic. You want one, one tablespoon of garlic? Yeah, crushing it. Okay. So are we, we're having a donation lull. Do we need to do something to get the donations up? Someone do a cartwheel. Just hit 26,000. Oh, that's great. Ooh. Nice. So we have a shout out lull. Well, you guys are reading off in ingredients. Oh, okay. So. I was making sure that we were doing a good job and I just want to make sure everybody's having a good time. I get so worried towards this part of the stream where it's like, do people even, like, do we lose energy? Because I'm definitely sleepy from all the bread, but also I just want to make sure that people are chill. I think, I think it's, you know, it's like Walt says, okay, a different type of energy comes after dark. A different type of energy comes post bread. So I think we're good. You wouldn't want it to be eternally day at Disneyland, and you don't want it to be eternally the beginning of the stream at the end of the stream. My take on it. Jack, I love your optimism. You gotta look on the bright side of the live stream, okay? We're, we're, we're into it. Uh, how much time do I have? I've got two hours left. I really gotta make that sandwich dough. I, I might have to disappoint our 5,000 comment and I don't know yet, we'll figure it out. Okay, there's my vegetables. I know this isn't how you're supposed to do it, but that's how we're gonna do it. I'm washing my vegetables after cutting them. Okay. All right. Okay. Doing all right there? Me? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. What does the instructions say? Can you read me the instructions? Oh, uh, which part? Mom's chili. In a four quart saucepan, heat olive oil and add fresh vegetables. That's it? Okay. Saute until tender. And then you add the corn, tomatoes, and black olives. Those come later, as you knew. We're adding spices and cooking a minute or two longer. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, mom's chili. Did you notice there's a weird ingredient there? Let's see. Angel hair pasta? Yeah, yeah. That, that... Was that a common thing? I've never had chili with pasta in it. Well, you're about to. Mom's just giving us... You're going to be... Throwing stuff in. It's weird. For giggles. All right, I'm going to read the chat for a second. Yeah, check the chat. While you do that, I have some uh, call-outs here. Uh, Katya Ivanov donated 1050. So happy the stream is back this year. I had a really awful week at school. I'm a teacher. And I'm having so oh, much I'm fun sorry. watching this and celebrating making it to Friday. Hey, Friday. We did it. I'm glad we're having the stream on Friday because if tomorrow was Monday, I would feel a totally different way. <laughs> <laughs> Luke and I know Darren agrees. Oh yeah. Because Darren just signed on. Darren, can you come be a part of the stream? And Darren, Darren just nailed it. And I don't. I hope it hasn't been too uh, too much work. But the night's early. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> we have we haven't gone to begging yet. Yeah. We're not there. Um. But anyways, everybody's doing such a good job. And our tech crew. 
and Luke, Rob. Yeah, despite any issues, stupid Discord being ridiculous. Luke Schmidt <laughs> donated twenty six twenty five. Happy holidays, Kevin and the gang. Shout out to Rocco. It's great you guys are friends, but also please don't camp, come after me, Mr. Body. What? Oh, know, okay. Huh. Yeah. That's very nice. Um, I, I, you know, I, some people can't donate. What Rocco was saying was that if you can donate and you're not, he's coming for you. How dare you? Yeah. Uh, Caspro Music donated 2625. Hilarious stream so far. Love your work. My favorite video is Defunct Land, the history of extraterrestrial alien encounter. The classic, the first. Sorry, what was their favorite? Uh, alien encounter. Oh, nice. That was, uh, that was the first one. Heck yeah. Who all else do we have here? Did I bring onion powder? Uh -oh. This might just be lacking an onion. You'll have to imagine it with the onion. <laughs> um, Matthew Ruffle donated $105. Oh, wow. Happy holidays. Keep up the great work, Kevin and the whole team. That's a sticky note. Yes, and also if uh, the Discord team can bring back Nats, I half wrote it down. I need to write the other half down. Oh. Um, but until then, let me get Matthews on the board. Yeah, I can, I can write that sticky note down. Okay. I saw it. So I think I got my Discord back. So then I put, okay. Sauté until tender and add corn, tomatoes, and black olives. Corn to, half cup corn, one cup tomatoes, and black, and half, okay. Read, read all to me, corn, tomatoes, and olives. Fine. You add what are, corn, tomatoes, and black olives. Okay, but but what are the ingredients? So how many? How much corn? Okay, the corn is going to be. Let me scan. Half a cup of corn. <laughs> okay, one second. Ah. Okay. Half cup canned corn, right? It says half, canned, right? Yeah, yeah. It says canned specifically. Okay. Matthew Ruffle with the 105. We got that sticky note there. 5250, donate anonymously. A great cause and quality entertainment. Thank you. And thank half you. cup corn. Oh, that's very kind. We got uh, half I, a cup of corn. After that, we're going to need one cup of tomatoes canned. Just one cup? Just one cup. Okay, remind me that. So these are Hunt's Diced Tomatoes. I don't know why I said the brand name. <laughs> Sponsored you by, by Hunt's. Just kidding. Sponsored by Hunt's. Hosted by Hunt's. Caitlin Linger with 1050. Kevin, you have to make the handwich dough from scratch in loving memory of your fallen mixer. Yes. This is how we pay tribute. My fallen what? Fallen mixer. Oh. The dang kitchen aid, poor guy. Darren? Yeah. Can you look up how to make handwich dough or how to make bread cones on line on YouTube on the internet? Uh, I mean, I. I just don't remember the exact, I mean, I know I have the recipe. We just, yeah, consult the handwich experts. Jordan Arnold, 5250, great stream. It feels like I'm there with you in the kitchen. Kevin, you're doing a fantastic job. Keep at it. Heck yeah, man. Thanks, Thank Jordan. you. We are sauteing these veggies up. Oh, this one's sweet. Akira T donated 21 bucks. Seeing you guys all work together to make this stream possible is amazing. Heart emoji. Kevin, you're doing a killer job. Please take a minute to drink some water or other beverage. Okay. We'll keep him hydrated. Thank you. He's being, he's being fed uh, intravenously. Drip feed. Terry, Terry Alexander with some other great sentiment. Donated 5250. Thank you for all your great documentaries and charity live streams. Looking forward to seeing the fresh handwich dough. Nice. Put some fear into him with that one. Okay, fine. <laughs> Darren, how's the fresh handwich dough coming? Have you found handwich dough? Uh, or is it just linking to my video? If so, look through the transcript. You can just do like French bread or, you know. Yeah, I got it. Quick one from Amber Carpenter, donated 2625. Our family loves your videos. That's very kind. Everyone's been so nice. Heck yeah. I really appreciate everybody donating. And again, if you can't donate, 
If you don't have the means to, uh, just watching is really nice and sharing the stream would be really helpful if you can. Tell us, tell them that we're having fun here. We're having fun. So much fun. <laughs> well, that sounded sarcastic. Then. How much corn? The corn is going to be somewhere here. Half cup corn? It's right there. Half cup corn? Just say half cup? Yep, half cup. Perfect. And also our new sticky note from Nat Robertson. As a baker myself, I'm impressed with how long you've been at it. Keep cooking. Take my money, guys. Yep. Got a sticky note for that one. Okay. Okay, what does it say about the half cup corn? What, the, what do I do with it? Okay. Because I just put it in the pot. So I, I think so, <laughs> yeah. You, yep, just add that. We're sauteing with that. Yeah, but what else is, uh, what, what are the other things add that I... corn, the full cup of tomatoes was also... It's not a full can, is it? Yeah, man, I think so. Let me see. What does it say? Does well, it, it say one... one cup of tomatoes. So well, that's different that, than a full can. That is different. You're totally right. This is bringing me back to Disney MGM Studios. You know where this is from, Rob? 50's Primetime Cafe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Our mom's making this. I was going to say, the the parent and the titles, the giveaway. They don't make this anymore. I don't think, no, it's like meatloaf and they stuff now, that. right? And the news article I found about it was like, it is so cheap. It was like three bucks. I was going to say, I feel like you're putting more effort into this improvised chili than they probably put. Hey, I'm going to do the recipe. I'm just hey, missing onions. Brown some meat and then throw it in a pot with a bunch of vegetables. and Fourth cup black olive. Low and slow, too. baby. I just want to say the chat lore in YouTube uh, seems to be now focused on the onion. Okay. They love, they need something to latch on to, and it's going to be the onion this time. It was Target before. I don't understand. The onion now possesses a positive charge of 3E with a positive velocity directed ew, ew, to ew, the right. Ew, what's all this black stuff coming out? I guess I've never opened a can of olives before. <laughs> oh. You got to strain it. Yeah. I'm, I I'm, we, have a we do have a strainer, but we don't have the time. Oh, okay. So I'm straining it like this. And all the strainers we could need, but not enough time. I didn't strain the corn either because I figured I could. What's the worst that's going to happen? I'm going to have like a reduced corn. <laughs> you know. Okay, there's your fourth cup of black olives. Oh, those are just like whole. Let me crush those. Greg Midley, they're asking with 1470, and their username is Homosexual Fast Dancing. Shout out. Okay. Classic, classic reference. They ask, how much should we donate to let Kevin breathe and someone else cook? Kevin rocks. Huh. That's very kind. I, I will be cooking until 10 at least. This is this is on him. Kevin rocks, my favorite. All right. Direction. Next up, Jack. Yes. So what do I do on this? Oh, what did you, what, you finish the whole black Add part? recipe and cook a minute or two longer. Okay. And we got Add jalapenos on Jack. Oh, I already did that. Oh, all right. Tomato paste. How much tomato paste? Tomato paste, I'm scanning, scanning. It's one fourth cup tomato paste. Jason Fly, 5250. I'm just having fun, relax, relaxing while watching you goof around in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm a joke to you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm a goof. I'm so worried that people don't know that I'm just sarcastic by nature, although I don't know how you made it this far <laughs> in the channel. <laughs> my joke to you. We're going to reveal some trade secrets with this one. Jake R2625. Hey, Kevin at all. As an amusement park worker myself, specifically one at a smaller park, I've always been curious as to what your research process looks like when it comes to attractions. I've worked on now defunct rides and would love to dig up any information about them that I can keep their memory alive. Any tips on where to start or things to avoid? But you can't go wrong. The more obscure, the more obscure it is, the better chance you have, which is a straight up Google search. That this is fact. just the worst. I wash my hands. I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I would say places to check are newspapers, yep. archival newspapers. If it's a if it's about Disney or Disney World, you're going to find most of them on something like newspapers.com. If it's about something local, you're going to have to check if anybody's ever archived that newspaper specifically. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of tomato paste, but I guess it is chili. Yep. Especially for that, most of it comes down to, you know, separating signal from noise. Um, Wikipedia is not wrong. 
inherently, but it's also not right consistently, mm -hmm. especially in regards to niche stuff. Anything that has, you know, enough information, usually it's okay, but I don't know. You just gotta keep looking around books. Uh, but everywhere you go, just like be careful because anyone can write anything. They Especially. say that about Wikipedia, but that's true about books too. Yep. And it's very true about newspapers. And, uh, and you know, and so you can trust the source as much as you, as you can, but it's, you always gotta, if you have like multiple sources saying the same thing, that's, that's the best way to go. Right. Around. I was going to say, you want, you want multiple sources and then you want to make sure that one of those sources isn't sourcing the other source. Yeah. Yes. They're multiple independent sources. Yeah. It's trying to track down the, yeah. the lineage of any, any fact. Um, Okay, so tomatoes and she how much chicken stock? Two cups? Yep, seems to be. All right, here we go. So this is my chicken stock that I made for all of you. This beautiful gelatinous Whoa. chicken stock. That's great from Kevin's Kitchen. I made this from scratch and strained it multiple times. All that stuff on the top is some fat that uh, separated and came to the top. It's completely fine. I tried to get most of it off already. And the fact that it's gelatinous means that it's the real deal. That is some good stuff. <laughs> Zach Wilson with 1050. Hey man, my girlfriend and I love your videos. I came home from work one night and she was watching your Disney Channel theme video. It was a mind blowing experience, but I digress. Love your apron and would love to hear your best interpretation of Rizzo as a chef. He's still in the pizza Rizzo theme. Oh man. So we're perfect. Of course, Charlie. One sec. We're just Bring to a boil. Um, man, I don't even know. I know that him in Christmas Carol, and I am here for the food. That's about <laughs> as, as a terrible Rizzo. But if you got the one line, you can do it. Actually, the best impression is, guys, please come to my restaurant. Please, I need some pizza. People buy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How's it going? How you feeling? Huh? How's it going? How you uh, it's feeling? It's okay. I made a mess again. Well, I mean, that's that's, okay. that's I'm cooking. Main, I make it the chili. Darren, how is that recipe coming? We got. Oh yeah. You got it? Did you print it out? No, oh, okay. Just, uh, <laughs> I was like, what? Are, <laughs> you, you're yeah, magic. Lab already. You're magic. Okay. We got John Daniel with 5250. Pretty big donation. Hey Kevin, great to see you streaming, and I'm always happy to give uh, give to a good cause. Here comes here comes the right hook. So when are you when are we getting a Splash Mountain episode and what do you think of its replacement? <laughs> are you gonna pull a new Epcot fireworks show and go, I'm gonna we gotta wait to get my opinion on that. We gotta sit with it. Um Oh my gosh. We can't know yet. Well, I don't know. I have. I feel no certain way about it. Yeah, I mean, you can't even judge it based on two pieces of concept art. You know, what are you gonna do? I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I don't dislike the idea as much as some. We're ready to give it a shot. I like. Uh, I really like the Princess and the Frog movies, so I'm really happy. I. I don't. I'm not gonna miss the theming. My only take is that the best part of Splash Mountain is just the ride system, and because the ride system's story is like, you know, big hill, small hill, set up, you see the big, you know, yeah. and they're not gonna change that. So I don't, you yeah, know, you won't lose that I, I'm, I'm not going to miss the theming, but I don't know if, is that controversial? Am I? Just I, personal uh, preference. I don't think I'm gonna miss the theming. I'm excited to see what they do. And hopefully there's a lot of animatronics. And we don't forget the mushrooms. Oh, they're in there, they're in there. Can't forget okay. Them. How's my Twitch chat doing, are they okay? Are they okay? They haven't been made into a timer in some time. Okay. Okay, where's the, oh, are you gonna print it for, oh, well you did set up the printer, we have yet to nice. utilize it, so I'm, <laughs> as much as I'm grateful, I also feel that it's a good use of time. Okay, Dan, how you doing, Rob? I'm doing great, I was gonna say, do you wanna take a moment to talk about uh, this place? And how wild our it location, is. Loma Homes. Yeah. Oh well, that's actually on our. You know, when when we hit thirty. Okay, so we're currently in a castle-themed 
Airbnb. Um, and we have a tour. Loma, was, Loma Homes is very kind um, to give us a discount on this place. Um, but the, uh, regardless of that, that, uh, that kindness that we were shown, this place is just one of those Airbnbs. If you've ever seen a themed Airbnb, like each room has its own theme. So we have a tour. So if we can get to 30,000, I'm gonna change aprons at 35, and then Ke Kevin's Christmas creme is at 40. We lowered the apron to 30, remember. Oh, okay. At 35, beginning. we'll do a tour. So if we get to 35,000, we, we have a video tour that I shot with Jack, who had not yet been through this place. No clue, dry walk through. And then at 30,000, I'm gonna change aprons. So, and then 40,000 is Kevin's Christmas creme. All right, we are to a boil. How much cornstarch? Cornstarch, where are you at? Cornstarch. We got two tablespoons of cornstarch. Pete Anderson, 1575. Been here since the beginning of the stream. That's two, that's two tablespoons. And they want to, yep, two tablespoons. And they want to let you know that it's still extremely enjoyable. You keep me company while I cook and clean myself. All right, Kate Anderson. I also don't need a ton of cornstarch because it's going to thicken fine. Yep. Because I, it's actual real. But maybe it was also, I don't know, maybe it was different back then. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just, uh, this actually makes for a really good second kitchen. Yeah, let's see what so we're up to. I'm just setting this back up so that we can. Oh, we have some alternate, nice. Additional angle, yeah. It's not like the greatest, but it's. It's up. Uh, is the other? I think it's on the other side. Yeah. I don't know which one. I'm not an Apple man. So, oh, there we go. Okay, Twitch. If Twitch yeah. is listening, I need them to set a timer for five minutes. <laughs> Jess Hamill, 2625. Kevin, the Garfield ride episode made me teary. Thanks for keeping me entertained, and thanks for wearing that cute apron for a good cause. Nice. Oh, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, just wait. <laughs> Look at the heavy hitters coming out. 1050 donated anonymously. Shout outs, we love it. Delightful stream. How much do you guys watch slash listen slash otherwise interact with other Disney-related online shows, podcasts, etc.? Any recommendations? Podcast about the Disney Channel original movies called Mom Can't Cook, which is just two guys recapping the chaotic plots, is one of my current favorites, which is making me laugh with the name of the chili. Huh. Yeah, we're associated with most of those guys. I mean, just anybody doing Disney stuff, we, we typically brush shoulders. It is a small world after all, guys. So yeah. you know, what can you expect? Is there something making noise? Is there a bubbling? The chili? That's the only thing I can hear. Is it the yeah. That's a oh, it's the printer? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to say this angle, this this camera angle that we initially set up is a great angle, but I feel like it doesn't properly show the chaos of the kitchen as much as this angle does. It doesn't show where we've gone, how far, how far <laughs> from. <laughs> this, looks, this looks daunting. This looks still a little daunting, but not as much daunting. It does a lot to hide all of that. The cover-up cam. Zinn Weevil, 1575, donating for Mom's Chili because I laughed out loud remembering the lore for the specific ending that y'all came up with with where we parked tonight. Nice <laughs> shout outs. That had me in stitches. Kevin, go. Heart emoji, typed out this time. So they mean it, you can tell. I'm good, I'm good. I'm feeling, feeling okay. How, what's my Twitch stream at? How, what's my Twitch timer at? Twitch, did Twitch set my Twitch timer? Twitch chat, we're asking. Calling upon you folks. Three minutes, Grayson said. I have a question for the room. Yes. What is your go-to like comfort meal to cook when you want to cook? Steak and risotto. Pasta salad. Tri-colored pasta salad. <laughs> nice. Darren? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, great. <laughs> 
Mine's only slightly elevated above mac and cheese, to be frank. <laughs> Swap out that cheese <sighs> with the uh, salad dressing. We got this. Um, let me get ahead of the curve, because I have three desserts to make. And I, I have chocolate chip cookies. What's the third one? Can we see the menu? We've got chocolate chip cookies, funnel cake, uh, and the big pink Simpsons donut. Oh, right. MC Parks fan donated 1050. You guys make very nice, nice videos. Also, Darren is a pretty cool guy. You guys should show more of him. Darren, we're with you. We're gonna, Darren, we'll be seeing more. Come on, you're taking over Mom's chili. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> he's he's helping us. Darren, out the some, chat, the chat has spoken. Some very um, administrative tasks. He's got us. I need to do something that I forgot to do. Oh, check the Simpsons Big Pink Donut. Recipe. Ellen Avery, 2625. Greetings from China. Glad I could jump in just in time for the last little bit of the stream and donate for another year. You do good work. Thanks, Ellen. All the way in China. We are global with this live stream, guys. Nice. Nolan J with 1050. Wonderful content. Wonderful charity. Thank you. Now thank you, Nolan J. We're loving it. Mason Bow Bowser, I want to make sure <laughs> that it was Bowser, not a Bower, which is better. Bowser donated 1129. Do you have any plans to ever cover something related to the Wisconsin Dells or other mis Midwestern tourist traps? <laughs> I, I would. It's yeah, it's hard to resist. I mean, that's a very that's a very interesting. We get a good enough dose of it down here with that same stuff, so it's a little bit more uh, polished. So we love that. I mean, I'm I'm definitely curious about that. An anonymous donation was made. Love, love, love your videos. Whenever you drop a new one, it's a must watch in our house. We've learned so much while laughing and sometimes sobbing. Oh, Presumably wow. in a good way. Um, thank you for all you do. Keep up the fantastic work. Thanks, Anonymous. Omar Gonzalez, the 1575. Great cooking. Keep up the great work. Keep up the great work. And we will. Chloe Vaughn with $21. Keep up the great work, guys. I've been a fan for years now and always get excited to see your videos pop up in my subscription feed. Any recommendations for books about theme park history or just theme parks in general? Everyone's beeping. Everyone's beeping? Oh, ooh, ooh. Good looking out. I would say you really can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with any theme park related book about history. Because even in the ones where it's just where it is kind of a rehash, I mean, you're still going to get a little tidbit. This smells terrible. I mean, it smells just like so weird. It's chilly, man. Imagine what it must have smelled like back at the. Uh, <laughs> what it smelled like back in the '80s, man. I mean, we need an onion, maybe worse than I could have possibly imagined. Add beans and simmer. Add beans. Add beans and simmer until heated through. Is there like a second page to Mom's chili? No, there's not, okay. Okay, so I need to add the beans. Read to me my beans, please. Okay. Do I have to drain all these too? Oh my gosh. Okay, we need half a cup of great northern beans. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we have a cup of great northern beans. Well, how many how many how many pinto beans do we need? I'll have a cup of pinto beans. Oh, that smells bad. Yeah, all the beans, luckily enough, the pinto, black, and kidney, those are all gonna be half cups. Okay. So, simple. So four different beans, all half cup. Yep. All our beans are going half cup. Just the way okay. it is. Half cup of those beans, half a cup of great northern, thank gosh. I don't want to open that one this way. 1050 for Anonymous. Keep up oh. the good work. Is Bob Iger stopping by to sample the food? Hopefully he can fit us into a schedule we did request, um, but you know, you know how it is. It's hard to catch a flight this time of the week. And he himself is very flighty about these things. He'll say he's coming in the night. He's send some other guy named Bob and you're like, what? Well, no, the way it works is he says he's gonna come for 15 minutes and then he extends another 15 and another 15 and then he goes away for 20 minutes and then he comes back for yeah. another 15 and he promises this is going to be the last 15 minutes, and then he extends for another 30 minutes, and it's just you never know when you're going to get him out. Yeah. 
And the whole time he's just hiding behind a construction wall too. So it's really it's pertinent. <laughs> I hate it. Colleen Rosenberg, 26, 25, keep up the great work. I've got you on the iPad while doing chores in the house. Wild Friday. And this stream is making it much more fun. I collect Disney cookbooks and like to subject my husband to bad retro recipes. Well, this is the stream for you. We both love your content, and I especially love all your Rust Belt content, like Kenny Wood and ooh, Giaga Lake. Not so sure about that Giago. one. Giago. Giago Lake. I, I grew up in that. northeastern Idaho, um, but are in, but am in Florida now. So cool. Welcome to the state. Nothing but fun here, nothing but Florida fun here. Laura Hargraves donated 5250 Outside of the Jim Henson exhibit in Baltimore, someone had written Kermit the Frog was alive. <laughs> they wrote Kermit the Frog was alive outside the exhibit. Oh. And so, and so was Jim Henderson. And they credit Jim Henson. They credit it to you. I thought you might like to know that. I do have a picture, but I'm not the person who wrote it. As for the question, is there ever going to be another Defunct Land book? I think we did talk about that and possibly maybe another Defunct Land I mean, book. I wish. It's just I have to, have to write one. Yeah. That's the hard part about books is you have to write them. <laughs> you wish. You wish there was just a software that you could be, hey, write me a book in the style of Defunct Land. Add corn so until, add beans and simmer until heated throughout. Well, it's already pretty heated. Okay, so thyme, oregano, black pepper, cumin. Can you read to me those spices? Okay. All right, we got one fourth tablespoon of thyme, one fourth teaspoon oregano. Say one fourth tablespoon thyme? Um, no, teaspoon, sorry about that. Teaspoon thyme. Uh. No worries. This is no, all good. I'm printer. We must hey, use hey, the I'm I'm not doing anything right now. I'm waiting on you. I'm I'm just kidding. I'm very busy. <laughs> cumin. How much cumin? Let's see. For cumin, we need one fourth teaspoon of cumin. Cumin. Okay. I'm also gonna need one fourth. How much chili powder? Imagine a lot. To taste. Yeah, I'm looking at scanning for chili powder where they put that. Mm. Doesn't matter where chili powder is, it's not on that side. It's right there. Okay. On the other side, uh, our chili powder is going to be one half teaspoon chili powder. It's not a lot. Nope. Dump it all in. I would imagine. Don't the, be afraid uh, to spice. The peppers and other things will give this. Okay, time. what else? Ginger? Um, or, I mean, it, it's not cayenne pepper. I don't know if I grabbed that. I did. How much cayenne pepper? I imagine an eighth teaspoon, given this uh, is a Disney recipe in the 80s. I think so. Let me, I'm just looking. It's on the left side. Right there. Teaspoon cayenne pepper. Uh, a teaspoon? A full teaspoon? No, it's one eighth a teaspoon. Okay. One eighth a teaspoon. I was right. I was like, there's no way they're going to put that much heat in this recipe. This is Disney MGM Studios. <laughs> Emma powder. says, I'm starting to see why it was so cheap. <laughs> it's just so light on the spices. <laughs> but that's the Disney way. What? Okay. Got your sticky note. <sighs> Tomatoes, olives, chili, thyme, oregano. I, need, I did put oregano. I need to still put black pepper. Black pepper. Where's the black pepper? Oh, here. I'll just use this. Earlier donation for a sticky note. Somebody just wanted simply sea vodka. So shout out to Avatar Land. Sea You're vodka. not representing in our cookbook. Okay, well that's about as much spices as Disney MGM will allow me to put in the chili. It's not my recipe, oh, folks. We, yeah, we just got a lot more spicy up in here. My nose is getting, it's enjoying it. <laughs> Jack's like, it's too spicy. <laughs> Already. I'm, I'm Turn it down. <laughs> then 50 donated anonymously. Hi, I'm the Anon from earlier. For the record, <sighs> the Crystal Beach Cyclone is a defunct wooden roller coaster built in the 1920s that was infamous for being so intense they kept a nurse at the station. Oh, okay. Crystal Beach Cycle. I'll definitely be investigating that. I mean, anytime, anytime you got a backstory like that, 1920s and nurse at the station, we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm just not going to cook a lot of pasta. Megan Genova, 52. Well, I can't boil anything in that. My uh, four-year-old nephew is a Make-A-Wish eligible child due for a kidney transplant he was he received as a baby. This past November, my sister and some family were able to visit the Give Kids the World Village and raved that it was such a magical experience to bring my little nephew to. Thank you for doing this fundraiser. Smiley face. Absolutely. I'm glad that you have experience. Yeah. 
I love that place too. It's sick. They do great things for families that really need a bright thing to look forward to. Yeah. I mean, that's the good thing about it. It's, it's such a tangible thing that happens. You know, you get, yeah. So that's, that's always super It's a cool. big, big thing. Okay. Another quick anonymous, 2625. Thank you for so, thank you for the great content you create and for raising money for a good cause. No problem. We're all this is not going to, this is going to be, oh, that's very kind. This is going to be terrible. Well, the, you can start it like that because it's true to the, as true to the recipe as we get. And but why, why do you even want a better version of it? Why do you want a better version of chili spaghetti? I mean, I'm going to have, I'm making <laughs> pasta. The, that's what the recipe says. They did right. say put pasta in the chili. I don't, I'm going to put, and, and, and in my mind, I said, oh, well, it's going to be like beef based chili. Right. And so it's going to be indistinguishable from a red sauce. Like maybe it would just have more like vegetables than a red sauce would. So it's like, okay, we're going to put carrots. Maybe a little bit of beans, but it's mainly just like beef, chicken broth, tomatoes, tomato paste. Right. And then it would create something that resembles, you know, tomato sauce. But it's like more chili and more hearty. And, it, you know, no, this is straight up chili. I mean, look at this. It's beans. Yeah. And it's about to go on top of angel hair pasta. Are you typically a no bean chili person? No, I, I, I like beans in my chili, but I've never put beans on top of pasta. Yeah, well, that'll, like be a, that'll be a new one. <laughs> Chili spaghettios. Yep. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is more of a enhanced pasta than anything else. That's okay. We trust you, MGM Studios. How's uh? Do we have the printer, the printout? Yep. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Worst case scenario, we'll write it down. Fifteen seventy-five was donated anonymously. Hello. I absolutely love your videos and revisit them often. Right now I'm baking some chocolate chip cookies along with the stream. So y'all are excellent baking company. Nice. We like that. We'll be having some cookies eventually. Right now, I'm about 30 minutes behind on the stream, so I apologize. This has already been asked. But I was wondering if any of you have visited Dollywood and how you'd like it if you had been. Out of all the theme parks... I oh, the Dollywood bread. Where is that? Uh, it's right there. <laughs> thank Great. You. Thank you so much for that question. You brought it back. Dollywood. How's it doing? It's like, oh, it's, it'll be fine. Great. I just got to ask Dolly what to put on the rest of the bread. <laughs> yep. I don't think we've been to Dollywood, any of us, but I will say, as far just like you say, it's the top of your list of your hope to visit. I can agree with that. I would say as far as anything in the States that's worth checking out, that might be the one. <laughs> just weird to know. Uh, thanks for all the work you do this holiday season. Incredible. Thank you very much. Gary Walker with 2625. Thanks to the tech crew, as always, for keeping the stream going. Your hard work is appreciated. Amen to that. We're with it. We agree. Yep. Why the yeast and pinch? Meanwhile, and the yeast need 30 minutes. Okay. Lightly spray banking sheet. A banking sheet. Banking sheet. A banking sheet. We gotta, I got to point out some of my financials. I'm, I thought you, t you all would be starved, but you're probably starving. Yeah, by now. We're, I mean, you're hungry. I have eight it. loaves of bread over here. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, haven't touched it, but we'll crack into one of these. Okay, loaves. okay, okay. You get with it. That's the appetizer. I'm not kidding. This bread's good. I'm looking for this. Hey, Kevin. What's up? This bread's good. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. You, you I don't know if it's what you intended it to be because it legit tastes like a pretzel, but that's great. Okay, well, first off, I would just like to point out that this isn't my recipe, and if it was my recipe, it would be perfect. I don't know if it's what they intended to be. And you I would have liked it the first it's time. popular because it's basically a pretzel. I mean, I am making pretzel straight up chili and straight up spaghetti. <laughs> this is two different dishes getting combined. This is not clever. It is not creative. But it is the exact same thing that mom from the 50s prime time diner would serve us. Punch down the dough and transfer to a work surface kneading a few times. Cut in half and gently shape into three by six inch loaves. Do not overwork the dough. Don't worry, I don't have time. Yep. Just a quick donation update. So we're at $27,677. At $30,000, we are getting a new apron on Kevin. We've already hit the hand witch goal. 
We still have the house tour. And then, of course, at $40,000, we have Kevin's Christmas Kramer. Okay, I need, okay, cut in half and gently shape into two, three, but do not overwork the dough. Need a few times. Place the loaves three inches apart on a prepared pan. Lightly spray the loaves of cooking spray and cover with plastic wrap. Okay, 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, I need the chat to start a chant timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Chat, you're on 50 Anonymous donation we've made. Hi, Kevin. Love all your stuff. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, a fellow guy named Kevin. That's so nice. I'm going to be... That's, that's, thanks well, so much. Why would you want to be anonymous if you're going to bet your name's Kevin? <laughs> you couldn't resist. Well, thank Don't you. roast our donors. No, we, I, <laughs> we appreciate it. Definitely. Andy West, 2625. Keep up the good work. And I love the Hamwich video. I've even tried it out myself. In parentheses, it did work. Andy West, with the best luck. Okay, okay, okay. He's holding it down. His kitchen is on lock. Okay, I need to start making the sandwich dough. All right. How's, how are we doing on the printer? I'm manually writing it. Okay. <laughs> well, is it the, do you think it's a good one? Do you think it's the right one? Is it just like a French bread dough? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Thanks, can I just grab this for a second? Yeah. I don't have amount, this amount of bread flour. Okay, this is correct. This is the correct one. Two and, okay. Okay, okay. Can you read this to me when I ask you to? Yeah. I gotta mix, what does it tell me? So I have, does it say instant yeast? Uh, it says active dry yeast. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. I don't have that much yeast left. Unfortunately, so we're gonna use instant yeast. Just fine, I just have to find it. Instant yeast is bright yellow. Had a pretty large donation from another anonymous individual. Finally have the money to donate $525. Knife, knife, knife. Happy to do it. Love your channel so much. Thanks for the 500. Thanks so much. We are digging it. Rihanna H, or maybe Rihanna H, donated 1575. How much water or milk does it ask for? A quarter cup of warm milk. Or sorry, uh, warm water, two thirds cup warm milk. So did you say two thirds cup? A quarter cup of warm water, two thirds cup warm milk. So you said quarter cup warm water. Yes. Quarter cup warm, warm water is right here. How much sugar did you say? Uh, tablespoon and a half. Okay, but you said two thirds cup warm milk? Two thirds cup warm milk. Okay. I'm gonna make this sandwich dough. Oops. You said two thirds cup warm milk. Two thirds cup warm milk. How's the stream? Are we, we do we need to do something to get more donations? Cartwheel time. Well, uh, you got, well, I'm gonna let you work on that dough for a little bit. So we have somebody who wants to call in. Okay. On I had instant yeast. I had it in my hands. Everyone saw it. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> Three yeast. Hydrate. IV drip. Maybe because like it's the fifties sci-fi, not the fifties sci-fi, the uh, um, prime time. Fifties prime time. They shouldn't have made. So this was system. that like a popular? Do you think? post-war dish was like somebody look up the pasta. yeah the 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 origin of of spaghetti on chili i mean i would imagine those are just two you know real cheap things you can get together man i'm guessing is it, this is going to be just just awful okay <laughs> well maybe it'll be what perfect else? for me i mean how I much sugar this. uh tablespoon and a half 
Okay, what else? Let's see what we got. Uh, you need a teaspoon of salt. You said teaspoon? Yeah. I had salt. But there it is. You said teaspoon. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do the exact opposite of what we okay. suggested earlier. What else? I'm going to go with the first <laughs> online source I find. Well, I'm not going to vet it at all. <laughs> so. It's based on merit. So too bad. Okay. Uh, uh, four tablespoons of butter. Wait, how many, how many cups of... What, does it say melted butter? What does it say? What, when does it say to add the butter? Cover with a clean. Okay, add eggs and milk and mix it. Add eggs and milk and mix everything together. Add eggs and milk and mix every. Where does the, where's the butter come in? Add the butter. Add and knead until the. Okay, so. Val add. says she'll donate $200 if you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. He'll try. Okay. Calmly. Okay, sorry. Um, how much? <laughs> how much butter? Uh, no. How much flour? Flour. Four cups of flour. Okay. I don't know where the bread flour went, other than maybe I finished it off. We have flour that's all purpose. You can use it for any purpose. Quite literally. It's a, it Rob, you're so name. right. That's exactly what that means. <laughs> they designed it for that. It is. How much? Four cups. That's, that is wild. The bread? Been, they don't know how much we've been enjoying bread today. They have no clue. You got a party outside. <laughs> I heard we were making all this bread. All right, so this is what uh, Eater says here. What's that? Uh, Two eggs. Oh, I still got an, a lot. You said eggs? For almost 75 years, Camp Washington Chili has been a beacon for its city's namesake, Cincinnati Chili. In many ways, the story of the restaurant is the story of Cincinnati Chili, that unlikely signature dish from Ohio of spaghetti topped with beef chili. While the origins of this dish are hazy, the general consensus is that it was developed by Greek immigrants in the 20s, immigrants like those who first opened Camp Washington Chili in 1940. Um, while there's not an old world Greek tradition of cheddar chopped chili, there's a hazy resemblance to the Greek dish, uh, patizio, which combines noodles, meat, and cheese. So even that's kind of a bit of like uh, okay, a... I think it's two cups. Who knows? Well, it's, uh, it's all good. I appreciate it. I'll just say I've been told... I appreciate the live Midway to Main Street return. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the most I, video I, I've got prepared right I now. I closed my eyes and I was there. It was... <laughs> We're back. 105 donate anonymously. You're doing a great job, Kevin. Love the stream. Love your channel. That's very kind. Slowly mix this together, please. Yes. You, if you want an apron, they're over there. Okay. They're, all, they're all coming in with the support. Kristen Steinfeld with 2625. Keep moving forward. You're doing a great job, Kevin. Thanks for, thanks to all for bringing back Charity Land. It's been a delight watching the chaos unfold. We couldn't agree more. Kristen, we love it. That's so nice, everybody. Boil water. Pasta, cook, uncovered for four to five minutes. I need a timer for four to five minutes. Okay. You heard that, YouTube, four to five minutes. Now you got to be decisive. Four or five. Go with five. Four to five. They won't accept anything. We're going with five. Val Cabral with 210. Come in, they're screaming this at us. Kevin, please breathe. You don't have to rush. It's okay. We know you get everything done. You're doing a great job. The support, I'm telling you, the rallying behind you right now is unbelievable in the chat. They're loving it. Coming through the donations. Well, that's very kind. Okay. Can you please so she had a stand get all right of the now. cans and put them somewhere? somewhere and then I need, a I need to like I need to reclaim this space so I can knead again. Meanwhile, my pasta has disappeared, which is a good sign. It's because I ate it. Just came over there and took it. Okay, we're about to have our first taste test in a while. Whoa! All right. Oh, the chili. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah no. You know what? I'm actually excited for the chili. Okay. There's no too. onion in it, but I've never done chili on on pasta, and uh, I'm I'm willing to give it a shot. Maybe 
It sounds hearty, you, you know? You never know, okay? Yeah. From what I, and from what I was seeing, it was very colorful looking. There's going to be noodles involved. How so. much time left? We're going to go for it. On uh, the chili. I'm done with everything regarding the chili. So if it looked like something that was chili oriented. Oh, here's my bread flour. Chat, it was right here. <laughs> Why didn't you tell him? How did Come you not on, keep chat. track of everything? We were looking at it the whole time, chat. Quick anonymous donation, 5250. Love the channel. Thanks. We love you too. All right, we're losing. If everybody right now went out and told their friends that we were doing a charity stream, that would be very helpful. Yeah. We Come need on. to get we up need to 30,000 for me to do an apron change. Please, we need the apron change. That's my apron, it's getting so dirty. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are going to want to see this next apron. You're going to be digging it. I have to drive home with that apron. Come on, yes. <laughs> That's the rule. You bring an apron, you got to wear it. You can't just be holding an apron. <laughs> yeah, I just can't put it in a bag. Okay. Um, how much time's left on my timer? My five-minute timer? Uh, you still got a couple of minutes. Oops. Okay. It's just water. It's fine. And then your other timer's 20 minutes. That didn't sound good. All right. Good. We're knocking this out of the park. Uh, yeah, Kevin, you've been cooking for nearly six hours. Yeah. I'm doing it for charity. If you yeah. like this. Yes. You didn't even get paid. If you like me cooking this long, I thought that was the attraction. Was me cooking this long. Oh, wow. That kitchen's looking a lot nicer. <laughs> no thanks that. to me. It's all Darren. Darren. Slightly out of frame. <laughs> we'll set up another camera angle of just the pile of cans and mess yeah. over to the side. That's all going under the bed, man. There was never any mess here. What are you talking about? This is what the cooking channel, the Food Network, won't show you. They show you the perfect clean islands in the big giant kitchens and yeah. everything's perfect because they cut away when it becomes an absolute mess. They ain't got the nerve. They ain't got the heart. Big donation from Sounds John. Sounds like a regular day of catering to me. That's, yep. John Lagerholm with a 157. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks for all your videos and everything. You let me be a part of. Peace and love. And then a sticky John's note. my assistant editor. He works on a lot of the videos. Shout out, John. And we got a Thank happy you, birthday. John. Happy birthday, Kelly, from John on the sticky note. How much time is our time on my timer? Uh, you're just about done on the pasta timer. Rob, you know pasta. Why yeah. don't you... They don't call me Mr. Pasta. What's that? They don't call me Mr. Pasta for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just tested it, so. They could use us another second. Yeah, five minutes. Well, it's Angel, Angel Hair Process. It's almost done. Just needs one, one more second. This is going to be so gross. Got wavy gravy with 15 at 75. Hi, I'm donating again to nicely ask Kevin to please breathe. We'll make sure he does. <laughs> Perhaps get a few seconds. You know what? Fine. If that's what you want to say <laughs> and you want to donate, I'm not going to I'm not going to dispute it. I'm not going to refute it. Stop breathing right now. Perhaps get a few sips of water or caffeine. Maybe have a snack. I'll lower way out of you on that. It's okay, man. We're happy it's, to be It's here. because they care about me and not because I'm being boring, right? Oh, yeah. Right. No. This is a genuine concern. <laughs> Did you add the butter in? Not yet. Let him cook. Happy to be here no matter how much menu we get through. But well, we're going to be getting through a lot. We got no choice. We're going to want it all in. Scott Gustin, 7875. Thanks for being you. No, thank you, Scott. Thank you for being you. And then a 21 donated anonymously. Your videos are truly in a league of their own. Whatever you turn your hand to, and you somehow keep out doing yourself. This Thanks. is so bizarre. It's so nice. Everyone's being so kind about my videos, but it is this weird thing where I'm like kneading dough by hand because my stand mixer broke. Everyone's like, I love your videos. I'm just like, thank you. I got this. Even though those are two completely different 
trades. This is actually eerily similar to a lot of dreams he's had over the last few months. Yes. <laughs> if I could just cook while people compliment me and donate money to a good cause. Kind of my dream scenario. We made it. We were, we were putting the chili on spaghetti instead of instead of anything else. It was so weird. It was a nightmare. It was surreal. Every Get time this. I have Taco Bell before I go to bed, this is what happens. Hey, Rob, can you come test the pasta? Always. With your mouth. <laughs> what? No confusion. Well, some people test pasta by throwing it in. We test it by throwing it into Rob's mouth. This is just not working, is it? Hey, uh, Darren, how much butter? Butter stack coming up. Stack. Uh, four tablespoons. You can turn that way down, please. Four tablespoons? Well, that's what's going on. Can you do me a favor? Can you get me four tablespoons of butter and heat it up in one of these bowls? I'll just We're good. We're good on the pot. Okay. Okay, just go. Okay, it's done? Okay. Well, I need to feed it to you, but I'm going to, I'm in kind of a... Here, can you just wash the butters in the fridge? Can you get it, get four tablespoons, put it in there, and then soften it in the microwave? You need a strainer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, we got this, everybody. Yep. We appreciate the chat keeping us going strong right now. This is the hand witch dough, by the way. So I'm doing it by hand because we got a $5,000 donation to tell me to do this. I'm making it happen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, can you? <laughs> well, it doesn't actually, no, it doesn't matter. Just soften it up in there because that's the same milk I used for the dough. That's very new. What have we made so far? We need to get a menu on the screen. Okay. Menu That's ready to go? Up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Can we made walnut bread. All we right. Had boysenberry bread. You're um, all going to share this. We did have pineapple coconut bread. We had a Pixar Just fest. soften it. Okay. Dog. Okay, everybody, focus up. Here we go. Focus up. All right. Mom's chili. This is mother's chili. My mom's chili? So your mom made this. Personally. Yes. So if you make fun of this, you're making fun of your mother. <laughs> your mom. Um, but mom's chili isn't done until you top it off with a little bit of chili. <laughs> Otherwise. It's just Why pasta. are you laughing? Just pasta. <laughs> because this is a dish that your mother made. This beautiful... That's what do you think, D Darren? Be honest with me. Disrespectful. Oh, sorry. What? what do you think? Move the move the uh, bread flour. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now we found the bread flour. Go hide it. What do you think? It's uh, very light for chili. What do you mean? But I feel like chili has like a darker. Darker, yeah. Is that like a thin yeah. chili? Not that even that as thin. It's just lighter. Because I guess Very bean chili's bean. usually got like beef. I put the, the amount of beans that they asked me yeah, to put in here. <laughs> Does it mean that make it better? Did I put more chili on there? I guess, yeah. Okay, so why don't... How we, are we doing this? I think Jack's <laughs> going to taste, taste it first. Jack's our sacrifice. Are we going to do it uh, Lady it. in the Tramp style? If I survive. Get one yeah, end yeah. of the spaghetti? We'll connect. Oh, here it comes. Let's send the bread around. You'll throw that charger on. I don't Hold know. On. I don't know. Careful. Okay, there you oh, go. Delicious. There you go, Jack. Beautiful chili. Hand spun to me. <laughs> Maybe so, eat it away from the sound. I mean, this, yeah, can I just <laughs> let me? I mean, this is like what happens if you, uh, when you head to. Uh, oh, thanks. When you head to, what's, it, what's the one at Magic Kingdom? Pecos Bell, and you just You're good. have this, this topping bar. This is back yes. when you only is had that access it? Did to the topping bar. They call it the Magic Kingdom salad. Yeah. It's just <laughs> onions and lettuce just and tomato and whatever's in, the, <laughs> whatever's in the topping bar. Okay, so we've yeah. got that uh, for, for an hour. It's going to prove for an hour? A little bit of okay. pasta coming through. I'll make sure we scoop up a little bit of that goodness. I don't have 
anything. Mom's chili, sinking it. This is what sh a, a mixer should be doing. What do you think? Well, mom makes a delectable pasta, we have to admit. <laughs> Honestly, what do you think of the chili slash pasta? I know, I'll be honest, and again, I don't want anyone to think I'm being a contrarian or messing with anybody. I genuinely love this pasta right now. It just adds so much more to have all these little extra things on top. Are you? I'm dead serious, man. Okay. Uh, when I ask you to make Rob, would again, you like some pasta for dinner yeah, or just me, chili? Let me grab, no, uh, I want both. Okay, can you put, did, where'd the... I'll grab some forks. Well, oh yeah, to eat some of that? Yeah. Is, while we eat and we're talking about pasta already, Mike Fago asked for 5250. Next year, would you consider replicating the menu from the critically acclaimed Hulk Hogan pasta restaurant, Pasta Mania? I didn't even know about this. Yeah. We'll need to research Pasta Mania. Listen, anytime we go down a Hulk Hogan rabbit hole, we enjoy ourselves and get copyright claims, so you got to watch out. But we will, we will investigate his Pasta Mania. Get in there, Rob. Let's see if I'm nuts or not by giving that a ringing endorsement. I mean... If you asked me, if you gave, if you showed this to me and was like, "What is it?" I don't know if my answer would have been chili. Yeah, it's very much. Here, do it so the camera can see. The camera is the camera is on us. Oh, it's just hidden behind the dang. Oh. Um. Twenty six, twenty five. donated anonymously. Corn is good for the whole man. Can you turn me down, please? Because I'm just probably breathing into this mic like nobody's business. Yeah. You want all the way down or just a little subtle? Just, just a little bit. Okay, gotcha. On the, no, on the. You're number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm down on the board? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He is number one. You, lo you loved it? I loved it a lot. That's not to, dim <laughs> that's not to diminish any other recipes. <laughs> That I was, uh, you know, had had forced into me tonight. But I will say, I mean, I don't think I'm saying anything that anybody in the chat's going to be surprised about. But oh my gosh! Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the concept, text, in terms of texture, is there, and I'm. It's weird and interesting, and I like that. There's a lot of you're different flavors. You're making fun of my. You're, you're saying my chicken stock doesn't taste good on top of. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not criticizing Kevin's cooking. I'm criticizing the recipe because yeah. it needs like five times the amount of every spice that bro, was called for. Bro, don't talk about my mom like they that. They said okay. an eight teaspoon. That's crazy. There's it tastes I agree. like nothing. I agree. They weren't ready for that I much spice. Pasta. I love chili. I put the two together. I would try. I think that's a good. Uh, Darren, come on. If you say you like it, that means that I win. That's a good recipe no to pressure. build off of. You know what I mean? Like, take that recipe and fix it, and then, boom, you've got a good dish right there. Yeah. Can somebody cut the camera to me meeting, please? <laughs> I've been doing this whole time. We got to see it. This yep. is what you paid for. Somebody donated $5,000 to ensure that I needed this dough by hand. And we're seeing it through. We're seeing it. We got Parker, Parker S. with uh, 2625 real quick. A Clifford, A. Clifford here representing the podcast The Ride Fandom. Nice. What would nice. Kevin? What would Kevin's dream topic be for his next appearance on podcast The Ride Main Feed or The Second Gate? Keep up the great work, chef. What would be a dream topic on podcast The Ride? Oh, man. I'll do anything. <laughs> I like them all. I think uh, I want to talk about high school like junior musicals. I think we mentioned doing that at some point a long time ago as a joke. Because a lot of musicals for high schoolers are, uh, are, are shortened or they're like, they're made uh, more clean. He's just gonna pass out when <laughs> this dough. I was wondering why he was skipping cardio all week and it was just for this. He's like, I'll catch up, we'll do it. <laughs> Calories burnt to offset the uh, intense physical labor. Darren, what's oh. your take on it? Darren, come on. It's, Break the tie. It's good, but it, it could use more flavor. But that's not a, that's not a dig at you. You went but, right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> no help. He said what I said. 
No, you said I was a bad cook and that you don't like me and don't want to talk to me anymore. And then you left. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And you said it in front of all my followers. <laughs> you came for my e friends. If you can't do a chili, I mean, what's the, what's the value in that, that friendship? You said that it wasn't the chili. You said it was me. And that, it, and that the reason you didn't like it had nothing to do with the recipe that they wrote for white people. <laughs> Visiting Disney Visiting from the Disney Midwest. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely his dream coming out. We're getting it in full force. He thinks he's lucid dreaming right now. I mean, seriously, anything yeah. can happen. It's safe chili. That's how I would describe it. Like it, right? You feel comfortable giving that to most people. They would yeah. go, what the heck are you giving yeah. me? That's chili and spaghetti for like the six-year-old who doesn't like... You know, the picky eater. Yeah. And now I'm a hear, six-year-old. Hear me out. <laughs> That's on the kids' menu. Hear me out. It's 1989. It is the, the <laughs> middle of August. It is hot. Do you want to be eating oh, like oh my gosh, I gotta switch real legs. spicy chili? got to switch dominant yeah. legs. No. I see what you're saying. Okay, so this is chili altered for the central Florida heat. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a very, I will say, it's a very refreshing chili, which is a, not words I expected to ever say. But Hey, when they called for a fourth teaspoon of chili powder... That's insane. That's, and that's, that's I, was, I said, that's not right, because that's what, yeah. this is chili. Yeah. yeah. That's what chili is. Yeah. You know how they say, like, when you look at the ingredients of a, a product... The thing that is first is what is like predominantly yeah, present in it. Like one. chili in that is maybe towards the bottom of the list <laughs> in this chili. It's an afterthought. It's like, and remember. You don't actually put anything in there. You just like, uh, put it around like in the general vicinity. Yeah. So like it gets like a whiff of it. <laughs> it's an aromatic type of a yeah. chili delivery. But I think, you know what? The profit margins on that were probably phenomenal because oh, it's yeah. pasta, beans, and not much else. And it's, it's not like someone's going to leave you a Yelp review either. I mean, seriously. Not in 1989, no. no you can go that's either. it. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's... Okay, way. it's not just that some people don't like chili. Some people have spice issues. They can't handle certain spices. I get it. And this is a theme park made for everybody. But it doesn't excuse that there's only four things. <laughs> really... <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> You're exasperated needing. So now I'm needy. What? So my chili's not good. I'm a six-year-old and I'm needy. Yes. You're needing. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> so a reminder that somebody donated $200 or whatever for you to calm down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. That expired, Val. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's very calm. He's, we had uh, Mia Khan donate a quick 20 Hi, Kevin. Longtime fan. You're doing a great job. My question is for everyone. What's the one meal you could throw together to impress even if you were, <laughs> even if you were well, a meat slap and have it in the kitchen? Whoa! What's one meal you would throw together uh, to impress even if you were blind, drunk, or mildly concussed? So we have one. This is for limited, uh, limited abilities momentarily. If you're, you know, coming home drunk, you're like, I gotta throw something together. What are you guys going for? <laughs> Well, well, I mean, in those drunk. days, I wasn't cooking at that point. I was going to the bodega and, yeah. you know, um, a slice the, the guy, the deli food. guy could tell what I wanted based on what time of day it was. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How you doing? This is for the kids. Yes. Yes. They, and, for, and for us. They, I need said, they, gave, they said, I'll give you $5,000 if you can knead this dough for the hand, which... Like this, can somebody wash this out, please? It's gonna be a real pain. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> 21 donated. I'm sorry, Tricky Cram. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, we're getting real close to 30K. We're at $29,130. Please let him change aprons. It's so filthy. <laughs> please let to. him change aprons. It is very filthy. 29999 This yeah. is for the hand we'll for a hand witch, Do it for, for the kids apron. and the hand witch. I mean, this is where it counts, guys. Home stretch. 21 donated anonymously. Love your content, Kevin. With love, Bert is my dog's name. All right. It's a good enough name. I like it. Good Greg name. Zan Miller donated 2625. If you are ever in the Cincinnati area, be sure to try Skyline Chili to get that authentic pasta chili experience. Okay, so I guess it is a, it's a real thing. There's a yeah. Skyline Chili like 20 minutes from here. Oh. That's okay, I don't live here. I'm sure it's not as authentic as the one that's actually wherever that person is from. Well, we're in like medieval Europe right now, so I don't know how they would have that, but that's okay. 
Oh, I know they have a, lotion, a, a location inside Kings Island if you're ever planning a trip there. Love your videos, Kevin. And really enjoying the stream. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. It's looking good. Heck yeah. Oh, right. This is for Handwich. I was genuinely forgetting what we were working on. 5250 anonymous donation. Chaos in the kitchen, but organized chaos. You're doing great. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. Someone says I'm you have a great this. radio voice. You should Hold do on. YouTube videos. I'll look 30 it. minute timer done. Okay, that means that this. Thank you, Darren. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. There's the hand kneaded handwich dough that I would have definitely done in the stand mixer. <laughs> and that I also brought French bread for, but somebody said I needed to do it the right way, so there you go. Okay. We will, if this doesn't rise, it's not my fault. I made the dough. So, okay. We got some chat beeps. What did we Please, uh, please donate to give kids the world village. Beep, beep, beep. We're getting close, we're at 29K, we're feeling. Has your favorite streamer needed bread? What are we working on? What's it called? I'll have another bite of that. Yeah, I'll do another Cheers. bite of the chili. <laughs> Ooh, close. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it t requires okay. maybe the, all the spices at the bottom. You know? It's settled. This is Dollywood cinnamon bread. That didn't rise at all. Okay. Actually, kind of did. Nope. <laughs> huh? It didn't? What? What did you say? We were talking about the chili over here. What about it? I wanted to see if maybe all the spice was at the bottom. Not. Okay, we know there's not spices. <laughs> Wasn't in the budget. <laughs> you ain't got attractions at MGM Studio. You ain't got spices. Okay, the oven needs to be half day park. We did a half day meal. Okay, <laughs> line two nine by five inch loaf pans. Oh my! Just God. hit thirty thousand. Really? Ooh, we thirty thousand. We did it. Thirty thousand. Take apron, apron off. And this is my favorite apron too. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> that apron comes, I don't know, should I show you my favorite apron? I'm worried we're not gonna get to Well, you could, uh, you could show it at the end if it gets to that. Okay, uh, well, I have a, remember, these are from Amazon, they're overstock. Oh, I love this apron. Oh, that would've been a good one for Also, it's a little notes. low. Yeah. Might be the point. <laughs> it's a little low. You want you want one of us to tie a knot behind your neck? Huh? You what? can see it on camera. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we're no. replicating it. No, it's the th it's a hot dog. Oh, I thought you were doing like an audio check. No. Yeah. Yep. No, it's, it's the hot dog. It's it's a cool hot dog. Hot dog boy. Well, <laughs> I thought so. Hey man, that's. I will that's say that's slick. my favorite apron so far. There's one more apron. It's the it's best design. We'll admit that. What's the amount for the last apron? How did that happen? Did you see that? What? what? I gave a thumbs up and then on screen a bubble thumbs up happened. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, Do I only saw once before there were balloons. Is that something, what, did, what makes that happen? Is it that they can sense that I have a thumbs up? I don't know. I mean, if I go like this, will there be balloons? Yeah. <laughs> if I say it's my birthday, will Siri jump on? Was it Happy me? Birthday that did it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I would imagine it's got to be the thumb up. All right, that big donation. We had another boy one from Val Cabral, loving it with nine hundred and forty-five dollars. They simply say, "Take a breather, change the apron. We're going to get that sticky noted on there for you, Val. <laughs> we loving that." And there was also a, another one before that from Nora Lewis with a generous two ten. Been giving since the first charity land. Appreciate all you do. Remember to pace yourself. I'll get you a sticky note on me too. Shout outs, everybody. We're loving it. We love everybody. We got 10, 1050 donated anonymously. Thank you for all your incredible work over the years. My question is, do you have a favorite joke or one-liner from your videos? My I have a favorite, favorite one-liner. You know, honestly, I do actually really do like some of my, I think the one that comes up in my mind the most is the one from it must be Walt Disney's Epcot video where he's, where I say, um, this is extremely self-flattering, um, but uh, it's where I, it's the line is, 
uh, I-4, which at the time was under construction and still is today. <laughs> and, it's, and I just, because that's one, it comes up in my mind constantly because it's very true. Yeah. They said their favorite was, there's too much glitter I can't see. <laughs> okay, that's fun. that's not a line for me, but that's a line in it like a yeah. clip, which is just as funny, if not more, because it's not me. Um, that's funny. That's a good one. <laughs> there's too much glitter I can't see. Yeah, okay, the gestures do it. What is, what happened? So balloons, <laughs> balloons is the peace sign. So if you do a peace sign, you'll get balloons. Peace and love. Although maybe it's time-based. I just did it myself. Uh, they said try making a heart, like with your hands. No, he, he's lost. No, I'm watching it. I want to see it. <laughs> I got to catch it. Heart gesture, V sign for balloons, thumbs up and thumbs down in front of your chest. It's good to know. It's good to know YouTube's working on the important stuff. This chili wasn't good. A lot of this wasn't good. <laughs> It but was it, great because it raised a lot of money for Give Kids the World. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay because you're good, man. I'm good? Yeah, you're good. We didn't cook for six hours. I didn't even taste for a full six hours. Kevin's bare facts. <laughs> Two thumbs up is fireworks. Give it a shot. Wow. That's absolutely wild that they just do that automatically. And it just can come, I mean, imagine, I could, this, this, they don't know this stream is a fun freewheeling thing. <laughs> this could be about something, this could be about, this could be a school board meeting. Uh, yeah, this is what we're <laughs> They Let's all that. take votes on the new measure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a downtrodden cooking tutorial. It's like, guys, we're working. Gary Pies, I believe, with 5250. Cheers from Alaska. Thanks for all the fantastic long form content and for supporting a that? great cause. What do, what do we smell? The chili? Well, something burning. Oh. Oh, it's the oven reheating up. It's fine. There's oh. nothing burning. It's just the smell of the oven. Okay. Where's my sugar? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Is that it? That blue bag? Yes. Andrea St. John donated a 21. Happy hand witching, Kevin. It's 2 a.m. here in the UK and I should be sleeping, but watching you need is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. Great job raising some. Oh, I have the need for need. <laughs> Dude, quit being so needy. I missed it. Do you get it? I didn't, what? Need for need? Sorry. I have I'm... the need for need. Yeah. I like it. But yeah, I... like, like the need for speed. Right, we got to do the high five. Play volleyball. The Neaters and the Furious. Well, no wonder people like the cinnamon bread because the the bread itself is three by six inches. It's the it's a it's smaller than a hot dog bun, but it's calling for a cup of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so no wonder I heard everyone I said this. I said, oh, I love the cinnamon bread. There's a reason. Future proofed for modern sugar sensibilities. Well, Dolly knows everything, and I just don't want to let Dolly down. Don't let Dolly down. Okay. Fourth cup of granulated sugar, fourth cup, one tea, tablespoon ground cinnamon. This is a ground cinnamon. Another quick right. anonymous donation. Great stream, appreciate the videos you make and all the time and effort you have put into this. Be kind to yourself, Kev. We'll make sure he is. That's very nice, thank you so much. Are we out of butter? Which might be a bad time to say something like be kind to yourself. Because if we're out of butter, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, is it? No, is this it? We got some more over here, I think. No, that's just, is uh, that it? Uh, I think that's it. Store? Uh, can you go to the store and get me butter? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, that's the one thing that I do, cannot live without. Not like personally, but as far as. Is there anything else we need beyond butter? Um, we need an onion. Well, uh, we uh, need. The mixer that's coming for Christmas. Chili. For the handwich, anything we need? Um, not that I can think of. I'm going to, I'm. The handwich is going to be a combination of all the ingredients I've yet to make. It's an everything handwich. All right. Because I don't want My to favorite type of bagel. Sorry. Thank you so much, Darren. <laughs> You're the best. High five. I don't know. Only if you do the need for need thing. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll let you know what else I need. Okay. Tell me 
with the Howie. Everybody, Howie. shout out to Darren. Darren's the best. Darren. Darren came in. Mm. Go, Darren. Go, Darren. Absolutely field for us. knocked it out of the park. Okay, let's make cookies. Oh, wait, I need butter. <laughs> okay, well, this is definitely going to go past. Go past 10. Would now be a good time to get a call from somebody? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. I think, we, I think we're all caught up on donations if there's no technical problems, so we should be good for another call. Okay. And if anybody would like to donate while we're having this call, we'll be sure to read those when we come back. I sent out the, the call for the call. So, could be okay. any moment. Let me get going on the Simpsons donut. Based Darren, nice. And I'm sorry, guys, that I couldn't make my Target run tonight. I really, I mean, I would. They would have probably kicked me out. They would have thought I was this guy trying to be a manager. He's got Target tone right now. So, unfortunately, they would have just asked you to help. Oh god, you would have ended up doing a shift. Yeah. I'll go, guys. Do you know Egg, where? Yolk, sugar, butter. Or restocking the KitchenAid mixers. Do you know where they keep those in the back? Thank you. <laughs> I, I have the key. Thank you. Looking good. What's up? Said looking good. Okay, this is our Simpsons donuts. Okay. Cut out three to three to five inch diameter donuts with a donut cutter, something I don't have and I've never heard of. I mean, I can imagine what that would be. But alas, I don't have it. So. Alas. So instead, I'm going to cut these donuts out by hand. Watch me. I mean, that knife is your donut cutter. That's right. Oh, so that's doubling. That's hand witch and donut. No, that's just donut. That's not oh. what I just made. I made that this morning before I even got on stream. Oh. Need the leftover. Okay, place the donuts. Roll out until it's about half an inch thick. It needs more. Even though my hands are on cinnamon. Get those cinnamon hands. I haven't touched anything raw or produce for a while, but I have cinnamon on my hands. I forgot to wash. Okay. Donuts. Okay. Are we ready for this? Let's I'm going do to try it. to cut out donuts manually. Y'all ready for this? Knock, knock. Your donuts will be arriving soon. <laughs> oh, uh, I missed that one. I missed that corner pretty bad. Oh. Okay. How'd it come out? Let's see. Pretty, All right. Pretty good so far? Yeah. Rob, I need this. You, you're doing good. I need it so bad, Rob. <laughs> I've embarrassed myself in front of thousands. Why? All you've done is follow the recipes, mostly. Yeah. This ain't when applicable. <laughs> Jack, can you get out my uh, sheet? Which one? One of the new ones. Okay. Oh yeah, someone suggested you use a glass. Yeah, I don't have a big enough glass. Would you like big or small? I'll remove this little sticker in a second. Uh, big boy? Big. Big boy, come on. It's nice they make these stickers. They just come right off. You don't got to do nothing. He said as it ripped. And now he has to do something. <laughs> We're good. We're ready. I'll set this up. So there we go. There's number two. Let's just do two for now. Um, I'll make one more just for fun. Uh, just let me see this. Can Thank you. 
Any other donations? Are we going? Are we low yeah, on dough? Yeah, I'm about to grab some. I was just in the Are middle. we low on dough? If we if are, I, I don't think dough, so. I think we're kept, we got get some going. Dough. Get some dough no nations on. So to let you know what's going to go on, I'm probably going to go over. We said 10. I think the stream is probably going to run at least until 11. Yep. If anybody's upset or offended by that, please send your email to support at delta.com because I will be taking... I'll be hearing none of it. I'll hear none of it. I'm raising the money. I'm raising the money for charity. It's for the kids. Yep. 25 donated anonymously. Great stream. Appreciate the videos you guys make and all the effort you have put into this. Be kind to yourself. Yep, we had that one. Another 2625 donated anonymously, and they simply say, homosexual fast dancing. Another, nice. Another classic reference to a video. Love it. Noah O'Hulihan. Hopefully I got that one right. With 125. <coughs> Question. You Kevin, a you're... Oh, we got okay. a call coming? We got a call? Let's see. Things are happening. We'll get back some donations later. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. What are you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, buddy. How are you? Look at look at them donuts. I was just on a Zoom school board meeting, <laughs> and every time uh, the guys went to take a vote, uh, everyone who did a thumbs up, fireworks started shooting off. It was the most wildest <laughs> thing I saw ever. Well, yeah. Zoom's well, it's crazy, a, it's a great man. great new feature that I just found out about it. Look. <laughs> yeah, and you're... Whoa. I think, and your apron, I think, is permanently thumbs upping, and so I think that sometimes it just catches <laughs> yeah. that too. Well, they make these for YouTube now. It's it's going to be these are going to be in Best Buy pretty soon. Oh well, my kids gosh! That the, uh, content creators that are trying to come for my eCloud. <laughs> you know, I just want to let you know that I feel the spirit of Walt is with you. I feel like he's watching over you right now. I I feel like yeah, I you know the chili. kitchen. Yeah, oh my gosh, the fireworks are so cool when you do them. Uh, yeah, when you, when you were making chili, I could smell a cigarette smoke. You know, I, uh, I I felt a cold draft in the room. I saw his ghost taste your sweet breads. It was an amazing moment. Uh, almost, you're doing a great job. Here. It's all, I, I, I appreciate it's that. It's just got a little colder in the room. I could feel it. <laughs> yeah, Rob could feel him. Rob, I, I, I felt cold. I texted Rob, I was like, Rob, is it cold in there? And he's like, whoa. It is cold in here. I was like, the spirit of Walt is with us. <laughs> Someone Walt is watching over one right hour, now. by the way, please. Yeah, we're looking at you. One hour timer. So, Dan, have you seen us uh, cooking? How am I doing? You're doing great. I love hearing uh, people like giving their, their love and joy about the videos you've made from the Disney Channel video to Fast Pass. Uh, to the new Epcot, uh, you know, uh, the Epcot Fantasia you made. I think it's inc I just love hearing people just gushing. I feel like a, like a proud big brother or something. It's wild. Well, that's nice. Yeah, people have been very nice and people have been very supportive of Give Kids of the World. And uh, we. It's crazy how much dough you've made. I know, we're doing pretty. Oh, you. Metaphorically <laughs> and literally. I, I didn't know what to respond to. I was thinking, my mind went, you know what? You're right. I have made a yeah. lot of dough. Um, we made a lot of dough for Give Kids the World, and I made a lot of dough literally. But uh, well, that's yeah, that's no, we've done, we've done good. I'm hoping we can do a little bit more. You know, without the without so I've you been, here, without the auctions and the raffles, I was I didn't even think we'd get. Well, this yeah, high. about that. I wanted to say I wanted to say that um, I'm actually deep in the woods of Pandora, oh. laying in one of those gelatinous tubes. You know. Yeah. And Darren is my avatar. He's been there. If you've not paid attention to the, his beard and his, oh. you know, his hairline, and like they made him a little, add a little bit of my DNA <laughs> at Give Kids the World, and they sent me a gelatinous tube, and I've been laying in it. Well, it's, it's and I've one been of those there. The it's just, for the ride. I'm surprised you haven't caught on that it's been. <laughs> I've been, it, that I've been there, Pandora avataring the entire time, and right now it's so hard. I'm driving right now to the store. It's, whoa, oh, oh, okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Are you actually driving? I almost. <laughs> oh, you're joking about the fact that Darren's driving to the store. I was. Like, I, I was. I was driving. I'm. Like, I am. Dan, I'm avataring up. Darren right now. So, um, I am currently heading to the store. I already forgot what you needed. What did you need? Stand mixer. No. Butter. <laughs> Yo, how crazy is that? When you texted me yesterday, you're like, "Hey, I'm gonna rig the stand mixer to break like about an hour in." 
<laughs> just to like show everyone how swole I am and like you know how like well, I, you know and I, I was, was like I was like you're a uh, madman you bring that extra mixed kitchen aid and you're like nah bro I know this one's on its way out and this is gonna be it's gonna be incredible yeah and uh, yeah you know if you're lucky I bet kitchen aid I bet someone's aunt works for kitchen aid or something you know guys just get them. Yeah, someone get someone to start tweeting at KitchenAid. Get all of don't us new mixer. I need. A, I, I would love a mixer. Get Kevin a mixer. <laughs> I need a new mixer. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing. I cannot believe that it broke. Honestly, I cannot believe it. I bet we can fix it. I really don't think we yeah. can. Yeah, somebody can fix it. No. Yeah. Oh, come on. What do you think it's well? Last fall, when you but peeled like, when you peeled those 500 apples, labor. I bet I think that's what burned out the. <laughs> but the, the, is there even repairmen for such a thing? There must well, be. back if this was like the 40s, they would probably come to the house with, you know, with a whole kit to how to fix your kitchen mixer. And it was part of the sales pitch <laughs> from the guy that came to your door in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. You gave Barry a ring and here we are. I brought my little tool bag here and we're going to see what's wrong with your gears and motors. And then just. <laughs> you pardon me, ma'am. Keep an eye out for the milkman. He owes me five bucks. There's still one stand mixer repair shop out there, but it's a front for like criminals to right. it's, change their identity. It's in the same strip mall as the last blockbuster. <laughs> you go in and you say, I need, you know, a KitchenAid 1957 stand mixers yeah. gear replaced. Get, and then he knows, send the van over the next day. Yeah. And you get sent to Canada and start a new life. Yeah, it's the end of Breaking Bad. <laughs> exactly. What's so crazy about Kevin's apron is how much it looks like him in real life. Yeah, that's why I like don't show my he, face. Like, it's almost like it's, it's almost like, like it's, he went on to like Etsy and paid, you know, or Fiverr. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, I need I I need everyone to see my face as a hot dog, but it can't. I don't show my face, so you are tasked with this incredible mission of art because your hair looks just like that. It's got great volume and it curls a little. People don't know that, you know." And I've seen you wear sunglasses, and also you tan beautifully. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. The uh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. I, uh, all, none of that is true, by the way. I, I am permanently like uh, sunburnt. I mean, you can just see it. Um, but I appreciate it. I. Uh, well, you just spent like six months in your attic making a movie. Yes, and uh, <laughs> and now I've spent the was... past two weeks preparing for me to walk around the kitchen and forget what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, Rob, what's the menu? Well, what else do I have on the menu? Uh, we got... I need butter for the Dollywood cinnamon bread. I am currently waiting on the donuts to rise. I am still need butter for the cookies. Funnel cake. Do, does the cookie recipe call for... Oh, funnel cake. Oh, my gosh. Does the cookie recipe call for... Call for it. Does the cookie recipe call for... Um... Gosh, I'm trying to find out if the cookie recipe calls for um, shortening or if it calls for butter would be in desserts, right? Did I miss it? Was that it right there? We're looking for chocolate chip cookies. Stop me when we find them. You think oh, I can't read from back here. There it is. Yes, I can make this. I can make this. I can do it. All right. All right. All right. Just have to do it. Well, I'm sorry I can't be there. I'm really bummed about not being there. Yeah, we wish you were uh, here, buddy. I, I'm sorry that you couldn't I miss make you guys it. terribly. My, uh, you know, we lost my dad, and it's been a really long and hard struggle. Um, but my dad took me to theme parks, and we ate a everywhere at theme parks. He loved eating at theme parks. And uh, my favorite memory of food at Disney with my dad is that when downtown Disney was new, they had that gear. They just opened that Ghirardelli chocolate shop, you know, and everyone's like, "Ooh, Ghirardelli!" Because we were only eating those squares, you know, in, in small bags. Mm -hmm. We didn't really have like, you know, access to the chocolate shop because we were from California. So we're like, "Oh man, we gotta go!" And all the kids were in high school, you know, so we were old enough to like hold our own at the resort. And so my mom and dad and my aunt and uncle went to Ghirardelli like late at night after a park day, and they were there late, and they had servers, and the one server. This guy, his name was Joey. He was adorable, and he was flirting aggressively with my dad. Uh, and he, uh, and as they, they were there so late, they were closing out, and they had to like 
Uh, at the end of the night, they like give away ch the chocolate strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries. And so apparently my father sat there and was hand fed like a dozen chocolate covered <laughs> strawberries by the wait staff of Ghirardelli's in downtown Disney. Um, and he talked about that, I think, for, for five years. I mean, he told everyone he knew that story. He he couldn't believe how many he got, because they were like $7 a piece, you know? Yeah. That's so cool. That would make the whole Disney trip worth it. Just financially. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. So, it's yeah, like it's $50. Yeah. $50. Forget, forget sleeping in the castle, like the castle hotel room. I, I, at 1030, I want to show up somewhere and be fed as many chocolate strawberries as I can eat. That's my magic moment, if I can. <laughs> and this was in the day. Was this still the days of Pleasure Island? No, just post Pleasure uh, Island when downtown say, Disney was like to Pleasure Island and raging at a club and then oh, heading yeah, over to Ghirardelli's for just, you know, 50 strawberries. So, Kev, what's been the hardest thing to cook so far? Uh, the, the Pixar Fest corn dog. Uh, I did not anticipate the sausages needing so long in the dough. Uh, and so long. I, I should have pre cooked the sausages, something I didn't think about. The chat let me know. Um, the Monte Cristo sandwiches in the same vein, just the, the recipe called for food coloring um, to make them Whoa. look yellow. And so it's very hard to tell when they were done because they always look raw because they're yellow. And <laughs> then the hand witch, I had to knead myself because somebody <coughs> donated $5,000 and told me to knead it myself. So I, just, so I did that for about 10 minutes. And then... Um, Hopefully these cookies are going to be easy. I got to get started on them. Um, wow. It's so great. We're raising a ton of cash for these amazing kids. The place is incredible. And no people, you don't get to like go there because we're all privileged to be healthy. You know what I mean? And not have to uh, make a wish and end up at a place uh, like give kids the world village but like to be able to have gone there previously with the group of you and to see the families and to see like just the joy on their faces and like it's incredible it's really yeah. incredible what these kids get to do there and, and i recently uh, toured you know, and it was it's so cool the uh what they yeah you're what they do. you're so you're so fancy now they like you <laughs> they're like come on come take a tour well we got would have also invited you had you been they're very they're very thankful uh, that we put this on as they're thankful for everybody that raises money uh, for the cause. And it's not just about raising money. As always, this stream is also about, as I'm currently doing the dishes, this is probably, uh, probably should have given this more weight, but uh, that it's not just about raising money. As I told people, just watching and hearing about Give Kids the World is great because there's, you know, the more people know about it, the, the, the better chance. Very, it's a very necessary thing, um, especially because it's not just give kids the world working on their own, because there's so many wish granting organizations that also have funding, but they still rely on give kids the world to fulfill this wish. So, um, which is really cool that there's uh, multiple organizations working together for this this type of uh, this thing that provides so much hope and joy to families that desperately need it yeah this is great and the kitchen looks great it's such a great functional kitchen yes, shout out to you're like zipping homes. around there and you're doing yeah i can't i you walked around with jack and gave him the tour i bet that's hilarious i cannot wait to see that so oh my mic's out Mike yeah that. <laughs> oh I, you just they started waving at me and i started there. pointing at your yeah, yeah yeah i've got you on mic the, this mic so i think they might be picking you up a bit but we need a mic swap what you need buddy just you don't mind? Talk to Dan for a second. Dan, I'm coming. I was wondering. Hey, Dan, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, Jack. Um, I wish you could be here, man. But we're we're, we're living it up in uh, I don't know, not in honor, Everyone, but you know, everyone's loving looking at your throat. Thank you. It's gonna. It's oh gonna no, move I guess while I, uh, I can see like your this. throat. I mean, this is a very. I can only I see different than they see. I'm realizing oh, okay. that now. Yeah, he's only yeah. getting from here down. So you get to witness my incredible yeah. Santa shirt. You have a you have a beautiful torso. Thank though, you. I just want to say I've been working on it my uh, really, my whole life. It's really you. great. You look like um you look like a stunt double for like one of the Weasley kids. 
they <laughs> and a like, Harry they Potter do their movie. own wrestling. Okay, they get the director. You look involved. like, yeah, you look like one of the Quidditch. Thank you so much. You look like um. I'm a Quidditch extra. Yeah, I would have been um, <laughs> not goalie. Yeah, I wouldn't have been, been built been for a, that. Uh, yeah. No, you, you're you know, you're the definitely Ron Weasley stunt double, bro. I mean, I keep, you can talk to Dan again if you want to. I'm not. I love Dan. Can I, can I sign him off? Can I, Dan, do you mind if I sign you off so I can make the cookie dough? Have a, have a great one. I really appreciate you making time to call in, especially because I know you got a busy weekend and a busy week. I love you so much, buddy. I wish you could be down here. I'm really sorry for your loss, and uh, we definitely miss you. Love uh, you, Dan. Yeah, I miss you guys too. And uh, and I can't have wait fun. to see you again soon. Have fun with the rest of the stream. I can't. Sorry, I couldn't taste anything. Uh, but I can't wait to have, uh, catch up again. You might have dodged a bullet Don't in some worry, cases. Don't either. <laughs> if you all get terrible food poisoning. <laughs> oh, you just wait. <laughs> I'm the I'm the designated survivor of <laughs> theme park historians. <laughs> yes, you are. I know all the videos you're working on, and I'll make yes. sure they they live yes. on. Please finish American Idol experience. <laughs> All right, just have a good one, I guys. I love you, buddy. We'll see you. Earlier today, somebody asked about the Dollar Tree version of Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Dan was saying while you were out that actually you're his avatar. All right, now we're making chocolate chip cookies from the land at the farmer's market. Whoa. Downstairs of the land. But first, I'm going to finish this Dollywood bread just so I can be done with it, because I've been making it all day. I'm so tired. We got some nice donations coming through. I'll read some of these. Uh, Noah Hooligan, again, hoping I'm getting that one right for a big 120 bucks. A question for Kevin. Your work continues to get better with every video. The Disney Channel jingle is a masterpiece. Have you considered submitting one to a film festival? Yeah, um, I'm not huge on film festivals just because, oh, look at these. These are nice little wrapped flavor protected. Um, it's actually perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as film festivals go, I've always considered it. Uh, the problem being that, um, you know, some festivals have more stringent uh, policies on what they rely on as far as something like fair use goes. Um, and that would require something that I'm able to license. A lot of the videos that I do, especially if they're about, you know, big corporations like Disney or Universal, we're relying on fair use, and I think we have a pretty good case for it. But the moment you step out of you know, the internet medium, which is considered, you know, more editorial in nature, then I don't want to find out what yeah. happens when you start going on the road with it or showing it in theaters. So I do want to do something like that. It just needs to be something that's like about a project, a park, a company, an attraction that I can license, that they'll let me. Uh -huh. Because, you know, with, with these big companies, no matter how much I want to license their media, I'm just, I'm too small and yeah, too... Yeah, an option sometimes. Yeah, they just, I mean, I'm just too... I'll always be too small in scope to, uh, for them to even care to do it. So, um, yeah, so that answers that. And that would have to be like a local park or something interesting that isn't tied to a huge intellectual property that has, yeah. you know, a bunch of stuff around it. But, th but that's what I think would require it. I just don't want to go down that route until I can really feel more comfortable or get E&O insurance, which it doesn't matter. Uh, it's too yep. much. Anyways, yes, that, I hope that answers your question. Donations. And they also requested that I, for the sticky note on that one, draw a picture of Donald Duck. And I did I did my very, very I best. need light corn syrup. I didn't know that. Donald Duck. Is that in I don't have light corn syrup. Can I use oh, molasses yeah. instead of corn syrup? Or is... I don't think... What can I use that. instead of corn syrup? They wouldn't be mad at that. Uh, let's see for that amount. Uh, I mean, molasses is going to taste a lot darker than corn syrup. Can somebody look up substitute for corn syrup? Thank you. Corn substitute. Look your topping. What's the granulated sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon in a small disc? Whisk the melted butter and corn syrup in another small baking dish. Preheat the oven to 350. Line two 9 by 5 inch loaf pans. Okay, I need... I can use honey? Sick. Heck yeah. Someone gave 1365 anonymously a donation for the needy. That's us! We are, and that's needy with a K and E A D Y, of course, from the uh, earlier needing sets that we have. But we appreciate that. Okay, copy. Cut four deep slices of. Okay, what? How do I do this? Like that? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to do honey.
easy alternative. Because it wants six tablespoons of butter and then it wants two tablespoons. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. Of honey, 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 honey. Honey is brown. Honey is the color of honey. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. Got to melt that butter more. Is that public domain? Yeah, it's a remix, man. That's fair use parody. It really says something about the original song, about how there's a lack of melted butter in the original song. They weren't into it. Neither were the 2625. Kevin, I've listened to your documentary about line queuing more times than I would like to admit publicly while working. While working in your documentary on Alex uh, Lazarenko is an actual masterpiece. Keep up the seriously good work. Well, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Everyone's being so kind to the content. I really appreciate that. Nathan, that's sweet. I, uh, they're, they're being very kind. Oh, we got a big star coming through. We got Charles Entertainment Cheese. Nice. White the powerful rat. And again, these big names are so stingy. I'm just, just kidding. 1155. Great stuff, Kevin. I've been a huge fan of I've been a huge fan of yours for ages. Uh, starting with the Superstar Limo video. I also use your videos in a class I taught at Stanford. Nice. It's a more educational nice. value. My question for all of you is if you could be an animatronic on any ride, which would you be in a Ooh. Ride? Nice. Sleeping yeah. monk would be easiest. <laughs> No performing. Well, I mean, you don't have to do a loop. Yeah, are you, that's the question, are you automated? Are, are you, you automated? Yeah. Need more info. And they say you could, oh, thank God we got that. You could either be stuck there forever or come and go at will. It's up to you. Oh, wow. So this well, might thank be you. A, I mean, I feel better. I don't feel cursed now. Yeah, this could be like a, I want to sleep on living with the land type situation. You know, I want to sleep in the farmhouse. Oh, finally, this rose. Okay, so this is what it is. It says to do this. I'm doing this. I'm doing what it says. I'm going to answer that. I think I'm still the monk. Um, the monk? I guess Spaceship On Spaceship Earth. Earth. Spaceship Earth is probably the best one. I, I'd go with that one, too. Okay. I, don't, I don't know who I'd be. Line two, nine by five. Leave a two. Okay, cut four deep slashes. Oh, how do I do that without a knife? Where's my knife? Do we have another knife? Let's see. We got a little... Uh, I have a knife right We got a butter knife? Oh, it's got Four deep slashes. One, two, three, four. That's not very good, but that's fine. Okay, four deep slashes across the top of each loaf. The loaves will look deflated. Hey, that, that is what they look like. Okay, good. Thank you for adding that, Dollywood. Dip each loaf in the butter corn syrup mixture, turning to cover, then coat with the cinnamon sugar, making sure to get the sugar in the crevices. Oh my gosh. Place the loaves in the prepared pans. Drizzle with the remaining butter. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this here we This sounds great. <laughs> okay, are, is Rob finally going to like this might be the one. <laughs> finally. I think he might go all the way. <laughs> I would want to be the Renaissance animatronic from oh. uh, Spaceship Earth, but when he had that malfunction and was like shaking back. Oh yeah, the guy sitting crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Kind of looks like, yeah he might. Possessed. The that's, long hair guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to go with. I guess an easy, a secondary to the monk could be the guy at the very top, that uh, Steve Jobs Wozniak composite. He's not doing much. He's just <laughs> yeah. sitting. Okay, here we go. Solid. Butter. Can so, can you grab? Actually, I have one loaf pan. Can you grab the other? Oh, it's behind me. Okay. Butter. This, this okay, butter. It's, oh gosh, cinnamon sugar. It says to really get it in the crevices. Get it in there. This is the one you wanted? This yes, one? this is so much sugar. <laughs> they know. We're Thank wrong. you, Dolly. Thank you, Dolly. We need it. There's, it there it is. No, I need the, uh, sorry. I need the actual loaf pan. This one? Yeah. No, or the, or the loaf pan that's ready. Gotcha. It has the parchment paper in it. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Butter, you see this? Butter, honey, okay? Cinnamon sugar. Gotta get it in the crevices. Okay, see that? Yep. There it's go going in there like that. Okay. Now it says to Drizzle with any remaining butter mixture and sprinkle with any remaining cinnamon sugar. Well, there's plenty. Love Here we go. Ready? Oh. Huh? Love it. Here it comes. Oh, that's goodness right there. I mean, this is. Whoa. 
This is gonna be delectable. Okay, and then any remaining sugar mixture. <laughs> From any point. Can you believe this comes with apple butter? Like they're like. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Dolly isn't afraid of chili powder. Well, yeah, we're putting noodles on top of this afterwards, so. Okay. It's only at 150. How many likes does the stream have? How many likes? Yeah. I just only see 115. Oh, man. How many people? They're just too busy donating. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, that's great. I do not. I just was, I was weird up at that because I was like, I've seen, like, it has a pretty good concurrent viewership. I don't even see, I don't even get the... Okay. The Bake until light brown. Okay, I need a 25-minute timer, either Twitch or YouTube. 25-minute timer. This is going in. Oops. Come on, get down. Okay, 25-minute timer right now. Okay. We got 21 bucks donated anonymously. Thanks for all the videos over the years, Kevin. Keep up the great work. The Jim Henson series is a particular fave of mine. Also, thanks for the stream. Happy all this going to such a good cause. We agree. Thanks. Did you have some? I haven't tried any yet. Oh, well, turn around. <laughs> go yeah, to town. Man. Gotta go for it. Cover up. Oh, we've I've switched over. We're Just on me case, now. You know. Yeah. Oh. Someone breaks oh in, switches our camera. What do you think? <laughs> Best thing ever. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can I throw this away? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I really want to save it for later. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really bad. That's my food for the rest of the week, bro. That might be the most bland, <laughs> the most bland, disgusting chili I've ever tasted. Like, wow. lifeless chili. And it's not even the fact that it's missing onion. It is disgusting. I already divorced myself from that being chilly. <laughs> Just to add it on. Okay, put it on. It's like what little spices were there somehow sucked the flavor out of it, you know? I'm gonna drink, if I drink a Red Bull. Then you'll have wings. Okay, Sponsored I'm gonna go Red out Bull. here and drink a Red Bull. We're gonna Alleged cut Red your Bull mic then. We're gonna cut over here. So he can just yep. shotgun that Red Bull. Rob, how's your day going? This is good. This is great. Honestly, you know what? I love every time we do a charity land. Uh, it's for a great cause. Um, I think everybody has fun. It's just a good time all around. That is so good. Physically, I like this way more than staying up 24 hours or 25 hours. I don't know if yeah, I could do well, that I anymore. You I think physically this one might be a little bit. I don't know. I'm pretty relaxed here. I'm, uh -huh. I'm, doing, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> From our perspective, it doesn't feel like this has been going on for six hours. Yeah, it really is time for Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, part of the reason this might... It won't even give me back my bowl. Not only did it break and ruin my night, it's not going to give me back the bowl. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I'm so disappointed in you. For service, call. Oh, you can service it. See? That's some equipment right there, man. They're not going to leave you high and dry. Yeah, exactly. Something that heavy needs to be fixable. That's not meant to be thrown out ever. Well, I was not going to throw it out for the record. I'm glad we didn't go and buy a new one. Because <laughs> those things are not cheap. No, they're not. Because they're made to last, apparently. Supposedly. Not all of them. Oh my gosh. We lost your mic now, Jack, okay. which makes sense that yes. they both die around the same time, you know? Just replace it with the other one in that giant bulky case, not my little one. It's over there. All right, all right. You're all so kind to donate. 
and put up with me and watch me cook. I don't, I, I keep asking this, but I just want to make sure. Is this engaging? Is this fun? Do people, are people having a good time in the chat? Yeah, man. Okay, good. This is a vibe. <laughs> That's how they say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Rob. Did you're it work? A, yeah. Did it work? You're Especially cool, since I'm dressed as Clark as well. You're <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a can I get a shot of, of Rob saying it's a vibe it's as a Clark, vibe, man. <laughs> yeah, as Clark Griswold. The reading Twitch chat said leaves and comes back five hours later and the kitchen is still broken. <laughs> we we're not fixing it. Huh? Whatever. Yeah, there. Okay. Start reading me ingredients for the Land's cookies. I had to make the Land's cookie recipe because I feel like just like Disney MGM's chili lacked, excuse me, lacked, uh, that Red Bull is going to ruin me. It just like. He's Jones in man. Ah, I could do it. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> We're growing until one, guys. I ding, 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 ding. I'm just. just off the this, walls. this guy straight Mario'd on screen. <laughs> he has. Oh, he ding, ding. I'm just, I, I felt like. It literally just hit me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Hey man, we gotta get all those coins. Jump on top and do a, do a, do a dive. Bum 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 bum. You might be really aggressively defended now after the movie was so good. You shouldn't be doing this. They're coming for us. Man, this is like super safe. This is next level. How much sugar? Okay, for sugar we need three fourths cup of sugar. Okay, I got that. How much? What's next? Okay, we got half a cup of shortening. Okay, what else? I have to cream together the sugar, the shortening, the salt, baking powder, vanilla, and egg. How many eggs? One egg. Okay, how much shortening? Half cup shortening? How much egg? How much egg? Yep, Give me out one egg, please. From the fridge. Do, 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 do. He's speed running the rest of these recipes right now. I don't know why I didn't take that Red Bull hours ago. He's about to clip through the wall. I'm not, I'm not joking. It might be placebo, but I feel it. No, they're intense, man. The egg dealer's choice on the egg. I, I, my hands. Your hands have been doing a lot. You've been through a lot tonight. I present. How much vanilla does it need? Let's see. As far as vanilla goes, we're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Teaspoon. This guy's straight Marlene, Mario on the street. I can't believe it. I don't think I can watch another instance of this. Okay, how much? It's going to be one tablespoon of vanilla extract. One tablespoon? A teaspoon. Okay. Don't bite my head off. Okay, what else? I can't believe you just had a Mario star. Now you're advancing this level. We have, <laughs> we have one egg, one cup, plus two tablespoons. One fourth baking powder. Yep. Do, 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 one fourth do, teaspoon do, baking do, powder. Do, do, yeah, teaspoon. Uh, baking powder is a little can. It's a tiny can. It looks like from a general store. They still make it like that. Yeah. Like you're shopping at a little general store. I think that's so cute. Dude, I drove by Western Wear the other day. I'm like, one what, fourth. what are they doing here? Okay, yeah, one Did I drop some there. pepper in there? What is that? Okay. Did you get the baking powder? I, think you I just did that, that yeah. Uh, vanilla extract we did. I did that. Uh, how, one, I need salt. One fourth we're teaspoon of salt. I know where that is if you don't get it. Yeah. I got it. How much? One fourth teaspoon? One, yeah, one fourth teaspoon. The one egg we already got covered. Now we need one cup plus two tablespoons of cake flour. So a cup and two tablespoons. You need to slow down because I think we're moving forward in the recipe too fast. Okay. I just get so excited about the land's chocolate chip cookies. You have more Red Bull? <laughs> we have the, uh, there's another one in there. I, <laughs> we're going to be up all night. On a rock and roll. And rethink everything I said on stream. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> gonna be up all night. We just passed thirty-one thousand dollars. Yeah. Thirty-one twenty-five. Yeah, we'd like to catch up on some donations. Brianna H uh, with fifteen seventy-five donate again for spotting Publix ingredients. Yep, Publix ingredients. We got no choice in Florida. We love it. Publix. Uh, we went. The Publix we went to had two floors with a dining area upstairs. I couldn't believe. Wait, it. Wait, what? The Publix yes, had it's a new thing. Night, had, had it's a, a new thing. thing. Upstairs with chairs and like a little overhang. It was really nice. So you just watch people shop while you have your pub sub? Well, yeah, because it's right above the checkout. It's like it's right.
right there. So you can see all that. Ah! I was like, what is that elevator going to? There's just an elevator Weird. right here. The public's elevator. The ah! Want to rock and roll? No, that's copyrighted. My version <laughs> is I want, I'm going to be up all night and rethink everything I said on stream. And my version is happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, happy. If you make a song to get around copyright, I can use your song without copyright. Yeah. Okay. One cup plus two tablespoons of flour. Someone anonymously, 2625, thank you for your videos. They helped me. They helped me and my now fiance, nice, get Ooh. through COVID without Disney and you've influenced us so much when we got, in, we got engaged at Disneyland or when they got engaged mm -hmm. at Disneyland, they immediately referenced a classic again, homosexual fast dancing. Okay. You're an incredible documentarian, documentary Someone. alien and uh, impeccable research skills and getting to watch your videos evolve is an absolute pleasure. Thanks. That's so nice. Also, people, people know that it's like a joke from a video. Oh yeah. Because I'm sure some people are like, what does that mean? Why, Why do people keep saying about? that? Just uh, Google, you can find it. One cup plus two tape. Oh my gosh. I, you say that's all supposed to be cake flour. <laughs> <laughs> Big if true. <laughs> I wish you weren't in the blind spot of the cameras when you looked down at the bowl. Like the despair. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're gonna call that. What happened? Never mind. Nothing happened. Nothing okay, happened. great. The sink did smell my, a little the, bit. The sink's really white for some reason. I'm breathing of a white sink. Of a white. We're almost out of flour. Sorry, Darren, not yet. We might ax some of the things on the menu. I hope we don't have to. Okay, here we go. Oops, oops. Okay, we're gonna just call one more of these. That's probably good. I can tell what cookie should look like. You play that by use. You still got all purpose flour, right? No. Oh. It's fine. We had too many purposes and now we're just mm. SOL. That's what makes it so useful. That's why it goes quick. You can use it for anything. Terry Alexander, 2625, love your videos. My favorite is, Halo, is the Halix documentary. Thanks for going above and beyond to raise dough, the actual dough, for Give Kids the World. Yep. We've raised dough probably four times. I remember dough was being raised tonight, so. And I. Uh, <laughs> thanks, that's so nice. Shot. Wanna make cookies all night. I'm gonna stop singing. I, there's music under us, right? Yeah. So, so, so I'm. So, so there's some epidemic sound doing a fake version of Wham. <laughs> <laughs> and then Check it's me out. going, ah. It's bum, 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 ba -dum. Ah. Bum, ba -dum. Okay. Where I'm looking for the thing that sprays. What? I do know? this with it. This, the pan? Yes. Brain needs things spray now. Here you go. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm fine, and I'm gonna be fine. I'm just gonna get my chocolate chips. You're just cooking. Oh, we got a nice one here. These are mini chocolate chips. We got something here from uh, Shock and Aubrey, uh, 5250, sending in $50 to share the love uh, which my husband's employer will be matching. Nice. Reminder oh, that's everyone. great. Yeah, reminder to everyone to check if you have that option. Uh, he's, I got a question for Darren. Uh, can you share a story of a specific child you met or who has benefited from the programs provided by Give Kids the World? You can get on Rob's mic and let him know about that. Take my seat. Yeah, I can see. <coughs> let me do this before you tell your story. <laughs> um. Oh gosh. Uh, when I first started, there was um, a wish family that was coming in on a rush wish. Um, for, for a little bit of context, uh, Give Kids the World is able to fulfill wishes in as little as 24 hours if needed. Um, oh wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that was part of the reason we started was being able to remove a lot of the red tape that exists with having all of these different lines of business in the different organizations have to communicate to each other to sort of 
filling everything under one roof uh, and having a, a distinct process set up for it. Um, and so when I first started, um, there was a, a wish family that was coming in on a rush wish and um, their wish was a rare one. It was to go to Discovery Cove and swim with dolphins. It doesn't happen super often. Um, usually the big ones are like Disney, Universal. Uh, so they, they went and did that their first day and the wish child, uh, unfortunately his situation had been getting worse. And so um, one of my coworkers with the support of pretty much the entire team uh, found out that he loved animals. And so he got him different animal interactions for every single day of his wish. So there was uh, canine companions brought out uh, therapy dogs to him. Gatorland was doing uh, live animal interactions inside of his villa with him. Uh, he did, I believe, a, a like a animal training session over Zoom at SeaWorld. Uh, and so had all these little uh, things that he was able to do and, and fulfill sort of um, the other days of his wish trip. Um, unfortunately, on the way to the airport, this child had passed away. Um, I, I was two weeks into the job and sort of the entire team got really close to this child. Um, and, and that was rough. <laughs> um, but it sort of gave me a lot of really important perspective that even though I work in the fundraising team and I don't get to interact with families uh, super often day to day as much as like our frontline uh, and operation based positions do that the work that my team does and that I do is, is critical to, to what happens and every single wish when you look at it on um, on a smaller scale, those are individual people that you're impacting. And um, uh, unfortunate for Parker, it was the last week of his life, but, <clears throat> sorry, uh, fortunately, you know, it was the coolest week of his life where he got to do things that many other children on the planet would never be able to do. Um, we had spoken when we were setting this up um, about like what the Give Kids the World interaction on this stream would be about bringing Mayor Clayton out here. Uh, Mayor Clayton, as some of you may know, is our giant six-foot-tall bunny rabbit mascot. Um, Give Kids the World is a village, and so every village needs a mayor. Ours just happens to be a very large bunny rabbit. Um, unfortunately, um, there was a wish child that had a really profound impact on us um, that probably hadn't impacted me the same way since Parker's wish about two years ago, um, where a child came down, and he was here for his wish, uh, and he really latched on to the overall mission at the village. And he became friends with staff members and he sort of became our honorary assistant mayor, uh, where he had jobs of testing ice cream and making sure that our chief of staff was keeping in line. And um, post wish, he was able to come back and um, gave us an auction item at our soiree that was a couple weeks ago. Uh, he had passed away this past Wednesday. And so we, um, as a collective team with his parents' approval, decided to send our CEO and Mayor Clayton to his funeral. Um, and those are just like two more somber stories, but gosh, it is like, those are the ones that hit you the most, is like kids that are so amazing and just life being so incredibly unfair to them. taken for granted, you know what I mean, going to these parks, and that, that can make a huge difference to somebody in that situation, so that's super legit, man, that's... Yeah, really like good. I said, you know, like, Wish families are, are the coolest people in the world, and, um, you know, they really know what's important in life, and, and every minute is valuable, um, you know, it, it's, it's incredibly lucky that modern medicine is the way that it is, and the outcome for a lot of families, um, is better than it was 20, 30 years ago. Um, but, you know, what an incredibly grounded and humble and, and thankful and just downright awesome uh, group of children and, and uh, wish families that I get to interact with every day. Thank you so much sorry for to, talking about that. Sorry to, to tone that down a little bit. No, no. I mean, that's yeah, why we're here. That's why we're doing this. our energy high. No, I, I want the energy to be high so people feel engaged <laughs> to keep watching and keep donating. And that's why I'm running around. But the reason we're here is because of what you're talking about. So that's just as, just as important as much as I'm trying to 
cook food and be funny. We are here for exactly what you do on a daily basis, and we're just trying to raise some funds for your awesome mission. So, no, do not apologize. If you want some other fun facts, uh, we recently had our, um, our annual numbers released. Uh, 17 years in a row, we're rated four out of four perfect uh, star rating by Charity Navigator. That's a big deal. Uh, that's 17 a, that's years a in a row, less than 1% of all charities in the world to do that. Uh, 92 cents of every dollar goes directly to mission delivery. Um, we just had our biggest month ever this past October where we served 909 families and we're closing in on 200,000 families since we started in 1986. Wow. So um, just know that your donations are furthering that impact and continuing that trajectory. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are, we're happy to do it. We're proud that we can do it, frankly speaking. I mean, that's, seriously, that's, that's that. All right, we have some other uh, donations, people generously contributing. Uh, Alyssa Kowalski donated 1575. Hey, Kevin, thanks so much for all your hard work on everything you do. Your channel has been a mainstay in my house for years. My partner and I rewatch your videos and documentaries all the time. After covering so many defunct attractions, I was wondering, and we haven't had this question yet, if you could pick one to bring back, which would you choose? We haven't just had this one. We had to bring back for another park. What are we just bringing back, home park, as it was? Um. Extraterrestrial, especially since something's there right now. Yeah, that's mine. Just, just to cause some trouble. Just original 90s version <laughs> in Magic Kingdom today. Um, why am I blanking? What was the Monsanto one? House of the Future. Like a ride on, um, Adventure through inner space. Yeah, that's the one, that one. Because I imagine it's, it's as, I don't think there's anybody who's like, okay, there's some people who'd be like super psyched for it. But everyone would just be confused more than anything else. Why did we lose Star Wars for this? What's going <laughs> yeah, exactly. On? How could you do this? The mighty microscope. All right. Who else? Nobody wanted to flick flyers back? <laughs> <laughs> just one thing from Bart's land doesn't even fit anymore. It's just like, what is this? Not even the train, just that. Okay, okay. Those cookies are looking good. Dolly with cinnamon bread. Does anybody ha know how long my handwich has? What are my oh, timers you're at? Good on that. I'm yeah, good on handwich. Yeah, that just happened. No, on uh, oh. the cinnamon bread. The cinnamon bread's ready to come out. Should be. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me let the chat back it up because maybe maybe I'm losing touch with my inner clock. We'll let that play in on it. Kevin True to 21. Um, from one Kevin to another, to a charity. Here's some money. Thank you, Kevin True. I don't think that's done. Okay. Are you sure? I have a handwich and I have the, the dough rising here, the donuts. Uh, I am waiting for chat to... Five more minutes, I see somebody says. On what? The... What does it say? Okay. This is... Cinnamon bread has four minutes left. Okay, that's good to know. Delta Dream Flight, yes, that would be a good one to bring back. But what about the timers? <laughs> a few more minutes, five minutes on the... No, no, but what about the like the different the different things I'm rising? Mm. Let's see. <laughs> uh, Darren, what did what was the how 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 high should I cook the uh, the hand witches? I need more hand, which, okay. Um, can I get some printer paper and I need this tin foil? Printer paper and I'm gonna use this tin foil. Oops. Yeah, I don't know if people were tracking the rising. It just says 10.05 for the bread. Do you hear anything from burning? Do I hear anything burning? No. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah, no. You got the camera off me, please? Hold on. All right. Might just be the oven again. I have the bread almost being ready. Every time the oven heats up, it just. Preheat the oven to 400 and then bake for 16 to 18 minutes. Undo on 400. You said 400? 400. Yep. Okay. I 
I know. Should we be concerned? Oh, I know what it is. Okay, I see what it is. It's not. No, it's nothing. It's just this. Uh, there was some residue on the burner. I'm not gonna use. Gonna use where's Where's my personal towel? It's just this. Danielle Pereira donated a 105. Uh, my eight-year-old daughter and I love the bunk lamp. We watch it every night, so this is an unexpected treat. Thank you all for all you do. Uh, she wants to know if you will find out what's inside the giant trash heap in your Disney. They have the location if we need it. We live close by. Yeah, feel free to throw that up in the chat. Just that <laughs> location if you want to. I don't know. Send it to somebody. We will uh, we'll make note of that. I've never heard of a giant trash dump in your Disney, but you would imagine this. It's stuff. the one by Magic Kingdom, right? I think so. Maybe. They have a lot of land that they just can't use there, so I think they use it for... I'm sure they've... I think that's where the subs were. So many turkey legs up in there, dude. I think I did this wrong. Half my turkey legs and all of them there. Okay, more... more. I'm trying to make the things to make the handwich for everybody. <sighs> I really don't. <laughs> I, want, I want to believe. Probably I should be doing this on stream. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks, Rob. Keeping you honest. Are the turkey legs ostrich legs? No, nor are they emu legs. They are from Tom's, the male turkeys. Do you remember whether you're supposed, are you supposed to make, are you supposed to roll the paper first? And then... Do you roll the paper? Yeah, I think you roll the paper into a cone and then you, yes. Yeah, make a cone and cover it with a little Oh, well that's not what I've been doing. Okay, so we make a cone, which way, I totally forgot how to do this. Fake, hand, which, no, this is right. This is right. Oh yeah, just like this. I'm flashing back to that. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. Once you make one hand, which you never forget. Oh. Beep, beep, check the bread. Huh? It's bread time. What bread? Dollywood? Dollywood bread. Okay, well, hold on. I think that's good enough, I hope, slash hope. Okay. Huh? Nothing, nothing, you're fine. <laughs> Quick one from Noise Master, 5250, just trying to spread joy and happiness. Well, thanks. Well, thanks. We've caught, we've caught the happiness. Thank you, chat, for keeping us on track. It's hypothetical frozen body, of course. Carousel progress. <laughs> too easy. Not too easy is like pirates or haunted mansion or something where, oh, hey, if you look up at the, uh, you'll notice if you go to the Disneyland version, there's guys in the fort, you know, blasting cannons, and also Walt Disney is one of those. Uh, help, up on help, a spring, help. Which he, I don't know, I had a thing. Oh, here we go. Tower of Terror. Am I, is this, am I doing this right? I feel like this is how I did it. Yeah, so that's a, uh, This is ridiculous. Then does it say I just put it in the oven? Okay. There's sandwich number one, everybody. Woo! Let's do sandwich number two. Put that right there for now. You make Walt one of the ghosts in Tower of Terror. Yeah. You can just barely see it. And the yeah. ice is just sort of like the blue glow of like the, you know, That's fifth probably dimension. That's one slipping into. Yeah. It's the exact same color temperature. It was complete accident. Well, speaking of the Twilight Zone, we got $105 uh, donation anonymous. Um, 
I love watching, rewatching your videos and slipping into a twilight zone of adventure and curiosity. Your newest videos exist on a higher plane. Thank you for being here. Wow, this everyone's being so kind. I don't know. Ten thousand dollar donation. Are you kidding me? Does it say who it's from? Oh my oh, gosh. Santa. It's him. Santa Claus, thank you so much. I mean, what does that put us at? He came to town. Oh my gosh. You know what that means? You have unlocked Kevin's Christmas cream. Oh no. That means we gotta be on till at least another that two also hours. That means we've unlocked the house tour. If we wanna do that. Dude, let's see if people want that. I definitely might, I might switch out for an apron change, but I have to put this sandwich together before we do anything. So let me do that and let me process that. That's amazing. I mean, man, we're right, we're doing it. We're gonna make it happen. Where is the tin foil, the aluminum foil? That, that is incredible. Thank you everyone so much for donating. Whether you donated that much, thank you. Or whether you donated whatever you could, $5, $1, I mean, it's really, it's going to a good cause, as you've heard tonight, and this is what we do. I hope this stream has been entertaining and fun, on top of chaotic, but it's all for a good cause, and everything you donate, from the moment you donate it, it's already at Give Kids the World. It's already in their system. It's already going to the good cause. So, as I've stated many times, and um, as I'll state again, all that money is already straight with them. You're using their payment system and we never have to touch it. And it's in good hands because they are the one of the top rated charities as Darren just told you, unless you've joined very recently. We're making this sandwich. Um, the chat seems overwhelmingly in favor of the house tour. Okay, well here's the deal with the house tour is I'm gonna disappear for 15 minutes. Are you okay with that? Because it's like a 15 minute house tour. And again, this is... You want the castle, guys. Do you want it? Maybe we'll be in the video. We're just not going to be... No take backs. People want the... I mean, I'm in the video. It's just that I'm also walking you around. Okay, here's the house tour. I want to give another shout out. We kind of go around the house and we kind of... Um, we just like have fun with the theming and how wild it is in here. Um, so again, we, we did pay for this place that we're currently cooking in. And we did pay the, uh, the fee to be here. But at the same time, we did get a discount from Loma Homes. So I just wanna say, while this video isn't necessarily sponsored, we do wanna thank Loma Homes um, and uh, because they did uh, give us a discount to be here. Um, this isn't a video, this is a live stream. And they, and, they, and they gave us that discount because they knew we were doing this for a good cause. So thanks Loma Homes. They have very well themed Airbnbs. Uh, not Airbnbs, also vacation rentals. I don't know where this is listed. It's listed probably on multiple sites, um, but it's Loma Homes. This is Once Upon a Castle. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the tour. And so uh, we're gonna go to the tour. I'm gonna step off for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep cooking. You're gonna come back. And uh, Rob, are we ready to go over there? Uh, give me one second, but we will be, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna mute us. We're gonna hang out for a bit. I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna be back in about 10 minutes. Watch this house tour. This is Jack's authentic reaction to being in the house for the first time. And I think you'll like it. Also, before we go, there's our second handwich for the night. There we go. All right, let's do it. All right, we're, we're checking it out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so it's very much entry. We have some uh, nicely uh, labeled lights. All right, so I'm very much already getting the vibe. This is like a normal house that is now. <laughs> like, this is like I visit my childhood buddy, like his house. I go over and I'm like, oh yeah, we're having a slumber party. And then it's just, we, we like castles enough to make it castle themed. All right, first coming in off the entry, we have one, <laughs> we have, we have one room with a, um, this is a, a bread, this is a basket weavers and bread makers delight. We have a uh, hand hand washing. You can use it. That's not for decoration. Oh my god! Look at all these little accoutrements, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the lamp on the side, and then the entire, you know. Well, I was questioning when we came in because that light switch over there says special light, which is already uh, yeah. Me. But I was even more alarmed that it was already turned on, and it's for this. It's that. It's for our fireplace. And a TV. 
Now, yeah. Do you think this was here? This no. <laughs> no, it wasn't there. It's just this. This is Florida. Yeah, like we gotta build it. You have a lot more to look through. I know. We're you, just getting so started. We gotta keep going. We got a bathroom. Any theming in the bathroom? Remember, shout out to Lil Mahomes. Other I am the mirror. <laughs> We have a full sword. We have to take up the sword. Now, okay, I... now this is part of an interactive adventure throughout the house. <laughs> when, okay. you, when you launch the uh, Galaxy's Edge uh, mini game, another battle. Oh, that's the same bathroom. bathroom. Okay, you gotta get the hall light on. Hall light is on. These are all beautiful too. The garage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, when we were outside, I didn't go to the garage, had something pumped in front of the windows, but I didn't know we were set up for this. Wow. And they even got like a little, you know, when you go to the, um, you see the loading in at like. See, that's part of the game, I think. Well, they're loading in at Peter Pan and you see their control, like their controls <laughs> are in a little book and you go, wow, look at that. We have but this is the garage. It definitely is the garage. Oh. It's got that classic garage echo and some sponge. This is from the SpongeBob uh, Airbnb left over. <laughs> Talents next door. Oh man. Beautifully painted. Look at all this. Okay, here's the main space. That's yeah. where we'll be cooking. Oh yeah. Well, we'll be showing this video. Kevin's kitchen. Something if, if this video is playing, something has been gone terribly wrong. <laughs> something is horribly wrong. Okay. We have a we have a uh, a knight, yeah, a king King's Arthur. Table. Yeah, isn't that cool? Well, it shows that we're all in this together, you know, for uh, for cooking. Yeah, when I said it was a castle theme, I mean it's much more than you anticipate. Yeah. Well, they were like, there's not that much castle theming happening in the dining room right now, aside from the great table. So we gotta well, break you... it up. Break it up. Oh wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Just, well, you just you just said, well, there's not enough theming. I was gonna say I got a sneak peek of where we're headed next. Oh, so you know, and is the, this is this gonna win you over by the end? Oh, well, yeah. first off, we have to actually again shout out Love at Home for oh, giving. Yeah. They gave us this at a discount to shoot the charity stream here. Yeah, I'm moving in after this. Actually, I'm, I'm I mean, look, look at that, look at that. Like they, like it's it have like wood up there. Yeah, yeah. I know that probably. All right, let's go. All right, we're headed upstairs. Not labeled. Oh wait, we missed a bedroom down here. <laughs> Please don't touch the thermostat, guys. Okay, heading into the king's chamber. Whoa! <laughs> you nailed it. It is. <laughs> this is actually they don't know, but this is actually this is what's above uh, King Stefan's royal hall. This is the suite. And excuse me, sir. Oh. It burns. Oh no. What was that movie? <laughs> I mean, you think the theming ends in the bathroom, but they even have like place mats? Yeah. That'd be too disappointing if it just ended in the bathroom. They just ended with this door right here. That's the this end. beautiful door. There's a full, like, blue royal curtain above the, above the bathtub. All right. You ready to go upstairs? Now again, we're not going to play the interactive game right now, but we're saving that for later. Oh, yes. So we've got we've got our two uh, stained glass, beautiful three stained glass. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my. It's magic. <laughs> it's fully magic. It's definitely not that. The magic is definitely not right up there. It's not. <laughs> oh my! This place is expansive, man. This is, uh, Dude, you're this just is getting Cinderella. started. This is Cinderella's uh, walking. What's in here? This is, appears to be another bathroom. Okay, we're in a bathroom. Well, let's, with, let's, some more, with some more swords. What's here? That must be a bedroom. Let's see what this bedroom is. I can't decipher any of these crests. This is a knight's room. This is where we have our bishops and things. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, are you. It's like, it's we like have, you're. We, you're have the, we have the catapult and the rack, as you've seen from medieval uh, times. Well, you were joking, and then it, you like, it made it a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're making it happen. We have another sword. A lot of swords. And some axes over here. What else can you. Uh... Can you manifest? What do you think this is? Um, well, this is clearly where they keep the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go! <laughs> it just comes right at me. Alright. 
So this is like if you uh, if you needed an extra turret, you're like, oh, we're all out of uh, we're all out of turrets for our uh, castle. We need proper defense. I mean, if you were a kid, I mean, this is dope. This is this. You know what this is? This is the kind of place where if you were a kid, you would go here, and you would have no evidence that it existed, <laughs> and no one would believe you. Yeah. Well, that's where the kids nowadays are lucky because they can take a photo. Of right there. Free free iPhone. You're trying to tell your friends back home about this. They're going. You're full of it, man. Get out of here. All right, so we have another another night's room. Should I make a prediction on what we have in here? Yeah, what do you think? So there, well, look, you got a you got a hint. Oh, so is this going to be the library? This is where the wizards are up here. <laughs> they come in. Oh my! <laughs> what is this? The library, <laughs> and it is. Yeah. With some with full books. Wow. Your brain just kind of like erases the previous room. <laughs> you forget that you can, you're allowed to go back. There. I just keep a re 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 um rediscovering them. I keep waiting for one bathroom to just be fully. They go all out. Look at these guys. Jeez, man. Well, they come to life at night, so you really got to be careful. There's so many. There's more. I mean, they are slightly intimidating. Go sit there. Where's your crown? Oh, my crown's downstairs in the bedroom. It's not terribly comfortable. <laughs> but, hey man, being a king is not comfortable. That's just the way it is. I am glad. What do we think's here? What do we see? This is Anna and Elsa's room. Um, I honestly don't know what my real prediction is for that. That's You see it, so it's a snowflake. What would you, what would you want? Um, it's nothing but snow cone machines in here. Let's see, let's see what we got. Whoa! <laughs> this is the Arctic um, yellow snow cone from Monsters Inc. Uh, this is his room. What is this? Thing? Is there ever a part in a castle where it be, where it becomes icy? Yeah, it's the ice stuff. The yeah, the uh, snow bed. There. This is where he uh, sleeps at. I honestly feel like we're gonna forget a room. Okay. So these are two squirrels. Two squirrels and an apple. And like I really want to try and imagine what could be inside. It's gonna like be a surprise. Well hold on. Life. What are where do squirrels live? They live in trees. So is this gonna be I'm okay, I'm imagining a green, green wall and um okay. some leafy overhang and a fake tree uh that's up against a wall. Okay. Prediction powers. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you actually nailed it. Look at that. Oh, man. This room's sick. We got a popcorn machine. We got buttons all over the walls. Some nice couches. I was not expecting a bear. I was not prepared for that fellow right there. I sleep when it's light. Take flight in the night. What am I? Well, I have a guess. <laughs> I have a good guess. I think we have to turn on that light switch. Oh wait, this one's on. Okay, I have your. I have four fingers and five toes, but no tail. What am I? Okay, we'll find that light switch eventually. We got another room. Okay, um, hold on. Is there? Now, is there now this one. This one has no labeling here. This is just a generic uh, dungeon door cell. Is it a bathroom? Another bathroom. It's a bathroom up there. How are we going to get out of here? Okay. <laughs> I'm already lost. <clears throat> All right, we have. So, okay. For this one, I'm going to guess armory, arms room. We have a bunch of knights out here. So that's going to be, I'm going to guess a lot of silver we're going to be seeing. And I'm definitely guessing more uh, tainted brickwork. To my okay. prediction. Whoa. Well, they threw me for First off, they have a slide. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't even know where to in here. So this is the, uh, this is the sword and the stone, man. This is where we have to... Probably for the kids. Yeah, it's got a, it must come with a, uh... There's a cast members up here watching this. They're going to release that sword. And very important, USB built right into the rock. <laughs> well, they... You have... That was USB A built right into the rock. I think that's it. I think we nailed it. I think that's everything. <laughs> we investigated. Wait, did we go in this one? No, we did not. Okay. No, I can't even decipher what that's. That's a pumpkin. That's okay. All right. So. What do you think? 
So it's got to be like some type of like the pumpkin carriage. Okay. Or, I mean, if we're really can't be a pumpkin patch, that'd be too far. No, yeah, pumpkin carriage. <laughs> I'm, we're getting better at this. I wish this place had 20 rooms I could guess. <laughs> nice little stab you get up there. This is where you're sleeping. <laughs> Just tucked up in a little ball. Mm-hmm. We got stars on the ceiling. Look at all this. You forget EC in the library room. You forget that, that, that that's a thing you can go to. And then, like, where does this go? Does this take us full loop? Okay. <laughs> look how beautiful that looks. It does look like the. That's real. It looks like it's coming from the window. Yeah. And then what is? <laughs> this is just dimension hopping. Yeah. I want an Airbnb where it's a different theme, like for every room, every but room. like completely discontinuous. Like, oh, it's medieval. Oh, it's the future. <laughs> then, then you're really getting surprised when you open it up. Once upon a time. It does look very magical. Yeah. This is where I'd like to retire after a, a long, magical day. And a pool. And a pool. Well, thanks to, uh... Well, Mahomes for sponsoring, not sponsoring, for uh, for hosting us, for hosting us and giving us a discount. We still we still rented this place, but they gave us a discount because uh, we told them we were doing the charity stream here. So, thanks, Loma, for allowing us to be in this objectively very cool place. Yeah, I I like it. I have to admit. Hello, we're back. Can you hear us? Yeah. Did you like the tour of the house? What'd you think? Pretty nice house. Remember, this is a Loma Homes house. And as I said, just one more to clarification, we did pay to be here, but we got a discount because they heard we were doing a charity stream and they're nice to us. And uh, so shout out to them. Yeah. They got a pretty nice theming. Uh, just a little bit, you know, if you're into uh, extravagantly themed rooms, you might find a few here. So, uh, yeah. We were sold. We liked it. At the, by the end, you at the you were skeptical at first, and then you said by the end you said I'm moving in. Yeah, well, this is my forever home actually, so I'm just not leaving. So, so sorry, home. everybody, you can't book it. It's Jack's house now. You yeah. have to ask him. I bought it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we got some tasting to do, boys. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, first off, the Simpsons donut is done. Woo! Nice. Doesn't that look good? It looks like a donut. I just fried it while you were all watching that. Next, I got these cookies from the land that are bad. <laughs> They're not good. They're bad right. cookies. I'm gonna. We're still gonna try them. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. Um, and we also have the Dollywood cinnamon bread, which I forgot a part of the recipe. Sometimes it's served with apple butter, but sometimes it's served with Dolly's icing because there wasn't enough sugar on it. <laughs> not, and I'm not against sugar, yeah. but this is uh, impressive. I'll just say impressive. An impressive amount of sugar here. So boys, why don't you come on over? All right. Let's open that up. Let me just show everybody the beautiful thing before I pour icing on it. Do you see that? No, it's oh, wait, let's, my paper. Let's do here. Whoa. Wow. Now that is beautiful. Now that's beautiful, but wait, it's gonna get more beautiful. I'm about to pour icing on it. Oh yeah. Dolly's icing. Okay. Yeah. Everybody gets a fork, and everybody gets to try it. All right, let's go cut to this cam, and let's do our ceremonial, Sorry, will this stable. work? Oh my gosh. Slowly rolling it. Rob, if you don't like this, <laughs> I'm gonna How lose my mind. You? So, because we got to $40,000, and because we got the house tour and Kevin's Christmas creme, which I'm about to start making, we're gonna have to be here for a little bit longer, and I have still haven't made the handwich yet. We're hoping to get done by midnight. Is that okay? Can we can we keep it going till midnight? Can we get to fifty thousand dollars? I really hope so. We're doing it. And yes. as as a consolation, and as kind of a oh my God. and as kind of a uh, a uh, a compromise, we're not gonna do the previously. Uh, uh, th funnel cake. Uh, I don't think we could eat the funnel cake yeah. after this. I mean, this You're going to be asleep. That's plus a funnel cake. Funnel cake this plus. is some wet bread. 
Well, it's Dolly's bread, and you better eat it. Listen, I'll tell you, I think this might be the showstopper for me. This is this is looking delicious. Kevin, you've done it. Are you you've serious? Ten out of ten. This is fantastic. I'm proud of you. Rob, it means so much that the thing that you like the most. We had to we had to get through the chili so we could enjoy this. this I'm is, supposed to wash it. this oh, with yeah. eggs, but I'm out of eggs. So we're not doing an egg wash on our sandwich, which is fine. I mean that's still <laughs> How long for the, what's the, it's 400 degrees for how long for the hand? 16 to 18 minutes. 16 to 18 minutes. 16 to 18 minutes. Somebody set the timer. 18 Okay. So we did all of our breads. We had Dollywood bread. We had boysenberry bread from Knott's Berry Farm. We had King Stefan's Royal Banquet Hall walnut bread. And we had honey coconut loaf. Everyone, Rob, what's your favorite bread? In what he, out of what we had? Uh, of what we had. It was, I think it was the walnut bread. That was the. You like that better than that was the one Dolly's? Where you did six, you oh, don't, oh, well, no. That feel, that doesn't feel like bread. That's like a dessert. It's yeah. And it's amazing. Can I have this? Did everybody have a fork? Yep, go for it. Oh my gosh. That's on a whole other level. I, I want you to get the camera off me, not so I show my, accidentally show my face, but because I'm ashamed. He's going to explode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no shame in eating food. Especially not when it's that good. Yeah gonna go in for more two quick donations we got jess onayo with um 52. oh my god <laughs> right right you oh my it. gosh you did it. it turns out the answer sugar that's all it took wait somebody said a little sugar water instead of egg wash <laughs> too late Jess and I are with 50, uh, Can we get to fifty thousand dollars by midnight? That's my goal. Fifty thousand dollars by midnight. Thank they you so much for that anonymous donation. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. That was so, that like warmed that like warmed me. That's delicious. Right. I have another, and more icing. But I also have this cookies. Is like Disney dessert level, you know what I mean? Okay. Next up, these are the worst cookies I'm assuming ever created. <laughs> This is not my recipe. This is from the Land Pavilion at Epcot Center. This is what they would feed. And, and I honestly, they're crumbly and crunchy and sugarless enough that I believe that this was served at the Land. Like the, so here's a cookie for you. Here's a cookie for you. Thank you. It fell apart when it touched Did it? Yeah, it was like crumbled. I mean, I believe that this cookie was at the Land. It's not the worst cookie. I like it. Actually, <laughs> it's chewy. Yeah. 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 I think it just looks a little scary. It's looking pretty, pretty nice in there. Like that. That's two winners in a row. We're on a roll. Dessert. Where's that? I think we all just like carbs. This is good. <laughs> and sugar. Yeah, yeah sweets. <laughs> Jess and Oil with the 5250. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. I can tell, I can tell you how I can't tell you how moved I am by this charity work. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for taking care of the children. Shout outs, we're all about it. Ryan Grill, he echoes that sentiment with another 5250. Thank you so much for sharing these children's stories. Nice, we love it. Luna Dog Jones donated 1050. This charity and all of you are incredible. Also, Give this man another Red Bull. He deserves a treat for 30K. <laughs> Can't wait to Thanks, see Luna what, Dog Jones. Can't wait to see what comes out of the funk line next. And I hope you do more Twitch streams while working on stuff for the docs. He probably will. Yummy, 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 yummy. He'll be doing TikTok NPC streamers soon. Okay. I was wrong. That cookie's great. That's yeah. a great cookie. You stand sugared. It's delicious. Okay. So we got the handwiches going, which means I have to make the handwich filling, which means I have to improvise a recipe. You just shook your head no, like I'm not allowed to do that. No, no, I'm shaking my head like, yeah, let's do it. But I also have to make Kevin's Kitchmas uh, Christmas creme. I need to find the ingredients to find do it too. with. Oh wait, we didn't try the donut either. Oh, I know, it's, it's cooling down. Does anybody want more Dollywood cinnamon bread? 
I mean, if I'm about to have it. We got I? some over here. Let's. Yeah, we still got some more. I mean, I want another bite of that because that was so good. Get in on it, and man. Get some. Michael Quintana, 21 bucks. This one goes out for my brother. Hope that he makes a recovery sooner rather than later. We hope so too, Michael. Thank you for the 21, though. This is the big one. We got that 10,000 uh, donation. Donated anonymously. They say, happy birthday, Corb. Thanks, Darren, for sharing your story. We all appreciate what you do and the entire team at Give Kids the World for what they do to uh, form lasting memories and inspire hope for families who need it. Thank you. I mm -hmm. echo that sentiment. It's nice. Cal Burkhart with a 1575. I can't donate a lot right now. Hey, any amount is much appreciated, Cal. No worries at all. Can't donate a lot right now, but I hope this helps. Such a special cause. For sure. 2625 was donated. See it? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yep. Do you see it? Yep. Whoa. Okay, let's try it before we move on to the next. Oh. The ceremonial. Cut it up with the fork and try it. Okay, we did two out of three desserts. I still need to make this. We don't have no flat area over here. Yeah. There's a lot of technology right here. Did you get an onion? What? At the Did you get an onion, perchance? No. Okay, that's fine. Does anybody remember whose fork was who? Does anybody care at this point? No. Yeah, we're all in. Okay. Yeah, at this point, boys, we're all in. We shared everything. We were Can you cut me up a little stopped. piece of that? Yep. Hopefully it's cooked on the way. It looks delicious. I mean, let me show. Listen, if we're taking can I show the interior of this to the to the yeah. stream? That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. We are gonna sample a big pink donut. I mean, look at that. Is that is just pure. Now I'm gonna comment on the looks before we get to the taste, but it reminds me of those donuts. He knows what he's doing. He knows how it hurts. <laughs> he doesn't care. It looks like the Joffrey's donuts at yeah. like Epcot or outside the parks, but at the end of the day when they've been sitting. Thank in you. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm kidding. He doesn't care who he hurts. <laughs> Mommy, I want the big pink donut. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow, Mommy. We'll be back. Wait till tomorrow when we can have it in the car on the ride home when we leave and we get gas at the Speedway before Some... we do a six hour drive to yeah, these are Atlanta. Kevin. Kevin! Is that three in a row? What? Kevin! What? Three out of three. You like it? Yeah, that was good. What? You did it? The Rob Place seal of approval. I don't get it. Okay. He's <laughs> surprised. Oh. I have yes. to make this Christmas creme. I have to make this Christmas creme. You must. You have no choice. I have to make my creme on strem. <laughs> it's always been my dream to meet my... <laughs> it's been a dream of mine. Make it for your friend, please. It's, strem, it's, please, it's been for my friend. It's been a dream of mine to make Christmas creme for my friends. <laughs> I've always... I'm just... I'm excited for it. We need the Christmas... Another uh, anonymous 2625. Loved your videos for years, especially love this fundraiser. Also, as an applied econ grad student, I'm a little particularly obsessed with the Fast Pass video. Nice. nice. Yeah, we got professional people here. Annabelle Rosen, 2625. Devin, my wife and I love watching your videos. Your Disney Channel theme video made us both weep. No joke. You're truly great at what you do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's so Annabelle. kind. Um, yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't that was not about the comment. That was about the the dishes <laughs> He's that I just eating made. Eating these compliments, don't give. Him <laughs> <got> <laughs> Stop complimenting this man. He's eating them on stream. Is this guy gonna Mario on stream? I just had more Red Bull. I realized why I was feeling. I was like, you know what? I think I could go for another three hours. And then I was like, ding, for ding, for ding. Give me that mushroom. <laughs> was there supposed to be a timer going? I don't know yeah, why. It was like a 18, 17 minute timer. Um. I just asked Twitch chat where the timer's at. Somebody said, you were supposed to keep a timer. Uh-oh. Hold on, I'm going back in my, doing the math in my head. Um, Where's my cup measure? It was like 10 minutes ago. So All right, Kevin's more, Christmas minutes, creme. I think. It's an altered recipe of a classic creme brulee recipe. First, two cups of creme. I mean cream. It's not creme yet. Someone in the chat says, don't let your cremes be drems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, end the stream. <laughs> That's, that was it. 
Eight Thanks, everybody. On the timer. Yep. Eight minutes. Anonymous 50 Canadian, 5250 Canadian, love the Defunct Lands content. Been watching for years. Looks like we got a nice one from just Mr. Morrow. They donated 1155. Uh, Darren, I don't live in Orlando, but I'm a young adult who would love to help with give kids the give kids the world village beyond donating money. Are there any ways I can donate my time to help out? Oh, that's a classic Tia. You love, got this. You can knock this one out of the park. Yeah, they love to hear any other stories and how they can help. Yeah, so the, the best way to help is to share the mission. Uh, earlier I mentioned that 92 cents of every dollar goes directly to mission delivery, uh, and that's because we don't spend a lot of money in marketing. So. Um, Giving, sharing, and volunteering is the, the three main ways that you can support. Uh, and so if you're not able to do one of the three, uh, hopefully you could um, support through those other two means. But uh, following us on social media, sharing when we're doing anything, uh, and um, pretty frequently we do some sort of giveaways or, or chance to wins, um, entering those contests, and then also sharing them on uh, your social media is a huge way to, to get involved. Nice. Yeah, we're looking for any ways to help. All right. We had a one-off comment that someone saying, oh, my mic died. Do you hear anything about that, Rob? Any? Can you I think you're anything? just low here. Hold oh, on. 11 to 3. Test, test, test. I can yeah. get a little something like yeah, that. Yeah, we're still getting a feed from you. Okay, it's just cool. a little lower. Yeah. We'll be able to come through a little bit. On okay, so mic. then we need five eggs. Wait, is it five egg yolks? I'm pretty sure it's just five egg yolks. Five egg yolks. Don't know what I'm going to do with these whites. I could have used them... No, that would have been the yolks, too. We're going to get into a bodybuilder friend of ours. He'll love it. Misaka Sarah Opo donated uh, fifteen seventy-five. Thank you guys for keeping me company while I have a sinus infection. Those are terrible. I understand. Uh, it's been nice to just relax and laugh with you. It's already past 5 a.m. where I am, but this is one good night. This is, but this is one good night I've had this week. Also, yes, we're all having a good time. And remember to be kind and take care of yourself. Good reminders for both Kevin as well as myself. Thank you again. Thank you. That's very nice. nice. Everyone's very kind and supportive. We're all here for a great cause. I think everybody's having a good time. Yeah. It's just so hard when I'm like working. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm, I, I just need to, I always feel like I need to be doing something. And I have a great team and people in the chat are definitely entertaining themselves <laughs> to a certain extent. Yeah. So that helps too. It's a vibe, Kevin. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> we All right. A, we got there a you question go. here. If anybody, we have a, they were wondering, Ryan C, 1575, they're wondering, what's everyone's favorite era of Tomorrowland at Disneyland and Magic Kingdom? Maybe or. The 90s. Uh, <sighs> yeah. That's an easy one. But I've, I've really been digging. There's like no, they'll talk about the 50s, the 90s, and now, but like 70s era Tomorrowland. It's just such a, they didn't really know what they were doing. It's like, play a contemporary look at the future and that's reflected in like the music and even the bands they have back then. It's very, it's all very interesting. I, I lean towards that one as obscure one. Yeah, have you got a favorite Tomorrowland era? For oh, 1994, are you kidding me? At Disneyland <laughs> or, to, or at Walt Disney World? Uh, either. Uh, it's for both, yeah, either one. 1994, of course, Tomorrowland, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You yeah. can't ever drag. 94 also. Yeah. It, <laughs> we're bringing back the only encounter. We're bringing that back, we love it. Yeah. The cool thing is the Tomorrowland in Where's my whisk? Tokyo. Oh, it's in here. Didn't have that '94, uh -huh. so it still has a very like '70s, you know, '80s vibe to it, which is nice. Another reason. All right, so Kevin's Christmas creme. We got this heating up very slowly. Hopefully, hopefully slowly. It's too heavy cream of vanilla bean split lengthwise. This is a modification of New York Times creme brulee base <laughs> recipe. And then here I got five egg yolks and I am mixing them together with half a cup of sugar. Okay. Now, whenever you're working with eggs, as anybody that's done this before knows, is that you need to be careful because we have something warm and we have eggs. And if you just push all this warm stuff into the eggs, you get scrambled eggs. Um, so we have to be very careful. So we put a little bit in at a time to warm up the eggs so they don't cook and prepare them for But what makes it low heat just until hot, which I think I've done. Yeah, yeah. So that's really uh, pretty much it. 
except for what makes it Christmas creme is we add eggnog and like gingerbread flavor. So just a tiny, tiny, tiny. Is this? Let me smell this. Somebody yeah. ask when we'll see the last apron. Huh? Somebody ask when we'll be seeing the last apron. 45,000. 45. Okay, so just a teeny bit of ginger. Tiny, tiny bit. We're not too far on that either, right? Yeah, now we're at 43, yeah. 125. And then, then we have, so that was ginger, ginger. And then this is cinnamon. We're gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in. Just a tiny bit, just a dusting. I missed, so it was a draft. Just a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, and now um, a li the, the cloves, a very little bit of cloves. Because again, these are really strong spices and they can really overwhelm the whole thing. And I think, and then nutmeg. And nutmeg you'd be a little bit more generous with, but not that much. So these are the spices that are gonna become part of the creme. And it's gonna taste kind of like eggnog, like gingerbread. And that's Kevin's Christmas creme. I hope that wasn't a letdown, but let's also hope that I can actually make the thing. Um, and I have yeah, to fish it. out my... You can tell that was Kevin's Christmas creme because, like, he like loving lovingly talked about each spice and what it was doing and how it's interacting. Whereas, like, with the chili, it was just like, we don't got onion. We're go this train's off the tracks. Let's go. Yeah. But this, there's there's a, a lot of heart that goes into yeah. it. It sounds like he wasn't roasting this one literally as he was making it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I have a lot of love for my Christmas creme. I made it for family. Well, I'm hoping we're gonna love it too. I'm gonna put a, I, I had vanilla bean in here, but I don't think it dissolved enough. So a little bit more vanilla. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, nothing. nothing. What, too much? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're talking, we're having a conversation over here. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't worry. It's, uh, it's, it's okay. Okay. Director so now I'm going to combine this. And like I said, this is warm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream in here. I don't even know if you have to do this. I know you have to do it with, with certain things. Beep, 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 beep. Timer for the bread, for the sandwich bread. Okay. Don't use a towel. Okay. We're too far along for another technical difficulty. We did it. Sandwich. It's real. It's real. And I need some more to put it without cooking this egg that's on the counter. Okay. Now we're gonna lower this to Jack, I need you to help me. Gotcha. Okay. Um, there's a glass baking dish in one of these somewhere, I swore. It's over there. Get that glass baking dish out. No, it might, it's in there though. Yeah, that one. That, that square one. Okay, thank you. I normally just put boiling water in this, so it already kind of... Oh, thank you so much. Carry it as a holiday season highlight for me. Nice. It is for us too. We're, we're into it. Tyler Chandler donated $110. Very nice. Hi, Kevin and crew. What's your favorite Disney history film? Thanks for putting these on. A great holiday tradition, Tyler. Oh, good question. I really enjoyed uh, Battle of the Realm. That one came out maybe like around 2020. I, I like that one a lot. It's got like Haunted Mansion and then Haunted Mansion. I do have a funnel though, okay. and this is, this will count for funnel cake. Okay. Um, while he's looking, uh, I still I know it's cliche, but Disney War is just one of the few I've reread. That Reality Land I think is a solid one for up until like Epcot. I think that's a good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You got a favorite book? Uh. Three Years in Wonderland by Todd James Pierce. Right. That's uh, that's the making of Disneyland, and it is 
One of my favorites. Okay, I need my funnel. Where's my funnel? Funnels are there. I have two funnels. That's too many funnels. All right, funnel time. Kevin's Christmas creme. Jack, move the uh, the the pout, the baking the flour the flour bag. Now you shouldn't whisk it as much as I did because what I did is I created a bunch of air bubbles, and that's going to make it and probably pouring it from too high. The less air bubbles, the better because then you'll have more of a smooth top, which will help the texture of the entire thing. But that is Kevin's Christmas creme. It is in a bed of water, which also should be boiling water. I'm kind of roasting my own quick method here. I'm going to just kind of get rid of those bubbles on top. I'm going to do it, give my hands a quick wash first. Again, if anybody at this point is going to, the only people eating this are the people in this room. All right. I mean, you were hand feeding us earlier, so we're already kind of in this. Like, All right, can someone set a timer for 30 minutes? 30 minutes. Which did the last one? YouTube, do your thing. You know what's another good book? Uh, Storming the Magic Kingdom is all about just the takeover attempt in 1984 that failed and brought in Michael Eisner. So it's like the whole book is just spans a couple of months. So very, and it was written yeah. in the 80s, like later in the 80s. So it's kind of fresh. It doesn't really, it does kind of leave off on the like, oh, is this Michael Eisner guy going to do a good job? Who knows, you know? Uh, but it's a really detailed breakdown of like how the company almost got taken over and broken up and stuff, so. Okay, uh, Darren, can I get your help cleaning some stuff? Yeah. Uh, what's this pan, this pan that's in the, uh, if you can clean that, I'm gonna make some handwich interiors with it, something to fill up the handwich with. Yeah. That'd be great. 2625, another anonymous donation. Donating extra as thanks for this team's dedication. Thank you. We are dedicated. We're going overtime on this. But we love these recipes. Ethan Obenrander donated 1260. Kevin, thank you for all these phenomenal documentaries and the work you're doing today for Give Kids the World. As a traffic engineer slash planner slash total nerd, in better words, I adore the Fast Pass video and the queuing analysis involved. And Rob, I miss Midway to Main Street. <laughs> He's Thanks. Missing it. Hey, never say never. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Things can always happen. Yeah, Jack, come come over here and read some out. Your mics are like really low, and I'm not 100 percent sure why, but I'll let's get you on this yours. mic. Yeah, exactly. I'll buddy up on yours. Get that. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that one yours? No, that's oh. yours. Okay. Chelsea Gamboa donated 5250. Love both Kevin and Rob's videos. The best and most interesting, heartfelt, and educational YouTube videos I've ever seen. Thank you for all that you do. Yes. Um, yes. And yes, Kevin is listening to those guys. I appreciate that. He's, I'm, I'm he's listening. listening. He's just, he's I'm listening. listening. I can hear you. He's in the zone. Eliana Durham donated 1050. Hi, Kevin and crew. Love the Defunct Land well, videos so much. Been really watching here. since 2020. I got my mom into it as well. Also love Rob's videos. Great to hear how good of a store or how good of a cause this is going to be. Hope you all can stay awake. How much do I have to donate for themed alternative and <laughs> narrated special videos to come back? <laughs> they keep asking. They keep asking. If you keep asking, they might. The no, I'm just kidding. speaking. I don't know. Well, maybe. We'll figure it out. Right now, we're just cooking. We got Rowan Henderson donated 105. Weird Thank to you. hear Mr. Defunctland's voice coming out of a human. And not a sentient roller coaster car or something. <laughs> Thanks for shouting out Silver Dollar City and Celebration City earlier. And of course, the whole excellently made documentaries and charity work and stuff. My question is what is the longest you would be willing to wait for your favorite attraction, defunct or otherwise, before balking? Balking. Before balking. Yeah. Balking. Um, Balk. You get first balk. base. First base. Um, I would say, I mean, my favorite. Probably an hour. I really have a low tolerance for weights. I, I, and in fact, I think sometimes the best rides are the ones that aren't even the best rides are the ones with the low weights. That but uh, that's also because I don't have the mind of a vacationer. So it's difficult. Um, I don't know. Probably an hour is probably my gauge. Um, I have something and I put this. Where did I put the meat that I was going to use? 
Someone says, finish the society someday, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. We don't know where that story's ending, guys. I know. You gotta live with it. You gotta live with it. You forgot was, that we recorded the whole thing? I was in, well, no, I remember we recorded the whole thing. I forgot how the story ends. It's been, it's been several years. <laughs> Mr. Alden. I remember it was good, though. Yep. Someone donated 21. Uh, thanks for entertaining me through the years. Recently showed my wife the Disney Channel documentary and got her hooked on your channel as well. Oh, that's so nice. Everyone is so kind. I can't wait to, it's peer -to -peer. to make more videos whenever I finish all these recipes. Hey, can <laughs> someone set a timer? Did I say 40 minutes? Did somebody set a timer for 40 minutes? You had us set a timer for chat. How long was it? I think, I think it, was it was 30. 30. Yeah. Okay. We got an anonymous donation. They just say, this charity land, this charity land I'm thankful for counter space. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> this is actually a lot more counter space than we would have had at any other location, so we are, we're grateful for it, too. Yeah. And even, even still, we're coming up a little bit short, but we're making it work. Yeah, the YouTube timer was for 30 minutes. Are we adding another 10 to that, or keeping it as is? He's in that cooking world now. He's He'll be with us world. in a second. No worries. Because yeah. he's taking in the info. Just he's set a timer data. for 30 minutes right from right now. From right now? What did I set? Well, we had set a timer for for 30 minutes, but that was a while back. Yeah. Just if I don't, if you don't have the creme timer, I need it at 30 minutes, please. 30 minutes. Another timer from now. Twitch, sure. Chad, do your thing. Yeah, thank God we split it up between <laughs> Twitch and YouTube. Well, what do we got cooking right now? Just the creme? Yeah. So that was it? Just the creme, and I'm, yeah. So we started that 30-minute timer, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes ago. Yeah. So should it stay 30, or are we upping it to 40? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's add 10 minutes to the it one. It should be 30 from right now. 30 from right now. We yeah. set the clock. I said 40 creme. minutes earlier. I just don't think I enunciated. What? <laughs> Nothing. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't give me a break. <laughs> He's been cooking for how many hours? <laughs> how can you not be on top of this, Kevin? I've been cooking for... How long have I been cooking for? We've been going for seven hours on the stream, so... Even if it's one under It's almost that. eight hours. Actually, yeah, we're coming up on eight hours. Yeah. How yeah. close are we to 45,000? I need to get to 50,000 in less than an hour. So, Almost an hour five. $50,000 in an hour and five. $50,000, hour and five. Get donating, please. We're at get on it, guys. 413 right now. Oh, and please remember, tell your friends. Tweet your tweets. Remember what Rocco said. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can say that. <laughs> Just remember, okay? We got uh, Mike Alborn with 21 bucks. Thanks for entertaining me Karen, through the years. Can you come over here and, and wipe that cutting board off? I just used raw meat on it. Yeah. So uh, just make sure you use dish soap and then return it to me clean, please. Recently showed. We got that hooked on there. We got that one already. That's nice. nice, nice. Uh, Matthew Wyman donated 52.50. Love to see how much it's grown and see how much has been raised. We're liking it too. Number go up and a big smiley face from everybody over here, pretty much. Wavy Gravy with uh, 1050. I think they donated earlier too. Good to see your drems of creme on stream are coming true. Random question uh, from chat, but what is your favorite Taylor Swift era, Kevin? Favorite Taylor <laughs> Swift era? <laughs> well, I was a huge Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, I know my answer, but I feel like it's derogatory because oh. I liked her initial music, <laughs> and I don't know if Taylor Swift fans what their opinions are on like. Yeah, the country vibe. She wears shorts. That's the best. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I've heard other stuff, but that's the best. So I'm making some... I'm going to use the rest of that pepper jack cheese for our corn dogs, and I'm using some of these... Uh, tenderloin tips that I got from the store because they were on sale. And then I'm going to be, I don't know if I'm going to have to broil it. 
to get that cheese to get it in the handwich. But let's see how our handwich just, oh shoot. Nope, don't look at that. Oh, actually it's kind of just a smaller handwich now. That's actually a perfect handwich. Let's see if we can get a jumbo. There's a jumbo handwich, everybody. Ooh. Whoa. There it is. Well, everyone's talking about Taylor right now. <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> Did I mess up? I like no, a, no, they're just all giving their answers. Yeah. It's, you started a conversation. I like whatever era uh, Shake It Off came out of. That was a great one. Yeah. She never misses a beat. She's lightning on her feet, guys. 1050 anonymously. Hey, I've been watching your videos since the very first episode and I've always loved your content. I'm happy that you host these charity events. Also a question, what are some of y'all's favorite movies that came out this year? Did anybody see any movies this year? I saw a ton of movies this year. Wow, well, what do you got? Uh, so I know it's recently biased, but up there, Godzilla minus one. Great, saw it twice. Nice. Um, you take Godzilla out of that movie, it's still a great movie. Yeah. That's what makes it so good. <laughs> Um, saw Bar Barbie Oppenheimer. Nice, the um, double feature and double header. I didn't. I couldn't do them both in one day. I just, yeah, no. I can't sit in a theater for that long. It's not that I didn't want to, uh, but those were good. I mean, am I? Yeah. This Dollywood cinnamon bread might have been one of the best things I've ever had. It's so good. That's That's I mean, I know yeah. how much sugar I put in it. It doesn't matter though. Do you not want the rest of this? That was yours. Oh yeah, I mean, you, well, you don't have any room in the tank. Nope. Not if we, <laughs> we got to have uh, even more stuff on deck. There's a whole witch coming up, man. Anytime you got something with a witch, you know when like nice parents talk about, oh man, ever since I had a kid, I, I was always finishing their plate, and you know it, 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 I needed to to compensate for it by you know running more or something. That's me and Jack. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Are you gonna you finish that? Sorry, bro, I can't because it's always his cooking, and it's like he loves it, so he's he's got every reason to eat it. Yeah, I, I wish I had onions. I didn't see any movies this year, but I, from what I, I have, Oppenheimer on my watch list, so I will guess that's going to be my favorite. I'll, I'll check that out one soon. The Ninja Turtles movie was surprisingly really. Oh good. yeah, that was good too. Yeah. yeah, I enjoyed that. I was like running through the list in my head of everything I've seen. Uh, Elemental was also a great movie. That's what I hear. Yeah, that it. Sounds like you did I not see it. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. It's on my list. I'm not like <laughs> avoiding it or anything. I'm Thank glad you for doing legs. it. What? Like I'm glad it like it grew yeah, legs it did. and it, like it made it. It picked up over the course of the season. All right, so what can we do time. to get this ticker to go up? Donate. Huh? Donate. We've got to get to 50,000. I believe in us. What's, it, what's our incentive? 50,000 by midnight Eastern. Remind them what they're fighting for. we got one hour to go. What are they feeling? I mean, this man, you saw him kneading that dough. He, and here I, we are, here we are needing that dough again. We need it. Please. You guys will both start making YouTube videos again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that was one of the things. How much? If we get 50K, we'll be back. And listen, I can, I can hold up my end of that. You know, I might be holding it up already. <laughs> I can't speak for Rob. He'll, put, he'll do something um, symbolic. He'll put I don't out know a, if what I put out at this point would be any good. That's the problem. Rob, you're not washed I think up. I'm rusty. We just got a demo of one of the videos earlier. If you do need a, a midway, just, just read an article. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's close <laughs> enough. Well, you can add some uh, choreographed imagery. It'll be close enough. I mean, why not? Go back to the video games. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft again. People were, people were, we had a lot of Minecraft people in here tonight, which is nice. I, I'm glad that didn't die a death anywhere. The Disney Parks Minecraft. Yeah, that's quite bigger nice. than ever, actually. Well, there you go, man. It's definitely cheaper, so, so you got to get in on it. We got a real nice long one, 2625 from Anonymous. Been watching Defunct Land for quite some time now, and I feel like the mark of a great channel and great videos is that it doesn't matter if it's a topic I'm otherwise interested in or not, but the video is so compelling and pulls me in regardless. Never ex experienced Fast Pass, knew of the Hamwich, or watched the Disney Channel in the mid-2000s, <laughs> mid but I was fascinated by those as well as countless others on the channel. It's always special. It's always a special day when. Hold on, sorry, I had a little refresh there. Da, 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 don't worry, guys. I'll be back in a second. So another chat came through. It's always a special day when there's a new Defunct Land to watch. Didn't expect to be watching this stream tonight as long as I have, but the kitchen chaos has been amusing in its own way, and even even that's what kept me suck, sucked in. Uh, keep up the good work with this stream and everything else you do. Can do. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Yeah, we're glad everyone's hanging out for so long. That was kind of the idea, you know. 
have a nice vibe, be, be with us, peeking in all night, in and out. So vibe. That's so nice. We're deep. We're, we're rolling deep now. Somebody asked me a question. With movies, we're asking you. No, oh. yeah, what'd you, you see? Mission, Mission Impossible. That's your, that's your whole thing. I know, uh, I know. Fun. I do like those movies, although the most recent one wasn't. Didn't it? Uh, it was just you know, like every movie has been, just completely riddled with production issues. Um, <laughs> so I don't even blame it on any of the people involved, but it was just shot during COVID. So, and it's a part one. Every movie coming out now is a part one. Yeah, Spider Verse. Spider-Verse. I knew Spider-Verse was going to be a part one, so that never bothered me, but that surprised a lot of people, apparently. Fast X. Crickets. <laughs> sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My movie ignorance is, is showing. We got uh, Heather Hagen Moore, uh, 10 bucks. Thank you for bringing back Charity Land. My husband, Zach, and I look forward to the work you guys do for Give Kids the World every year. I still remember watching the first video I saw of Defunct Land, Euro Disney. We love your Nick Hotel video and your new Epcot one was amazing. Thank you. That's so nice. Yeah, Everybody is so it. kind and I appreciate it. Please continue to donate as I continue to cook my last bit of meals. We're yeah, $211 we're... away from 45000 Yeah, yeah we, oh, had really? a, we, we had a nice big jump yeah. thanks to a familiar face. Daniel Becker donated $1,000. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Dan. Dan. He's, he says, miss you boys so much. This uh -huh. donation is in memory of my dad, Don Becker. RIP, Dad. He would have loved how much bread you made. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. We thanks so much, buddy. so much. I miss you. I wish you were here. Yep. We're sending a, and, a uh, virtual postcard. We and I'm sorry for your loss. If you came late, Dan's father recently passed. If you know about Charity Land, you know that Dan is an integral part of it, just as Rob is, just as Jack is. And uh, Dan's been with it since the very beginning, and he couldn't make it this year because his father passed away. And, uh, and we completely understand, but we do miss him dearly, as I've said many times tonight. His oh. presence is missed, although we do not want to be overbearing because he needs to be with family. For sure. We got John Daniel, 5250. Hey again, Kevin. I know you're busy, but I just wanted to say thank you for what you do. Watching Defunctland got me through some really tough and lonely times during the height of the pandemic. I live on the other side of the country uh, from my family, so seeing them again, let alone the, uh, the inside of Disneyland again, felt like a lifetime away. I think I watched all your episodes numerous times, and they really kept my spirits up while COVID was keeping us all down. Let's work together and give kids the world. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you so much. It may, it means so much that people find uh, happiness in the videos. That means so much. That's what I. That's why I make them. Heck yeah, man. I don't make them just because I love theme parks. Although I do, I also I make them so people can watch them. And people have been commenting things, and they're, they're engaging with them in ways that I didn't even think about, which is is a, such a blessing. And I'm glad that it's all under the context of you donating money to a great cause. It's a great transaction. Wee -oo, wee -oo, we broke 45,000. Yeah, time for an apron chain. Take it off. Take it off and put it back on. Take it off. Are we going to get to see the apron you've been This waiting? is the apron I've been wanting oh, to do. Oh, yes. The finale. Oh, boy. It's going to be a treat and a half. It's 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 a pattern of all this the This is my favorite apron ever created. <laughs> It just is the face reveal on the apron. <laughs> it's, it's, face. That would have been great. It's my face. Like, what? What? Sorry, guys. Keeping the mask on. You know how it is. Let's see it. Hold on. Isn't Something's this boiling. Up. You got to wait. All right, here we go. Don't worry. I can do this. I, I watched, watched the YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and we did have to consult YouTube today, so that is perfectly applicable. Yeah. I thought it was funny because it doesn't say YouTube video. I guess it's implied by the play button, but personally, I think it just says, don't worry, I can do this. I watched a YouTube. Yeah. No, I, I definitely think that's what it is. That is some, that's a great, you would have seen that on Facebook. Somebody's mom was killing themselves with that one, just dying laughing at that one. I can see it. it was, They're like, I go on YouTube. <laughs> it was on Facebook, and then someone commented. They said, I need this on an apron, and then just <laughs> immediately they were hit with a link. <laughs> You gotta go wait. Okay, we got an anonymous donation. This, this one's nice. I'm a KC-based teacher who uses your documentaries as teaching implements uh, when we need some fun, educational filler in between lessons. The kids love it. Oh my it. gosh! Thank you for sharing your work and being in our classroom. Thanks well, for, that's a, I've heard a lot of people watching my stuff in academic settings. It's very kind. That's wild. 
This is what happens when you cite your sources. Some good things happen. Okay. Who wants to test the sandwich? All of us. Yeah. Can I get the camera off me? And which? It's off. He's got to test it first. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay. I'm putting in some steak bits to my sandwich. Just shoving. Oh, that is not a pretty sight, is it? <laughs> no, I thought about cutting away. Well. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Up and the stream's been shut down by YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> Too much. And, all right, who's coming over? Rob? Okay, I'm first. Rob's going in. All right. So here's the sandwich with some steak bites, and then I got the pepper jack cheese that we did not use earlier as a nice little sauce here. It'll go deep inside that sandwich. That is not, that is a, a sight for, for really messed up eyes, I suppose. There you go with a little bit of dip. So there you go, there's your sandwich. Steak and cheese sandwich. Try it right now. Yep, it's gonna be hot. Yeah, I know, kind of give it a second. It's a lot of bread. I can guess what you're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. You, you actually, yeah, I guess. Good, okay, uh, you two can split this one. Okay. All right. I need something to put it on. Or oh, I get this whole one. Nice. <laughs> Problems again. <laughs> He's getting a whole. Okay, hand. there's two, and I'm going to just actually I'm going to put the steak and the cheese so you can do fondue. But also, there you go. Oh, that poured. Oh, it's on my hand. Oh boy. <laughs> He's involved now. It hurts really <laughs> bad. Oh, okay, cut away, please. We'll cut, you want technical, technical difficulties, real quick? Technical difficulties. <laughs> We're back? Okay. We're back. Rob, do you want to cut to us real quick and show this monstrosity? I want a few of this with that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have a sample What's of our, this. What's our strategy here? here this delectable meat. I'll give that a shot first before it's uh, tainted by anyone. Anyway. Cheers, Brian. Cheers. It's amazing. People think when we cut to technical difficulties, he's like cursing out <laughs> and stuff. And it's like, no, it's just a, it's been, t <laughs> it's like two seconds of silence and then he's good to go again. <laughs> I think he's cursing inwards. Okay. Now we're well, only have one thing left. A sandwich with a fork. Which um, we're cat. saying that we just fundamentally, I guess I'll take this one. We just fundamentally disrespect your Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, watch out. This. <laughs> it's almost like we're going against the entire premise of the hand. It's like, hi. Yeah. Okay, we have 50 minutes. We're at 45,000, we're at 45,426. Can we get $4,500 within 50 minutes? And also, can I get these creme brulee out of the oven, put them into the fridge long enough to get them out of the fridge and then put sugar on top of them? They're gonna be warm, they'll be fine. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging it. <sighs> we'll, be, we'll be tearing into that a little bit. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm done cooking for the most part. Yeah. Because I just have to wait for the creme to come out. Should I do the funnel cake? No. <laughs> I mean, I did everything, right? I did the handwich. I just did the handwich. I did all of the meats. Yeah. I did all of the, the mains. And I did the Pixar Fest corn dog, which I can't believe I did that. I mean, I've been cooking for a while now. How is it? Eight hours. It's pretty it's good. Delightful. Yeah, it's great. great. We got a 26, 25. Thanks for all the great work you do. But they have to ask, what's the worst theme park food you ever had? They say theirs. Has to be the sugar plum shake. For Thanks for giving this recipe. Very merry Christmas yeah, party. It tasted like a candle. The worst food you guys have had. In general? Well, I'm at, sorry, I was I guess at that. a park. Yeah. Worst theme park food you've ever had. Mm. Um, Dole Whip. Perfect. Okay, moving on. Perfect. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> just. 
taking big swings in the final yeah, hour, huh? <laughs> Burning <laughs> bridges. Uh, sorry, guys, you gotta go. I had ramen at Food and Wine that said it had pickled vegetables in it, and one, I had never had that before, but two, I'm pretty sure that just meant they poured a ton of vinegar, and so it was just vinegar ramen. It's pickled bowl. And I was paying for that for the next, like, 24 hours. It was rough, and I don't have Disney ramen <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Andrew asked how are my ears doing because they remember that they were hurting earlier. Oh, they're terrible. It's not good. They're up. Coming up to the finish line. Oops, pain. No way around. Hands are getting burnt. Ears are getting burnt. Everything. Which is great. 5250 anonymously. Bring it back. They're donating in honor of Shape Land. Nice. Hey. My favorite theme park. My favorite theme park. All right, Chris uh, Habermel out also says uh, 2625 Garfield knows our sins, people. Donate! Exclamation <laughs> point. So we will keep that going. Chicago Pizza Guy donated 5250. Yo, talk about your options on Chicago style pizza, please. Sauce on top. Rules. My opinions. Yo, yeah. Opinions. <laughs> what are the this options? What I've got for you. Well, let me get the cheese on the bottom. I don't like them. I'm going to I'm going to ruffle some feathers. Deep dish? You don't like it? I don't like them. You don't like it as pizza or you just don't like it in general? I don't like it. Wow. Tomato soup and a bread. They're just not my favorite. I guess I guess they were described as me incorrectly. I was ex I'm a huge New York pizza person. And hey, I'm from the Midwest, so I, I acknowledge Chicago's good at many things. But baseball usually and pizza, they're Not lacking. Good. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down for a second. I like Chicago and I love Chicago the city. I just don't like the pizza. No, Can you I, see I, me I by the way? <laughs> I like Chicago and I like Chicago pizza. Granted, I wouldn't pick it over New York pizza, but I'm biased. But yeah, I thought it was good. Oh, I haven't sat it's down in a while. It's just a different meal. You can't go, like, it's not like, oh, I'm going to have, a, I'm going to go grab a slice. You can't do that with Chicago pizza. Yeah. No, it's more of like a. It's a meal. You sit down and you. Yeah, it's a tavern type thing. Out and that's fine. It's good. I mean, I'm pretty sure pizza, pizza. I'm pretty sure pizza. I'm pretty sure pizza. Excuse me? Pizza. Peach, pizza. Pizza. Peachy a hut. Pizza. I'm pretty sure Pizza Hut started in Wichita. Kansas. So you're welcome. Feels like Kansas quality. <laughs> he did. Yeah, I don't, oh, I'm going to get you when I regain feeling in my legs. <laughs> Someone donated 26, 25 anonymously. Happy to support a great cause and help get you 50K, Kevin. Thanks for all the joy. That's so nice. Everyone is so nice. I feel like I just say that over and over again, but everybody's been so kind. And I'm not sarcastic. I just have this voice. Well, don't worry, we got a hard question. Another 2625 from another anonymous. Can you release the FastPass simulation source code, please? We actually already have. Oh. Look, up, look up Defunct Lane GitHub on Google. All right, Defunct Lane GitHub. You can find that FastPass simulation for anybody who might need it. Kevin Trutherer. Oh, man, we got your... Uh -oh. We got oh, your, they got my your number. Your antithesis is in here right now with 1155. <laughs> my friend and I are doing the Disneyland Run Disney in January, but can't decide on a good duo costume to wear. Parks or not? Any suggestions? Ooh. Duo costume. Duo costume. What is it? We got we got two people who are doing a, uh, a Run Disney in Disneyland in January, but they can't decide on a good duo costume for the two of them. What do you think? Dreamfinder and Figment. Yeah, yes, classic buddy buddy comedy situation. You ready to go? I'm going to say Eisner and Wells. <laughs> and I, I've wanted to see this for years at the Halloween parties or at runs. At As a meet and greet? Yeah. That's <laughs> worth waiting. That's be a great. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> but I haven't worthy. seen it. So uh -oh. if you could do it, here's a do it, do it for the run, <laughs> but then just do suit shorts. Yeah. Dress shorts. Well, Dick Nunes style. I mean, you're ready to go. You have those 70s We pants have 45 suit. minutes. Yeah. We have to get another 40, no, another $1,500 to get to 50. I get to no, donate. No, I'll, I'll read it. At all. Huh? Another $5,000. <laughs> That's not the same as $1,500. What did I say? $1,500. I said $15,000. That's also wrong. And I said 15 million. That's, that's a lot more. <laughs> hey, you know what? Get the camera on me. It is on Get, you. Okay. Check this out. 
<laughs> the no. dungeon. He's going in. Oh no! Please donate because he's he's losing it. <laughs> now we're we're suggesting Green Finder. Did it look like an elevator? Well, no. well, well like, yes. <laughs> it looked like stairs. Really, <laughs> that's what you were going for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anonymous, 105. Oh, I'm watching it back on the stream. It doesn't look like that at all. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty convincing. It looks like you tripped down the fourth stair. From an impromptu stair Oh, like walk. you can see me scoot over. Yeah. Oh, and it, you can see me, like, stand up. All right, do it again. <laughs> Try it. Take yep. two. We're, gonna keep We're not doing, doing that again. Clapperboard. <laughs> 105 anonymously. Thank you for spreading the news of this good work. Happy to be a part of it. Heck yeah. Need a big part with that. 105. We love it. Matthew Wyman donated 7875. Here's here's another to try to get it closer to 50k. Thanks. We are working That's towards That's so it. nice. I've always loved Charity Land. A few years back I got a personalized copy of Guide to the Magic Kingdom. Hey! It's one of my favorite theme park related merch. That's awesome. I remember writing that guide. I remember <laughs> it took me forever. We did it. Oh, Roy Goblet with 21 bucks. I don't know what it I don't know what a Disney is, but I really like the Chef Ninja guy. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Jones, 1050, watch through my cancer journey. Oh, watch through her cancer journey. And your passion is inspiring. Keep on keeping on. Nice. Shout out, Emily Jones. Can you get the camera on me? It's on. Off me. Off you? Yeah, because I, I made this and I want to eat it. Go for it. <laughs> He's going to try the donut. How is it? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it a lot? Best donut you've had all day. I love it. That was crazy. I've never seen somebody eat a donut with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, that was very weird. He spatch a little whole thing into his mouth. But he made it, so I feel like he's allowed to eat it however he wants. Yeah. That's his one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isabel Tobata with 2625. Thank you for many hours of entertainment, both today and through the years. Uh, and oh. for bringing light to a great cause, for sure. Also... As an amateur baking enthusiast, I would absolutely buy a Need for Speed, Need of course, as in bread t-shirt. My question is, what are y'all's favorite documentaries and or video essays? Ooh. Uh, we had a H Bomber guy in here earlier. I liked that one recently. That was nice. Yeah. That was good. You got a little under like five that minutes one. left on the timer. Okay, well that's not right. Need for no, Speed. No, that's right. You know, Robo, I mean, <laughs> Huh? That was right. No, no, it's not right according to the food. What? We consulted the food and they. You said oh, five okay. minutes. I know that that's correct as far as the timer goes. But it's not as. It's but my, not there, but right? Kevin's Christmas creme disagrees. Okay. So we need to update the timer. I'm trying to think of all the documentaries I've watched. I'm trying to think of anything that rhymes with creme. Problem. It's a problem that my <laughs> creme is not done. After we consume this creme on the stream with a friend, we're going to head to sleep and get into REM. Thank REM. You. Thank you very much. Well, you got to switch it. It's REM. Um, okay, I, no, I, H Bomber Guy's new video is good. It's, it's great. I mean, of course it's great. But I'm such a fan, and this is something that I don't necessarily love, so I, I hope he doesn't get mad at me saying this. I really like Roblox Oof. I really yeah, like that video. I mean, good. both are great, but I really like Roblox Oof. Yeah. It's not the one's better. It's just the one that I like more. Yeah. Um, because I just, I mean, I like both. I, I don't Was wanna... that your first uh, introduction to Tommy Tellerico? Yes. I'm sure you knew. <laughs> oh, I was following. I was following the Amico for ages. But I, I, I like, uh, no, both are great. I don't want to sound like one's better in quality because the new one took so much effort and work. But I do like Roblox Oof a lot. Um I just watched that one more because it's been around more. Um, also, Fell in love with it. I'm trying to think of other creators. I mean, Jenny's Evermore video. I was about to say, yep. Um, but all of Jenny's videos also. Um, oh, Leo Vader. Oh, let me, let me shout out some people sure. that, that you haven't heard of. Leo Vader's videos are some of my favorite YouTube videos of all time. Leo is is doing stuff that that makes me so proud of YouTube because Excited it's so it's so exciting. Yeah. Go check out Leo Vader's videos. It, it, they're they're so good. Um Ro Ramden, um CJ the X. 
I love CJ's video. CJ, CJ's the best. Um, I'm a fan of no clip podcast, uh, podcast documentaries. Oh yeah, you're a video yeah. game fan. I remember right. a lot of good video game docs. Yeah, yeah. Or years ago, I saw the one for Fallout seventy six. Back when you could still be excited about that. I'm wondering if there's one for Starfield. We hit forty six thousand. Forty six thousand seven dollars. We can do it. Nice. All right, we still got some more donations. Every NPC donated fifteen seventy five. Drems of creme for frems on strem. Yes, perfect. <laughs> All the NPCs said that a choir of them, a sea of them, yelled that at us. Oh, uh, we had an anonymous donation. Love your videos. You're one of the best video essayists online. My Thank family's you. favorite meal is Tonga toast from the Polynesian. We have the recipe from the chef. They have the recipe from the chef. What is everyone's favorite non-Disney restaurant in Florida? Ooh. Gonna, CC's Pizza. Yeah, it's going to be so hard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> CC's. Chain. You know what that Dollywood bread reminds me of? CC cinnamon rolls. Oh, no. Just a little bit. I mean, Why? Because CC cinnamon rolls are better? No. No, do you like CC cinnamon rolls? Are you kidding me? No. Get out of the house that I'm renting. <laughs> Go to the dungeon. Go to the dungeon. Go to the literal dungeon that's in this house. You've earned it. Go to the actual dungeon for not liking CC cinnamon rolls. I missed the house tour. I didn't see what there was. Let me think, think of good restaurants in Orlando. Um, I don't know. It's not cheating if they're at Disney Springs. Oh, we love the Polite Pig. We love <laughs> Deluxe Burger. <laughs> Domu, that's what it was. Went there for my anniversary this year. Great ramen spot. Ooh. Nice. Yes. If is you're like, if you're okay with splurging on sushi, a loom is good at the JW Marriott, but it's uh, it's pricey. So it's it's a definitely a vacation hotel. T- I mean, if any of those restaurants that are in the hotels are always going to have a surcharge, but gotta pay to play, guys. But you already know that. Evan Cody donated 21 bucks. Thank you so much for all the phenomenal content you've been creating over the years. I've been giving every charity land, and I wasn't about to miss this year. I went to Funkland a few years after my mom passed away and watched everything that was out at the time, and it brought me so much joy. My mom introduced me to theme parks, and watching this channel helps me feel a connection to her, even after all these years. Thank you for all you do. Thanks. Nice. That's really nice. Uh, Evan that's, Cody. That's really nice. sweet. I'm so happy about that. that yeah, we, we've so been happy. getting a lot of that sentiment tonight, and it's that's really kind. It does mean a lot to everybody, so we're, we're loving it. And I really don't know how to respond to stuff like that because it just, you know, it's such a one way. Other than we're uh, just gonna keep, me, like, gonna keep I, it up. Other than I, I'm going to make more. I, yeah. I guess that's the the the. Because I wish I could just, you know, to to like send compliments back, but it it just feels so weird that people people like the stuff so much. But I guess that's that's a good thing. So. It, mean, it means a lot. That's what I'm saying. Is that it means a lot, and I wish I could express that in more words than thank you, and I appreciate it. I wish I had uh, more vocabulary than I do. Yeah. But, I, but I do. I do. I thank you, and I do appreciate it, and I'm so glad you like it, and I will be making many more, hopefully. I know you said it was wrong, but everyone's beeping the timer, so should we yes, add to the I've, timer? Yes, I'm checking. You don't need to. You can give up on the timer. I have my internal. <laughs> All right. He's don't, got you, it. Don't, don't, oh, oh. You gonna burn yourself? You gonna burn yourself? Yes, I burn myself. Are you happy? Are you happy that I burn myself? Do we, need, do we need to go to technical difficulty? No, it's fine. Okay. He was ready. It was just a burn. little bit because I heard... It was weird because have you seen that Bill Nye... Um, that Bill Nye uh, thing of the... So there's like this Bill Nye... Th- Ride? It happened. No. It's gone. I got <laughs> no. some bad news for you. Man. Bill Nye. So Bill Nye has a... Has a video, has, a, has one of his Bill Nye the Science Guy episodes. There's like a thing where it was it like it rep- it illustrates somebody putting their hand on the stove, and then like the brain not picking it up because like it needs to go yeah. to the brain, and it illustrates that by a bus driving, Interesting. or like a car. It's like we got to get to the brain. Does anybody remember this? Anyways, that was because you started saying you're gonna burn yourself, you're gonna burn it yourself. You got there faster than my brain did. So I saved you. No, I still burn myself, uh. but <laughs> you you you, you uh, diminish the severity. Yeah, a lot of Bill Nye has lost media now, guys. Unfortunately, it's hard to get. So is it really? Sometimes, yeah. It's just a little. It's like hit or miss. It's one of those things where you know everything's got to go on the dark web. Yeah, copyrights it'll up in the air. It'll be okay. on and off YouTube. All forty-four, forty-six thousand dollars. We're over forty-six thousand dollars. We need four more thousand dollars. We only have 
33 minutes to do it, and my Christmas creme is taking longer than I anticipated. Yeah, that was a lot all at once. Three, <laughs> 3,800. Ten. I fear, I fear that the egg yolks weren't big enough and that I will ruin Kevin's Christmas creme on Christmas slash December 15th. Dear me, well, we're saving it. I that. hate the sounds of a house I'm not familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What was it? I'm, I've been here for, we, we, got, we got here for like four yesterday. For a week. <laughs> we got here yesterday. <laughs> and ever since I've been here, there's been noises. Unfamiliar noises. Because the my oven doesn't sound like that. Right. Yeah, it's like being in the shower. You're doing all your like automated habits and just all of a sudden there's stuff that's not there anymore. And you're just like, oh. We're settling in. This is like to the max with the kitchen. You got all your kitchen moves. You want to be busting out. You just can't. Kimberly Hosty donated 26 25 My cousin passed away too soon. Life is too short. I appreciate what you're doing, and I'm a longtime fan of your lovely work. Thank you for bringing so much joy to many. Uh, P.S. You're my favorite documentarian. Full stop. Your research, yeah. your research for the Disney Channel theme was phenomenal, and the build to the to the reveal was beautiful. You have a wonderful knack for this. Thank you. That's very kind. Thanks, Kimberly. I, I love hearing specific comments about stuff like pacing. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Uh, Esther Carly donated 105. I want to thank y'all for bringing back Charity Land this year. Have very much enjoyed uh, enjoyed what I could watch today. My spouse and I love your videos, Kevin, and your new Epcot piece was a masterpiece, and I've had to choo choo chugga wugga big red car stuck <laughs> in my head ever since the Wiggles ride video. Two more things to say. One, I know how you're tired of hearing about how much people love the Fast Pass video. But no, I I'm not. I appreciate it. I'm not tired of I'm not <laughs> rejecting compliments. I just don't want to seem like eager for them, but I appreciate it. They'll take them. They got to share that... Um, who, that their non theme park friend came across it, not knowing they were a long term fan, uh, the person who donated, uh, thought he was sharing something new with me and that I would love. Speaks to your success that you're reaching people across the internet who are not in theme parks at all. Uh, but really appreciate all the analysis you did. And number two, they say, I can humble brag I've gotten to ride both the original Journey into Imagination as a kid as well as Ride Expedition Everest with the fully functional. Oh, Yeti. You, the, so they did our nice. thing from early. They did both. See, we, they so said, I don't need to. <laughs> They don't need to go back. Definitely agree with the folks that would say they'd rather ride Imagination. They'll always miss that ride. Nice. You didn't fish your sandwich. <laughs> it's just bread now. There's I got all the meat. Yeah. You got all the goodies. What part of... Do you want some what do you, th what, what do you think a sandwich is? Oh, because you're doing this to him. You've had plenty of time to finish that. Do you want me to get you a Joey Chestnut Big Coke with water in it? <laughs> <Dip> it <is. laughs> you like yeah, if you could load on like a piece of meat or something, that's just all bread. Yeah, yeah. stuff him, stuff that up for him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got some spare meat. Right, don't let him take it all. <laughs> get that meat away from that man. I need protein because I am Simpsons Donut Red Bull. Tom Hyman donated fifty two fifty. Thanks for all the fantastic videos and for your fantastic efforts toward a great cause. The Fast Pass documentary plot twist is an all time great moment in cinema. When will Shape Land get its second gate? They're uh, they're working on it. They're taking down the parking lot for that one. Fifteen seventy five. It was yeah. It was <laughs> donated anonymously. Uh, they loved their you love your video on Garfield's Nightmare. I had only been on it once when I was really little and never saw anyone talk about it. It was so insane to see it again. Love what you're doing here. Heart emoji. 1050 donated anonymously. Been watching since 3 p.m. while I apply to grad school. Nice. Hope, hope we get in there. Good luck. Thanks for the fantastic stream and videos and supporting great cause. Nice. Uh, another 2625 from another anonymous. Appreciate all you're doing. Long time fan of your videos. And it's awesome to see you using the platform to help others. It's just what we do, guys. Kimberly Jones. We attending. need more money. Please keep it coming. We're, we're getting, we're incrementing. We're getting. And more. also, shout out to Jack for reading more than I think he's ever read in his life. <laughs> well, no, I, that, that sounded like an insult. That sounded like an insult. No, no, no. Listen, I'm a pro now. It's like before, you know, you get in your head, you're like, I can't read these scripts. I mean, I can't believe I'm reading all this stuff. Someone else is writing this for me. This is nuts. Okay, Kimberly Jones, 1050. You guys are doing great. Any fans of Survivor? Anybody watch Survivor? <laughs> Any naked and afraid fans? I watched Let me read it. Let me read when it came out. 
Jenna Craig donated ten fifty. Can Kevin please do the stare thing again? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't. I read that wrong. Jen, Jen, Jen and Craig. Jen and Kirk. Jen and Kirk. Sorry. Okay. I tried it once and I messed it up. Okay. Check this out. Can I get the cameras on me? Cameras on you. Okay. So here comes a big stunt, guys. Get ready. Check this out. All right. You need something? You put it what? You need something? Yeah, can you get me something from the basement real quick? We get the uh, toilet paper down there? Sure. Oh, stairs and like walking <laughs> desks. <I'm> just... <laughs> oh, no. Kevin fell down the fell stairs. The oh my down. gosh, we gotta go help him. Yeah, it was a two story floor. There's so many nails sticking out of those stairs. Oh. oh, he's in trouble. It was so unfinished. I thought he meant stare like, like look at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay many... there? What? You okay down there? Oh, you can see. No. <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna do the elevator thing, but it doesn't work if you can see me. You can definitely see. Okay. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm gonna <laughs> well, no, hold on. I can't see you at all. Hold on. You're good now. I am. I am a tall boy. You're, you're good. Can't see a thing. Okay. You can't. Okay. Oh shoot. Ah. Did that look like I was going up like in an elevator? Oh yeah, yeah, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, man. <laughs> A dolly was involved in that. <laughs> oh, we got we got a real good question for you, Kevin. Ten fifty donated anonymously. Kevin, if you could experience one Epcot Pavilion as it was in opening day, nineteen eighty two, which are you choosing, Future World or World Showcase? We're going back opening day. Sorry, can you ask that again? We got uh, someone asking uh, if we can if we can go back to any experience, any Epcot Pavilion as it was on opening day in 1982. Which one are we choosing? Any place in the park? 82. Um, yeah, this was a trick question almost. World of, it was World, world of Motion. Are day. you kidding me? <laughs> I'm finished, sorry. I know there are a few where it's like, a, uh, yes, World of Motion. Did you not see a little wheel spinning? I, <laughs> it stopped, okay? I wasn't thinking it was years later. I wasn't sure if it was one of those where it's like, well, technically, two days If later, I had to go back to 1982, me. October 1st, what am I riding? I guess it Spaceship Earth. Yeah, probably. Well, you wouldn't have a choice. How you get in the park? I would give up World of Motion to go read... No, to go watch old, to go ride old Spaceship Earth. Now, you might, we might get away with that because, again, that's the entrance to the park, not exactly a pavilion per se. So you might get an extra one on top of that. How much time do we have left? Uh, 25 minutes. Okay, can, okay, so if we, we need to get, we need to get to 50,000. We can do this. I, first off, I just want to say, I texted Stephen from Give Kids the World, who... He texted me a picture of me doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so Stephen, who was on the fundraising team for years at Give Kids the World, recently left to go to a different position at another company. Um, I keep saying, as if that Give Kids the World is a nonprofit. He left the nonprofit. And, but Stephen was wonderful and got me in contact. Darren, who's wonderful. Um, but I texted Stephen when I was planning this. I said, I hope we can break 20,000. So this is already exceeding my expectations. Yeah. And I'm so grateful, and I know this is going to help people. That said, now that I'm this close to 50, I'm greedy. <laughs> On behalf of a good cause. Oh, yeah. I've completely let go of my own self-doubt, and now I'm saying, if we don't get 50, I will be disappointed. Even though that's over double what I thought we would get. So now you're saying Rocco was right about everything. Rocco was right. We're in agreement. Well, people are still donating. We got 2625, another anonymous. Thank you to the whole group for organizing another amazing charity land for such a worthy cause. Thank you. As we can't help it. We can't resist. Brendan <laughs> Company donated 1050. Been checking in every couple hours, and it's been hilarious to watch the chaos evolve. Love the channel. Can't wait for a video on the Galactic Star Cruiser. People like the, uh, <laughs> that I still have my Duncan Cuff. <laughs> I mean, this is a staple of him, actually. Does it? Like, yeah. Does if, it if he's always seen with that. Does it still taste cup. like coffee? Huh? No, it's unfortunately, all that's all point. gone. Oh. It's just, it tastes like the interior of the plastic. This is all not supposed to be used more than once. That adds to it, man. It's like cast iron. You know, he's over time, more minerals it's accrue. all microplastic in his body now. <laughs> this guy's 99% microplastic, but it works. All right, we got... Uh, Kevin's Christmas creme turned out... Great. Nice. Nice. 
And the oh, the fun part. I forgot. The brulee. The brulee. Where's my torch? Did you it's try? A, to it might be at the top of the uh, pantry, but didn't get. Did moved? you try to take my torch because you didn't trust me with it? Not after. Not after you got Ready? star power, dude. Get it right up to the lens. Yeah. Good thing you're in all black. We can see that flame if you hold it against you. Well, not against you. you <laughs> uh, yeah, against right to the you. eye, uh, facing. <laughs> Christian Williams with 1050. Hi, Kevin. Love your videos, and I'm so happy I got to be part of this today for the first time. Nice. Yeah. I had to leave early, so I'm sorry if you answered this already. What are all your favorite and least favorite attractions? I think we did. We might have done favorite already, so we could go with least favorite. My least favorite attraction? I feel like my least favorite attraction can't be an attraction that's actually bad, that like everybody knows is bad. Yeah. You know, it can't, be, it can't be something that... So you need a hot, you're just looking for a hot take? Is that No, it? it's not that I'm looking for a hot take. It just doesn't make sense for me to, I'm trying to figure out what camera's on. <laughs> we are on, we're on camera two. Oh, was I looking right into camera two? <laughs> kind, yeah. kind of, A little yeah. bit. <laughs> kind of. Um, that was weird because the other one has a red light. That red light's out. Weird. So wait, if I switch to one, you see that? Yeah, light? every time you switch to one, I can tell because there's a red light. Interesting. Oh, and speaking of which. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and how about a little bit you, of... You need to do the heart. You got to do the heart. There oh, we go. Oh, yes. Nice. What is the other one? Is this like disco? It was, uh, it was two thumbs up. It was the heart. Is one thumbs there's up a, something? The peace sign one, right? Oh, yeah, peace sign. P sign is the balloons, I believe. Yep. There you there go. Are the balloons. Wow. So how did we accidentally do the balloons at some point? Who did the P sign? He up? probably needed. He's like, can I get two <laughs> eggs over here, stat? And the next thing you know, it's happy birthday. Oh my gosh. John Griffin said, with twenty one bucks, my first job was CC's. Those cinnamon rolls are easy to make. Dough butter and cinnamon powder. All right. Uh, for real, love your videos, all of them. Even the ones I know nothing about, like the Wiggles. However, the Epcot video is next level. Thank you, and keep it up. All right, I will make him keep it up. Uh, Lucas Percy with a big one, $113.40. Love you guys. Love the stream. Watch a lot of Defunct Land when I'm dealing with insomnia, and I adore the effort that goes into these videos. Nice. Well, that's also a good compliment. The videos aren't putting anybody to sleep or anything, so that's nice. Uh, Parker Bomar donated twenty six twenty five. Rob, your videos got me through college. Watch them every day during lunch. Hope to see you upload again. Oh, Ke Kevin, keep dropping masterpieces. I have forced the Fast Fest video on all my friends. P.S. The Epcot Symphonic was perfection. Thank you. Thank That's you, Parker. So kind. I am so tired. Um, how close are we to fifty thousand? Are we still still in broken? How, how much time, time do we have? Almost the forty seven twenty minutes left. We're inching. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. We can do it. Yep. Please get us to 50,000, please. If we get to 50, he's cooking six more meals. Six more meals. <laughs> six more hours. 2625 anonymously. Really liked your Disney Channel theme episode. Just want to let you know I've always considered your episodes as a documentary. Not the cow. Oh, never mind. And don't be down on yourself if others make you think like you're quote unquote just a YouTuber. Huh. I appreciate that. No, I don't. I don't mind the. I, I don't mind the label YouTuber. I am a YouTuber. That's fine. And I and I think the and I appreciate the sentiment. I think the, the documentary was more about the the internal struggle. Although I don't really struggle with it that much because I, I think they're both. I do. I also like being a YouTuber. I mean, it's. I'm very. I think this platform, when it's at its best, it's really great. So, I appreciate it though. Yeah. Drew B with uh, 21 bucks. I uh, found you through the fetch video and subscribed ever since. Thanks for the great content. Don't trip on the stairs. Well, too late for that one, unfortunately. Took a we, full header. We ticked over. We're at $47,166. Let's go. Less than 3,000 to go to 50. We could do it. We're getting Okay, 3,000. Less than. Okay, Less 47K. Than Good job. Good job, everybody. Everybody's being so nice. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell okay, let me friends. give a quick pitch. Quick pitch. Wake quick your friends pitch. up. Let's do it. Wake them up. What? 
Yeah, do it. Okay. <laughs> We're all, if you've just joined us, this is way too late uh, because we've already <laughs> cooked pretty much everything. <laughs> but you can watch the chat. You can watch the replay. All I want to say is, uh, I want to say a lot of stuff, but what I want to say before we end, because we're going to try to end in 18 minutes, and we need to get past $50,000 in 18 minutes. This is all for Give Kids the World Village. If you don't know, and I'm going to give you a quick pitch, because anybody that's been with us has heard it already, but Give Kids the World Village is a wonderful organization. They facilitate multiple Make-A-Wish organizations. You do multiple, it's not just Make-A-Wish, right? Yeah, we work with 250 different wish granting organizations. Okay, wow. So they work with over 250 Make different. Make-A-Wish is just the big one. Yeah. Make-A-Wish is the one that you know, but they, there's multiple wish or granting organizations. When a child is facing a life-threatening illness, they often get a wish, and that wish is very often to go to the attractions here in Orlando that we take for granted and that we get to vacation to or visit under normal circumstances, and some of these kids are wishing for them under circumstances uh, where they're facing life-threatening illness, disability. Um, it is, is it, it was life-altering, I used to say life-altering, but Steven said it's life-threatening. Yeah, life-threatening, critically ill. Critically ill? Yeah. Okay. And those children get the, the opportunity, and is it a week that they come? Roughly or a week. Is it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it, you, you can, you can, I'm, I'm, Failing so hard to no, articulate. You're doing amazing. You're doing wonderful. Okay, I just want to get all the points right. And it's, it's around a week. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, but if you don't know, Give Kids the World, one of the coolest things they do is it's not just about visiting the parks. They have attractions on site. They have mini golf. They have all sorts of different stuff on site. They have a food hall. And, and, they get, and all the a lot of the houses there are themed. And, and it's, it's a really cool place for the kids to stay and hang out. And then every day of the week is a different holiday. And so the kids get to not only go to Walt Disney World, you know, go to Universal Studios, wherever they want to go in Orlando, they also get to celebrate certain events that they might otherwise miss out on because of their illness or, you know, because uh, of timing, unfortunately. And so you, what is Monday? Uh, so Monday's Halloween. Monday's so, always Halloween. Yeah, so kids can trick or treat every single Monday night. Uh, we give out costumes to the Wish families. Um, you want me to just go through all the days? What's Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday is our talent show. Uh, so okay. that's with our, uh, our star fairy in a, in a big theater um, where kids show all sorts of uh, definition of the word talent. <laughs> uh, I've seen funny things from uh, like a rock, paper, scissors competition as a talent all the way up into uh, children playing like instruments really well and, yeah. um, and really, really kicking butt at them. Uh, Wednesday is the birthday party, so we celebrate uh, Mayor Clayton's surprise birthday. Uh, SeaWorld sends over Cookie Monster to hang out with the families. Uh, it's a big, huge uh, party. Uh, Thursday is Winter Wonderland, where kids can meet and greet with Santa. They get a toy donated by Hasbro. Um, there's cookie decorating and all sorts of fun winter activities. Uh, Friday is a Pirate and Princess party. And then over the weekend, we do a, a science party, and then just sort of like a, a pool bash. That's so awesome. All sorts of stuff every single day of the week. And did the you, mention, you mentioned Christmas? Yeah, that was Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Sorry, I was, I was multitasking. But that's, and I think that's such a creative and cool way. And also just, yeah, it's a great organization. Everyone I've ever met there is just the, the nicest, most caring person. And uh, that's what we're doing here. That's what we've been doing. I have been cooking for nearly nine hours. Yep. Yeah. And just a few logistical aspects of donating. So, because I've seen people ask, when you donate, you're donating directly to the organization. We're, oh, yeah. We're not touching any of it. So you can either go to charityland.gives yeah. or defunctland.com slash charityland. And both of those links are just redirects to Give Kids the World's own site. You enter your information. You donate. It goes straight to them. We never have access to those funds. We never can touch those funds. Not that we ever would do anything nefarious. But we don't even have the chance because it goes straight to them. That's how we've always done Charity Land. That's how we will always do Charity Land. Even in years where we've had it on our site, where you could like donate via the plug-in, that information, we've still worked with Give Kids the World to go directly to their bank. Um, so yeah, so when you input your information, it goes straight. Like that the payment is immediately with Give Kids the World. Um, and so I just, if they're curious about that, that's basically how it is. And you'll notice when you go, when you go to charityland.gives, It'll redirect you to GiveKidsTheWorld.org. Right. And the other figure, and uh, you uh, you know the exact number, but I feel like this is really important with any sort of uh, charitable organization, is how, how, how much of every dollar goes towards the mission? Uh, it's 92 cents. Which that's is, a big deal. Yeah, that's yeah. extremely rare. That is yeah. wild. Yeah. That is so much. I, um, 
friends will talk to me about donating to different organizations. You know, just like being in the nonprofit world, like you just know how the space is. Um, and usually above 75 cents, you're like, yeah, I'm getting like value for my dollar. And so being in the, the low to mid 90s is, um, is not common for an organization of our size that has uh, such an impact that we have. We have Wish families from 77 different countries around the world. Um, and so having such a, a large reach while being able to keep the overhead so low is um, is not common. Yeah. I also want to mention we are almost at forty eight thousand. We're at forty seven nine. So we're we're forty seven nine. We're so close. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna get uh, two fifty thousand by midnight because that's when we're gonna end the stream. And at midnight, Dude. if we hit fifty thousand, I'm gonna get my Christmas creme and I'm gonna torch it and we're all gonna try it <laughs> and we're all gonna gather around here. And we'll end the stream that way. Well, hopefully, before we get there, I'm going to try and blow oh, through some of these. Up. All these oh yeah, we got. Oh, we got some. So we kept asking for them. Yeah, we got. I'll try and go a little bit quick, but we do love all these, even if some of the uh, sentiment has kind of been echoed. We're, we're hearing it all. Uh, we got two hundred and ten dollars donated anonymously for one of the best online documentarians we're at out there. Forty eight six ninety. Whoa, that was a big nice jump. jump. Oh, nice jump. Nice huge jump. Okay, comments. go ahead. You're Thanks for all you do. Away. Alyssa Clark, 5250. Thank you all for providing a space for those of us who grew up obsessed with theme park f features on travel channels. Very relatable. In all seriousness, um, amazing work as always. You're truly an inspiration to creators of all kind with all your unique, unique takes on the topics you cover as well as your use of the medium. Nice. Do you want to trade off on a few? Rest your voice. I can... Sure, if you want to trade off. Okay. Yeah, to go for it. There's a lot here. Uh, Andrew No uh, donated $105 and says, on behalf of myself and the tech crew, thank you to everybody thank who has you donated so much. thus far. Yeah. Charity Land is always the best time of year. Also, thank you, Kevin, for making this one shorter. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, <laughs> everybody. Oh, that's the tech crew. I was like, yep. why would someone say that? Oh, now I know. Uh, Alexandra Houlihan donated twenty six twenty five and says... Your content means the world to me as someone who has gifted Disney stock at birth and has been to Disney We're World. At oh yeah, we're so close. Okay, Less than we $1, can $1, do it. Six hundred fifty away. Six fifty away. Uh, your content means the world to me as someone who has gifted stock at birth and has been to Disney more times than I can count. I'll never forget the first days I found your channel and how excited I was to find somebody who puts the time and effort in, in storytelling like you do. Disney Channel theme is the best documentary of all time. Your videos got me through my husband's deployment, and now we enjoy them together. Thanks well, for the incredible really nice. nostalgia Thank you so much. and excitement about the future. Incredible stream for an incredible cause. Keep up the amazing work, and know that every single detail you put into things is always highly anticipated and appreciated. Hackerman Joe uh, writes in, uh, donated uh, 5250 and says, Congrats on another fantastic year at Charity Land. These streams are something I look forward to every year, and I'm always incredibly proud of the work everyone puts in. Sorry we didn't make you eat more Motsies. Now I have to ask. <laughs> I've, how, I've eaten plenty. How about another joke, Kevin? <laughs> That's a great meme. Uh, Travis Nova donated 26.25 and says, Hey, Kevin, longtime fan slash viewer of your work. As a film composer myself, your work on the latest Epcot vid was magnificent. How smooth was the process working with Museversal? I want to implement them in my next film. Cheers. Museversal was great. Highly recommend them. It's a, it's a great organization, and they do great work, and I've, I worked very closely with them. We are at, we're so close. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, just hit 50,000. We did? We did? Yeah. Blasting through. Hey, I know what that's. 292. <laughs> We know. <laughs> hold, hold on. Oh, yeah. Um, the two pieces was confetti. Bubbles. Thumbs oh, yeah. up. Okay. okay. Well, what? how do I do the... <laughs> Fireworks? Fireworks is one thumbs up, I think. <laughs> but for seriously, we did it. We have 50,000. We 50, did it. I can subscribe. All right. We have so many more to read through here. <laughs> I know. We have a lot to read through. Um, let's... Let's read through all the ones, and then I will do, we'll top off the creme. Let's do it. Still donate if you want to donate, because yeah. I think we're going to go over. But we did it. I want to say, before, I'm going to give you a big thank you and a big, a big real thank you. But because we hit that goal, and I was really pushing for that goal, it means so much. I really did think we wouldn't get to 20000 this year, um, just because of with everything going on and, 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 uh, and how. But, but everyone's generosity blows me away. And so it's so kind. You're all so kind. Uh, let, let's get through some of these, and I'm going to get the Christmas sure. creme ready. Let's do it. 
1296 was donated anonymously. Uh, Johnny Tamaro, the interviews on the Defunct Land podcast ruled. Love seeing your guest appearances on other podcasts lately, too. Defunct Land never disappoints. Defunct Land forever. XOXO. They, who, who was that? Uh, Johnny Tamaro? Tamaro? Uh, yeah. I, Tamaro. I know Johnny. Uh, Monica Lopez donated 5250. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the laughs tonight. Maybe next year you can get the tiny chef to join you. <laughs> uh, what a duo that would be. He's up there right now. He's in the hat. <laughs> Uh, Keep going. Me, yeah. how, how far? How close are we to being? I didn't know if we wanted to start switching off. Here, I can. Let me get through them. I can do them. Uh, I can get through. Okay. Not that you're not good at it. I can just For do the them man fast. Himself. Jason Fly donated twenty six twenty five. Donating one more time to try and hit fifty k. Thanks again for all the amazing videos and for this wonderfully entertaining stream. Meg Adams donated two hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents. Love the channel and love the cause. My sister and I never miss a video of yours and geek out whenever a new one drops. Uh, hope everyone has a fantastic holiday season. All right. Is it, are we Jill Friedman? Yep. Jill Friedman donated 2625. Happy holidays. Thank you so much for your videos. I'm always excited when I get to introduce someone to your work. You put so much love into each video and it shows. Thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ben Martin said, just got caught up with the Wiggles lore from my friend who have kids. Who is your favorite new era Wiggle? Love from Australia. I don't know. I'm such a original Greg. No, I'm an original Murray Stan. I don't, well, Murray's still in the band, I think. Or sometimes. Um, Nicholas Kil Kilwall said, Donated $105, said, love your work, been following the defunct land since disaster transport video a long time ago as I grew up on Cedar Point and watched them ride both rise and fall. Kind of wish there was more interesting stories to tell about rise from Cedar Point, but I've learned a lot about interesting defunct rise from your channel. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for your donation and, and your kind words. Jack Earl donated $105. The Lions album was on my Spotify rap this year, Ayo. So I don't know what that says about me, but it does say that you made a banger. Also, thanks for putting uh, my trans right sticky note up. It meant a lot, of course. Yeah. Um, Ken Permaro donated 1122. Hey, Kevin and friends. Kevin, the Epcot video is a masterpiece. I've sat through it three times now. Wow, that's very nice. Your videos are an amazing bar of quality, surpassing uh, anything else on the platform. Your Fetch with Ruff Ruffman episode really touched me, that being one of my favorite shows. If you ask, are there any plans for future Defunct Time VR items? Uh, I mean, yes. I th the, def the VR team is a separate, they're volunteers, and they have their own Discord, and I check in and say, great job. And and it, it really depends on, on what they're working on and who what those volunteers are interested in doing. It's a lot of people that are like full-time uh, modelers that that end up like working on their holiday. So it's slow work, but it, they're very they're very great. Uh, Every NPC donated one hundred five dollars. Kevin, if you made, made a lightsaber Galaxy's Edge, what color would it be? Uh, if not, what color would your lightsaber be? I did not, but I would say I I may I would make it blue. Oh, I did green. Okay. Wow. 5250 was donated anonymously. I have listened to and forced my friends to listen to Where We Parked too much for these past few months. Yeah. Keep up the amazing work. Oh, Jack, nice. we got to Where We Parked. Finally. Matt Jackson donated 1050. Let's get to 50K. We did third donation to get you there. Love all your videos, especially the Eurospace Mountain one. Uh, keep fighting the good fight. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Crow T Robot donated 2625. Kevin, you inspire me endlessly. I really hope you get a good rest tonight. What is your ultimate dream goal as a filmmaker? Uh, I say this a lot, and uh, you might have heard me say it before, but my goal is to do what I do right now for the rest of my life, and I will do anything to keep doing this, which is creating what I want and being able to share it with people, um, whatever that looks like. That's my goal. Uh, Caitlin Rose donated to 1005, stayed at Give Kids the World Village, and went to Disney World when I was five years old after a kidney transplant. Now, 16 years later, stable and trying to uh, plan a trip back after watching your videos for years. Really cool to see what you guys are doing here. Thanks so much. That, that's great. Give Kids the World is the best. I'm glad you had a good... Um, experience there. Nora Lewis donated $210. Wow, another donation. I'll make sure to file for my 100% company match. Okay, great. Thanks for another great event. That's great. So the companies, a lot of company matches are going to come in. Nice. You got to keep up to that. $262.50 was donated anonymously. The man is cooked. Let him sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, $80 was donated anonymously. Rob, love your videos and podcasts. Have you thought Morning Lights, Morning Light Disney movie? I, Have you watched Morning Light? I don't think I know what that is. Okay, Chef Kevin, your fast food video is one of my favorite videos. Wishing all a merry and blessed Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. $105 was donated anonymously. I love the Funklands YouTube channel. It made me realize just how amazing and lucky we are to be in a world that has entertained and inspired us despite so many variables and random happenstances, but I don't think I could have ever appreciated it if I didn't experience these iconic words as a child. Worlds as a child, way back when, I experienced magic with all the places, people, and projects Kevin and his team put together. Every kid deserved to experience that magic, so make it happen. Give kids the world. We are all caught up. Great work, everyone. Oh. <sighs>
Okay. Oh yeah. And with three minutes to spare. Gosh. So we're all getting to bed. Uh, we'll do our last little one. You know, I'll we'll, we'll do after Christmas creme. Any additional ones? We will uh, get it, but we've so far raised almost $51,000. Yeah. We did it, we made it. Amazing work. Who wants some Christmas creme? We Clean do, your we do, we Not do. Me. I want Kevin's Christmas creme. <laughs> that, oh, that trick my harshest critic tonight. <laughs> Can you uh, get some spoons? Sure. Get a spoon to your mouth. All right, here we go. Me. Oh, can actually, can you cut to camera three? Cut to camera three. Camera okay, three, let's the close the book. open paper. Yes. Pour some gas on it first, actually. <laughs> oh, who is, that? Wait, who is that down there? Wait a second. Uh, that, that, that is yeah. just a bunch of chili recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Hot spaghetti. Here we go. Well, favorite. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure we're all the way up here. Do you got to make a Mickey ears? Draw a Buzz Lightyear for me, please. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Ooh. Kevin's Christmas crumb. Oh, yeah. It's real. All right. It's here. And it's crumb. Spoons are probably going to be in one of these drawers. Yep. Got one right there. All right. Everybody come on over. Let's break into this Christmas creme. Let's make sure it has a glass top. Yeah, pretty close. Enjoy some brotherly creme. It'll be more glassy in a second. Spoon. Thank you. Spoon. 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 Thank you. Now, this might not be set because I just took it out of the oven and timing. And it might not be good, but I've asked for your honesty tonight, and I'm now asking you to lie. <laughs> All right. So, are we on camera three still? No, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, let's bring it on over to camera one. Hold on. Bring the whole tray over. No, it's fine. All right. One final burn. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Ready. Yeah, there we go. There. And everybody go at once. Oh. And... <laughs> Demolition Derby inside the <laughs> Get some burnt sugar. Here, that's yours. That's your burnt sugar. I got mine. It's going to be warm. Right. Ready? Oh, dear. Gosh, I hope this is okay. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You did it. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the ending scene of Ratatouille. It is. <laughs> Did you go back to your childhood and remember when I made when I time traveled and made you creme? You've always had our creme. <laughs> That's some... all right. Uh, can you go back over to the studio? And we will finish up real quick. Vic Harbinson donated twenty six twenty five. This is my first charity on stream I've been able to catch, and it's been a joy to listen to you guys while at work tonight. Thanks so much. Congrats on 50K, and thank you for everything. Chris Healy donated 1050. Thanks for giving me an awesome excuse to decompress after finals. Love all the work you guys have done tonight, and love every project you put out, Kevin. Thank you so much. I think that's going to be it for me reading donations, unless one comes in in the next two minutes. Um, instead, I'm going to sign off, and first, I have a lot of people to thank. First person to thank is Darren from Give Kids the World, who came in here and completely knocked it out of the park. And uh, we met maybe once in person before. Yeah, like in passing. Yeah, in passing. <laughs> and and I found out that you were my new liaison a week ago. And this and I was busy and I was texting you. And this morning you just said I'm yours today. And you are here at 12:01, which is ridiculous. And I'm sorry, but uh, it, it is truly a testament to you and everyone at Give Kids the World how dedicated you are to your cause to for you to be here uh, so late cooking food with people that you've only met in passing. But uh, I, feel like, I feel like we're good friends now and I hope we can do many more of these together. Absolutely. So uh, you, you, you really just complete, I mean, you went to the store uh, twice, uh, uh, so just incredible. And so you, you represent a great organization greatly and I really appreciate you. Um, Jack has been reading comments all night and he is the best and he's so, uh, so good at so many things that 
I hope everyone will realize when he starts making videos again. But I love him very dearly. I mean, I've never felt more emboldened to be reading <laughs> scripts. That I can't believe I haven't read that much. Like halfway through, I'm just you like, started, you why started. am I nailing this? It's like karaoke. <laughs> I can only play Guitar Hero with the crowd. Okay. You started. You started. You started getting into a groove where I was gonna be, be like, hey, you know, calm down a little bit. You're making me look look terrible because you're just nailing everything. But really, Jack, Jack is up for anything, always, and. It, he's he's my best friend, as as is Rob, as is Dan, and both of them are just. I mean, Jack is just, yeah, he, he's the best. We're, and, and we're all in, man. He's my puzzle piece, and and we work together constantly. And and I like just like with Darren, I I said base, you know, I say, hey, we're doing a cooking stream. Hey, we're gonna do all this, and and Jack just is completely with it and doesn't doesn't bat an eye and listens to me and my ideas and and helps me execute them. Rob is is a rock, and he's my steady steady guy he's he's just i'm so happy to have a friend like rob he's he's, he's my uh he's so steady and he's so kind and he's so generous and he's everything you'd want in a friend as well as having wisdom and love and and he just sat i i you know we we were thrown for a loop dan was going to be here and uh a word about dan is how much i love him and how much i miss him and how i'm so sorry for the loss of his father and i wish he was here but he is our he is our person he is our energy he is our fourth the we're now a trio. He'll be back. We'll be a quartet again soon enough. But uh, these two really stepped up to the plate to make up for Dan's absence. And, uh, and it's just, I can't believe how well it went. Uh, so thank you so much uh, to everyone. Uh, the tech team who was behind the scenes all night. Uh, Corvin, um, Andrew, Mouse Gamer. Uh, I'm going to start reading usernames and Joe. And if I missed anybody, please let me know. Um, have been moderating two streams as well as getting all those donations in and has made our lives super easy and you don't get to see them and they don't get to try the food and they don't get to have fun. But every year, they're excited. They come in and they do wonderful, wonderful things for Give Kids the World, for me, because they're passionate and because uh, they're just lovely people. And I, uh, I don't know how I got so lucky to get people to support me like that. Um, but I also know that they're also supporting Give Kids the World, which is an amazing cause. Um, in general, uh, I'd like to thank my family uh, who puts up with uh, me uh, running straight from doing a six month Epcot video, which took a lot out of me to doing this. And of course it's easy when it's for such a great cause, but it's also a sacrifice. So I've sacrificed to be here and, and they've, they've definitely uh, They've definitely had to be patient, and I'm very happy that we succeeded and we raised the money, but I, I can't do it without the support of them. I don't, I don't talk about my personal life a lot, obviously. I don't even show my face. I just, I would be remiss not to mention their support. And, uh, and then uh, thank all of you, because without all of you, this is not possible to do this every year. And I, uh, I'm so grateful that I get to make videos. I'm so grateful that so many people like the videos. It's hard for me to understand. Um, <laughs> that it's just, it's odd to hear those things read, but it's very kind and I know that um, I'm just one of the luckiest people and I don't know how, how long my lucky streak will last, but I've had, a, I've had a good run even if it's only this and doing stuff like this is a great moment to just utilize that and I feel like we weaponized um, my e-clout, uh, the algorithm, uh, good thumbnail design, everything that we're supposed to do to be good YouTubers, to do something good for a cause that is, uh, that is objectively uh, greater than, than me trying to make a, just a Simpsons donut on stream randomly. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, but really, the genero uh, apart from your support of me and my videos, the generosity to get to $50,000 is... Oh my God. Oh my God. What's going on? <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened? It just jumped. We're to at what? sixty-one thousand four hundred dollars. <laughs> what? Somebody just donated ten thousand five hundred dollars. Oh, oh my this, gosh! Like, coming at the end. Whoa. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> so another incredible donation. <laughs> we raised sixty thousand dollars. Correction. Honestly, don't feel like I earned that one. <laughs> let me let me let me bake something really quick. I Let's, got some more. Uh, I got should, some more dough. Oh, and look, it's so beautiful. We okay. should definitely read the message. Okay, um, please. So $10,500 donation was donated anonymously. Thanks to the entire tech crew, a donation in your honor with a special shout out to Joe. Here is a thank you push for reaching 50K. Get some sleep, Kevin and team. That's so great. 
60K, okay. Nice. Wow. I just gave a whole speech. Okay, let me start it over. Uh, <laughs> Darren, I really appreciate. Without you, we wouldn't even be able to raise 60K. I'll just do the whole thing, but I'll yeah. insert my voice. Jack, you're my best friend. I, without you, I wouldn't have been able to donate to be able to raise 60K. Um, well, that's amazing. Twitch chat thinks Michael Eisner's in the, uh, in the stream. I, well, if well, Michael not. Eisner's in the stream, hey, he really know. likes Joe for some reason. Iger with a puny uh, <laughs> donation he had to make up. But, uh, but just for a quick second, uh, we want to thank you because this event is your baby. And yeah. like, honestly, Kevin, knowing you for years now, you don't know how to not put your all into everything you do. And it's amazing how for an event that you think could become routine or just, you know, fall into a, a rut. You always bring a different angle to it and you put your all into it. And I wish I could turn a camera around and show the setup because for a cooking live stream on YouTube, you wouldn't expect it to be this elaborate. And in those days leading up, you wonder, you know, what what is it all for? And then you see the payoff and it's incredible. And so just thank you. This wouldn't have happened if, you know, you know, you didn't, treat this the way you treat everything you do, which is by just putting all of your creativity and talent into it. And as you can see here, it results in an event that raises so much money that has like such an impact on so many people. Yeah. So, and thanks, I'll, I'll echo that too. It's like, yeah, we, we, me and Rob and everybody else, every accessory element here, we all work hard and give it our all just to you know, be in that support role. But the, the fundamental thing, the live stream even being there in the first place, that's on you. So, I mean, you make it happen and we're just here to help. And, Obviously, it works out yet again. Another nice one. And <laughs> we love you guys, too, for watching and making it happen. Yeah. It's all, well, that's it's all very nice. I, I appreciate uh, that. It's very nice. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I, uh, I love doing it. Like I said, this is my dream. I would do, whether it's, that, whether it's YouTube or uh, some futuristic uh, platform where we're all, you know, holograms, I still want to make... <laughs> If I can make something creative that people enjoy and it enriches their life in some way, um, then that's all I want to do. And then also, this is the most obvious version of that, where I'm allowed to do something creative and we enrich lives very literally because this money is going straight to a very good cause. So it, it all works back around. I want to wrap up. I want to let everybody go. Everyone's been here for a long time. Um, and I really appreciate uh, all the support financially, uh, my, you know, whether you shared the stream, whether you watched the stream, whether you're watching this on the replay, and if you are, please go to the donation links. I know they still work, and I know you can still donate. Um, and uh, and yeah, this has been super fun. I'm just so grateful, and it, this time of year is uh, this this is part of my tradition, and I'm glad we could bring it back. I I knew even though we had circumstances that was hard this year to bring it back for a few things that made it more difficult than it would have usually been. I knew it was, it was important to get this back on an annual schedule so we can raise money every year. So hopefully we'll be back around this time next year or maybe we'll do it at a different time of year, but look out for another one of these next year. And um, again, thank you so much. It means the world to me that I'm able to do this and that I'm able to do this with friends. It's, uh, it's so kind, you're all so kind. And I, and, I and I love doing this, so I really appreciate it. And my hands are really sticky now, so I think I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> But I, I appreciate it, and uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season. I hope that you have a wonderful new year. I hope uh, you have a great Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate this season. I hope you have a really great uh, celebration, and, and uh, yeah, I just I wish everyone the best, and let's do this again sometime. So with that, thank you to every single person that has ever made this possible. Thank you to Give Kids the World. Uh, I hope... Uh, that I know this will all go to a good place and I, I hope we can raise some more money again sometime. So, um, anything else? Did I forget anything? Oh, well, one last thing. Thank you to Loma Homes for letting say. us rent this giant <laughs> castle. Uh, we love like, it. Again, they gave us a discount on this place that they found out about the charity stream. I remembered it just now. Loma Homes did that. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, what else do I have to say? Thanks for uh, the Somebody Thanks make for the Kevin's chat. Christmas creme and let me know how it went. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. We'll see you later. See you.